In this world, every person is born with an egg. You must hatch the egg while walking. Hatch the egg while eating. Even at night, when cuddling with your partner, you still have to hatch the egg. And this process must continue for a full 16 years. Because when everyone reaches 16 years old, this companion egg will hatch. Then, you will make a contract with the creature hatched. And become a beast tamer. As for what creature is inside the egg, it all depends on personal luck. Some hatch a holy beast, the white tiger. They dominate the ferocious beasts and conquer all. Others hatch ancient giant dragons. Transforming into dragon knights to protect their territory. Some hatch the rainbow devouring sky horse. Either you play with the snake or you're on the road to play with the snake. There are also those who hatch the emperor of smoke. Spending the whole day acting cute and spoiled around him. Filled with laughter and joy. Today is the last day before I turn 16, yet my egg still shows no sign of hatching. Seeing this, I feel uneasy in my heart, so I prepare for the final hatching of love. Just then, I suddenly hear a few mechanical sounds in my ear. The system starts to activate, and the beast evolution system is fully loaded. At the same time a blue panel appeared in front of me, showing the name Shu Chen and the current level without any divine beast, a purple zombie. The next moment, a figure about 3 meters tall. With a fierce expression on its face. A purple skin zombie appeared in the room. I never expected that my divine beast turned out to be the famous zombie. However, in this world, zombies are not considered powerful divine beasts. The purple zombie in this world. A divine beast commonly found in various tombs. Its strength is not as powerful as in the past life. As a divine beast that can only reach the high level of black iron at most. Its potential is ridiculously low. Moreover, this divine beast, the purple zombie, has no other advantages except for its strength. Hardly anyone would choose it as a divine beast. As my gaze slowly fell on the purple zombie, another panel dropped down. Named purple zombie. The current level has not advanced, and the growth is at 100%. Innate talent, no skills, only claw attacks and bites. Looking at this dismal divine beast stator, there are only two average skills in the skill bar, as ordinary as can be. I finally understand why people are unwilling to cultivate the purple zombie as a divine beast, it's just too weak. If it weren't for the bad luck of the previous owner to obtain this divine beast, probably no one would choose to cultivate it. At this moment, the system's voice rang out again. Detected that the beast's current growth has reached its limit, providing a beginner's gift pack, first evolution is free, do you want to use it? I immediately praised the system for being considerate. Since I chose to make Purple Stiff as my beast, I naturally have not neglected to research the information about Purple Stiff's evolution in this world. The beast after Purple Stiff's evolution in this world. It's called the Purple Stiff Leader, a Black Iron Superior Beast, but it cannot produce crystals. This is also one of the reasons why people look down on this beast. Now I can only hope that the evolution path of the system is different, if it's the same as this world, it would be disastrous. I immediately confirmed the usage to the system, while silently praying in my heart. Please don't let it be in the hands of Purple Stiff. The next moment a white beam of light instantly enveloped Purple Stiff. Evolution confirmed, currently collecting all evolution paths in this world, collection complete, a total of one evolution path collected. The optimal evolution path has been selected, detected that the evolution path in this world is too outdated, abandoned and currently searching the system database, the optimal evolution path has been chosen. Preparing for evolution, evolution completed waiting for the light beam to dissipate I saw the purple skin gradually turning black all over the body moreover, a large amount of black hair grew on the new skin, the body size also increased slightly, it indeed looked much more powerful than before seeing this, I couldn't wait to check the data of the evolved beast. The name of the current grade is Black Iron, the superior inheritance object is Dust, Blood Concentration 10% Length 0% Talent Blood Fat. Hungry Skill, Heavy Blow. Ironbone looked at the information of the beast on the panel, I finally breathed a sigh of relief, it's not the leader of the purple stiff. However, I have some doubts about the additional inheritance object and blood concentration information column on the panel. After some research, I finally understand. The evolutionary route chosen by the system. It is to continuously purify the blood of the beast, and then evolve towards the source of the blood. And as the blood continues to purify, the beast will be like those ancient ancestors. Possessing various incredible abilities. At this point, I started to look into the introduction of Jiang Chen, the zombie ancestor. Legend. Under the ancestor Xiaoyu, there was a terrifying and unparalleled fierce beast, which later enjoyed devouring people. Later, the emperor fought against Xiaoyu. 
Both sides used all their means, and all the soldiers were on the battlefield. As the first vanguard under Xiaoyu. Naturally, the officials also took the lead in attacking the emperor's camp. The emperor saw that the beast was too powerful, so he planned to kill it. After the beast died, feeling resentful, it divided its soul into four parts, leaving only one to merge with its own corpse, thus achieving the body of a zombie. Although the magic is exhausted, the strength is endless, the body is as tough as tendons, impervious to swords and spears, invulnerable to all methods, possessing extreme close combat abilities. Moreover, born with a bloodthirsty nature, leaving no living beings in its wake. Watching such an amazing mythical story, I speculate that as my beast progresses step by step, it may eventually become the ancestor of zombies in mythical stories. However, it's a bit premature to talk about this now. The most important task at the moment is to pass the entrance exam and successfully enter the three major academies. Afterward, I check the evolved talents and skills. Thirst for blood. During the battle, it will draw on the opponent's life force scattered when injured to heal its own wounds. Concentrating all strength into a single heavy blow. Deliver a full force blow, causing enormous damage to the enemy. Strengthen physical and magical defenses with iron bones. These talents and skills are really powerful. I remember that beasts only awaken talents slowly when they reach the golden level. But now, I have awakened at the black iron level. Compared to these two new skills, Claw Princess's biting is like rotten fish and shrimp. I am just so happy looking at these powerful talents and skills. And at this moment, my own panel attributes have been updated. Name Shu Chen, current level high black iron, beast tamer, bloodline of the descending dust. After the surprise, I couldn't help but ponder. With my current strength at the black iron level, entering a regular beast tamer academy poses no problem, but if I want to enter the top three academies in Linjiang, there is still no absolute guarantee. If, by chance, I could evolve once more to reach the bronze level, based on past experiences. Judging by the admission scores of the top three academies in Linjiang, there should be no issues. Therefore, the most important thing now is to improve my fur's length. The only way to improve fur length is through battles. However, summoning beasts for battles is prohibited within the city in public places. Therefore, I can only go to the wilderness hunting area outside the city. To leave the city and enter the wilderness hunting area, one must present their beast tamer level badge. It looks like I'll have to go to the beast tamer guild early tomorrow for the beast tamer level badge assessment. And after obtaining the beast tamer identity badge, the federation will provide monthly allowances to beast tamers according to their level. After making up my mind, it was getting late. As waves of drowsiness hit me, I got up and slowly drifted into a dream after returning to bed. The next morning, after washing up, I quickly headed to the Beast Tamer Guild in Linjiang City. The city guild, as the most important building in the city, is located in the very center of the city and is also the tallest building in Linjiang City. When arriving at the guild location in the Monster Market, there weren't many people on the road. Pushing open the guild doors slowly, only a few guild members were scattered around. Preparing for today's tasks. Welcome to the Monster Market Guild. How may I assist you? A pretty lady at the front desk raised her head with a smile. Hello, I would like to take the Monster Trainer level assessment. May I ask, which level of Monster Trainer assessment are you interested in? Black Iron Superior. The front desk lady was momentarily surprised upon hearing Black Iron Superior, but quickly recovered. All right, please follow me. Then she led me to an empty examination room. Please wait a moment, I will arrange the assessment for you immediately. Teacher, come over. Thank you, I politely responded and found a place to sit on my own. Resting for a while. On the other side, the front desk lady returned to her work position and whispered. I didn't expect someone so young to participate in the Black Iron Superior Monster Trainer level assessment. If they pass successfully, they should have the opportunity to study at the three major academies. I'm envious. The front desk lady muttered to herself completely unaware of someone behind her. Someone has come for the level assessment so early. The voice that came by her ear startled the lady. When she turned around to see who was speaking, she became even more flustered. Vice President, when did you arrive? I'm so sorry. The receptionist quickly apologized to the person behind her. The newcomer is unexpectedly the Vice President of the Imperial Beastmaster Guild in Linjiang City, one of the few diamond-level beastmasters in the city. He is also one of the strongest individuals in Linjiang City. It's okay, I was asking you something. The vice president gestured to the receptionist. Well, the vice president just had a child earlier. He came to participate in the assessment of the Black Iron Advanced Level. 
I guess he must be one of the students taking the enrollment exam this year. The receptionist briefly described the situation. After listening, the vice president looked surprised. It sounds like a diligent child with good talent. He is undergoing the assessment in which examination room? He's in examination room 7, as per the vice president's instructions. All right, arrange his exam as soon as possible. Okay, I've already informed the guild. The available assessment teacher went over. After listening, the vice president went upstairs. On the other side, I waited for less than 10 minutes. With the sound of the door being pushed open, a middle-aged man walked in. Are you here for the assessment? Let's begin right away. After speaking, he summoned the beast. It was a tiger-type beast with flames on its body. After scanning it with the system, I obtained detailed data. Panel name, Crimson Flame Tiger Current Level, Bronze Junior, Progress 36% Talent, No Skill, Flame Claw Charge Seeing the specific data provided by the system, I silently compared it with my own Mao Jiang. It seems that Mao Jiang is more powerful. You can summon your beast now. As long as you withstand the test under the Crimson Flame Fox for 10 minutes, you will pass the assessment. The middle-aged man explained the assessment rules. I was also taken aback. I thought I had to win to pass the assessment. Immediately, I summoned my beast as well. The familiar figure of Mao Jiang appeared in the examination room. The middle-aged man, seeing Mao Jiang appear, was slightly surprised. This is Zijiang. Do you plan to use him for the assessment, he asked in a surprised tone. I smiled faintly. It's your own choice to decide which beast to use for the test. But don't expect me to show mercy. Seeing my firm attitude, the middle-aged man stopped saying more. Suddenly, the crimson flame tiger roared wildly. With a roar, it launched a charging skill. It charged towards Mao Jiang at an extremely fast speed. In the blink of an eye, it knocked Mao Jiang down to the ground. Now, use the flame claw. The crimson flame tiger raised its right paw, showing its claws. Flames gathered on it, fiercely striking towards Mao Jiang's chest. Just as it seemed Mao Jiang was about to lose, on the verge of failing the test. On the second floor in the monitoring room, the vice president looked at the screen. Feeling somewhat surprised. On the screen, Chu Chen's face showed no panic, but rather a confident demeanor. Seeing this, the vice president murmured, it seems like the kid is very confident in his spirit beast. At this moment, inside the examination room, the scarlet flame tiger's flame claw also landed successfully on Mao Jiang's chest, however, the anticipated sound of bones breaking did not occur, instead, a sharp sound of mist slicing through metal rang out. Only to see that the scarlet flame tiger's claw in front of Mao Jiang's chest remained unchanged, while the skin in front of the claw exhibited a dark metallic hue. Mao Jiang also took advantage of this opportunity to use the heavy punch skill. The blow landed on the scarlet flame tiger's waist. After taking this blow, the scarlet flame tiger flew out instantly. It struggled a few times before losing consciousness. The situation in the battle instantly reversed. I didn't expect the battle to end so suddenly, let alone that Mao Jiang could exceed the limits and easily defeat the Scarlet Flame Tiger. I wonder if it's due to the Scarlet Flame Tiger's lack of strength or Mao Jiang's strength. Or perhaps Mao Jiang is just too strong. I had to walk up to the examination teacher and ask if I had passed. The middle-aged man hadn't recovered yet, not until my voice sounded by his ear. He then suddenly woke up, saying I had passed. Hearing that, I put away Mao Jiang and left the examination room. Interesting, his purple corpse seems to be somewhat different from the others. I'll have to observe it more closely when I get the chance. The vice president then stood up and left the monitoring room. By this time, I had returned to the front desk. The front desk lady saw me, looking surprised at how quickly not sure if it was a success or a failure but when he checked the information that he passed the assessment, a smile appeared on his face because the appearance of every talented beast tamer is a source of pride for Lin Jiangcheng also quickly uploaded my information and entered it into the system with two beeps. The communication bracelet displayed two unread messages, congratulating you on becoming a senior iron level beast tamer. Your account has been credited with 8,000 federal coins, with a balance of 9,200 federal coins. Please check promptly looking at the information on my phone, I breathed a sigh of relief, next is to head to the wilderness hunting area saying that, I hurried towards the nearest city gate as for the so-called wilderness hunting area it is actually mainly composed of the three major academies of Linjiang City and the Beast Taming Guild with other ordinary Beast Taming Academies as supplementary with Linjiang City as the center, designating the area within a 10km radius as their wilderness hunting area the beasts in the area are mostly black iron and bronze level with a few silver level beasts, areas with dangerous beasts are also marked with the level of danger to inform everyone periodically, 
The beasts in the area are also inspected to prevent powerful beasts from outside entering before long. I arrived at the city gate at this time. Some people had already gathered at the exit, all preparing to go to the wilderness hunting area season beast tamers among them are. Some young faces, probably from the same year as me. Next, I quickly arrived at the city gate guard post and handed over my federal identity card. After verifying my identity, I also smoothly left Lijiang City. Upon arriving at the wilderness hunting area, I immediately logged into the official website of Lijiang City to check the official information on the fierce beasts in the wilderness hunting area. After careful comparison, I finally decided on the target for the next training, then I immediately headed towards the target and continued to move forward. Ten minutes later, at a lake, I saw a group of giant bee-like fierce beasts with yellow and black patterns patrolling by the lake with its 20-centimeter-long stinger, sending shivers down my spine. I observed the movements of these fierce beasts from a nearby tree while also using the system to check their attributes. Name, Venomous Bee Current Level, High Black Iron, Progress 0% Talents, Wing Attack, Poisonous Stinger Looking at the Attribute Description on the System Panel, I didn't feel too surprised. The individual strength of these guys in front of me mostly ranges from mid to high black iron level. Their individual strength in the wilderness hunting area is not to be underestimated. But the real reason they dominate the wilderness hunting area is their group living nature. Once you attack one of them, the next moment, they will swarm and attack. It's simply a thug-like style of fighting. Coupled with its large-scale pseudorealism containing deadly poison. Not to mention some bronzes, even a weaker silver beast tamer would avoid direct confrontation with them, causing headaches for beast tamers. Therefore, this venomous bee in the desert hunting area is considered quite fierce. And the reason I chose them as training targets for Mao Jiang. It was also a carefully considered analysis. Firstly, Mao Jiang's speed is not fast. Although it has evolved once, there hasn't been a significant improvement in speed. Therefore, the chosen targets cannot be too fast, it would be a loss if they suddenly ran away halfway through. But if it's a venomous bee, it's a different story. The strength of venomous bees lies in their social behavior. Therefore, running away is out of the question in this lifetime. On the other hand, venomous bees also produce honey like regular bees. While regular bees feed on pollen, they feed on the life essence of dangerous flower beasts. This results in the honey they produce having extremely high purity and value. Choosing them as training targets has brought about all the evolution points and federal coins. I then summoned Mao Jiang and explained its task to it. Mao Jiang scratched its head as if understanding vaguely, looking over at the venomous bees. Two seconds later, Chen Yin nodded. Then he leaped down from the tree and charged towards the direction of the venomous bees. At this moment, the venomous bees also noticed the intruder in their territory, and several patrolling bees rushed forward to confront him. They flew back and forth in the air at a very fast speed. During the process, they continuously used their limbs to attack Chen Yin. However, at this moment, Chen Yin had activated the Iron Bone skill, so the venomous bees' attacks, while frequent, did not actually harm him. Seeing that their attacks were ineffective against the intruder below, the venomous bees became anxious. The venomous bee fiercely shook its poisonous stinger and then changed its shape in the air. It flew towards Chen Yin at an extremely fast speed. The next moment, it collided with Chen Yin. The venomous bee's poisonous stinger successfully penetrated Chen Yin's iron bone, entering Chen Yin's body. I was also surprised to see this. I didn't expect the stinger to be so powerful. Even the bronze-level crimson flame tiger couldn't break through its defense. If it were another beast, it might have already succumbed, but unfortunately, their opponent is Chen Yin. Chen Yin swayed slightly at this moment. The other venomous bees, seeing this, knew that the poison from the stinger had taken effect. Quickly, they launched a suicide attack, just like the previous venomous bees. One by one, the venomous bees shoot their stingers into the Miejian's body. The Miejian continuously kills the bees attached to its body. The venomous bees that are unable to move. Soon, a dense cluster of venomous bees forms around the Miejian. Bee corpses. Finally, with the sting of the last venomous bee, this group of venomous bees successfully meets its end. Looking at the ground covered with bee corpses, I find it somewhat amusing. Blame it on your bad luck. Encountering the Miejian with the skill of bloodthirst. At the same time, it also made me realize the power of bloodthirst. This is simply the nemesis of the war of attrition. Mao Jiang also controlled the hair on his body to pull out all the tail needles. They fell densely on the ground. But he was not harmed. Xu Chen looked at the bodies all over the ground. There are probably about a hundred of them, but it's a pity that the leader of the giant venomous bees did not appear, what a shame. 
Check the panel. Name, Mao Jiang, current level, high black iron, inheritance object, Jiang Chen, blood concentration, 10%, growth, 13%, talent, thirst for blood, skills, heavy punch, iron bone this group of giant venomous bees contributed 13% to the growth. Xu Chen also looked at the panel data and expressed satisfaction. How many evolution points did it give? Name, Xu Chen, current level, high black iron beast tamer, beast 1, Mao Jiang, Jiang Chen's bloodline, this time, Xu Chen finally understood some of the rules of the system. Killing a beast of the same rank will gain 0. 1% growth. Xu Chen silently calculated. The prerequisite for promotion is to reach 100% growth, so I still need to. Kill 870 high-level black iron beasts. Damn, I have to kill so many beasts. Not all beasts are as abundant as the giant venomous bees. It seems I have to go and try to kill a few bronze-level beasts. Xu Chen then walked towards the lake. He gestured for Mao Jiang to look down at the lake. Just now, Xu Chen noticed that many giant venomous bees flew out of the lake. Soon, Mao Jiang walked out of the lake. The difference was that there was a thick, almost solid, mixture of honey on his shoulders. This should weigh a few hundred pounds at least, not bad. Xu Chen tried to weigh it. Then he stored the honey in the beast taming space. He checked the communication bracelet again to see which beasts were suitable for his hunt. At this moment, the communication bracelet received a distress signal. Although the desert hunting area was relatively less dangerous compared to other training areas, accidents could still happen. In such cases, a distress signal could be sent out to request nearby beast tamers for rescue. The rescued person would need to pay a certain reward to the supporting personnel. After clicking in, Xu Chen found that the person in distress was nearby. It seems like it's nearby, I can go and take a look. If I can handle it myself, I'll help, but if it's beyond my abilities, then I can't do much. After a brief consideration, Xu Chen decided to go and see. Let's go, Mao Jiang. Xu Chen and Mao Jiang headed towards the distress signal. Not far from the lake. Hang in there, Zhang Hao. The distress signal has been sent out, I believe someone will come to help you soon. At this moment, a slender man in a purple school uniform was constantly encouraging himself. In front of him, a giant ape was covered in wounds, facing off against the enemies ahead. Just because of his momentary carelessness, it led to the current situation. Looking at the two iron-armored rhinoceroses staring from a few meters away, he secretly sighed, hoping that the reinforcements would arrive in time, or else he would end up as a casualty. Xu Chen, on the side, observed the situation. Judging from their school uniforms, they should be students from the Meteor Academy among the three major academies. Sun, Moon, Meteor. These were the names of the three major academies in Linjiang City. Linjiang City, as one of the twelve main cities of the Federation, had the strength of the three major academies at a medium to high level in the entire Federation. However, the situation of this genius from the Meteor Academy seemed not so good at the moment. Xu Chen looked at the iron armored rhinoceroses surrounding them. Check the panel. Name, ironclad rhino current level, bronze intermediate growth, 0% talent, none skills, barbaric stomp, raging charge, the ironclad rhino is a fierce quadruped beast with a gray body. Its entire body is covered in impenetrable gray iron armor, used for self-protection and attacking enemies, with a curved gap on its back armor. Despite its low intelligence, the ironclad rhino possesses great strength, with a body covered in tough skin and bones that are a hundred times harder than a human's. Therefore, it can easily crush enemies with its raging charges. Xu Chen recalled the introduction of the ironclad rhino. Hiss. It seems like this money is not easy to earn. Just as Xu Chen hesitated, the two resting ironclad rhinos regained some combat power. Zhang Hao also noticed their intention to attack again. Feeling a bit bitter inside, why haven't they come over yet? Could it be that there is no one nearby at this critical moment? It seems that this time I will have to pay with my life. Zhang Hao prepared for a final struggle. The two ironclad rhinos launched the attack first. Raging charge. The giant ape also roared loudly in response. With hands open, it seemed ready to block the charge. The two collided quickly. The giant ape was repeatedly pushed back by the raging charge of one ironclad rhino. The other ironclad rhino took the opportunity to strike from the side. With a forceful upward thrust, the heavily injured giant ape was directly knocked down. Seizing the opportunity, the ironclad rhino launched a barbaric stomp. The giant ape lost its ability to move. After dealing with the giant ape, it charged towards Zhang Hao with a raging charge. Zhang Hao, frightened, quickly closed his eyes. At this moment, it was almost like he was about to say, my life is over. 
After a while, Zhang Hao still did not feel the impending harm. Slowly opening his eyes, he saw a young man firmly holding the ironclad rhino's head under his armpit. Are you okay? If you are, say something. Zhang Hao only then noticed the young man beside him. Feeling relieved, it seems that the reinforcements have finally arrived. I must thank this benefactor. Chu Chen acted in time, thank you, senior. May I know which academy you are from? I, Zhang Hao, will always remember this life-saving grace. Seeing how effortlessly the senior blocked the raging charge, Zhang Hao was certain that he was a senior from one of the three major academies. Xu Chen, upon hearing the senior's address, was momentarily at a loss for words. If he were to reveal that he was a candidate for this year's examination, it would be embarrassing. The ironclad rhino, unable to break through the defense, struggled hard. The furry zombie took advantage and continuously attacked the ironclad rhino's head with heavy punches. In pain, the ironclad rhino tried to break free from the armpit but failed. The ironclad rhino was strong, but the furry zombie was no weakling. Not to mention the evolved furry zombie. With each punch, the ironclad rhino's struggling strength gradually weakened until it stopped. The other ironclad rhino, seeing its companion's death, tried to escape but was caught by the furry zombie and killed in the same manner. Seeing the fierce beast that almost took his life being easily dealt with, Zhang Hao was deeply shocked and admired the senior's strength. Senior, can I have your contact information? I am Zhang Hao, a first-year student at the Meteor Academy. I currently only have 30,000 federal coins in my hand. I know it may be a bit less, but I will slowly transfer the rest to you, senior. Zhang Hao quickly expressed his gratitude to Xu Chen. Sure, scan me. Xu Chen extended his communication bracelet to Zhang Hao. Seeing this, Zhang Hao quickly scanned Xu Chen's bracelet and successfully transferred 30,000 federal coins to Xu Chen. Senior, why is your beast tamer level still at black iron rank? Is my bracelet broken? Zhang Hao was puzzled when he saw Xu Chen's beast level was black iron. Your bracelet is not broken, I am just at the black iron level, and I have to take the unified enrollment exam in six days. If I get into the Meteor Academy, I will have to call you senior, right? Xu Chen chuckled and waved his hand, walking towards the next hunting target. Leaving Zhang Hao stunned in place. After the incident with Zhang Hao last time, Xu Chen didn't encounter any rescue incidents in the following days. Every day, he hunted and killed ferocious beasts in the desert hunting area, selling valuable loot in the evening. Take a hot bath at night and sleep soundly. Watching his strength and account balance steadily increase. Life is so plain and comfortable. I'm comfortable. On the eve of the enrollment exam, Xu Chen summoned Mao Jiang. Name, Mao Jiang, current level, high level black iron, inheritance object, Jiang Chen, bloodline concentration, 10%, strength, 100%, talent, thirst for blood, skills, heavy punch, iron bone after these days of training in the desert hunting area. Mao Jiang's strength finally reached 100%. It was on the eve of promotion. Compared to other beast masters who want their beasts to advance in level, most need a certain opportunity to succeed, and there is even a risk of failure. Once the promotion fails, the beast's strength will greatly decrease, and it will erode the beast's potential, making it unable to advance to a higher level. But Xu Chen is different. As long as the strength is there, he can advance. There is no talk of promotion failure at all. Xu Chen looked at his panel, name, Xu Chen, current level, high level black iron beast master, beast 1, Mao Jiang, Jiang Chen's bloodline, Xu Chen couldn't remember all the ferocious beasts he hunted in the desert hunting area these days. But this number is enough to show how many ferocious beasts Xu Chen hunted in the desert hunting area in these seven days. Finally, on the eve of the enrollment day, Mao Jiang has been trained to the edge of promotion. I hope this promotion will be as powerful as before. Xu Chen prayed silently. System, evolve. The current strength of the beast is full. Are you sure you want to evolve? Yes. The next moment, a familiar white light enveloped Mao Jiang instantly. When the light dissipated, Xu Chen took a closer look. There doesn't seem to be much change overall, just that the muscles in the thighs seem to have become more compact. The body size also seems to have slightly reduced, probably from about 3 meters to about 2 meters 7 or 8. I didn't see any other differences. Xu Chen observed the changes in appearance. Clicking on Mao Jiang's panel. Name, Jumping Corpse, Current Level, Intermediate Bronze, Inheritance Object, Jiang Chen, Bloodline Concentration, 20%, Strength, 0%, Talent, Thirst for Blood, Skills, Heavy Punch, Iron Bone, High Speed Movement, Agile Descent, Xu Chen looked at the panel. The name changed from Mao Jiang to Jumping Corpse. 
The level also directly changed from high-level black iron to intermediate bronze. The bloodline concentration also increased by 10%, and Xu Chen wondered if there would be any new changes as the concentration continued to increase. Two new skills were added to the skill bar. High-speed movement, relax the body to move quickly, significantly increasing speed. Agile descent, float lightly in the air and then fall sharply, causing massive damage to the area near the landing point. The system is like a mind reader, giving me what I need. When I was training in the desert hunting area before, it was because Mao Jiang's speed was not fast enough that I had to reluctantly give up on some ferocious beasts when selecting targets. After evolving into a leaping zombie, with the blessing of these two skills, the previous weakness of slow speed has undoubtedly been eliminated, and now it can even be said to have turned from a disadvantage to an advantage. Coupled with an additional area damage skill, I believe the number of targets available for hunting in the desert area will undoubtedly increase significantly. You can also try some new ideas. Xu Chen looked at the descriptions of these two new skills. He was overjoyed in his heart. His panel was also updated accordingly. Name, Xu Chen, current level, intermediate bronze beast tamer, beast tamed 1, leaping zombie, royal bloodline, looking at the level of intermediate bronze beast tamer, Xu Chen knew that his strength was definitely more than just intermediate bronze. When he was still a senior black iron, he could easily kill an intermediate bronze iron armored rhino with his leaping zombie. Now that the leaping zombie has been promoted to intermediate bronze, how strong will it be? Xu Chen had no idea. Tomorrow is enrollment day. Xu Chen's period of intense training is about to pay off. Enrollment day. The annual unified enrollment examination of Linjiang City officially kicked off. Early in the morning, the enrollment square was already packed with people. At a glance, the entire square was densely packed with participants of the enrollment examination. When Xu Chen arrived at the square late, he was taken aback by the scene. So many people, if we have to queue, I don't know how long it will take. Xu Chen stood at the edge of the square, and he could hear a lot of conversations around him. What should we do? What if we fail the exam? Don't ask me, I'm more anxious than you. Which beast taming academy are you planning to apply for? Of course, I won't make it to the three major academies, any ordinary beast taming academy that accepts me will do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Xu Chen listened to the anxious conversation of the two people. If it were himself seven days ago, he might have been even more anxious than them. However, it is true that enrollment day can be said to almost determine one's fate. If one can pass this hurdle and successfully enter the Beast Taming Academy for study, the future will be full of possibilities. But if one fails, then it will be a slow step by step, falling far behind former classmates until their figures are no longer visible. The gap between the two is like a chasm. Xu Chen looked around at the increasing crowd and couldn't help but feel fortunate to have the help of the system. With his current strength, not to mention entering an ordinary Beast Taming Academy, even the three major academies that were his previous goals are now a sure thing. After thinking for a while, Xu Chen moved to a nearby shop, bought some food and drinks, and sat on a chair outside the shop to rest. He watched the crowd on the square, planning to wait until it was less crowded before going over. He also thought about which of the three major academies he would sign up for next. The three major academies are the Academy of Sun, the Academy of Moon, and the Academy of Meteor. From the mouths of former students, it can be learned that the Academy of Sun is mainly the strongest in the yarn attribute system, zombies are not suitable and are eliminated. The Academy of Moon is mainly focused on the yin attribute system, suitable or not, unfortunately, only accepts female students. Eliminated. Then there is only the Academy of Meteor left. I previously saved a guy named Zhang Hao who is also in the Academy of Meteor. It is said that the Dean of the Academy of Meteor is extremely mysterious. Rumor has it that he is the strongest in Linjiang City. Xu Chen secretly analyzed his best choice here. A guy nearby seemed particularly excited when he saw Xu Chen. Big brother? Big brother. A slightly urgent voice came from beside him. Xu Chen found the voice somewhat familiar. He looked in the direction of the voice and saw Zhang Hao. Xu Chen remembered his name because he saved him that day. This guy would transfer money to his account every few days, totaling about 200,000 federal coins. He had said that the remaining money would be given slowly. Xu Chen didn't take it too seriously at the time, but to his surprise, the money was indeed transferred to him bit by bit. Xu Chen still had a good impression of this Zhang Hao. Big brother. Zhang Hao ran all the way and finally stopped in front of Xu Chen. Xu Chen listened to his rapid breathing and reached out to pat his back. Thank you, big brother. Zhang Hao quickly thanked him. The way you call me sounds like you have something to ask me. Xu Chen looked at him in confusion. Big brother, it's like this, 
I want to use the special admission quota to get you into our Meteor Academy, so you don't have to take the entrance exam. Zhang Hao also revealed his intention. Special admission. Yes, big brother. Our Meteor Academy teachers have a special admission quota every year to admit some promising students directly without an exam. Mainly because this year our academy's admission requirement is that candidates must be at least a bronze level beast tamer to take the entrance exam. I know that although you are only a high black iron, your strength is definitely above intermediate bronze, but the academy's requirements cannot be changed. Big brother, you saved my life. So I thought of this way to get you into the Meteor Academy. Listening to Zhang Hao slowly explaining the reasons, I remember you are just a student at the academy, where did the special admission quota come from? Chu Chen was a bit puzzled after hearing it. Um. To be honest, my mother is a teacher at the Meteor Academy, and I used her quota last year. Zhang Hao scratched his head embarrassedly. Your mother is a teacher at the Meteor Academy. That explains how you, with a slightly weaker strength, can still get into the Meteor Academy. Xu Chen was a bit surprised to hear that his mother was a teacher at the Meteor Academy. If I remember correctly, the teachers at the Meteor Academy are basically platinum-level beast tamers. I didn't expect this kid to be a second-generation beast tamer. Big brother, don't make fun of me. Since that time, I have realized the drawbacks of being lazy in cultivation. Enough about me, let me send you my mother's contact information. Zhang Hao operated his communication bracelet. No need. Chu Chen said gently to Zhang Hao. Big brother, don't be polite with me. The special admission quota is precious to others. Zhang Hao was about to send his mother's business card to Xu Chen. When he saw Xu Chen's information displayed on the communication bracelet, he couldn't help but exclaim, Big brother. How did you become an intermediate bronze beast tamer in just six days? Zhang Hao looked up with an incredulous expression. That's why I said no need. Xu Chen said calmly to Zhang Hao again. The reason Xu Chen arrived late today was that he had gone to the Beast Tamer Guild for a level verification in the morning. The expression of the receptionist at that time was exactly the same as Zhang Hao's now. Big brother, you are too amazing. That's great, I'll take you to sign up at our Meteor Academy right away. Zhang Hao pretended to grab Xu Chen and walk towards the registration office of the Meteor Academy. Wait. I didn't say I have to enroll in your Meteor Academy. Xu Chen stopped. He he. Big Brother underestimates me. That day, if I'm not mistaken, Big Brother's beast should be a purple corpse, right? Although I don't know why Big Brother's purple corpse is so powerful, but since it's a purple corpse, we can rule out the Solar Academy, not to mention the Lunar Academy, which only admits female students. That leaves only our Meteor Academy. Zhang Hao smiled smugly. Xu Chen thought to himself that this guy's strength wasn't that great, but his mind was quite sharp. Let's go. Also, don't call me big brother in the future, it's a bit weird. Just call me Xu Chen. Okay, Su Ji. Xu Chen. Xu Chen didn't pay any more attention to Zhang Hao's address. Meteor Academy Admissions Office. At this moment, there was a line of moderate length. A student wearing the Meteor Academy uniform pulled another teenager directly past the line and to the registration desk. How come he doesn't have to wait in line? Some students in line were puzzled. You don't know this. Every year the academy has some specially recruited students, they are recommended by the academy teachers and don't need to take the entrance exam. Coming here to register is just a formality and won't take up our spots. A student who had prepared exam strategies explained. The questioning student looked around at the other students, most of whom seemed unfazed, and understood. Oh, I see. These two people were Zhang Hao and Xu Chen. The student at the registration desk also looked up at the two. This year, Teacher Liu's special recruitment quota. There was a hint of disdain in her eyes as they passed over Zhang Hao, but it quickly disappeared. No. Zhao, I'm here to register for the normal exam process. Zhang Hao said casually. Zhao was slightly surprised at this, glanced quickly at Chu Chen, and nodded slightly. My mistake, please hand me your federal ID card. After Xu Chen handed over his federal ID card, Zhao inserted it into a device. Name, Xu Chen. Gender, male. Age, 18. Beast tamer level, intermediate bronze. Beast, purple corpse, suspected mutation. Applying to, Meteor Academy in Linjiang City. Meets the application requirements. The applicant confirmed again, Zhao was surprised to see Xu Chen's intermediate bronze level. It was rare to achieve this level at 18 in Linjiang City. But when Zhao saw a purple corpse under the beast category, she could hardly believe her eyes. A purple corpse. 
She wanted to say something instinctively but held back. Asking about someone's secrets was a very dangerous thing. Chu Chen noticed the changing expressions on Zhao's face. Zhao. Chu Chen waved his hand in front of Zhao. Chu Chen, sorry, please confirm your fingerprint here. Zhao quickly handed the device to Xu Chen. Following the device's instructions, Xu Chen quickly completed the fingerprint scan. The device then made a successful registration sound. Xu Chen, you have successfully registered. Please wait in the rest area. Teachers will come to arrange the unified exam after registration ends. Next. Xu Chen also planned to go to the academy's rest area when he heard a mix of shocked and envious exclamations behind him. The crowd in line made way for her. Why is she registering at Meteor Academy? Xu Chen watched her walking slowly towards the registration area from a distance. Xia Yufei. Xu Chen knew her. It could be said that everyone in Linjiang City knew her. Xu Chen knew her because before his previous life opened the beast, at 16, he and Xia Yufei were the two most promising students in Linjiang No. 3 Middle School. But everything changed in an instant when his previous life opened the purple corpse. A week. A month. A year. Two years. He had worked hard for a long time, but the purple corpse remained the same. Despite trying countless methods and investing a lot of effort, he couldn't make a qualitative leap with the purple corpse. In contrast, Xia Yufei continued to break various records in Linjiang City. Watching this visible gap grow larger and larger, until it became insurmountable. The predecessor finally succumbed to the heavy burden a month before the unified entrance exam. She passed away in depression. Everyone in Lijiang City knew her because at 16 she was at the iron level, at 17 she reached the bronze level, and at 18 she became the youngest silver level beast tamer in nearly a hundred years in Lijiang City. The extraordinary talent of this heavenly beauty amazed everyone in Lijiang City. Everyone thought she would apply to the Imperial Capitals Academy. The Imperial Capital, as the federal center, had a stronger beast tamer academy compared to schools in other main cities. Soon, Xia Yufei also arrived at the registration desk. What surprised Xu Chen even more was that Xia Yufei chose to take the unified entrance exam. This caused a wave of wailing among the candidates waiting in line. Xia Yufei's participation undoubtedly secured a spot in advance, making the already limited spots even scarcer. Many candidates sighed repeatedly. After Xia Yufei finished registering, Zhao Shui gestured for her to go to the rest area. Xia Yufei thanked her and headed towards the rest area. When Xia Yufei saw a familiar yet somewhat unfamiliar figure in the rest area, she was momentarily stunned but quickly regained her composure. Her steps towards the rest area unconsciously quickened. Xu Chen looked at Xia Yufei approaching slowly, his mind calm. He was no longer the same Xu Chen as before. Xia Yufei? Sorry, I don't know you. When Xia Yufei arrived at the rest area, she suddenly felt the familiar feeling about the person in front of her disappearing, replaced by complete unfamiliarity. Xu Chen. Long time no see, a voice containing excitement and coldness came from Xia Yufei. Long time no see, Xu Chen responded lightly. Hearing this emotionless response, many words Xia Yufei had prepared in her heart were all pushed back. Looking around, she slowly realized that this was the exclusive rest area of the Meteorite Academy, only accessible to successfully registered candidates. Given Xu Chen's situation, he clearly should not be here, yet he was. So. Xu Chen, are you? Xia Yufei looked at Xu Chen in surprise. Yes. I was lucky. It seems that Zijiang has successfully evolved, Xu Chen had no need to hide it. That's great, Xu Chen, Xia Yufei seemed very excited. She had made sure to keep track of Xu Chen's situation over the years, knowing that he had put in a lot of effort for Zijiang's evolution. She also knew that Xu Chen was a person with a strong sense of pride, who never asked her for any resources no matter how hard he was living. She hadn't appeared in front of him in these years. Xu Chen was not as familiar to Xia Yufei as she had imagined. Instead, he sat quietly in the chair in the rest area, seemingly wanting to end the conversation. Xia Yufei also sensed Xu Chen's intention. Although she didn't know why Xu Chen had changed like this, she could only assume that his experiences over the years had changed him. She slowly sat down in the chair next to Xu Chen. It was only then that the other candidates in the rest area began to whisper. Who is this person? Xia Yufei took the initiative to talk to him. Yeah, listening to their conversation, the relationship between the two is not ordinary. Exactly, Xia Yufei has never been so accommodating to anyone before. Right, she even ended up sitting next to him voluntarily. Although the voices around were low, Xia Yufei turned her head and used her eyes to signal those candidates talking. The voices slowly disappeared. 
One of the candidates, seeing this scene, quickly activated the communication bracelet, seemingly notifying someone. Not long after, a figure appeared at the entrance of the rest area. When the candidates inside the rest area saw who this person was, they also started discussing. How did he appear here? Does he also plan to take the exam like Xiu Yufei? No way. In this way, one less spot for this exam, let's leave a way out for everyone. That's right, Xiu Yufei signing up can still be explained, but when He Fangnan from the Sun Academy signs up, it's a bit hard to understand. His father is the dean of the Sun Academy, the young master of the Sun Academy, why did he come to our Meteor Star for fun? Exactly, destroy it, I'm tired. Fang Nan, who was being discussed by everyone at the moment, arrived at the rest area. After looking around, he bypassed Chu Chen and went straight to Xiu Yufei. It's really you, someone just told me that you signed up for the Meteor Star Academy, and I confirmed it with him three times. Fang Nan looked at Xiu Yufei in front of him and asked softly. That's right, I signed up for the Meteor Star Academy entrance exam, but why are you here? Xiu Yufei felt a bit annoyed by his presence. Can you tell me the reason? My father said that many academies in the Imperial City have sent you enrollment invitations, their resources are much richer than ours. Fang Nan was puzzled by Xiu Yufei signing up for the Meteor Star. I have my own reasons for choosing which academy to sign up for, I don't need to explain to you, right? Xiu Yufei frowned. Then I won't ask, actually when I heard that you appeared in the Meteor Star Academy rest area, I knew you wouldn't go to the Imperial City, so I also signed up for the Meteor Star Academy when I came. Fang Nan shrugged, casually expressing his thoughts. What? What are you blindly following for fun, will Uncle Fang agree with what you're doing? Xiu Yufei felt that Fang Nan was simply making trouble. I have my own reasons for signing up for the Meteor Star Academy, I shouldn't need to explain to you. Fang Nan returned Xiu Yufei's words verbatim. You? Forget it, do whatever you want. Xiu Yufei didn't say much more, turned his head and stopped looking at Fang Nan. Fang Nan also sat directly on the other side of Xiu Yufei, not saying another word. Throughout the process, Fang Nan never looked at Xu Chen, as if he hadn't seen him at all. On the other hand, Fang Nan pretended not to see himself. Xu Chen naturally felt relaxed and couldn't be bothered. In his mind, he began to contemplate the assessment methods of the Meteor Star Academy in previous years. There was another reason why he chose the Meteor Star. It was said that the unique minerals in the Academy's secret realm had special enhancing effects on Yin Attribute Beast Control. Other people and things had nothing to do with him. And so, the three of them sat on the same bench. The quiet atmosphere gradually began to solidify. New candidates continued to enter the rest area. However, each candidate who entered immediately felt the eerie atmosphere. Seeing that no one was speaking, they involuntarily closed their mouths. Everyone sat far away from the three of them. Soon, a circular vacuum zone formed around Xu Chen. Ahem. A cough broke the frozen atmosphere. A middle-aged man with glasses, slender and scholarly in appearance, walked in slowly. Looking at the silent trio, his eyes were calm, but the faint smile at the corner of his mouth revealed his inner unrest. I never expected that Yu Fei would actually refuse the invitation from the Imperial City and choose to sign up for our Meteor Star. But what's even more unexpected is that Fang Nan, this kid, also signed up for our Meteor Star in a fit of anger. If Fang Qing, that old man, knew that the young master they spent so many resources nurturing at the Sun Academy became a student at our Meteor Star, I'm really looking forward to how those people will react, har har. But it was Fang Nan who signed up on his own initiative, not that we forced him, I can't wait for the upcoming Three Academy New Student Grand Competition. The middle-aged man's thoughts kept flashing through his mind. Hello, everyone. The registration period has ended, and a total of 1,320 candidates have applied to our Meteor Academy this year. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for applying to our Meteor Academy and for your trust in our institution. Let me introduce myself, my surname is Chen, you can call me Examiner Chen. Next, I will explain the assessment methods and criteria for admission to our Meteor Academy this year. Please listen carefully, as I will only say this once. The assessment will take place in a secret area within the Meteor Academy, where candidates will have one day to hunt down as many ferocious beasts as possible. The criteria for this assessment are as follows, hunting down a bronze level junior ferocious beast earns 1 point, a bronze level intermediate ferocious beast earns 5 points, and a bronze level senior ferocious beast earns 20 points. The top 300 candidates with the highest points will be admitted to study at our Meteor Academy. Of course, for those candidates who do not make it to the top 300, do not be discouraged. Based on your performance in the assessment, we will also send you to other excellent institutions. There, you will receive focus training, 
and as long as you do not give up, I believe you can still become an outstanding beast tamer in the future. Lastly, a crucial point, during the assessment, candidates are strictly prohibited from maliciously harming others. Any such behavior will not be tolerated. Examiner Chen listed the assessment rules and criteria one by one. Teacher, you haven't mentioned the points for hunting down silver-level ferocious beasts yet, a candidate raised his question. Examiner Chen smiled slightly at the questioning candidate. If you want to know the points, you will find out when you actually hunt them down. Here, I will give you all a piece of advice, do not risk your life for temporary achievements, as anything is possible in the future. After finishing his speech, Examiner Chen gestured for everyone to follow him to the assessment site. Xu Chen, Fang Nan, and Xie Yufei followed the other candidates. When they returned to the enrollment square, most of the major academies had already finished their enrollment, leaving the square looking quite empty. Examiner Chen whistled a special rhythm towards the sky. Soon, Xu Chen saw clouds in the sky rapidly descending towards the square. As they got closer, Xu Chen realized that they were not clouds but large blue birds. Xu Chen checked the information of one of them. Name, Blue Cotton Bird, Current Level, Silver Intermediate, Growth, 90%, Talent, Skills, Natural Purification, Rapid Flight, Eagle Ai Xu Chen was amazed that these flying birds were actually Silver Level Beast Tamers. Even the means of transportation were Silver Level Beast Tamers. The Meteor Academy truly lived up to its reputation as one of the top three academies. Soon, the blue cotton birds landed on the square, with a total of five of them. At that moment, Xu Chen could see the full appearance of these blue cotton birds. Their bodies were sky blue, with fluffy wings resembling cotton. They had two long blue feathers on their heads, quite different from the cotton-like feathers on their wings, and their tails were also blue. They looked very cute. The blue cotton bird Xu Chen was observing appeared particularly huge. As soon as it landed, it stretched out its head and rubbed against Examiner Chen, making cooing sounds as if it were acting coquettishly. Examiner Chen shook his head helplessly. He took out a ferocious beast crystal from the beast tamer space and handed it to the bird's mouth. When will you fix this greedy little habit of yours? He jokingly scolded. Then he turned to the candidates behind him and said, These are the flying beast tamers, blue cotton birds, specially raised by our Meteor Academy. Normally, they patrol the clouds above Linjiang City. After you successfully study at the Meteor Academy, you can also summon them when you need to travel, just like me. Now everyone is divided into five groups according to the order of registration, sitting on the back of the Qingmian bird, ready to go to the Meteorite Academy for assessment. The candidates behind sat on the back of the Qingmian bird as required by the assessment officer. After everyone was seated properly, the Qingmian bird flapped its wings and flew towards the direction outside the city. Before long, Xu Chen was sitting on the back of the Qingmian bird. The outline of the Meteorite Academy in the distance gradually came into view. Information about the Meteorite Academy also surfaced in Xu Chen's mind. As one of the three major academies in Linjiang City, the Meteorite Academy is located 20 kilometers southeast of Linjiang City. It forms a triangular position with the Daystar Academy to the north and the Luoyu Academy to the southwest, guarding Linjiang City. The three major academies support each other, forming an absolute defense line that any ferocious beast must break through to attack Linjiang City. The Qingmian bird soon landed on a vacant lot outside the Meteorite Academy. After successfully delivering Xu Chen and his group, the Qingmian bird flapped its wings again and flew back into the sky. Xu Chen looked around, observing the surroundings. It seemed like he was in a forest. The first thing he saw was a huge stone stele not far away, engraved with the four characters of the Meteorite Academy. Next to the stele were layers of stone steps leading upwards. At the end of the stone steps must be the entrance to the Meteorite Academy. People riding on beast mounts could be seen from time to time rushing towards the Meteorite Academy. It was not difficult to guess that they were senior students of the Meteorite Academy from their purple uniforms. At the same time, some senior students flew overhead on flying beast mounts. As Xu Chen had expected, the assessment officer Chen led them through the stone steps and arrived in front of a teaching building inside the Meteorite Academy. Many senior students had been waiting on the building, including those Xu Chen had seen passing through the forest and flying overhead. These senior students had gathered specifically during the enrollment assessment to participate in the annual traditional event of the Meteorite Academy, Dragon Betting. Dragon Betting is when senior students bet on which candidate will be the first in the enrollment assessment. They can wager certain resources on that candidate as their bet. Depending on whether the assessment results match their predictions, they can either claim the bets of others or lose their own bets. The senior students had already started a heated discussion. A senior student with a beard came forward to preside over the dragon betting. I think this year's dragon betting result seems to have no suspense compared to previous years. 
I bet on Xia Yufei. Your statement is a bit too absolute. What about Fang Nan? His beast mount has a significant advantage in this assessment. I bet on Fang Nan. Otherwise, Xia Yufei is a presence that even the imperial capital wants to recruit. Her strength is hard to estimate. I still think the probability of Xia Yufei winning is higher. I bet on Xia Yufei. So, the candidates for this year's dragon betting should be these two. Now everyone can. The senior with a beard was about to suggest betting on the two candidates when a different opinion interrupted. Wait. I want to bet on Xu Chen to win. It was Zhang Hao who spoke. Xu Chen? Who is this candidate? Everyone was puzzled upon hearing this name. Zhang Hao gestured towards Xu Chen's location. Xu Chen? I vaguely remember him. He had some reputation a few years ago at Linjiang Third Middle School, but there hasn't been much news since he hatched the purple corpse from a beast egg. Purple corpse. How did he manage to come to our meteorite academy for enrollment assessment? I remember that purple corpse is not the highest and can only reach the black iron level, right? Everyone turned to Zhang Hao with questioning looks. I bet on him for sure for my own reasons, you don't need to worry about it, Zhang Hao smiled mysteriously. When Su Ji was still at the black iron level, he could easily kill the bronze level iron armored rhinoceros. Now his strength may not necessarily be inferior to those two. I still don't believe that his purple corpse can be special enough to surpass Xia Yufei and Fang Nan, but if you insist on betting on him, you can, it's just for entertainment, don't regret it if you lose. So, are there any new candidates next? If not, we can start. Senior Hu Zi said to Zhang Hao. I bet on Xia Yufei, 20 points. I bet on Fang Nan, 50 points. I bet on Xia Yufei, 40 points. I bet on Xu Chen, 50 points. Finally, Zhang Hao also spoke. The dragon betting resources for this round are, Xia Yufei 8,000 points, Fang Nan 7,000 points, Xu Chen 50 points. If there are no more bets, then I declare the betting closed. Senior Hu Zi was about to announce the end of betting. Another voice came. How about? Adding me? Senior Hu Zi was a bit angry, turned his head and was about to say something. Who is it? Couldn't you have come earlier? Before he could finish his sentence, when he saw the person speaking, his face froze, and he swallowed the rest of his words. Senior Wang. Asterisk asterisk. How did he come back? Not far away, a young man in white clothes with a flute at his waist slowly walked towards them. Wang Lishan. One of the top ten chiefs of the Meteor Academy. According to convention, he should be fighting beasts on the front lines. It's unclear why he appeared here. Sorry. I didn't know you were back, I thought someone was causing trouble. Senior Hu Zi smiled awkwardly. No worries. I just happened to pass by and wanted to join in the fun. Senior Hu Zi asked, So, Senior Wang, who do you want to bet on? Xia Yufei or Fang Nan? Xu Chen. Wang Lishing unexpectedly mentioned a name that no one had anticipated. Senior Wang. May I ask why? Senior Hu Zi felt puzzled and asked cautiously, I simply think that if you're going to bet, you should bet on someone everyone thinks is impossible to win, that's what makes winning interesting. Wang Lishing didn't explain further. How much are you betting? Senior Hu Zi didn't dare to inquire deeply and continued to ask. Just 1000 points. Wang Lishing casually stated a significant bet. Everyone was surprised. When they wanted to ask, they found that Wang Lishing had already walked away. While the seniors were talking here, Xu Chen had already entered the secret realm. After the assessment officer brought them to the secret realm, he sent the information about the beasts in the secret realm to their communication bracelets and then left. Xu Chen listened to the roars of the beasts coming from not far away. He opened the beast control panel. Name, Jumping Corpse, Current Level, Bronze Intermediate, Inheritance Object, Jiang Chen, Bloodline Concentration, 20%, Growth, 0%, Talent, Thirst for Blood, Skills, Heavy Punch, Iron Bone, High Speed Movement, Agile Descent, Next Stage, Conditions Required, 100% Growth, 1000 pounds of refined copper, any silver level attribute crystal. Xu Chen looked at the new evolution conditions and sighed at how the system had changed. Previously, only reaching 100% growth was needed. Now, resources need to be provided for evolution, just like in the beginning. 1000 pounds of refined copper. Not 1000 pounds of copper ore. Plus a silver level crystal. This. According to the market price of 10,000 federal coins per kilogram of pure copper, 1,000 kilograms of pure copper would be worth 10 million federal coins. Not to mention the silver level crystals, which are only going up in value. 
After selling the honey and various materials from hunting in the wilderness hunting area, along with the 200,000 federal coins Zhang Hao gave me. I probably have around 7 to 800,000 federal coins now, still far from the goal of 10 million. Also found some information about the Meteorite Academy before. It's about the rumored origin of the name of the Meteorite Academy. It is said to be over a hundred years ago. A huge meteorite landed near Linjiang City. Later, a powerful beast tamer discovered that the spiritual energy at the location of the meteorite was particularly rich. So, he established an academy there and named it Meteorite. This person was the first dean of the Meteorite Academy. It is rumored that the meteorite not only changed the concentration of spiritual energy but also continuously generated mineral resources from the land. Finally, the first dean placed the meteorite in a secret realm. Only people from the Meteorite Academy can enter. The mineral resources produced inside are sold at prices far below market value, allowing Meteorite Academy students to exchange them for points. It can be considered as an exclusive benefit for Meteorite students. If that's true, the difficulty of evolution will be somewhat reduced. Evolution is not easy, Xu Chen sighed. Xu Chen, why are you sighing? Do you think this assessment is too difficult? How about we team up? When hunting fierce beasts, I will injure the beast first, and then you can kill it. What do you think? Xu Yufei saw Xu Chen sighing on the side. She thought Xu Chen was worried about how to pass the enrollment assessment smoothly. Xu Yufei believed that even if Xu Chen's purple corpse successfully evolved, the innate weakness of the purple corpse was too great. Even if it evolved by chance, it would probably only be slightly stronger than an ordinary beast tamer. So Xu Chen must be worried about this. No need, I can handle it alone. Xu Chen realized that his sigh had caused Xi Yufei to misunderstand. All right then. Xi Yufei thought Xu Chen's pride did not allow him to accept her protection. But with Xu Chen's strength, successfully passing the assessment would undoubtedly be very dangerous. Xi Yufei thought to herself, since you don't want to team up with me, I'll quietly follow you. When you are in danger, I'll appear, and see if you regret refusing to team up with me. He he. Thinking about the scene of saving Xu Chen, Xi Yufei couldn't help but smile. Is this kid being silly? Xu Chen saw Xia Yufei, who had been rejected by him, not only not angry but also smiling, which was truly puzzling. Yufei, how about we team up and leave an unbreakable record for future candidates, what do you think? Hearing Xia Yufei's laughter, Fang Nan thought she must be in a good mood now and took the opportunity to invite her to team up. Not interested. The smile on Xia Yufei's face disappeared instantly, and she coldly refused. Seeing Xu Chen already walking towards the fierce beast in the distance, she quickly followed. Fang Nan, left with a puzzled look, stayed in place. Why did she suddenly change her mind? Why? Fang Nan was puzzled. Knock, knock. A knocking sound echoed outside a meeting room at the Meteorite Academy. Come in. A clear female voice said. Squeak. Walking into the meeting room was Wang Lishan, who had been gambling with senior students before. The owner of the clear female voice was sitting in a chair opposite Wang Lishan. With delicate short hair and a somewhat similar appearance to Xi Yufei, exuding a faint majesty, she was the current dean of the Meteorite Academy, Xi Rushu. She is also Xi Yufei's aunt. Besides these two, there were two other people in the meeting room. A middle-aged man with scars on his face, a burly figure, and a strong sense of iron-blooded killing aura sat on a chair. Vice Dean Zhao Jun of Meteor Academy in charge of all affairs of Meteor Academy on the front line. The last one is the assessment officer in charge of assessments, Chen Xu. And in front of their seats are for huge display screens. Inside are real-time images of all participants in the assessment in the secret realm. At this moment, the screen is showing the image of Xia Yufei quietly following behind Xu Chen. Director Xia, why is your niece Xia Yufei not hunting down the savage beasts, but instead following that young man named Xu Chen? What's going on? Zhao Jun asked Xia Rushua with a smile. She is just a friend of Yufei from before. I thought we wouldn't meet again, but unexpectedly we met in this enrollment assessment. Xia Rushua spoke calmly. Honestly, I never expected Yufei to refuse the invitation from the Imperial Capital and choose to come to our Meteor Academy. Does it have anything to do with you? But what I didn't expect even more is that Fang Nan, this kid, also signed up for Meteor Academy with Yufei. I guess it won't be long before Fang Qing, that old guy, comes looking for him. However, Fang Nan is indeed good to your Yufei, but Yufei's reaction to Fang Nan is quite indifferent. What do you think of the two of them? Zhao Jun looked at Xia Rushue again. I never interfere with any decisions Yufei makes, and even if Fang Qing comes looking, it's his son's voluntary enrollment in our academy. 
young people have their own ideas, and it's better for us not to intervene. To the point, how is the situation on the front line now? After chatting with Zhao Jun for a while, Xia Rushue began the formal discussion. It's not optimistic. Now, with the continuous recovery of spiritual energy, we have observed that the birth rate of savage beasts above the diamond level is increasing rapidly. Not only above the diamond level, but also the number of gold, platinum, and diamond level beasts in the middle tier of savage beasts is also increasing. Although our human genius beast tamers, as long as they grow to the level equivalent to the savage beasts and take advantage of the numerical advantage of beast tamers, can easily kill them. But the breeding speed of savage beasts far exceeds ours. If one day the number of top savage beasts reaches 10 times the number of our top beast tamers, humans will once again return to their role 200 years ago, becoming food for the savage beasts. As Zhao Jun continued to talk about the news from the front line, Xia Rushua gradually frowned. I also found some bad news, which I will pass on to you. Zhao Jun sent a set of data to Xia Rushua's wristband. Xia Rushua clicked on it. Her face gradually turned cold. According to the data provided by Zhao Jun, in the past decade, about 20% of the students from Meteor Academy who graduated and went to the front line would sacrifice in the first three battles with savage beasts. This situation is similar in other academies, not just Meteor Academy. What does this mean? It means that one out of every five people will die in battle shortly after graduation. It should be noted that the strength level of their Meteor graduates is basically around the gold level. Yet, there is still this shocking 20% data. It's even higher in ordinary beast tamer academies. Zhao Jun, since you have presented this data, you must have a strategy to deal with it, right? After a moment of calm, Xia Rushua looked at Zhao Jun, I do have some ideas, but I need Director Xia's approval. Zhao Jun's response was just as Xia Rushua had guessed. Go on. Xia Rushua signaled Zhao Jun to continue. I suggest that in the future, students of Meteor Academy, during their time at the Academy, take advantage of the post-war recovery period to go to the front line and experience the ferocity of the savage beasts earlier. It's just that it's inevitable that there will be casualties in advance, and we may not be able to afford this responsibility, and the people in the imperial capital may not agree. After Zhao Jun finished his suggestion, he looked meaningfully at Xia Rushu. He knew that if he were to propose such a suggestion to the imperial capital, it would most likely be directly rejected. But if Xia Rushu were to propose it, those people would not turn a blind eye, after all, Xia Rushu was the granddaughter of that person. Xia Rushu listened while sitting in a chair, closed her eyes in contemplation, her brows furrowed. After a moment, she suddenly opened her eyes wide, a glint of determination flashing through. Wang Lishan. In a few days, you will take the second-year students to the front line. Starting from the second-year students of this year's academy, leave the matters of the imperial capital to me to handle. Xia Rushu instructed Wang Lishan. All right, Dean Xia. Wang Lishan promptly agreed. We can discuss these matters slowly later. The examinees here have already started encountering ferocious beasts. Chen Shu had been watching the display screen. He said to the other three at this moment. Xia Rushu, Zhao Jun, and Wang Lishin looked back at the display screen. In the scene, many examinees had already begun battling ferocious beasts. However, the situation of this battle was truly indescribable. Only a very small number of examinees seemed to handle the attacks of the ferocious beasts with ease. Obviously, it was only a matter of time before they slayed the beasts. The vast majority of examinees still needed to improve their performance when facing the ferocious beasts. They were barely maintaining a slight advantage, relying on attrition to win in the end. Some examinees were momentarily at a loss and fell into a disadvantage as the initiative was seized by the ferocious beasts. Watching the scenes on the display screen, Shia Rushu's breathing gradually became heavier. She hadn't expected that some examinees' reactions to the ferocious beasts would be so disappointing. Chen Shu, were the enrollment assessment situations in previous years similar to today's? Xia Rushu looked at Chen Shu. This year was Xia Rushu's first year as the dean of the Meteor Academy. She had previously been a teacher at the academy in the imperial capital. Compared to the examinees from Linjiang City, the students from the imperial capital were superior in all aspects. Although there had been some anticipation beforehand, the difference was more significant than expected. To Dean Xia, overall, it's more or less similar to previous years. Chen Shu spoke frankly. Dean Xia, I'd like to share my thoughts. I remember when I participated in the enrollment assessment, I was also like some of the examinees, unsure of what to do, so my performance back then was not at the forefront, and I almost failed. But after that assessment, I understood the areas I needed to improve on, and through the experiences on the front line in these years, 
I turned my previously worrying weaknesses into my most formidable weapons. What I want to say is that some examinees may be at a disadvantage when facing ferocious beasts, possibly due to lack of experience, but what humans are not lacking in is the ability to learn. I believe that some of the poorly performing examinees can definitely become more excellent than they are now through learning in the future. Isn't that the purpose of our academy's existence? Wang Lishin smiled. After listening to Wang Lishin's words, Xia Rushu carefully pondered. It seemed to be a reasonable point. Her breathing slowly returned to normal. The situation on Fang Nan's side is as expected. Chen Xu spoke again. The scene showed Fang Nan battling a silver-ranked junior scorpion beast. The beast Fang Nan was fighting against was a deep brown lion spirit beast. Its mana encircled its entire face. It had large patches of red and yellow mana on its body, and its tail end was a cluster of light-colored hair resembling jade or a scorpion's tail. The scorpion tried several times to accelerate suddenly to get in front of the lion and kill the enemy in front with the poisonous needle on its tail. But they were all resolved by the lion's own agility and reaction speed. On the other hand, there was a continuous stream of fire breath attacking the scorpion beast from the lion's mouth. This forced the latter to dodge the breath by moving left and right. After a few times, the scorpion unknowingly entered the encirclement formed by the fire breath. Now the scorpion had no more space to dodge. After a few more attacks, it met its end under the breath. Fang Nan's performance is as steady as ever. Reasonably utilizing the advantages of his own beast to continuously lure the beast into traps and then kill it, not bad. Shia Rushu looked at Fang Nan's performance with great admiration. That beast should be the blaze flame lion that Fang Qing spent a lot of effort to acquire for Fang Nan, this is a rare beast that has the opportunity to grow to the level of a diamond. Just thinking about the effort he put into cultivating the successor and such a rare beast will soon belong to our Meteor Academy, it's truly a pleasant surprise. Speaking of which, that Xu Chen actually managed to shake off your niece, he must have noticed that Yu Fei was following him quietly, his alertness is quite good, I am starting to feel a bit curious about him. After Zhao Jun laughed for a while, he saw the situation on Xu Chen's side and then looked at Xia Rushu. Xia Rushu glanced at Zhao Jun and did not answer. She looked up at the screen where Xu Chen was. I really want to see what makes you outstanding. She thought to herself. Xia Yufei watched as Xu Chen suddenly disappeared. She could only stomp her foot in place. After staying for a while, she left helplessly. On Xu Chen's side, finally alone, now I can start my plan. Xu Chen said quietly. Then he summoned a zombie from the beast space to his side. He watched as the points of other candidates on the bracelet kept rising. Among them, Fang Nan was leading with over 100 points. But Xu Chen acted as if he hadn't seen it, calmly studying the information about this secret realm that Chen Xu had given to each candidate. After looking at the area marked with a red skull symbolizing the beast concentration zone for a long time, he sat on the zombie's shoulder and quickly headed towards that direction. In the meeting room, his beast looked somewhat similar to the purple corpse, could it be a mutation? Zhao Jun looked at the screen showing Xu Chen advancing with disbelief. It does look somewhat similar. Shia Rushu was surprised when she saw the zombie appear. His beast did indeed come from a mutated purple corpse, I know a little about this. Wang Lishin spoke at this moment. Shia Rushu and Zhao Jun both looked at him. I happened to learn some information about this Xu Chen from a casual conversation with Uncle Qi, the vice president of the Beast Guild in Linjiang City, Qi Yiming. Exactly. According to him, this Xu Chen was encountered by him seven days ago during the Beast Master level certification at the Beast Master Guild. Xu Chen arrived early that day, before working hours, and seeing him there so early, Qi Yiming was intrigued and watched the entire assessment process in the monitoring room. He found that Xu Chen's purple corpse not only had amazing strength but also extraordinary defense. Even when he was only at the black iron level, he easily defeated a bronze level red flame tiger. I saw on his information that this morning he underwent another beast master level assessment and directly reached the bronze intermediate level. 7 days. In less than 7 days, his beast went from black iron level directly to bronze intermediate level, his potential is amazing. Wang Lishing recounted calmly. If that's really the case, then indeed he has some extraordinary qualities. Let's see how he performs next. Zhao Jun nodded as he touched his chin. The crowd also looked at the figure on the screen, rapidly moving on the shoulder of the jumping corpse. Ooh, ooh. On top of a mountain peak. Occasionally, a few ape cries echoed in the mountains. Concentrating, one could see many monkeys playing among the treetops. These monkeys were all white, with brown patterns on their backs, brown eye circles and chins, and a tuft of red hair on their heads. The black claws and waving forelimbs indicated they were in an excited state. And on a tree not far away. 
Xu Chen was also constantly watching the movements of this group of monkeys. According to the information provided by the examiners, some information about the secret realm could be known. This secret realm was specially used by the Meteorite Academy for enrollment assessments. Therefore, the ranks of the fierce beasts in the secret realm were mostly at the bronze and silver levels. The highest was only at the upper silver level. And this place called Ape Mountain. The fierce beast playing on the mountain peak was called the Back White Ape, considered the owner of this Ape Mountain. The map marked this place as an extremely dangerous area. On the one hand, because most of these Back White Apes were at the upper bronze level. More importantly, among this group of Back White Apes, there unexpectedly emerged a leader level fierce beast at the lower silver level. It should be noted that a fierce beast at the lower silver level and a leader level fierce beast at the lower silver level were two completely different concepts. It is well known that fierce beasts above the golden level are highly likely to awaken their first innate skill. Is it possible for fierce beasts below the golden level to awaken innate skills? The answer is yes. That is to become a leader level fierce beast. Once becoming a leader level fierce beast, a fierce beast crystal will be born within the fierce beast's body. The innate skill will be within it. And with the innate skill contained in the crystal, the leader level fierce beast can mostly increase its combat power by one level. A leader level ape king comparable to a mid-level silver, along with many ordinary upper bronze back white apes. The level of danger goes without saying. Therefore, the map suggests that examinees should bypass this area during the assessment to avoid being discovered and attacked by the back white apes of Ape Mountain. Xu Chen not only did not stay away from this place, but deliberately rushed here. I've been observing for a while, but still haven't seen any trace of the ape king. There must be an unknown situation, which is a good opportunity. Xu Chen observed the situation of the group of monkeys in the tree for a while. According to general circumstances, the ape king would inspect the territory every once in a while. However, Xu Chen had been watching for so long and had not seen the ape king patrolling the mountain. In any case, this was good news for Xu Chen's upcoming plan. Remember? Xu Chen detailed his plan to the jumping corpse three times. The jumping corpse nodded in a very human-like manner. Action! In the meeting room. I didn't expect him to target the group of back white apes on Ape Mountain. It's somewhat unexpected. The strength of those monkeys is also among the top in the secret realm. Zhao Jun felt slightly surprised. I thought this assessment would only be chosen by Xi Yufei and Fang Nan, but in the end, he was the first to take action. Chen Xu looked at the screen slightly puzzled. It's good for young people to have courage, but it's hard to say whether it's youthful bravado or... Zhao Jun said meaningfully. Next, let's see what answer Xu Chen has for us. Chen Xu looked deeply at the screen. Several back white apes were playing and frolicking joyfully. Crack. A sudden sound came from behind a clump of weeds. The back white apes that heard the sound immediately stopped their movements. Their eyes showed fierceness, and their faces gradually became ferocious. For the back white apes, the territorial disputes among ferocious beasts are very frequent and common. However, ever since the birth of the ape king, no other ferocious beasts have dared to invade their territory. Unexpectedly, invaders may have appeared again now. They slowly approached through the thickets, gradually forming a siege. Just then, a dark shadow suddenly burst out from behind the thickets and fled towards the opposite side of the ape mountain. Roar! Roar! Several white-backed apes howled. Without hesitation, they followed the direction of the fleeing shadow. Swish! 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 The pursuit of the white-backed apes and the shadow instantly caused the forest to echo with sounds. During the chase, the white-backed apes noticed that the speed of the invaders ahead was gradually slowing down. This discovery excited the white-backed apes as they thought they could soon kill the invaders. This made the white-backed apes unconsciously expend more energy to speed up their pace. Unbeknownst to them, they were getting further away from the ape mountain. Oh oh oh! Several white-backed apes noticed that the invaders ahead suddenly stopped moving, thinking they were exhausted and unable to flee. They couldn't help but excitedly scream. At this moment, the dark shadow slowly turned around. It was the zombie that Xu Chen had ordered. However, the white-backed apes had no idea. Seeing the invaders motionless, they all opened their mouths wide, extending their gleaming sharp teeth towards the zombie. The next moment, it felt as if they had bitten into steel. Crack! The sharp teeth broke off directly. Before they could recover from the pain of their broken teeth, a sandbag-sized fist filled their entire field of vision. Bang! 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 A series of sounds like a watermelon cracking echoed in the air, forcibly stopping their pain. The zombie shook off the mixture on its fist. 
Behind it, there were consecutive sounds of heavy objects falling to the ground. Seeing the battle end, Xu Chen also came down from a nearby tree. Looking at the bodies of the white-backed apes, he shook his head. Ferocious beasts are still ferocious beasts after all. He muttered. In Xu Chen's memory, before the revival of spiritual energy, among animals, the intelligence of apes and monkeys ranked very high. However, now, although their strength had increased, their intelligence seemed to have inexplicably decreased. But through this test, it also proved the feasibility of his plan. I will still need your hard work next, Xu Chen said to the zombie. The zombie, upon hearing this, advanced towards the ape mountain again. Soon, each candidate began to notice on the assessment points list in their wristbands that the points behind a certain name were increasing at a terrifying speed. 80. 180. 280. Finally, it stopped at the suffocating number of 1000 points, surpassing the 800 points of Fang Nan at that time, and aiming for the top spot on the leaderboard. What's going on? Is my wristband broken? A candidate looked at the astonishing number on the leaderboard. He shook his wristband hard, but found that his meager score behind his name remained unchanged. After being stunned for a while, he silently opened the chat interface with the assessment official. Hey! Assessment official! I report someone for cheating in the assessment. If it were Xiu Yufei and Fang Nan with this score, I would believe it. But who is this Yu Chen? I have never heard of him. It's fake. It must be fake. This scene was simultaneously happening in many places within the secret realm. Somewhere in the secret realm, Fang Nan, looking at the name that surpassed his own, was still in deep thought. At that moment, a message from Chen Xu popped up on the communication wristband. So far, all the assessment results of this assessment are true, and no cheating has been found. Please focus on your own assessment, candidates. Looking at this message, Fang Nan was somewhat surprised. I underestimated you. Let's go, let's not become a laughingstock. Fang Nan called out behind him, with Kai Chen Yang Lion following closely, heading towards where more ferocious beasts were marked. Not far from here. Shi Yufei also stared blankly at the leaderboard. I didn't expect you to be so powerful, no wonder you didn't let me follow. I can't fall too far behind you. She smiled. Then she sat on a headdress with a blue gem-like headpiece, surrounded by white flowing ribbons. The large feline beast with blue and white patterns on its body, showing a light figure, moved forward into the distance. Xu Chen repeatedly defeated the backthrough white apes one by one using the same strategy. Now, he had cleared all the backthrough white apes on Ape Mountain except for the Ape King. Soon, Xu Chen arrived at the foot of Ape Mountain again. The entire Ape Mountain seemed much quieter. Check the Jumping Corpse panel. Xu Chen silently thought. Name, Jumping Corpse Current Level, Intermediate Bronze Inheritance Object, Jiang Chen Bloodline Concentration, 20% Growth, 25% Talent, Bloodthirsty Skills, Heavy Punch, Iron Bone, High Speed Movement, Agile Descent, Looking at the 25% Growth. A total of 50 intermediate bronze back through white apes provided 25% growth for the jumping corpse, so roughly one intermediate bronze back through white ape provided 0.5%. I wonder how much growth the silver subordinate leader ape king will provide. Hopefully more valuable than the average silver subordinate. Xu Chen said as he headed towards the interior of Ape Mountain. Great strategy. I didn't expect him to deal with those ordinary back through white apes in this way. Chen Xu highly praised Xu Chen's method. The young man is quick-witted, knowing to clear out the miscellaneous soldiers before encountering the ape king. He is indeed a promising seedling worthy of the academy's focus on cultivation. Zhao Jun also openly expressed his admiration for Xu Chen's performance. Looking at the direction he's heading, he will soon come face to face with the ape king. I am looking forward to how he will deal with the enraged ape king. Wang Lishin stroked his chin. It's about to begin, Chen Xu suddenly said. Xu Chen had already walked a considerable distance into Ape Mountain. After checking most of Ape Mountain and not finding any trace of the Ape King, only the possibility of the mountaintop remained. Xu Chen and the jumping corpse quickly arrived at the peak of Ape Mountain. At a glance, there was only a huge cave standing there. Upon closer inspection, the entrance of this cave was much larger than Xu Chen had imagined. It was about 10 meters long and 8 meters high. Moreover, the position of the entrance at this time prevented light from shining in. Looking from the outside into the cave, only a dark picture could be seen. The ape king is most likely inside here, let's go in and take a look. Xu Chen looked at the huge entrance and turned to the jumping corpse behind him. Slowly stepping into the cave. When half of his foot entered the cave, Xu Chen suddenly stepped back. Boom! 
A giant ape arm instantly smashed the spot where Shi Chen had been standing before. The ape king slowly pulled its arm out of the ground. When Shu Chen killed its monkey children for the first time, it sensed Shu Chen's presence. However, at that time, it was in a critical breakthrough moment and couldn't leave the cave. It had planned to wait until it successfully broke through to intermediate silver before settling accounts with the human in front of it. But this human had killed all its monkey children and was now searching for its trace in Ape Mountain. Finally, it had come directly to the place where it was breaking through. This was the biggest provocation to it. For a moment, anger and hatred surged in its heart, forcing it to forcibly pause its breakthrough. Temporarily suppress the pain caused by the pores in the breakthrough in the body. Ambush above the cave entrance. Planning to crush it under its fist the moment this human steps into the cave. Just didn't expect it. This human actually retreated the moment it made a move. It's as if it knew it was about to strike. Directly made its attack in vain. Probing the bushes, I've suffered countless losses before, how can I make the same mistake again? Looking at the shocked expression of the ape king, Xu Chen sneered. Xu Chen also took this opportunity to check the information of the ape king. Name, white-backed ape, current level, silver subordinate, silver intermediate. Breakthrough pores causing unstable level, growth progress, 0%, talent, frenzy, skills, brute force fist, steel tail, ape kick Xu Chen looked at the ape king's talent and skills. Revealing a playful smile. What a coincidence. Seeing this human mocking itself. The ape king ignored the pain in its body. Resolutely launched an attack towards Xu Chen. Good timing. Jumping corpse directly met the challenge. Started a fierce melee. The ape king's brute force fist hit the jumping corpse. However, the jumping corpse had already activated its iron bones. Making banging sounds. The jumping corpse also fought back, throwing a heavy punch towards the ape king. Under the pain, the ape king quickly used its brute force fist, steel tail, an ape kick against the jumping corpse. The jumping corpse also punched the ape king one after another. Bang! Juang Juang Juang! The sound of melee echoed on the open mountaintop. The close combat ability of that purple corpse variant is so terrifying, actually fighting back and forth with a higher level ape king, even gaining some advantage. Chen Xu looked somewhat surprised at the rough fighting style on the mountaintop. The close combat ability is indeed good, but it's too early to say it has the upper hand. The Ape King's talent skill has not been used yet, and the outcome of the battle depends on whether it can withstand the most fierce attack to come. Zhao Jun pointed out the outcome of this battle while watching the Purple Corpses fight. Both the Ape King and the Purple Corpse are already somewhat exhausted, and we will soon know who the winner of this battle is. Wang Lishin became increasingly interested in the outcome of this battle. On the open mountaintop, the Jumping Corpse already had several obvious injuries. The situation of the Ape King facing it was not much better. Blood was oozing from the corners of the ape king's eyes and mouth. Its torso and limbs also showed varying degrees of injuries. The ape king looked at the formidable enemy in front of it. Sensing the injuries inside and outside its body, it knew it couldn't delay any longer. It had to end this quickly. Roar. The ape king let out a roar towards the sky. Countless blood-red gas emerged from the ape king's body surface. The wounds on its body surface stopped bleeding instantly. The ape king's eyes gradually turned blood red. The next moment. The ape king, nearly half faster than before, rushed towards the jumping corpse. Xu Chen watched the figure enveloped in blood red gas charging towards him. He smiled faintly. Just waiting for you to use your talent skill. The white backed ape's talent skill, Frenzy. Frenzy, by releasing its own blood, it temporarily increases its strength and speed, but weakness is that it will enter a period of weakness after the skill ends. If facing a beast of similar strength, the Ape King's frenzy talent skill could likely be a decisive factor. Unfortunately, it was facing the Jumping Corpse, the inheritor of the zombie ancestor Jiang Chen. The Jumping Corpse saw the charging Ape King as if it was facing a huge moving blood bank flying towards it. Excitedly, it met the challenge. The Ape King was overjoyed at the sight. It had no idea of the seriousness of the problem. Raw. Shouting to smash the enemy in front with a punch using all its strength. But as the zombie jumped to within 10 meters of the ape king, its chest suddenly contracted. Then it opened its huge mouth wide. A huge tearing force emanated from it, like a black hole. The blood-red gas covering the ape king's body began to detach and flow endlessly towards the zombie's mouth. The ape king felt the blessing effect of its innate skill crazily disappearing. How could this be happening? The ape king's heart kept screaming, but to no avail. Puff. In a moment of doubt, 
the Eight King's Punch with all its strength also landed on the zombie. The heavy blow, devoid of the berserk blood aura, posed no threat at all. It only made a faint sound. After absorbing the gift from the Eight King, the zombie's injuries had completely healed. Letting out a burp, it glared fiercely at the Eight King. The Eight King felt the threat of death from it. A strong sense of fear surged through its mind. Before it could react, the zombie made a high-speed move. Instantly appearing next to the Ape King. Bang! The Ferminia sound echoed on the mountaintop once again. The Ape King followed in the footsteps of its monkey descendants. When the zombie returned to Shu Chen's side, it opened its palm. A silver-level crystal lay quietly in the palm of its hand. Shu Chen took the crystal and carefully felt it. It was indeed a leader-level fierce beast of the silver sub-level, containing more energy than the one teacher Zhang Wenqing had given him initially. Putting away the crystal, Xu Chen looked towards the direction of the cave. Thinking of the Ape King's data panel before, which showed the Ape King was in a state of breakthrough suspension. There are only two ways for a fierce beast to break through, one is through self-accumulation, which generally cannot be actively suspended, so there is only the second way. Breakthrough with external objects. I wonder if that thing is still inside. Pondering, the two of them walked into the cave. In the meeting room. The scene froze when Xu Chen entered the cave. The scenes of the previous battle between the zombie and the ape king also fell into the eyes of the people in the meeting room. Chen Xu couldn't help but sigh, the process of the battle was so unexpected, the move that absorbed the ape king's blood and energy must be its innate skill. Zhao Jun nodded, indeed, it's an innate skill, to awaken an innate skill at the bronze level, or even earlier. In any case, the potential of this mutated purple zombie is greater than we expected. Do you think Xu Chen will be the first in this assessment? Wang Lishing remembered that he had bet 1,000 points on Xu Chen. There is still a lot of time before the assessment ends, Fang Nan and Xie Yufei also have a chance. Chen Xu looked at the time on his communication wristband. The assessment lasted a whole day, and it was just over halfway through. The final result was still unknown. Xu Chen walked out of the cave. I didn't expect it to be a superior silver crystal, although it has been used up halfway, it was not wasted. Xu Chen looked at the brand new silver intermediate crystal from the Ape King in his hand. Just now in the cave, Xu Chen also saw the external object that the Ape King used to break through. A superior silver crystal. However, due to the Ape King's breakthrough, more than half of the energy inside had been consumed. In order not to waste the energy, Xu Chen used the residual energy of the superior silver crystal to stabilize the unstable silver intermediate crystal of the Ape King at this level. The silver crystal needed for the zombie's promotion has been settled. Now it's just a thousand kilograms of fine copper and a length of 100. There is still some time before the assessment ends. Strive to kill more fierce beasts and win the first place in this assessment. If you get first place in the assessment, the college usually rewards a large amount of resources. This is good news for Xu Chen, who was worried about it. Without any hesitation, Xu Chen and Jumping Corpse quickly rushed to the next target. In a certain secret realm, Fang Nan and Xie Yufei watched Xu Chen's sudden increase in points. Surprised, they also accelerated their pace of hunting and killing fierce beasts. So, how did he do it, you tell me how he did it. How many fierce beasts did these three people kill in the end? The speed at which Fang Nan and Xie Yufei's points are increasing is already exaggerated enough, but this Xu Chen is even faster than them, who is this person? That's right, our points have only increased by 5 points and 20 points, even Fang Nan and Xie Yufei have only reached 100 points, but now this Xu Chen has 500 points, what's going on? I already reported to Examiner Chen that he was cheating, but he actually said no one was cheating. I want to see who this Xu Chen really is when the assessment is over. All the examinees now have one thought. I want to see who this Xu Chen really is. The assessment time is entering the final countdown of one hour, all examinees please gather in the waiting area where you came from, latecomers scores will be invalidated. A message popped up on all examinees wristbands. Xu Chen saw the message and selected suitable fierce beasts to hunt and kill from the map. He also stopped moving forward. Now all the examinees have become numb to the speed at which Xu Chen's points are increasing. It's finally going to end. Xu Chen looked at the points behind his name on the wristband and smiled satisfactorily. First place Xu Chen 4000 points, second place Xie Yufei 3600 points, third place Fang Nan 3400 points, fourth place Wang Man Hua 800 points. 300th place Li Xing 300 points, this is the result of Xu Chen's relentless hunting and killing of fierce beasts. Apart from Xu Chen, Xie Yufei, and Fang Nan, the other examinees with the best scores have only 800 points. Check the jumping corpse panel. Xu Chen silently thought. 
Name, Jumping Corpse, Current Level, Intermediate Bronze, Inheritance Object, Jiang Chen, Bloodline Concentration, 20%, Growth, 85%, Talent, Thirst for Blood, Skills, Heavy Punch, Iron Bone, High Speed Movement, Agile Descent. In this assessment, Xu Chen hunted and killed a total of 50 upper level bronze fierce beasts, 20 lower level silver fierce beasts, and 2 lower level silver leader level fierce beasts. This directly brought the growth of jumping corpse to 85%. If the assessment time wasn't so short, Xu Chen really wanted to max out the growth of jumping corpse in this secret realm. After all, after entering the college, you need to spend points to enter the secret realms. Let's go, we should be able to arrive at the gathering place just in time now. Xu Chen sat on Jumping Corpse's shoulder and rushed towards the gathering place. Secret Realm Examinee's Gathering Place I'm only 50 points away from entering the top 300. I'm even worse off than you. I'm only 20 points away. I regret going so far, if I had spent more time killing a few more fierce beasts on the way back, it wouldn't be like this. Everyone is quite far apart, after all, the fierce beasts in the Secret Realm are too scattered, that's why I'm curious about how those three strong men increased their points so quickly. Especially that person named Xu Chen, who can actually surpass Xie Yufei and Fang Nan, firmly holding the first place on the points leaderboard. When Xu Chen arrives, I want to see if he has three heads and six arms. At this moment, the examinees in the gathering area were all marveling at the abnormality of certain individuals. And not far from them, two familiar figures were standing. One was Chen Xu, and the other was Wang Lishan. They listened to the discussions of the examinees. Not only did you not expect it, but we didn't either. Who would have thought that Xu Chen, a teenager we had never heard of before the assessment, would come first in this assessment? Chen Xu smiled at Wang Yuxing beside him. No. No. I bet 1000 points on this Xu Chen, Wang Yuxing shook his head. Is there more to this? It seems like you were hiding something from us during the meeting, Chen Xu teased. I just didn't tell you about the comment Uncle Chi made about Xu Chen. What comment? This child has extraordinary potential. Wang Yuxing said word by word. Chen Xu was also deeply shocked to hear this evaluation. Extraordinary Realm What is extraordinary? Fierce beasts of the levels like Black Iron, Bronze, and Silver. In the eyes of high-level beast tamers, they are all collectively referred to as ordinary beasts. They usually rely on physical combat and lack intelligence. While the levels like Gold, Platinum, and Diamond are called Spirit Beasts, they have begun to break free from the physical constraints in various aspects. They awaken their innate talents. Their attack methods no longer rely on physical combat but on various elemental energies between heaven and earth. They begin to possess intelligence similar to humans. With the continuous improvement of their levels, their intelligence also deepens. At this point, they come to a barrier, the extraordinary barrier. For over 200 years, whether on the side of fierce beasts or human beast tamers, those who can come to this barrier are considered remarkable. Even fewer succeed in crossing the barrier. Countless strong individuals are stopped outside the extraordinary realm. When they were young, each one was famous and full of spirit. Each one's journey was filled with flowers and applause. Each one thought they were different and could easily cross the barrier. But the result? They all fell in front of the barrier. It is precisely because it is so difficult that once crossed, an unprecedented evolution is said to take place. Some fierce beasts can transform into human form. They possess intelligence no less than humans. Beast tamers will also have various incredible abilities. The reason Vice President Chi has such a high opinion of Xu Chen is that Xu Chen's purple corpse beast advanced from black iron to bronze in just under seven days. Vice President Chi has been in the Beast Tamer Association for so many years, and this rapid advancement speed is the first time he has seen it. More importantly, Xu Chen has far superior combat power compared to peers of the same level. When Chen Xu heard when Yuxing mentioned the extraordinary realm, memories about the extraordinary realm surfaced in his mind. He couldn't help but sigh deeply. There was a time when he also hoped he could cross that barrier. But now, not to mention crossing it, he was trapped in the platinum level without even seeing its qualifications. I heard that Vice President Chi has been outside the extraordinary realm for many years and knows the difficulties involved. Since he believes Xu Chen has a chance to cross that barrier, I also trust his judgment. Although I, Chen Xu, have not become part of the extraordinary realm, it wouldn't be bad if I could teach a student to reach that level. Wang Yuxing was also surprised to hear this. Are you planning to personally lead this year's class? I've been resting for a while to break through the diamond level. Now it's time to do my bit for the younger generation. Chen Shu collected his thoughts and waited with Wang Yuxing for the candidates to return. 
As the candidates slowly returned to the assembly point, there was no sign of Xu Chen, Xie Yufei, or Fang Nan. Chen Xu checked the time. Less than half an hour left. Hopefully, they wouldn't be late. Look, someone is coming back. A candidate pointed in a certain direction and suddenly exclaimed. Chen Xu and the other candidates looked in the direction he was pointing. A blurry figure appeared in the distance. As the distance closed in, Xie Yufei riding the large feline beast slowly came into view for everyone. Soon, she arrived at the gathering place. I've never seen such a beautiful beast. I want one too. Stop dreaming that one should be the rumored water linglong, it only recognizes those with a pure and clean heart as its master, so forget about it. Xie Yufei directly ignored the words around her, looked around, and approached Chen Shu. Has Shu Chen not returned yet? Xie Yufei asked Chen Shu. He should be arriving soon, the place where he hunts ferocious beasts is a bit far, Chen Shu replied. Xie Yufei saw Wang Lishing beside Chen Shu. She also smiled and nodded in greeting. Wang Lishing nodded in response. The three continued to wait. Someone else is back. Everyone looked over. At this moment, Fang Nan rode the blazing sky flame lion from afar. Suddenly, he saw Xie Yufei looking at him with joy at the gathering place. It seems Yufei still cares about me. He said, then patted the blazing sky flame lion he was sitting on. Roar. The blazing sky flame lion roared. It immediately accelerated, stopping directly in front of Xie Yufei. Yufei, sorry for making you wait so long. If I had known, I would have rushed here faster along the way. Fang Nan dismounted from the blazing sky flame lion. Looking at Xie Yufei, whose smile had already disappeared, he apologized, I wasn't waiting for you. Xie Yufei bypassed Fang Nan and continued to look into the distance. Chen Xu and Wang Lishin glanced at each other. It seemed like they heard something breaking. Finally, the figure of Xu Chen sitting on the shoulder of the jumping corpse slowly appeared in the distance. What kind of beast is this again? It shouldn't be the kind of beast I imagined, right? It looks quite similar to the purple corpse, doesn't it? No way, right? When Xu Chen signed up, I happened to see that his beast column did indeed say purple corpse. Is this the world of the big shots? Relying on a purple corpse to randomly kill the ferocious beasts in the assessment. The examinees looked at Xu Chen's beast with expressions of disbelief. Xu Chen jumped down from the jumping corpse's shoulder. He came to Chen Xu. Sorry for being late. He apologized to everyone. It's okay, your performance has exceeded all of our expectations. Chen Xu stepped forward and patted Xu Chen's shoulder, looking at him with admiration. I never expected you to be so powerful now. It's not in vain that you put in so much effort before to advance with the purple corpse. Xu Yufei looked at Xu Chen with joy, overflowing with words of praise. Xu Chen nodded slightly in response. At this moment, a low growl came from the side. Gur, the blazing sky flame lion looked at the jumping corpse and let out a low growl. The jumping corpse also stared back without turning away. Fang Nan knew that the blazing sky flame lion sensed a threat from the jumping corpse. He deeply looked at the jumping corpse beside Xu Chen. Losing to you in this assessment doesn't mean anything. The real show is the new student grand competition in half a month. See you on the field then. After saying this to Xu Chen, Fang Nan left on the blazing sky flame lion. He didn't want to stay in this sad place for a moment longer. Xu Chen watched Fang Nan leave, and in his mind, the information panel of the blazing sky flame lion also appeared. Name, blazing sky flame lion, current level, silver subordinate, inheritance object, Emperor Flame Lion, Bloodline Concentration, 30%, Growth, 80%, Talent, Fire Control, Skills, Breath of Flames, Vortex of Flames, Domain of Flames Looking at this astonishing panel, Xu Chen felt surprised. Fang Nan's Beast actually had columns for Inheritance Object and Bloodline Concentration. None of the ferocious beasts he had encountered before had these, and he thought only his jumping corpse had them. Xu Chen couldn't help but also look at Xu Yufei's Beast. Name, Xue Linglong, Current Level, Lower Silver, Inheritance Object, Lord of the Water Marsh, Bloodline Concentration, 30%, Growth Length, 90%, Talent, Water Control, Skills, High Temperature Water Bubbles, Flowing Water Combo, Water of Life. Indeed. It seems that there are still many things in this world that he doesn't understand. His Kaitian Yang Lion is also at 80% of its growth length, on the verge of promotion. And the new student competition he mentioned half a month later. He should also prepare early. After the assessment, I must quickly increase the growth length of the jumping corpse to 100%, and also find a way to quickly gather 1,000 catties of refined copper. Only then can the jumping corpse successfully advance before the new student competition, 
and strive for more resources in the competition. Xu Chen silently made plans for the future in his heart. Seeing that all the examinees had arrived, Chen Xu also gathered all the examinees except Fang Nan together. First of all, I would like to congratulate the top 300 students on the leaderboard in this assessment for successfully entering our Meteorite Academy for study. And for the examinees who did not enter the top 300, do not be sad, you are also very outstanding. Now the examinees who have entered the top 300 will leave with me, and the rest of the examinees will have a special teacher escort you out later. Chen Xu sent the admission information of the top 300 examinees to the official website of Meteorite Academy, and then led Xu Chen and others out of the secret realm. The assessment journey officially ended. At this time, in front of a teaching building in Meteorite Academy. Senior brothers and sisters who participated in the Dragon Gambling were still frantically refreshing the admission information interface on their wristbands. Why hasn't it been announced yet? I can't wait to know who is the first. Xie Yufei or Fang Nan? What's the rush? Are you in a hurry to lose points to me? It must be Xie Yufei who is the first in the end. Don't be so sure. What if it's Fang Nan? Then you will lose points to me. Impossible. Zhang Hao looked at the senior brothers and sisters who were discussing who was the first in the assessment. Come on. Su Ji. You have to show these people your true strength and let them know who is the first in this assessment. Zhang Hao silently cheered for Xu Chen in his heart. It's out. It's out. Senior Hu Zi was brushing the communication wristband when he suddenly shouted. People who heard the news also gathered around. Fang Nan. Third place. Senior Hu Zi read the information on the wristband. What the hell? Fang Nan is actually third. Then my points are wasted. What about Xie Yufei? She should be the first, right? Xie Yufei. Second place. Senior Hu Zi continued to read the information on the wristband. What's going on? Xie Yufei is actually second. Then who is the first? Exactly, who is the first? Zhang Ha's heart surged with waves when he heard Senior Hu Zi read out Fang Nan's third place and Xie Yufei's second place. Could it be? Could it be? Zhang Hao looked expectantly at Senior Hu Zi. He wanted to hear that name from Senior Hu Zi's mouth. That name. At this moment, Senior Hu Zi looked at the name of the first place on the wristband. He was shocked, opened his mouth wide, and rubbed his eyes repeatedly. He suspected if he had read the ranking wrong. After a long time, Senior Hu Zi seemed to accept this reality. He turned around to face Zhang Hao's gaze. Slowly, he said, first place. Xu Chen. Upon hearing the news, Zhang Hao instantly jumped up. Su Ji, awesome. He ran towards the teacher area of the academy. Xu Chen? Who is Xu Chen? Some senior brothers asked in confusion. A kind senior brother recalled the entire process of the dragon gambling for them. So it's him? I didn't expect him to actually become the first in this assessment. Senior Wang might know some inside information, there must be a problem. Let's go, let's go. I can't believe the one I bet on, Xie Yufei, actually lost. Me too. The senior students saw that the first in the assessment was not the person they bet on. They began to prepare to leave. Wait, let's settle the points first. Senior Hu Zi stopped everyone, showing the payment code on his wristband with a smile. Linjiang No. 3 Middle School. Office. Zhang Wenqing was sitting at the desk, preparing teaching materials for the next year. After writing for a while, he stood up slowly and walked to the window. Looking at the empty playground, his thoughts turned to the students he brought to participate in the enrollment exam. He also remembered his student named Xu Chen. I hope the crystal I gave him can help his purple zombie advance to the black iron level, so he can successfully enter the Beast Control Academy. Zhang Wenchin sighed. After taking a short break, he returned to the desk. Just as he was about to continue working, there was a bang. The office door was pushed open. Lao Zhang. You've hidden it well. There's news from the Meteorite Academy that the first in this assessment is a student from our Linjiang No. 3 Middle School. Class 6 head teacher, Lao Qin, said excitedly. What's the big deal? Xie Yufei had informed me in advance. With her beast control strength, is it necessary to be so excited to become the first? Zhang Wenqing remained calm and said slowly. Xie Yufei? It's a boy named Xu Chen, from your class. Lao Qin said in confusion. Who did you say? Zhang Wenqing immediately stood up, his face full of shock. Chen Xu and the other examinees returned to the open space where the green cotton bird had landed. 
Congratulations once again on successfully passing the enrollment exam and becoming students of our Meteorite Academy. I believe everyone has been fighting with the beasts in the secret realm all day, and must be very tired. So, after I give you a few instructions, you can disperse and go home to rest. First, tomorrow we will mail your school uniforms, student cards, and other items to your residence, remember to sign for them in time. Secondly, the day after tomorrow at 9 o'clock in the morning, our Meteorite Academy will hold a new student enrollment ceremony. I hope you can wear your school uniforms and arrive on time, don't be late. That's all for now, there are many more rules and regulations inside the academy, we will talk about them the day after tomorrow. See you the day after tomorrow. After explaining these matters, Chen Xu turned and left. The examinees were indeed a bit tired, and after listening to Chen Xu's words, they began to leave one after another. When Xu Chen was about to leave as well, a gentle voice sounded behind him. Upon hearing the voice, Xu Chen turned around to see a young man dressed in white with a flute at his waist. It was him. Xu Chen remembered him. He had stood next to Chen Xu at the gathering point in the secret realm. Who are you? Is there something you need? Xu Chen asked politely. Let me introduce myself first, I'm Wang Lishen. Consider me your senior. Wang Lishen was slightly surprised that Xu Chen didn't recognize him, but he still smiled. Hello, Senior Wang. And? Xu Chen looked at him in confusion. I came early to get to know you. I watched your assessment process, very impressive. We may soon be fighting side by side on the front lines. Wang Lisheng said meaningfully. Thank you for the praise, senior. But I still have a long way to go before graduation. If I have the opportunity after graduation, I will definitely look for you on the front lines. Xu Chen was puzzled, thinking it might be too early to say these things since he had just started school. You never know. After saying this cryptic sentence, Wang Lisheng left. What a mysterious person. Xu Chen shook his head, stopped thinking about it, and turned back home. At home. Xu Chen lay on the familiar bed, staring at the white ceiling. The day's experiences replayed in his mind. This assessment yielded quite a lot. I've already obtained the silver level crystals needed for the zombie promotion, as well as a thousand kilograms of refined copper. As the top scorer in the assessment, the rewards should be substantial. Coupled with the money I have, there shouldn't be any problems. After calculating, the only thing left unresolved is the length of the crystal. It's a pity that the assessment time was too short to complete the remaining 15% of the crystal. I'll have to go to the desert hunting area again tomorrow to fulfill the condition of the crystal. I also need to visit teacher Zhang Wenqing at Linjiang No. 3 Middle School. Without his help with that crystal back then, I wouldn't be where I am now. After making some arrangements for the next day, Xu Chen slowly drifted off to sleep. Early the next morning. Knock. Knock knock. A faint knocking sound echoed. A knock, a pause for a second, followed by two more knocks. Xu Chen heard the sound and got up from the bed. He quickly put on his clothes. Opening the door, he saw, congratulations on becoming a student of Meteorite Academy. There is a package that requires your signature. A delivery guy in Federal Express uniform held out a package with a smile. Xu Chen remembered that Chen Su Wei had sent something over, so he quickly signed and received the package. Thank you for your strong support of Federal Express. Have a pleasant day. After saying this, the delivery guy hurried off to the next house. Xu Chen opened the package. There weren't many things inside, two sets of purple school uniforms, a campus card with the name of Meteorite Academy, and a Meteorite Academy Freshman Essential Handbook. Xu Chen put on the school uniform, stood in front of the mirror in his room, and said to himself, looking good. He then took off the clothes and put them in the washing machine before heading to Linjiang No. 3 Middle School. Linjiang No. 3 Middle School. Office. Zhang Wenqing was still bent over the desk working on lesson plans. Yesterday, he was shocked for a long time by the news that Xu Chen had taken the first place in Meteorite Academy. He couldn't calm down. Even now, he still felt a bit dazed. Looking at the slow progress of the lesson plans, Zhang Wenqing stopped writing. Although he couldn't understand how Xu Chen had become so capable, he was genuinely happy for him. As Xu Chen's homeroom teacher for three years, since the day he handed out the purple crystal, this child had endured a lot. Zhang Wenqing had witnessed his efforts. That's why he had given him that crystal. He said it was a loan, but he had never intended for Xu Chen to return it. He didn't want to see all these years of the child's hard work go to waste. Zhang Wenqing was still lost in thought when the office door was slowly pushed open. Long time no see, teacher Zhang. Standing outside the door was Xu Chen. Xu Chen. Come in, come in. 
Zhang Wenqing was first surprised, then went straight to Xu Chen, grabbed his wrist, and led him into the office. Teacher Zhang, I'm not running away. Xu Chen said helplessly. I'm just so happy. You sit first, I'll go pour you some hot water. Hearing this, Zhang Wenqing let go of Xu Chen's wrist. Xu Chen approached Zhang Wenqing's desk. Teacher Zhang, you are really responsible for your students. While looking at Zhang Wenqing's lesson plans, Xu Chen discreetly placed a small box under the desk's partition. I'm just idle, so I thought I'd work on some lesson plans. Zhang Wenqing handed the hot water with tea leaves to Xu Chen. Being your student is truly a blessing. Xu Chen said as he took the hot tea. It's all what our teacher should do. By the way, how did you, relying on Purple Stiff Corpse, become the top student at Meteor Academy? Zhang Wenqing suddenly thought of a confusion, but as soon as he said it, he realized it was inappropriate. I was presumptuous. There's nothing to hide from you. It seems that after using the crystal you gave, the Purple Stiff Corpse underwent some kind of mutation and became much stronger than before, Xu Chen also said, half truth and half falsehood. After chatting with Zhang Wenqing for a while, Xu Chen also got up to take his leave. Zhang Wenqing originally wanted to keep Xu Chen for more conversation. But as soon as he heard Xu Chen say he needed to hunt and kill fierce beasts to promote the spirit beast, the situation changed instantly. He urged Xu Chen to leave quickly, no need to waste time with him. After pushing Xu Chen out of the office, he closed the door. After a bitter smile, Xu Chen also walked towards the city outskirts. Zhang Wenqing, at the window, saw Xu Chen leave. He came to the desk and was about to continue writing his lesson plans when he noticed a familiar small box under the desk's partition. He picked it up and saw that it was the box containing the black iron intermediate crystal he had given to Xu Chen initially. Upon opening it, he found a crystal much larger than the original one inside the box. At this point, Zhang Wenqing already knew what was going on. This child. Zhang Wenqing sighed, a smile appearing on his lips. After leaving Linjiang Third Middle School, Xu Chen once again arrived at the desert hunting area. Looking at this familiar place, he took a deep breath. Let's go. Xu Chen rode the zombie jumper towards a deeper location than before. Bang! A bronze superior fierce beast met its end under the zombie jumper's hand. Including this one. I have killed six bronze superior fierce beasts, providing 3% of the target completion. Next, I just need to kill one silver inferior and one silver intermediate fierce beast, and the 15% target will be completed. Xu Chen silently calculated in his mind. He opened his communication bracelet and checked the location of a nearby silver inferior fierce beast. Then, he hurried there with the zombie jumper. At the same time, outside the Luoyu Academy, two slender figures were rushing towards the direction of the desert hunting area. In no time, Xu Chen arrived at his destination. Not far away, a giant mantis-like fierce beast was hunting its prey. Its whole body was covered in red armor, with two pairs of semi-transparent wings on its back, but too heavy to fly. Under its huge pincers were three spikes, and it had a helmet on its head and armor on its shoulders. Xu Chen checked its information. Name, Blade Mantis, Unknown Mutation, Current Level, Silver Inferior, Completion, 0%, Talent, Battle Overload, Skills, Blade Strike, Triple Blade Strike, Xu Chen looked at the information displayed on the panel about the Blade Mantis. Unknown Mutation. I didn't expect this mantis to be in the process of mutation. It might be difficult to deal with once it completes the mutation. Xu Chen rubbed his chin. After a moment of contemplation, he decided, regardless, let's attack first and figure it out later. He signaled the zombie jumper to move forward. Before the blade mantis completed its mutation, it had to be killed. The zombie jumper nodded and quickly rushed towards the blade mantis. Not far away, the blade mantis had just killed its prey and was enjoying its meal. At the moment it saw the zombie jumper charging towards it, it decisively dropped its spoils and assumed a fighting stance. The blade mantis launched the first attack. Swish. So fast. Xu Chen was somewhat surprised by the speed of the blade mantis. The blade mantis instantly appeared behind the zombie jumper. Blade strike. The zombie jumper activated its iron bone skill. Sizzle. A spark flashed by, leaving no marks on the zombie jumper. Seeing that its proud attack had no effect, the blade mantis. The mantis hesitated for a moment. Seizing the opportunity, the zombie turned around and delivered a heavy punch towards the mantis. The mantis immediately snapped back to reality, dodging the zombie's attack with a backward lean. Then, taking a step back to create distance, it continued to assess the zombie, attempting to find a weak spot. This mantis is indeed different. Xu Chen recalled the unknown mutation displayed on the panel. 
Muttering to himself, Chu Chen watched the unmoving figure of the mantis. If you won't attack, then I will. He immediately signaled for the zombie to attack. High speed movement. The zombie, like the mantis before, instantly appeared behind it. A heavy blow. Blade slashes in succession. The mantis also met the challenge head on. Bang. After the strike, both were pushed back. The zombie retreated three steps, while the mantis retreated five steps. Clearly, in terms of strength, the zombie had the upper hand. But this seemed to enrage the mantis. Hiss. A hiss sounded. The mantis charged towards the zombie. Three consecutive slashes. The mantis rapidly struck at the zombie, three times faster and stronger in the same spot. Finally breaking through the iron defense. But only leaving a faint blood stain. Seeing this, the mantis became even more furious, launching increasingly frenzied attacks. The zombie also fought back. For a moment, the battle between the two sides was evenly matched. Xu Chen watched the ongoing struggle carefully observing the mantis. As the battle continued, Xu Chen noticed that the mantis's attacks became more fierce. Initially only causing minor injuries to the zombie, they gradually evolved into visible blood stains. The zombie's attacks were all dodged by the mantis relying on its faster reflexes. However, besides the increasingly fierce attacks, the red armor on the mantis became brighter and seemed to be dripping blood. If my guess is correct. A sharp glint flashed in Xu Chen's eyes. On the battlefield, after the final clash, the two sides once again distanced themselves. The zombie's body was covered with numerous bloodstains from the mantis's cuts. The mantis opened its mouth, exhaling hot air, while its wings flapped violently behind it. Zombie, continue the attack, don't give it a chance to rest. The zombie, hearing Xu Chen's words, disregarded its injuries and launched another attack on the mantis. This time, the mantis chose not to fight back but instead sought opportunities to distance itself from the zombie and rest briefly. Zombie, don't give it any chance to rest. Xu Chen knew his speculation was correct. He had read a record about the mantis before. During battle, the mantis's attacks would become increasingly fierce, while its body temperature would rise. When the body temperature reached a certain level, the mantis had to stop fighting and use its wings to release the heat from its body in time. Otherwise, unable to withstand the high temperature, the body would explode and die. At this moment, the mantis's red armor indicated overheating. High speed movement. The zombie did not give the mantis any chance to rest, forcing it to evade the attacks. As the mantis's armor became brighter, bang! Finally, with a loud noise, countless blood flowed from the gaps in the mantis's armor. Seizing the opportunity, the zombie absorbed all the blood, and the blood stains on its body instantly disappeared. At this moment, the mantis had no more resistance left. It was directly killed by the zombie with a punch. Xu Chen approached the mantis. The combat power of this mantis is definitely more than just a lower level silver rank. It should be due to an ongoing mutation. If I hadn't accidentally discovered its weakness, this battle would have been really tough. I hope we don't encounter this kind of fierce beast again in the future, Xu Chen said, looking at the 2% reward provided by the praying mantis blade, feeling a bit shortchanged. Checking the time, he hurried towards a deeper target. Just shortly after Xu Chen left, Two slender figures outside the Luoyu Academy arrived not far from where the praying mantis blade was located. Sun Senior Sister, is it worth it for the two of us to take action against just a silver-ranked junior praying mantis blade? Asked one of the smaller figures. Lian Junior Sister, this one is a bit special. According to the communication bracelet, many silver-ranked beastmasters have disappeared near its location. Some silver-ranked intermediate beastmasters have also disappeared. So, for safety reasons, the Academy sent the two of us to investigate and find out what's going on, the more mature son senior sister patiently explained. I see. Let's hurry over then, Lian Junior sister replied. Not long after, the two from Luo Yu Academy arrived at the location of the praying mantis blade. Strange, why can't we find any traces of the praying mantis blade? Sun senior sister looked around, puzzled. It might be resting in its nest, Lian Junior sister guessed. Let's split up and search. We should be able to find it soon. Once you find it, immediately send me the location. Don't act rashly, wait for me to arrive before we take action together. Sun senior sister instructed carefully. Okay, I won't, senior sister, Lian junior sister nodded in agreement. The two then began searching for the praying mantis blade. Why can't we find it? Sun senior sister wondered as she searched. At that moment, a location message popped up on the communication bracelet. It was sent by Lian Junior Sister. Sun Senior Sister quickly rushed towards the location indicated in the message. 
When she arrived, she saw Li and Junior's sister standing in front of two broken fierce beasts. Upon closer inspection, one had been mostly eaten, while the other, strangely, had no trace of blood on it. Even though it had no head, Sun's senior sister still recognized its identity. It was the praying mantis blade they were looking for. Li and Junior's sister, what's going on? Sun senior sister asked Li and Junior sister. I don't know either. It was like this when I found it. Li and Junior sister also looked puzzled. If it was a fight between fierce beasts, there would definitely be some blood on the beast that was attacked. It must have been the doing of a beastmaster's beast, Sun senior sister said after observing for a while. R. Senior sister, then what should we do with our mission? Li and Junior sister asked in surprise. The body still has some warmth so the battle must have ended not long ago. The beastmaster who did this may not have gone far, Sun senior sister said, feeling the temperature of the praying mantis blade. Senior sister, is it a good idea for us to approach them like this? Li and junior sister expressed some concern. What are you thinking? We are going to thank them. Sun senior sister chuckled at Li and junior sister. Just as they were talking, there was some commotion in the distance. It sounded like trees falling. Let's hurry over. It might be the beastmaster who killed the praying mantis blade. Sun senior sister immediately called out to Li and junior sister upon hearing the noise. They rushed towards the source of the commotion. In a forest, when they arrived, they saw a young man and his beast fighting a fierce beast. During the battle, the fierce beast kept retreating and bumping into many trees. This was the sound they had heard earlier. But when Sun senior sister saw the appearance of the young man's beast, she was stunned. Is that the purple corpse? Sun senior sister instinctively felt that she must have made a mistake. In this hunting depth. If it is a purple corpse, it is impossible to survive the fierce beasts ahead. It must be a beast that looks very similar to the purple corpse that I don't know. Senior sister Sun comforted herself silently. When she turned to see what kind of fierce beast it was, her belief became stronger. The fierce beast in battle looks a bit like a dinosaur, with a grey body, a sharp drill cone on its forehead, which is a powerful weapon. It has three claws on its hands, several protruding horns on its head, several spikes on its back, two claws on its huge and powerful feet, a thick and short neck with a helmet-shaped armor on top, a strong and powerful tail to maintain balance, and several lines on the tail. It's the steel horn rhino beast. Senior sister son also recognized this fierce beast. The steel horn rhino beast is the evolved form of the iron armor rhino, although its rank is only mid-level silver. But due to its powerful strength and solid defense, it is extremely formidable among mid-level silver fierce beasts. Even some powerful mid-level silver beast tamers would choose to avoid it as much as possible. Yet the beast similar to the purple corpse could make the steel horn rhino beast retreat step by step. Its strength is indeed very strong. Senior sister son, do you think he killed the blade mantis? Even the junior sister asked. With the strength of that beast, it is not impossible. Senior sister son said, looking at the steel horn rhino beast, which was already at the end of its strength. Just as she was about to continue observing the battlefield, the beast slightly turned its head and glanced towards their location. Oh no! Senior sister son also realized her mistake. In the desert hunting area, although it is strictly forbidden for beast tamers to kill each other, incidents of murder and betrayal still occur from time to time. Presumably, she is now being treated as one of those criminals. Seeing a slight flaw in the opponent, the steel horn rhino beast immediately used all its strength to rotate the drill cone on its forehead and thrust it forcefully towards the opponent's chest. Be careful. Senior sister son also saw the movement of the steel horn rhino beast and loudly warned. The beast similar to the purple corpse instantly reacted. One hand grabbed the drill cone of the steel horn rhino beast, while the other chopped at the base of the drill cone, breaking it off completely. The steel horn rhino beast screamed in pain. Before it could recover from the pain, the beast similar to the purple corpse picked up the drill cone in its hand and pierced the steel horn rhino beast's neck straight through. Blood gushed out as if it were free. The steel horn rhino beast fell to the ground in an instant, struggled a few times, and then ceased to breathe. After the battle ended, Xu Chen also looked vigilantly at their location. Senior sister Sun quickly stood up when she saw this. Hello, I'm Sun Chiu, and she's Lian Hanyu, my junior sister. We are from the Luo Yu Academy, and on the side. Sun Chiu briefly mentioned their task of investigating the abnormal blade mantis. Although they were wearing the blue uniforms of the Luo Yu Academy, Xu Chen still couldn't fully believe them. Besides the uniforms, do you have any other proof that you are from the Luo Yu Academy? Xu Chen remained cautious. This is our Luo Yu Academy student ID card, take a look. 
Sun Xiu, seeing that Xu Chen still didn't believe them, threw their student ID card towards Xu Chen. Xu Chen picked up the ID card. When he saw the exclusive anti-counterfeiting pattern that was the same as his Meteor Academies, he lowered his guard, walked over, and handed the ID card back to them. I see, so I killed that Blade Mantis. Besides this answer, do you have anything else? Xu Chen, seeing that they were indeed senior sisters from the Luo Yu Academy, also responded to them. Nothing else, on one hand, thank you for helping us solve the trouble, on the other hand, it's convenient to transfer the reward for solving the Blade Mantis to you. Can you tell us your name? Sun Qiu also asked politely. My name is Xu Chen. Xu Chen had no objections, having an extra reward was also good. R. Xu Chen. You are Xu Chen. Beside them, Lian Hanyu exclaimed when Xu Chen mentioned his name. Junior sister Lian, do you know him? Sun Qian asked in confusion at Lian Hanyu's excited reaction. Senior sister. He is Xu Chen, who took the first place in the entrance examination of the Meteorite Academy from Xie Yufei and Fang Nan. Lian Hanyu explained excitedly to Sun Qian. So it's him? No wonder he has such strong strength. So the mythical beast is the rumored mutated purple corpse. Sun Qian also recalled the rumors about Xu Chen. It was said that in yesterday's enrollment assessment at the Meteorite Academy, an unexpected situation occurred. Just when almost everyone thought that the first place in the assessment would be between Xie Yufei and Fang Nan, a mysterious young man thought otherwise. This young man then emerged in the assessment and rose unexpectedly, surpassing Xie Yufei and Fang Nan, and won the first place in the assessment. After the assessment, according to a candidate, this mysterious young man was named Xu Chen. And the mythical beast he used turned out to be the purple corpse. Upon hearing this news, everyone was shocked for a moment. After all, the purple corpse, as a mythical beast that everyone looked down upon, was never believed to be able to surpass Fang Nan's blazing sky flame lion, let alone Xie Yufei's water spirit. But reality turned out to be unexpectedly different. Xu Chen actually managed to win the first place in the assessment with the purple corpse. Although there were rumors later that his purple corpse had undergone some kind of mutation, making it exceptionally powerful, the public didn't care about that. They only knew that in this assessment at the Meteorite Academy, a young man named Xu Chen had won the first place by overpowering Xie Yufei and Fang Nan with the purple corpse. For a while, everyone in the city of Linjiang was discussing this influential figure, Xu Chen. Who would have thought that this influential figure would start hunting fierce beasts alone on the first day after the assessment ended? Sun Qian looked at Xu Chen in front of him and thought to himself. But then he realized that perhaps it was this day-to-day -day effort and perseverance that led to his strong strength now. Thinking of this, Sun Qian felt admiration for Xu Chen. Xu Chen did not expect that a senior sister from the Luo Yu Academy would be so excited to hear his name, nor did he understand the sudden look of admiration from another person looking at him. Senior sisters, do you want to exchange contact information? Xu Chen also reminded. Resources are scarce now, even a mosquito's leg is meat. Sorry. I was distracted by something, here is my business card. Sun Qian came back to her senses, opened her communication bracelet, and showed the QR code. Xu Chen didn't mind. After the two senior sisters added his contact information, they bid farewell. Since the Blade Mantis has been killed by you, our task this time is considered completed. After we return to the academy and submit the task, we will give you the reward. Sun Qian said. Okay. Xu Chen responded calmly. Upon hearing this, Sun Qian and Lian Hanyu headed towards the direction of the Luo Yu Academy. Seeing that their goal had been achieved, Xu Chen also returned home. Back at home, after hanging up the school uniform he would use tomorrow, Xu Chen also returned to his room and lay on the bed. Now, I just need to solve the remaining 1000 kilograms of refined ore. After the new student ceremony tomorrow, I can officially start this matter when I enroll in the Meteorite Academy. Just don't know what this zombie jump will evolve into. It's really exciting. Xu Chen was planning the next steps while slowly drifting into dreamland. The next morning. Xu Chen stepped out in the new purple uniform of the Meteor Academy. Just arrived on the street. His eyes were immediately filled with various colors of uniforms. Yellow. Green. Pink. But the rarest among them were red, blue, and the purple Xu Chen was wearing. They were all new students recruited by various colleges this year. And when some people saw Xu Chen in the purple uniform, countless envious eyes turned towards him. Xu Chen ignored them and summoned the zombie directly, heading towards the location of the Meteor Academy outside the city. Before long, Xu Chen arrived at the super large square inside the Meteor Academy, which was used for the new student enrollment ceremony, as stated in the Meteor Academy New Student Essential Handbook. 
In the center of the square was a huge stone platform. In front of the stone platform was the leadership seat that Chu Chen could see at a glance. Many names were written on it, including the name of the assessment officer Chen. However, what surprised Chu Chen was that the name of senior Wang Lixing was also among them. It seems that his identity is not just a senior, Chu Chen thought to himself. But there were already many people gathered here. Among them were many faces that Chu Chen found familiar. They should be classmates who participated in the assessment together this time. As Xu Chen was observing the square, a familiar voice came from behind him. Su Ji! Su Ji! Xu Chen already knew who it was without turning around. Zhang Hao, how do you always manage to spot me accurately in the crowd? Xu Chen turned around, somewhat helpless. That's because the light on Su Ji is too dazzling. Who else could it be but Zhang Hao? It's really something for you to say that. Do you have something to ask me this time? Xu Chen couldn't help but comment on his thick skin. Do you know about the tradition of the Meteor Academy regarding the new student enrollment ceremony? Zhang Hao said mysteriously to Xu Chen. What tradition? Xu Chen actually knew about the tradition of the new student enrollment ceremony. But seeing Zhang Hao deliberately coming to tell him, he didn't have the heart to interrupt his enthusiasm. He he. I knew Su Ji, you don't pay attention to this kind of news. You see, fortunately I came over. Zhang Hao heard Xu Chen's words and smiled somewhat smugly. The so-called tradition is that the Meteor Academy will have some senior spar and exchange friendly with talented new students at the new student enrollment ceremony. The result of the sparring is that the new students will mostly lose. Rather than calling it sparring, it's actually a way to use failure to deflate some of your newly inflated sense of self-importance, which is not a bad thing after all. That's why the Academy has never banned this practice. However, in previous years, second-year seniors were usually sent out for sparring, but who would have thought that this year there are three freaks among the new students, Su Ji, Xi Yufei, and Fang Nan. I estimate that the average second-year senior won't be your match, so there might be some changes. Just don't know which senior will make a move. Zhang Hao also detailed to Xu Chen. But Xu Chen gave Zhang Hao a strange look. Oh? I didn't mean to say that you're a freak, Su Ji, I meant to say that you're too strong. Zhang Hao immediately realized his mistake when he saw Xu Chen's expression. By the way, do you know Wang Lishan? Xu Chen also remembered seeing Wang Lishan's name on the leadership seat just now. Su Ji, you're probably talking about Senior Wang, Chief Wang, right? Zhang Hao also answered. Chief. Yes, as one of the top ten chiefs of the academy, Senior Wang's strength is quite formidable. Suj, why did you ask Chief Wang? Zhang Hao saw Xu Chen looking confused and quickly answered. Just asking casually. Xu Chen didn't expect Wang Lishing to be the chief. He knew a little about the chief. Only the top 10 students in the academy can be called the chief. It seems he knows something, that's why he said those words to me on purpose, Xu Chen recalled what Wang Lishing had said to him. The freshman enrollment ceremony is about to begin. A clear bell rang in the square. Suj, the freshman enrollment ceremony is about to start, I'll go over there first, and I'll show you around the academy after your competition is over. By the way, the freshman seats are right in front of the stone platform. Zhang Hao heard the bell and pointed to the viewing platforms on both sides of the stone platform, saying to Xu Chen. Many senior students were sitting on the chairs there. Xu Chen nodded. Then, following Zhang Hao's instructions, he arrived at the front of the stone platform where the freshmen were located. There were also many chairs placed here. Each chair had a different name written on the back. Xu Chen counted slightly. 10 rows, a total of 30 rows. It happened to be the total number of new students enrolled this year. The most eye-catching were the 10 chairs in the front row. Not only were they slightly larger than the ones behind, but they were also a different purple color. By now, many freshmen were already sitting on the chairs, including some classmates Xu Chen found familiar. Xu Chen also saw the chair with his name on it. It was in the front row of 10 chairs. The sixth position from left to right. Xu Chen then went to his designated seat. However, when he reached the front row, he found that there were already two acquaintances sitting on either side of his seat. It was Fang Nan on his right and Xia Yufei on his left. When Xu Chen saw them, they also saw him. Xia Yufei showed a happy expression, while Fang Nan glanced deeply at Xu Chen. After nodding slightly, Xu Chen also nodded in response, as a way of greeting. He then sat down in his designated seat and looked towards the platform in front of the stone platform. By now, most of the academy leaders had taken their seats on the platform. Xu Chen didn't recognize most of the faces. However, there were exceptions, such as the assessment official in charge of their assessment, Chen Xu. 
Sitting next to Chen Xu was Wang Lishan. Interestingly, Wang Lishan also saw Xu Chen sitting on the chair and smiled at him. Sitting in the position of the vice dean was a middle-aged man with a scarred face, a burly figure, and a strong aura of bloodshed, Zhao Jun. And serving as the dean was a lady with a neat short hair, a face somewhat similar to Xu Yufei, exuding a faint sense of dignity, Xia Rushu. Looking at the somewhat similar faces of Dean Xia and Xia Yufei, Xu Chen turned his head to look at Xia Yufei. Xia Yufei also felt Xu Chen's puzzled gaze. Dean Xia is my aunt, she whispered to Xu Chen. Xu Chen instantly understood. In the three colleges of Linjiang City, the person sitting on his right was the son of the dean of the day of the Wee College, and the person on his left was the niece of the dean of the Meteor Star College. Indeed, to become a genius in the eyes of others, relying solely on talent is far from enough, you also need sufficient resources. It's impossible for ordinary people to catch up with them through hard work, let alone surpass them. Fortunately, I have a system. Xu Chen thought to himself. At this point, a teacher from the Meteor Star College came up on stage to host the freshman enrollment ceremony, and familiar rituals followed. First, the assessment officer Chen introduced some information about the new students. Then, student representative Wang Yuxing said some encouraging words to the new students. Xu Chen, sitting in the audience, felt a bit sleepy. Looking around, he realized that it wasn't just him feeling tired. The senior students on both sides also had the same expression. Finally, after Vice Dean Zhao and Dean Xia finished speaking, it was time for the highlight of the new student enrollment ceremony, the friendly sparring match between new and old students. Xu Chen heard that winning the match could bring many resources, so he instantly perked up. Next, we have the highly anticipated friendly sparring match at our Meteorite Academy. The rules of this competition remain the same as before, with 10 students from the second year competing. They will each take on the challenge of one of the top 10 new students in this enrollment assessment. The competition follows a single non-cycling rule, and regardless of the outcome, both sides will step down to rest. As the teachers explained the rules of the match, 10 senior students stood up on either side of the stone platform. They walked straight to the platform, hands behind their backs, facing Xu Chen and the others. Xu Chen noticed that the order in which these senior students came out seemed rehearsed, except for the senior in front of him, whose gaze was not on him. They were each focused on their respective opponents, indicating that they had already arranged their matches. Finally, any intentional harm or malicious behavior during the match is prohibited, and violators will be expelled. Next, based on your enrollment assessment results, you will each come up to challenge. Now, I announce that the competition has officially begun. After the teacher briefly explained the rules of the match, the new student on the far left of Xu Chen immediately stood up. If Xu Chen remembered correctly, he was the tenth in this assessment. Looking at the name on his seat, Tang Mingho, he saw Tang Mingho leap onto the platform with determination. With a wave of his hand, a huge beast with giant fangs appeared on the platform. The beast was tall, covered in coffee-colored fur, with white hooves. It had a pink, pig-like nose covered in light brown fur, and blue and white saddle-like patterns around its eyes. Xu Chen checked his information. Name, Giant Fang Beast, Current Level, Advanced Bronze, Growth, 70%, Talent, None, Skills, Grand Tremor, Fierce Assault, Giant Fang Thrust Looking at the information on the panel, Advanced Bronze. This strength was outstanding among all the new students at Meteorite Academy. At this moment, the ten senior students on the platform saw Tang Mingho step up and exchanged glances. The senior facing Xu Chen slowly spoke, let's stick to the plan. The other nine nodded. Except for the senior facing Tang Mingho, the rest retreated to the audience, giving them space. The senior remaining on the platform summoned his own beast, a bird-shaped beast clad in silver armor with dark red wings and sharp teeth. It looked fierce. Name, Silver Armor Eagle, Current Level, Lower Silver, Growth, 50%, Talent, None, Skills, Metal Claw, Steel Wing, Swift Slaughter Lower Silver. This senior's beast not only exceeded the bronze level but reached the lower silver level. Sure enough, as I had guessed before, they must have obtained some information about our spirit beasts in advance. Tang Mingho's giant beast can only attack enemies on the ground, unable to reach enemies in the sky, perfectly countered by that senior's Silver Armor Eagle. The opponents must have made targeted arrangements based on the characteristics of our spirit beasts. On the contrary, we are completely unaware of their spirit beasts' information, putting us at a disadvantage. The upcoming match seems not as simple as I had imagined. When Xu Chen saw the Silver Armor Eagle appear in an instant, combined with various previous signs, it was not difficult to conclude that the seniors had come prepared for this friendly match. Xu Chen looked at the other eight people beside him. They also noticed the seniors' targeted approach and their expressions turned serious. 
Soon, not only Xu Chen and his group realized the uniqueness of this match, but murmurs also spread behind them. Tang Mingho is really unlucky, encountering this senior spirit beast that counters him perfectly. Are you really stupid or pretending to be stupid? Can't you see that we are being targeted? Exactly. Our spirit beast's levels are generally lower than the seniors, and now we are deliberately targeted. I just want to advise the seniors to be kind. It is indeed too much. After learning about these insights, the freshmen also cast disdainful glances at the ten seniors, but they acted as if they didn't see it, remaining composed. On the leadership platform, Chen Xu slightly turned to Zhao Jun and asked softly, isn't this a bit too much? There's nothing wrong with it, it can also be considered as a rehearsal for them for future frontline trials. On the frontline, no one can guarantee that the fierce beasts you encounter will not be higher level than you or counter you. Losing here is better than dying later. Zhao Jun also calmly responded. Chen Xu nodded in agreement after hearing this. Wang Lishing on the side looked at the scene below and couldn't help but recall their situation back then, which was also similarly targeted. Due to his strength not being outstanding in that year, he did not have the opportunity to compete on stage. He remembered that almost all of the top 10 in their year were defeated, except for one person. Thinking back to that person's performance at the time, Wang Lishing still vividly remembered it. Coming back to reality, the match began. On the stone platform, Tang Mingho looked at the senior silver armor eagle on the opposite side, his expression somewhat unpleasant as he understood the senior's plan. But if they think I will surrender just because of this, it's not that easy. Tang Mingho said defiantly in his heart. Giant beast, launch a fierce assault. At this moment, Tang Mingho also gave the command. The giant beast showed a fierce look, rapidly moving its legs on the ground, then accelerating towards the silver armor eagle. Seeing Tang Mingho's attack, the senior on the opposite side calmly said, Silver Armor Eagle, ascend to a higher altitude, use the metal claws. The Silver Armor Eagle instantly flapped its wings, lifting itself to a position above the giant beast's head where it couldn't be attacked. Its claws began to gleam with a metallic and intimidating luster. Watching the giant beast charging towards it, the Silver Armor Eagle made a low altitude dive, extending its claws. Metal Claws The Silver Armor Eagle swiftly whizzed past the giant beast's side like lightning. After this clash, the Silver Armor Eagle remained unscathed, flying in the air, while the giant beast showed a three-meter-long scar on its side, deep enough to see the bone. Tang Mingho frowned tightly when he saw this scar, his eyes filled with distress. Tang Junior, do you want to continue the fight? The senior asked calmly. After pondering for a while, Tang Mingho was about to speak up to surrender when. Moo! The giant beast let out a roar. Tang Mingho, who understood the meaning, nodded. Seeing Tang Mingho's reaction, the senior across from him also knew his answer. Courage to continue fighting is important, but sometimes. I hope you will understand this truth later. Looking at the giant beast still wanting to fight, admiration flashed in the senior's eyes. However, if the giant beast continued to fight, even he could not guarantee its safety. Therefore, the senior signaled for the silver armored eagle to make the final attack. The silver armored eagle understood and quickly flew into the sky, spreading its wings and raising its feathers like blades. With a flap of its wings towards the giant beast, steel wings. Feathers filled the sky in an instant. The giant beast's body was instantly covered with dense feathers. The damage caused this time, combined with previous injuries, finally rendered it unable to fight, falling on the stone platform. Tang Mingho approached the giant beast. You did your best. Rest well for now. After speaking, he retracted it into the beast's space. I concede. Tang Mingho calmly said to the teacher in charge of the match. The teacher nodded in confirmation. This match is won by the second-year student. Let's applaud for them. The teacher loudly announced the victory of the match. The seniors and senior sisters in the stands heard the result and applauded warmly. On the other hand, there was silence in the freshman area. The discerning ones could see that the senior had held back. After all, they had entered school a year earlier and were much stronger than them now. The match ended, and Tang Mingho slowly walked down the stone platform towards Xu Chen and the others. Seeing Tang Mingho looking lost, Xu Chen stood up and applauded, breaking the silence in the freshman area. Summer Rain Fei and Fang Nan also stood up and clapped. Gradually, the top ten people and then the entire freshman area stood up and applauded. Hearing the applause, Tang Mingho's eyes regained their shine. I lost. He slowly said to Xu Chen and the others. Xu Chen nodded in response gently patting Tang Mingho's shoulder to show that he had done his best. Don't worry, I will help you regain victory next. A classmate on the far right said. He was the ninth to go on stage. I'll leave it to you all. 
Tang Mingho said and sat down to contemplate. Full of ideals, but reality is stark. However, in the upcoming matches, the ninth-ranked student who said he would reclaim victory was also defeated by the senior with overwhelming strength. Eighth place. Seventh place. Sixth place. Fourth place. All defeated. The entire freshman area fell silent. Now, only Xu Chen, Summer Rain Fei, and Fang Nan had not yet competed among the top ten freshmen. If even they lost, the freshmen couldn't imagine it. We've lost seven matches in a row. We must win the next three. If we weren't targeted, how could we have lost so badly? It's too late to say that now. But, in the next match, it's Fang Nan's turn. With his strength, winning this match shouldn't be difficult. It's hard to say, who knows what kind of beast they will use to counter. Listening to their words behind him, Xu Chen looked at Fang Nan on the right. He seemed to have heard the discussion behind him, looking serious. He slowly stood up and walked towards the stone platform. Is that the vice dean of the Solar Academy? His beast may not be as easy to deal with as the previous ones. What's there to fear? This battle is against Senior Brother Wu. Although Senior Brother Wu's strength may be similar to Fang Nan's, his beast is a counter to Fang Nan's beast, so Senior Brother Wu has a higher chance of winning. The students and senior sisters in the stands saw Fang Nan walking towards the stone platform and began discussing. On the stone platform, Fang Nan looked at Senior Brother Wu approaching. Hello, Senior, I'm Fang Nan. Please guide me in the upcoming battle. He spoke slowly. Vice Dean of the Day Academy, I have long heard of your reputation. Let me introduce myself, Wu Qing. I won't go easy on you in the upcoming battle. Wu Qing responded. That's the best way. Fang Nan nodded. After some exchange between the two sides, they both looked towards the teachers beside them, indicating that they were ready. Both sides are ready for battle. I announce that the match begins now. The teacher finished speaking and handed over the stone platform to the two sides. Come out, blazing sky flame lion. Fang Nan was the first to summon his beast. A familiar deep brown figure appeared on the stone platform. Name, blazing sky flame lion, current level, silver subordinate, inheritance, emperor flame lion, bloodline concentration, 30%, maturity, 90%, talent, fire control, skills, breath of flames, vortex of flames, domain of flames Xu Chen looked at the familiar silver subordinate level. He sighed slightly. It was a pity that it was just one step away from reaching the silver intermediate level. However, he quickly changed his mind. After all, he couldn't compare to him. It was already incredible to increase the maturity by 10% in two days. Fang Nan probably spent a lot of resources on this. Wu Qing looked at Fang Nan's majestic blazing sky flame lion, a hint of envy flashing in his eyes. Who didn't know that the Dean of the Day Academy had spent a lot to bring a descendant of a transcendent level beast from the Imperial City for his son? It must be the one in front of him. However, Wu Qing's eyes narrowed. It wasn't going to be easy to defeat my beast with it. Come out, rock armor lizard. Wu Qing also summoned his beast to the stone platform. The rock armor lizard was low in stature, with deep gray skin, sky blue eyes, several segmental rock armor pieces on its back, each with prominent ridges in the center and circular holes on the sides. It had a few flat protrusions on its lower jaw, with only two extremely sharp teeth in its mouth. Its limbs had a pair of rock rings, dark gray on top and silver underneath. Xu Chen immediately checked the information of this rock armor lizard. Name, rock armor lizard, current level, silver intermediate, maturity, 1%, talent, none, skills, rock guard, rock tail, heavy impact silver intermediate. Judging by the maturity, it seems to have just been promoted. Not only does it create a counter-relationship in terms of beast attributes, but it also exerts pressure in terms of level. Fang Nan's chances in this battle are slim. Xu Chen analyzed in his mind. The captain of Wu Qing's team below the stone platform was also surprised to see the rock armor lizard, which had grown significantly larger than before. He knew that the rock armor lizard had been promoted to silver intermediate. It seems that there is no suspense in this match. The captain said confidently. The other senior brothers and sisters standing beside him also nodded in agreement. Wu Qing looked at his rock armor lizard with a pleased expression. The recent promotion of the rock armor lizard had made him happy for a long time. Come on. Let me see the strength of the descendant of a transcendent level beast. Wu Qing silently said in his heart, looking at the rock armor lizard in front of him. Blazing Sky Flame Lion. Domain of Flames. After some contemplation, Fang Nan made a decision. This match had to be quick. Raw. The Blazing Sky Flame Lions were instantly turned into flames. 
Canvas flames spread out from under the blazing lion's body towards the stone platform. Soon, the entire stone platform turned into a raging fire field. Xu Chen could feel the heat coming towards him even while sitting under the stone platform. Domain of Flames Within the domain, the power of the beast's fire skills increases by 30%. Undoubtedly a very powerful skill. However, while the effect is strong, it also consumes a lot of the beast's stamina. Using this skill requires quickly defeating the opponent within a short period of time. Fang Nan also understood this principle. Use Flame Vortex. The blazing lion raised its right palm and slammed it heavily on the stone platform. In an instant, vortexes quickly appeared around the position of the rock armor lizard. Soon, a fire tornado formed and engulfed the rock armor lizard. Use Rock Guard. Wu Qing also spoke to the rock armor lizard. A deep gray light emerged from the rock armor lizard's body. Layers of rock armor rapidly spread along its surface, tightly enclosing it, blocking the continuous damage from the surrounding flames. Lasting for about a minute, the fire tornado gradually dissipated. Xu Chen looked towards the field. Flames raging. Rocks unscathed. The figure of the rock armor lizard slowly appeared in everyone's sight. Indeed, in situations where the strengths are similar, flames do not cause much damage to rock type beasts. Xu Chen thought silently. Damn it! Such a powerful flame skill didn't even cause any damage. It's too targeted, the rock armor lizard's rock armor completely blocked the flames. Many freshmen also showed expressions of resentment. On the other hand, at the stands, the senior students looked relaxed. A few who were previously worried also let go of their concerns at this moment. I knew senior Wu wouldn't let us down. It seems that the outcome of this match is already without suspense. On the stage, the rock armor lizard slowly exited the rock guard state. Apart from the stamina consumption to resist the flame vortex, it did not suffer any substantial damage. On the other hand, the blazing lion, due to using these two high consumption skills, was starting to pant. Damn it! Is it useless? Blazing lion, cancel the domain of flames. Fang Nan also frowned. The flames on the stone platform immediately returned to the blazing lion's body in the direction they had spread, restoring some of its stamina. Looking at the unharmed rock armor lizard in front of him, Fang Nan furrowed his brows slightly. Even the flame vortex under the domain of flames did not work. Previously, when he encountered fierce beasts, let alone using the domain of flames, they were usually resolved with a few flame breaths. Those slightly more troublesome would turn to ashes under the flame vortex. But now, facing this completely restrained situation, he had never encountered it before. He couldn't help but lower his head and contemplate the way to break the deadlock in this match. I can't believe it, is Fang Nan about to lose? Most likely, I hope Xie Yufei, who will be up next, can win the match. Let's hope so. The freshman also saw Fang Nan's current dilemma against the rock armor lizard in front of him. Why isn't Fang Nan moving? He's probably considering whether to surrender. The senior students in the stands also chuckled. After all, if even the most powerful skill of the blazing lion was ineffective, what other moves could he make? In the leadership seat. Fang Nan's current situation is very bad, I wonder what he plans to do next. Chen Xu said with some concern. This is the effect we want. In the future, when they reach the front lines, they will encounter situations like this countless times. This is also the reason why our academy has been holding this competition for years, to let them understand their weaknesses early on. Let them know that maybe they were outstanding in high school, but in college, everything starts anew, Zhao Jun said in a deep voice. There is a way, just don't know if he can think of it, Wang Lisheng also said in his heart. Xu Chen looked at Fang Nan on the field, who was in a stalemate. He also imagined what he would do if he were on the stage at this moment. If it were me, it would be easier to deal with this tough and thick-skinned thing. Jumping zombies are my specialty. First. Wait, I think I know how Fang Nan should deal with the rock armor lizard. It depends on whether Fang Nan can react in time. Xu Chen seemed to have figured something out, his eyes lit up. On the stone platform, Fang Nan was still pondering how to deal with the rock armor lizard. Wu Qing did not disturb him. The purpose of this match was to make these freshmen realize their weaknesses. Even the flame attack, which the blazing flame lion excelled at, had no effect on his rock armor lizard. He couldn't think of any other skills that could threaten the rock armor lizard. Just then, Fang Nan's eyes widened suddenly, as if he had suddenly understood something. A look of sudden realization. He called the blazing flame lion to his side and whispered something to it. The blazing flame lion nodded. Then it quickly rushed towards the rock armor lizard. What is Fang Nan doing? 
Instead of using flame attacks, he is charging towards the rock armor lizard. I don't understand. The freshmen were puzzled by the actions of the blazing flame lion. What is the blazing flame lion planning to do? I see. This is actually not a bad idea at all. It's really impressive that he came up with it. Some senior students in the stands were very puzzled, while others understood Fang Nan's idea. In the leadership seat. Looking at the blazing flame lion's actions, is it trying to engage in close combat with the rock armor lizard? Chen Xu said in surprise. Yes. Without being restricted by a single attack method, it will adapt its attack strategy according to the situation in battle. It seems that Fang Qing has educated him well. Zhao Jun also looked slightly surprised. He really came up with a solution, well done. But whether it will be effective depends on the specific situation of the battle. Wang Lishing smiled slightly. On the field. It seems he has reacted in time. Xu Chen watched the blazing flame lion's movements and silently said in his heart. On the stone platform, Fang Nan also secretly felt relieved. He was not confined by a single way of thinking. Since elemental attacks are ineffective against you, why not try physical attacks? You can rely on elemental attributes to resist elemental attacks, but how will you avoid physical attacks? Fang Nan thought to himself. Although the Blazing Flame Lion's attack method mainly relied on fire elements, if you ignored its physical abilities because of this, you would definitely end up at a disadvantage. As a descendant of the extraordinary level beast, the Blazing Flame Lion's physical values surpassed those of ordinary beasts. Wu Qing watched as the Blazing Flame Lion quickly charged towards the Rock Armor Lizard. He soon understood Fang Nan's idea. Trying to defeat the Rock Armor Lizard with physical abilities. Not a bad idea, but you are underestimating my beast. While amazed by Fang Nan's idea, Wu Qing also had full confidence in his Rock Armor Lizard's strength. The Blazing Flame Lion quickly reached the front of the Rock Armor Lizard. Sharp and shiny claws extended from its right palm. Following Fang Nan's instructions, it fiercely clawed at the rock armor lizard's body. The rock armor lizard was forced to use its rock shield skill again. However, this time, facing the blazing flame lion's physical damage, it could no longer immunize against the damage. The claws landed on the back of the rock armor lizard, emitting a harsh scratching sound. It's like cat claws scratching on a blackboard. But this attack only left a faint scar on the back of the rock armor lizard. The rock armor lizard also wanted to take the opportunity to attack the blazing flame lion during its attack. But all were dodged by its own agility. At this moment, the rock armor lizard's weakness was exposed. That is its clumsiness. The heavy body brings solid defense but also makes its speed extremely slow. Fang Nan looked at the scar on the back of the rock armor lizard. Obviously, it didn't cause much damage. As expected. The physical defense of the rock armor lizard is also so strong. It seems that in the end, we still have to rely on attacking its weak points. However, this will make the opponent wary quickly, and with more attacks, it is inevitable to be counterattacked by the rock armor lizard. No matter. To win, we can only do this. After figuring it out, Fang Nan cast a glance at the blazing flame lion. The blazing flame lion also understood. Roar. After a roar, it once again used its speed to approach the rock armor lizard. It deepened the wound with its claws at the same spot as before. Trying to break the defense of the rock armor lizard by attacking the same spot multiple times is a good idea. But once or twice, you may have a chance, but do you think you still have a chance with more attacks? Rock armor lizard, be alert, use rock tail. Wu Qing also said to the rock armor lizard. Hearing Wu Qing's voice, the rock armor lizard quickly swung its tail. It focused on the movements of the blazing flame lion. Finally, in one of the blazing flame lion's attacks, the rock armor lizard seized the opportunity and gave a fierce rock tail skill to the blazing flame lion's left front paw. Bang! The rock tail hit the blazing flame lion heavily. It immediately pushed the blazing flame lion back. This blow turned the skin on the upper end of the blazing flame lion's left front paw into a bruised purple color. Obviously, it caused a significant injury. This is tricky, undoubtedly, this will greatly affect the speed of the blazing flame lion, and in the next attack, the probability of being attacked by the rock armor lizard will increase. Seeing the blazing flame lion being hit by the rock tail of the rock armor lizard, Xu Chen, Wang Lishan, and others also had the same thought in their minds. Indeed. In the following battle, due to the injury on the left front paw, the speed of the blazing flame lion noticeably slowed down. While causing damage to the rock armor lizard, it suffered several more rock tail skill attacks. Now, the blazing flame lion not only had injuries on its left front paw but also on its jaw, chest, and other places. The blazing flame lion was starting to wobble, 
showing signs of instability. However, these injuries were not in vain. The scar on the back of the rock armor lizard had become deep enough to see the bone. Blood was continuously seeping out, and a painful expression occasionally flashed in its eyes. Obviously, this mutually damaging style of fighting had a significant impact on the blazing flame lion. At this point, both sides were basically at the end of their strength. Whoever could attack the other first would win this battle. Fang Nan also understood this. Looking at the injuries on the blazing flame lion's body, although reluctant, there was no choice. The battle had reached this point. Victory was just a step away. I must win this match. Fang Nan's eyes flashed with determination. Once again, he signaled the blazing flame lion to move forward and deliver the final blow to the rock armor lizard. The blazing flame lion, enduring its injuries, rushed towards the rock armor lizard, launching the final attack. Wu Qing also did not expect the battle with Fang Nan to reach this point. Glancing at the charging blazing flame lion, whether it was the previous behemoth or the current blazing flame lion, they were both outstanding in beast control. Their beast masters were also excellent. In their hearts, they couldn't help but have a bit of expectation for these newcomers. Believe that in another year, their strength will definitely surpass their current selves. As long as the students of Meteor Academy are like this every year, then Meteor Academy will sooner or later become one of the top-ranking academies even among the 12 main cities. However, that's a matter for the future. It's impossible to make him give up the victory in this match now. Rock Armor Lizard, deliver the final blow to the Blazing Sky Lion. The Rock Armor Lizard also understood. Waiting for the right moment to make the final attack. Finally, the Blazing Sky Lion arrived behind the Rock Armor Lizard. Ready to deliver the final blow. It must hit. Fang Nan looked at the Blazing Sky Lion, silently praying in his heart. It must be defended. Wu Qing looked at the Rock Armor Lizard, saying the same in his heart. But just as the Blazing Sky Lion's paw was about to land on the wound on the Rock Armor Lizard's back, perhaps the force of the movement affected several injuries on its body. In intense pain, the Blazing Sky Lion's attack paused for a moment. Now is the time. Use heavy impact. Wu Qing's eyes lit up, exclaiming in surprise. The Rock Armor Lizard also seized this opportunity. Its limbs exerted force towards the ground. Its whole body instantly left the ground. With an unstoppable momentum, it rammed into the wound on the Blazing Sky Lion's chest. Raw. Under the pain, the Blazing Sky Lion let out a fierce cry. After hovering in the air for a while, it heavily fell onto the stone platform. Losing its ability to fight. The teacher on the side quickly went to check the condition of the Blazing Sky Lion. Confirming that it had lost the ability to continue fighting, he turned to announce loudly to everyone in the square. This match is ultimately won by Wu Qing, let's give him a round of applause. Hearing this result, it was so close. Fang Nan almost won, it's really frustrating. Exactly. What a pity. The freshman also let out a sigh of disappointment. I didn't expect Fang Nan to be able to fight with Wu Qing to this extent. Yes, Wu Qing almost lost, it was really close. The senior students in the stands also expressed some relief. In the leadership seat, Fang Nan has done his best, being able to fight until now has presented us with a wonderful battle. He lived up to our expectations. Zhao Jun highly praised Fang Nan's performance. Chen Xu and Wang Lixing also agreed. Being able to fight like this under the double suppression of attribute levels is already very good. Down on the field, whether the Blazing Sky Lion's level is raised a bit more, or its physical abilities are strengthened a bit more, the outcome of this match would probably be reversed, what a pity. Chu Chen looked at the fallen Blazing Sky Lion and sighed. On the stage, Fang Nan remained silent for two seconds, walked to the Blazing Sky Lion, and retracted it into the beast space. Junior brother Fang Nan, your strength is indeed formidable. If my rock armor lizard hadn't taken a slight advantage, the victory of this match would mostly be yours. Wu Qing stepped forward and apologized to Fang Nan. It's okay, I have to thank senior Wu Qing for this battle, it made me aware of my weaknesses. Fang Nan also expressed his gratitude to Wu Qing. He had relied too much on the Blazing Sky Lion's flame attacks before, neglecting the training of his physical strength. After this enrollment ceremony, he would definitely include the physical strength of the Blazing Sky Lion and elemental skills in his training program. Today's situation cannot be allowed to happen again. That's good. Wu Qing smiled upon hearing Fang Nan's thanks. He then stepped down from the stone platform and went to his teammates. Well done. Fang Nan's strength indeed exceeded our expectations. The captain patted Wu Qing on the shoulder. We did underestimate his strength a bit, the next match will depend on Sister Sun, we must be careful. 
Wu Qing finished speaking and looked towards the only girl among them. Don't worry. Sun Jia also patted Wu Qing's shoulder to reassure him. At this moment, Fang Nan also walked down from the stone platform. Sorry. I lost this match. Fang Nan said to the nine people sitting in their positions. Fang Nan, you did a great job, no need to blame yourself. Tang Mingho and the others also collectively comforted him. Xu Chen nodded as well. Fang Nan returned to his position. Next, it's time to see my performance. Having watched the match for so long from below, Xie Yufei was feeling very frustrated and couldn't wait to take the stage. The next match will be challenged by the freshman representative Xie Yufei against the sophomore Sun Ru Huan. Please both sides come up on stage to prepare. The teacher in charge of hosting directly announced. Upon hearing the teacher's words, Xie Yufei quickly stood up and walked towards the stone platform. After reaching the stone platform, she first summoned her spirit beast. A blue and white figure appeared on the stone platform. Xu Chen also checked the information of Xie Yufei's spirit beast. Name, Water Linglong, Current Level, Silver Intermediate, Inheritance Object, Lord of the Water Realm, Bloodline Concentration, 30%, Growth, 3%, Talent, Water Manipulation, Skills, High Temperature Water Bubbles, Flowing Water Combo, Water of Life, Silver Intermediate. Xu Chen noticed that the level column of Water Linglong's information panel had changed. Just two days ago, it was still 10% away from Silver Intermediate, and now it has successfully advanced. It has increased by 13% in two days, more exaggerated than Fang Nan. Can one do whatever they want with resources? Xu Chen was somewhat surprised. He had not realized that his own 15% growth was even more exaggerated. But Xie Yufei's spirit beast had become stronger, which was a good thing for them. On the other side, the senior students were advising, pay attention to maintaining your battle rhythm, your spirit beast restrains hers, don't rush, you will definitely win this match without any surprises. The captain reminded Sun Ru Huan, who was about to take the stage. Don't worry, captain, just wait to hear the news of my victory. Sun Ru Huan confidently assured. After speaking, she walked towards the stone platform. On the stone platform, Xie Yufei looked at Sun Ru Huan walking towards her. Senior sister, hello, I'm Xie Yufei, I will do my best in the upcoming battle. She said solemnly. The niece of President Xia, I've heard about you a long time ago. Let me introduce myself, Sun Ru Huan, I won't show mercy in the upcoming battle either. Sun Ru Huan responded. That's good. Xie Yufei nodded. After a brief self-introduction, the two looked at the teacher beside them, indicating that the match could begin. The two sides are ready for battle. I announce, the match starts now. The teacher handed over the stone platform to the two sides. Come out. Orchid Sword Flower. Sun Ru Huan also summoned her spirit beast to the stone platform. A pink spirit beast that looked like a plant but also like an insect appeared. The upper half of its head was light pink, while the lower half was white. It had light red eyes, two green antennae, and a green protrusion in the middle. At the top were red pointed tips resembling ears, with white parts on both sides like a hairstyle, serving as additional components of its head. At the end of its white and thin arms was a huge red slender sword, with a white edge along the bottom of the sword. Straight red and white stripes ran down its legs to the small and pointed green feet. The color and shape of Orchid Sword Flower's body and arms gave it the appearance of wearing a long-sleeved dress, while its legs resembled pants. It also had four red wing-like appendages on its back, with white tips. Xu Chen also checked the information of this spirit beast. Name, Orchid Sword Current Level, Silver Intermediate Growth, 60% Talent, Plant Growth Skills, Sword Leaves, Falling Leaf Sword Dance, Sun Crown Sword Slash, I knew it would be like this again. This time it's a plant-type beast, very effective against Xie Yufei's beast. Although I know we will be targeted, I still feel angry every time I see it. When the newcomers saw the appearance of the Orchid Sword, there was another round of wailing. It's here, Sun Ru Huan's Orchid Sword. This is stable. We have all witnessed the strength of Sun Ru Huan's Orchid Sword. Exactly. We have been taught a lesson, the strength is truly terrifying. After a moment of joy, the senior students in the stands seemed to remember something dreadful. In the leadership seat. Orchid Sword. I haven't been at school for the past two years, I didn't expect someone to sign such a beast. Chen Shu said somewhat surprised. Naturally. If you can't defeat this kind of beast in a short time, it will be very difficult to win later. Her strength is also among the top in the second year, she has a good chance to compete for the top ten next year. Zhao Jun said with a hint of pride. Xie Yufei's battle this time is expected to be very difficult. Wang Lishing also commented. 
in the arena. In terms of level, both sides are at the silver intermediate level, Xie Yufei is not at a disadvantage like Fang Nan. In terms of talent, both sides have awakened their respective talents, so it's evenly matched. In terms of attributes, the plant attribute of the orchid sword clearly restrains the water attribute of Xue Linglong, so it is at a disadvantage in this aspect. But Xue Linglong's innate conditions are stronger than the orchid sword, she has a certain advantage in talent and skills. So, the outcome of this match is hard to predict. Xu Chen looked at the panel of the orchid sword, comparing it with the information of Xue Linglong while analyzing. At this moment, the match on the stage began. Only to see where the orchid sword stood. Gradually, tender shoots emerged from the stone platform continuously. And the previously emerged shoots also grew rapidly. Soon, the entire stone platform turned into a field of flowers and grass. Watching the changes in front of her, Shir Yufei was somewhat surprised. This is the talent effect of my orchid sword, it can transform the surrounding environment into a grassland terrain that is advantageous to itself. As long as the orchid sword is present, the grass underfoot will continuously provide life force recovery for the orchid sword. Moreover, the power of the orchid sword is not limited to this. Sun Ru Wan was very satisfied to see Shir Yufei's surprised expression. In her heart, she silently said. Just then, the orchid sword slowly drew out a huge red fine sword from the end of its arm. As the fine sword was drawn out, sunlight continuously converged towards the blade of the sword. After absorbing the sunlight, the surface of the fine sword also emitted a faint gleam of sunlight. When the fine sword absorbs enough sunlight, it will be your defeat. Sun Ru Wan silently said in her heart again. That thing called orchid sword can actually change the field like Fang Nan. It's still somewhat different, one is for damage, and the other is likely for recovery, but this is still very disadvantageous for Xie Yufei. The newcomers saw the changes on the stone platform and spoke one after another. Next, as long as the sunlight gathers, the orchid sword can unleash the sun crown sword slash. It's a familiar scene, I can already see Xie Yufei being defeated by a single sword. The senior students in the stands were excited to see the scene on the stage. In the leadership seat. As the sunlight continues to gather, the damage of the orchid sword will also increase, Xie Yufei must defeat it before the sun crown sword slash. Chen Shu also revealed a secret about the orchid sword that most people didn't know. This is also the reason why her strength ranks among the top in the second year. The sword orchid beast is quite difficult to deal with at this stage, Zhao Jun said solemnly. However, it's still very difficult to become one of the top 10 chiefs with just a sword orchid flower. It also depends on how her second beast will be after reaching the golden level, Wang Lei Yixing added. In this world, when beast masters cultivate their first beast to the golden level, the beast space will undergo a qualitative change. The first beast to reach the golden level inside will inevitably awaken its talent, thereby expanding the beast space to accommodate a second beast. Shir Yufei looked at the sword blades of the orchid flower gathering sunlight continuously. Although she didn't know what would happen after it fully gathered, it was definitely not a good thing. She knew she had to find a way to stop it. Shui Linglong, use high temperature water bubbles to seal off the area, Shir Yufei instructed Shui Linglong. Following the instructions, Shui Linglong spat out large water bubbles into the air. These bubbles slowly rose and then stuck together before extending downwards, quickly enveloping the entire stone platform. At this moment, the sunlight passing through the water bubbles in the air was greatly dispersed, weakening the intensity of the sunlight falling on the stone platform. The gathering speed of the sword orchid flower was significantly slowed down. Sun Ru Wan looked at the sword blades of the orchid flower, indeed not as fast as before. I didn't expect Xue Linglong to have this ability. She is indeed director Xia's niece. But she still has a long way to go to defeat me. Sword Orchid Flower. Use your sword leaves on the water bubbles. Sun Ru Wan instructed the sword orchid flower. Swish, swish, swish. The sword orchid flower raised the thin sword in its hand and swung it forward. Immediately, the leaves on the field swiftly slashed towards the water bubbles. The sword leaves broke through the surface membrane of the water bubbles upon contact and entered the interior. However, to Sun Ru Wan's surprise, due to the high temperature inside the water bubbles, the leaves softened instantly upon entry, losing their original power and unable to break through the other side of the water bubbles, getting trapped inside. Unable to break those water bubbles, even so, it just delays the time to lose the match. When the sword orchid flower's sun crown sword is fully charged, it won't change the fact that you will lose. Sun Ru Wan silently thought to himself. Shir Yufei on the opposite side also understood this principle. This match had to be resolved quickly. Shui Linglong. 
Use Water Flow Barrage on the Sword Orchid Flower. Shir Yufei launched an attack on the Sword Orchid Flower. Water droplets kept seeping out of Xue Linglong's body, gathering around her to form water columns that surrounded her continuously. Go! Shir Yufei commanded. Xue Linglong controlled these water columns to attack the Sword Orchid Flower. Good! Sword Orchid Flower. Use Falling Leaf Sword Dance. Sun Ru Huan also ordered the Sword Orchid Flower to counterattack. Countless leaves quickly gathered around the Sword Orchid Flower, spinning rapidly around it. Then, like flying snow, they slashed towards the incoming water columns. Bang! The two collided, producing a violent sound. For a moment, water splashed, leaves fell everywhere, and a thick mist filled the entire field. Sun Ru Wan and Shi Yufei's hair were also covered with water droplets. Seeing her attack being blocked, Shi Yufei's expression turned serious. It was too difficult to defeat the opponent quickly when her attributes were being countered. As the light at the Sword Orchid Flower sword blades grew stronger, the balance of victory slowly tilted towards Sun Ru Wan. Shi Yufei also found herself in a stalemate. What should we do? Looking at this situation, Shi Yufei won't lose, will she? We can't lose every match in the end, right? What are you talking about? The match isn't over yet, I believe Shi Yufei will win? The freshman seemed to be on the verge of losing again, feeling somewhat desperate. Shi Yufei's attacks have all been blocked by Sun Ru Huan, it seems she has run out of tricks. Now we just have to wait for the time for the Day Crown Sword to strike, Shi Yufei's defeat is certain. Sun Ru Huan, keep it up. Let the freshmen understand that they still have a long way to go compared to the seniors. The senior students in the stands cheered for Sun Ru Huan's performance. In the leadership box. The situation is getting worse and worse for Shi Yufei. Chen Shu expressed some concern. Let's see what this girl Shi Yufei will do next. But even if she loses, it doesn't matter. As the saying goes, it is more important for these children to recognize their own weaknesses than the outcome of the competition. Zhao Jun said meaningfully. You see through it. Wang Lixing also agreed. Down on the field. Xu Chen watched the scene on the field. After thinking for a while, he opened the communication bracelet on his right hand. He sent a message to someone. Then he got up slowly and left his seat. He walked towards the square outside. Xu Chen's departure also caught the attention of the crowd. Why did Xu Chen leave? There must be something urgent. Could it be? The freshmen also discussed Xu Chen's departure. How come the top freshman left? Could it be that he saw Xi Yufei was going to lose and decided not to play the next round? It shouldn't be, I heard his strength is very strong. The senior students in the stands also expressed doubts about Xu Chen's departure. In the leadership box. Ha! Huh. How come that kid Xu Chen left? Could it be that he doesn't want to play anymore? Chen Xu was surprised to see Xu Chen leave. Impossible. With his strength as a mutated purple corpse, he wouldn't give up. There must be something going on. Zhao Jun said decisively. Just then. Buzz. The vibration of a message sounded. Wang Lixing felt the vibration on his wrist. He raised his wrist. When he saw who sent it, he smiled slightly. Is it Chu Chen looking for you? Zhao Jun seemed to have figured something out. Yes. He may have something to discuss with me, so I'll go over first. Wang Lixing had no need to hide it. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll be back. Tell him not to forget that the next round is his. Zhao Jun also had no objection. Wang Lixing got up and left his seat. He also walked towards the square outside. Less than five minutes later, Xu Chen returned to the square. He returned to his seat. Seeing Xu Chen back. I knew Xu Chen must have had something to attend to, he wouldn't give up the competition. I was overthinking, I feel guilty. The anxious hearts of the freshmen finally relaxed. Xu Chen is back. His return won't change anything, he will still lose in the next round. The senior students in the stands were indifferent to Xu Chen's return. In the leadership box. Wang Lixing also returned to his seat. What did Xu Chen want with you? Zhao Jun was curious. I'm not too sure either, we might find out when he takes the stage. Wang Lixing was also a bit confused. All right, I want to see what this kid is up to. Zhao Jun joked. On the stone platform. Xi Yufei saw Xu Chen return and felt relieved. When she saw Xu Chen leave just now, she also thought Xu Chen believed she was going to lose and didn't want to play the next round. However, since that's the case, I must win this match to show you. Xi Yufei looked at the light at the tip of the Lanjian Hua sword on the opposite side. A hint of determination flashed in her eyes. 
she silently made a crazy decision in her heart. Seeing Shia Yufei still not moving. Junior sister Shia, you might as well just admit defeat. Looking at the light already gathered at the tip of her Lanjian Hua sword, which was about 70 to 80 percent condensed. Sun Ruhang also smiled. Sun Xuejie, you don't need to say anymore, I won't admit defeat. It's actually you, Xuejie, who should be careful next. Shia Yufei's expression turned serious. Then I look forward to your brilliant move, Shia Xuemei. Sun Ruhang politely said, but in his heart, he raised his guard against Shia Yufei's next attack. Shia Yufei also called Shue Linglong to her side, leaned over and whispered her battle strategy. Shue Linglong nodded after listening. It's up to you next. Shia Yufei patted Shue Linglong's back apologetically. Then Shue Linglong used the flowing water combo again, forming several water pillars around herself. However, this time it was not used to attack Lan Jianwu, but to surround her. After doing all this, she rushed towards Lan Jianwu. Why is she rushing over again? Does she want to engage in close combat like Fang Nan? After being restrained by attributes, close combat is also inevitable. From the looks of it, I also need to strengthen the physical strength training of my beast body in the future. The freshman saw a familiar scene on the field and pondered slightly. Is Xie Yufei also making a decision for close combat like Fang Nan? After all, once Lan Jianwu's Sun Crown Sword Slash is fully released, she has almost no chance of winning, but now there is still a slight opportunity. Could it be that she has discovered Lan Jianwu's weakness? The senior students in the stands also discussed Xie Yufei's actions. In the leadership seat. It seems that Xie Yufei has found Lan Jianwu's weakness. Chen Xu said with some relief. Although the power of Lan Jianwu's Sun Crown Sword Slash is considered formidable among silver level beast masters. But while its damage is high, it also has a fatal floor, which is the long preparation time. And the physical strength of Lan Jianwu, compared to Xue Linglong, is weaker by more than a bit. Xie Yufei's current goal is very clear, which is to force Lan Jianwu to release the Sun Crown Sword Slash early through close combat, thus reducing its damage significantly. However, while this can make the Sun Crown Sword Slash release early, the Sun Crown Sword Slash has been charging for some time now, and its power is not small. I wonder how Xie Yufei plans to deal with it. The water pillars surrounding Xue Linglong seem to act as a barrier, could it be? Zhao Jun seemed to have thought of a possibility and said with a slight surprise. It seems that the only option is the simplest one. Wang Lixing also analyzed. In the audience. Although the power of the Sun Crown Sword Slash is considerable, after it is released, the user also temporarily loses combat effectiveness. Xie Yufei's decision is indeed correct. Lan Jianwu's physical strength is originally at a medium to lower level among the same level beast masters. Xue Linglong, on the other hand, has a physical strength that is not inferior even to Fang Nan's Blazing Sky Flame Lion, so bullying Lan Jianwu should not be a problem. The biggest problem now is how to deal with the Sun Crown Sword Slash. Judging from Xue Yufei's appearance, it seems she wants to rely on Xue Linglong's physical strength to resist it. As Xu Chen recalled the skill introduction on Lan Jianwu's information panel, he also admired Xie Yufei's courage. On the stone platform, Sun Ruhang watched as Xue Linglong swiftly approached Lan Jianwu. He also appeared slightly flustered. However, he quickly adjusted. Lan Jianwu. Use the falling leaf sword dance. Lan Jianwu once again manipulated the falling leaves on the field to slash towards Xue Linglong. However, the falling leaf sword dance hit the water pillar next to Xue Linglong and was instantly neutralized. At this moment, Xue Linglong successfully arrived by Lan Jianwu's side. As soon as she arrived, she revealed her sharp claws. Launching a fierce attack against Lan Jianwu. With her agile body control and sharp reaction speed, she dodged several of Lan Jianwu's slashes. Fully demonstrating the characteristics of a feline beastmaster. With a body strength stronger than Lan Jianwu's, Water Linglong managed to force Lan Jianhua into retreat for a moment. Soon, Lan Jianhua had several scars on her body from Water Linglong's attacks. Seeing the scene on the field, Sun Ruhuan also felt anxious. Seeing the light gathering at the blade of Lan Jianhua's sword, she hesitated whether to release it or not. Seeing Sun Ruhuan hesitating, Xi Yufei decided to urge her on. Water Linglong, increase the attack pace and end this quickly. Xi Yufei gave instructions to Water Linglong again. Water Linglong nodded and began to accelerate her attack frequency. Soon, new scars appeared on Lan Jianwu's body again. As the injuries on Lan Jianwu's body increased, Sun Ruhuan finally made a decision. Lan Jianhua. Use the Sun Crown Sword Slash on Water Linglong. Sun Ruhuan couldn't hold back anymore and shouted at Lan Jianhua. 
Hearing Sun Ruhuan's words, Lan Jianwu could no longer contain her anger. She slowly raised the slender sword in her hand, generating a dazzling sword slash as wide as the entire stone platform. Sun Cran sword slash. Lan Jianwu fiercely swung the slender sword in her hand towards Water Linglong. The terrifying Sun Crown Sword Slash swiftly moved towards Water Linglong. Water Linglong, defend with all your might. Xi Yufei urgently shouted upon seeing the situation. Water Linglong, prepared for the attack, used the water flow combo to counter the Sun Crown Sword Slash. At the same time, she gathered all the high temperature water bubbles around the area in front of her, forming a barrier. In the blink of an eye, the Sun Crown Sword Slash collided with the water flow combo, making a loud impact sound. The Sun Crown Sword Slash shattered upon contact with the Water Flow combo. However, it continued its momentum towards Water Linglong. As it reached the high temperature water bubble barrier, the Sun Crown Sword Slash instantly broke through the first bubble. The second one. The third one. After breaking countless water bubbles, the dazzling light of the Sun Crown Sword Slash dimmed slightly. Its power was not as strong as before, but still formidable. Eventually, it struck Water Linglong solidly. Water Linglong let out a sharp cry as the Sun Crown Sword Slash hit her. The Sword Slash pushed Water Linglong from Sun Ruhuan's side all the way to Xi Yufei's side before slowly dissipating. It left a long trench on the stone platform. Dust filled the air instantly, shrouding the scene. As the dust settled, everyone could see Water Linglong lying at the end of the trench, with a massive sword wound visible on her body, revealing her bones. She seemed to have passed out. It's over. It's all over. Xi Yufei is going to lose. Don't panic. The teacher hasn't announced the result yet. Xi Yufei hasn't admitted defeat, so how can we give up first? Some of the new students felt despair when they saw Water Linglong lying in the trench. It hit. This match should be won. Right. As long as we defeat that new student named Xu Chen next, this exchange match will come to a perfect end. Har har. An end. Isn't that? The senior students in the stands had already started celebrating the match. In the leadership seats, Chen Xu said with some anticipation, Water Linglong seems to be seriously injured. I wonder if she can stand up again. The damage caused by Lan Jian was Sun Crown Sword Slash to Water Linglong is significant. Whether she can stand up again depends on her own will. However, Fang Nan and Xi Yufei were able to fight to this extent under restraint, which was beyond our expectations. Zhao Jun recalled the performance of Fang Nan and Xi Yufei, feeling very pleased. When I was their age, I was not as good as them. Truly talented individuals emerge in every generation. I am looking forward to the next match with Xu Chen, Wang Lishin curiously said. Below the stage. Xi Yufei actually chose to directly confront to determine the outcome of the match. It seems she is pinning her hopes on that skill. If she can use it, she will win the match. If she can't use it, the match is lost. Xu Chen seemed to have figured out Xia Yufei's plan. On the stone platform, Xia Yufei looked at Xue Linglong lying in the gully, feeling very distressed. But now is not the time to be distressed. As long as Xue Linglong can wake up, using that skill can win the match. Xue Linglong. You must wake up. Xia Yufei prayed silently in her heart for Xue Linglong. Across from her. It seems she has lost her fighting ability. I will ultimately win this match. Sun Ruhang looked at Xue Linglong lying in the gully across from him, also expressing joy in his heart. At this moment, the teacher quickly climbed onto the stone platform and reached Xue Linglong's position. After a check, it was confirmed that Xue Linglong had fallen into a coma. Nodding towards Xie Yufei. Seeing the teacher's actions, Xie Yufei knew she had lost the match in the end. Sun Ruhang breathed a long sigh of relief in his heart. Xue Linglong had put a lot of pressure on Lan Jianhua in this match. She almost lost. The teacher stood up and slowly walked to the center of the stone platform. Loudly announced, this match is ultimately won by Sunday, before the teacher could finish speaking. Ying. Perhaps hearing Xia Yufei's prayer, a clear voice interrupted the teacher's announcement. Hearing the voice, Xia Yufei instantly came to Xue Linglong's side. Looking at it with a face full of surprise. At this moment, Xue Linglong slowly opened her eyes. After staggering for a while, she steadied herself. Xie Yufei asked Xue Linglong if she could use that skill. Xue Linglong nodded. Xue Linglong, use the water of life. Xie Yufei said joyfully. Then, Xue Linglong seemed to be standing on a calm lake surface. With a slight movement, ripples appeared under her feet. Gradually, green light kept emerging from the lake surface. 
Soon, it filled the lake's surface under her feet. Finally, the fluorescence broke through the surface of the lake, washing the sword wounds on Shui Linglong's body continuously. With each wash, the huge sword wound on Shui Linglong's body healed rapidly to the naked eye. In no time, nearly half of the injuries were restored. Due to the healing of the sword wound, Shui Linglong stood on the stone platform again. Sun Ruhang looked at Shui Linglong, who had regained her combat ability in front of him, and was very shocked. Seeing this state, it seemed that she had regained a lot of strength. Looking at his own Lan Jianwu, who had already entered a weak period, he sighed slightly. Knowing that there was no suspense in this match. I admit defeat. He said helplessly to the teacher. After confirming again, the teacher announced the result of the match to the audience. This match is ultimately won by Xie Yufei, let's give her a round of applause. As soon as this was said. Oh oh oh. Xie Yufei won. We won. We finally won. The freshman instantly entered a joyful ocean upon hearing this news. We lost. We actually lost. I didn't expect Xie Yufei's beast tamer to have such a skill, no wonder she dared to directly confront Lan Jianwu's sun crown sword slash. The senior brothers and sisters in the stands were somewhat incredulous about the outcome of the match. Some understood Xie Yufei's thoughts. In the leadership seat. Xie Yufei actually won, I really didn't expect that, Chen Xu seemed somewhat surprised. Her on-the-spot decision-making in this match was good, and after realizing that she couldn't delay, she timely discovered Lan Jianwu's weakness. By using close combat attack methods to force Lan Jianwu to release the Sun Crown Sword Slash early, reducing its power, and then directly taking on this damage. Finally, taking advantage of Lan Jianwu entering a weak period, using healing skills to restore her own combat power, thus winning the match. Although there was a bit of luck involved, it cannot be denied that she seized the fleeting opportunity in the battle, which was indeed good. Zhao Jun highly praised Xi Yufei's performance. Xi Yufei won this match, so the pressure is now on Xu Chen. I'm curious to see how he plans to defeat He Shuedi. You know, his strength is even stronger than Sun Ruhuan's. Wang Lixing looked at Xu Chen below the stage. Below the stage. Xi Yufei won, so now it's my turn. Xu Chen heard the result of the match. On the stone platform. Junior Xia, indeed formidable, I admit defeat to you with all my heart. Sun Ru Huan also walked up to Xie Yufei. It's just luck. Senior sister is also very powerful. Xie Yufei modestly responded. With you all here, we can rest assured about the upcoming three academies freshman grand competition. Sun Ru Huan nodded. Rest assured, senior sister Sun, we will definitely take first place. Xie Yufei also replied confidently. Sun Ru Huan received Xie Yufei's affirmative answer and then walked down from the stone platform. She came to her captain's side. I'm sorry. Captain. I lost. Sun Ru Huan said apologetically. It's okay, winning and losing in a match is normal. And losing to our own academy's junior and senior students, it's actually a good thing. The captain also comforted Sun Ru Huan. Then, captain, do you plan to lose too? Sun Ru Huan joked upon hearing this. As long as that Xu Chen can properly defeat me, I'll be happy to lose. But, he has to defeat me first. As the captain said this, her attention shifted to Xu Chen. Xu Chen also noticed the captain's gaze. Their eyes met in the air. Seeing the match end. Xie Yufei also retrieved Xue Linglong into her beast space. She then slowly descended from the stone platform. Walking towards her position. At the moment she sat down in her position. Cheers from the freshmen behind her also rang out warmly. Yufei, you're amazing, being able to defeat your opponent even when your attributes are restrained. This match really made us proud. As soon as Xie Yufei returned, Fang Nan immediately congratulated her. It's just luck. Actually, senior sister was lenient with me, otherwise I wouldn't have had time to come up with a strategy. Besides, this match isn't over yet, we can't slack off just because of one victory. And the opponent in the next match will definitely be the strongest among the opponents. Xu Chen, your pressure should be the greatest among us, you must fight hard in this match. Xie Yufei encouraged Xu Chen while looking at him. Okay. After a faint response from Xu Chen, he also stood up and headed towards the stone platform. On the other side, in the preparation area. Captain. It's your turn to perform next. The other nine also joked one after another. Since Xu Chen was able to surpass Fang Nan and Xu Yufei to become the first in the entrance assessment, he must have outstanding abilities. I estimate that winning this match won't be too easy. Captain he mentioned by Wang Lishing also shared his opinion. Winning won't be too easy, it seems the captain is very confident about the match, 
so we can rest assured. The players also heard the key points in the captain's words and started laughing. Har har har. Captain he also burst into laughter at the words. Then he walked towards the stone platform. The next match will be between freshman representative Xu Chen challenging sophomore He Tong Chen. Both sides, please come up on stage to prepare. At this moment, the teacher in charge of hosting also spoke directly. On the stone platform, Captain He and Xu Chen slowly walked from the sides of the platform to the center, facing each other. Introduce yourself, He Tong Chen. I have heard that the first place in this year's freshman entrance assessment was actually achieved by a common candidate. I know about Fang Nan, the deputy dean of the Daybreak Academy, Director Fang has invested quite a bit in him. And Xiu Yufei, the niece of Director Xia of the Meteorite Academy, has received more resources than Fang Nan. On the other hand, you have no background, yet you managed to take the first place from Fang Nan and Xiu Yufei. I really can't figure it out, so, let me see what extraordinary abilities you have. After He Tong Chen finished speaking, he looked expectantly at Xu Chen. Xu Chen also locked eyes with He Tong Chen. Xu Chen. Let's do as Captain He wishes. All right. After saying that, He Tong Chen and Xu Chen looked at the teacher together, indicating that the match could begin. The teacher also came to the center of the stone platform. The two sides are ready for battle. I announce, the match starts now. After announcing loudly to the crowd, he handed over the stone platform to the two sides. Come out. Queen Bee. A bee-shaped spirit beast was summoned by He Tong Chen. Its eyes were red, with white pupils, and above the eyes, there was a structure resembling a ruby. On the sides of its face, there were small wings in orange. Its hands and body were black, with a structure resembling a skirt at the lower end of the body, which was yellow with black stripes and inwardly concave at the end. From below, their skirt looked very much like a beehive. The lower end of their hive concealed a light yellow, pointed structure similar to an insect's body, with two black claws. Xu Chen also checked the information of the spirit beast in front of him. Name, Queen Bee, Current Level, Advanced Silver, Growth, 20%, Talent, Superbirth, Skills, Insect Devour, Queen Bee Command, Insect Burst, Advanced Silver. Xu Chen didn't expect He Tong Chen to have raised the level of the spirit beast to Advanced Silver in the early sophomore year. By this time next year, this captain he might be able to raise the level of this Queen Bee to Advanced Gold. Or even further, to Advanced Platinum then he will truly have the strength to challenge the top 10 chiefs of the new academy. Since Xu Chen learned that Wang Lishin was one of the top 10 chiefs of the academy last time, he also obtained some related information from Zhang Hao. The current levels of the spirit beasts of the top 10 chiefs of the academy are all not lower than advanced gold. The top 5 are all at the platinum level. Among them, Wang Lishin ranks 5th. However, if it was half an hour ago, it would have been difficult for the queen bee to be attacked by the jumping corpse due to its flying ability and long-range consumption ability. But now it's different. Let's see how strong the jumping corpse is after evolving. Come out. Red Armored Copper Corpse. Xu Chen looked at the skill introduction of the queen bee, his eyes narrowed, silently reciting in his mind. A huge figure slowly appeared beside Xu Chen. Look. What kind of spirit beast is that? We didn't see this during the assessment. Yeah. Wasn't his spirit beast the purple corpse? The freshmen were shocked to see the summoned beast by Xu Chen. Isn't his beast supposed to be the purple corpse according to the information? What kind of beast is this? This definitely isn't the purple corpse. What on earth is going on here? The senior students in the stands were also astonished by the appearance of the beast on the field. In the leadership box. Is this the surprise Xu Chen said he would give us? Chen Xu stood up instantly when he saw Xu Chen's beast appear looking towards the stone platform. Indeed, it can be considered a huge surprise. I knew before that his mutated purple corpse had great potential, but I never expected it to be this significant. Zhao Jun couldn't maintain his composure while looking at Xu Chen's beast. If we didn't see it wrong, his purple corpse should not have mutated. Instead, it has undergone. Wang Lishin had some guesses. Bloodline reversion. Xia Rushua spoke for the first time after pondering. She had seen all the previous matches. Even the results of the matches between Fang Nan and Xia Yufei were within her expectations. However, the changes in Xu Chen's beast on the field were beyond her expectations. It was indeed a very harsh situation for a beast's bloodline to undergo bloodline reversion. There are only three ways for a beast to undergo bloodline reversion, and only two of them are reliable. The first way is to find celestial materials and treasures that match the beast's attributes. Once found, simply feed it to the beast. 
Of course, the probability of undergoing bloodline reversion after one feeding is almost impossible. Since one feeding is not enough, feed it a second time. Keep feeding until the beast undergoes bloodline reversion. This method is simple and effective, but the consumption is enormous. Even some major families in the imperial capital have to think twice. The second way is similar to Fang Nan and Shi Yufei. When a transcendent beast tamer's beast has offspring, signing a contract with the cub can give you a beast that has undergone bloodline reversion. Transcendent beast tamers are already high-ranking in the Federation. Why would they give you their beast's offspring? So, whether it's Fang Nan's Blazing Sky Flame Lion or Shi Yufei's Water Linglong, they have paid a great price behind the scenes. The third way is like the situation with Xu Chen now. Without relying on any celestial materials and treasures, or needing to find transcendent cubs, relying solely on luck to undergo bloodline reversion. That's how bold it is. But to say the probability of this method is one in a billion is not an exaggeration. Yet, it happened on Xu Chen's beast at this moment. The shock of everyone can be imagined. He Tong Chen looked at the beast next to Xu Chen. It was burly, about four meters long. Its body was covered with red scale-like substances in important areas. With a fierce face and sharp fangs, it exuded a fierce aura. The muscles on its limbs were extremely developed, giving off a strong sense of power. Just standing there gave the opponent immense pressure. He Tong Chen looked at the beast, which was completely different from the information. Although he knew it was unlikely, he still had some guesses. The information shows that your beast is the purple corpse, but now it doesn't look anything like the purple corpse. Could it be undergoing bloodline reversion? After a moment of contemplation, he slowly spoke to Xu Chen. I'm not sure either, but it seems so. He Tong Chen was not sure about others, but the senior management of the academy would definitely be able to see it, and there was nothing to hide. After receiving the answer from Xu Chen, He Tong Chen was also extremely shocked. It really underwent bloodline reversion. He was also clear about the three major ways. In Xu Chen's case, it was obviously not the celestial materials and treasures or cub approach. It could only be the third method, which was also the least likely. Thinking of this, He Tong Chen also cast an envious look at Xu Chen. Because of the great difficulty of bloodline reversion, the benefits to the beast were also immense. The first point is the enhancement of the strength of the spirit beasts. Once the atavism of bloodlines is carried out, the physical strength of the spirit beasts will be significantly improved. Fang Nan and Xie Yufei's spirit beasts have much stronger physical strength than ordinary spirit beasts. In addition to the improvement in physical strength, there is also an enhancement in skill effects. The flame domain of the blazing sky lion and the water of life of the water linglong are examples. Don't be fooled by the fact that their spirit beasts struggled in the first two battles. That's because their levels or attributes were restrained. If it weren't for the atavism of bloodlines, they would have been crushed and defeated just like the previous seven. Another point is that the enhancement of spirit beasts through atavism is not obvious at low levels. By the time they reach the golden level, there will be a significant gap between the two types of spirit beasts. By the time they reach the transcendent realm, the difference between them can only be described as heaven and earth. The second point is also the most important one. The enhancement of the potential of the spirit beasts. For hundreds of years, countless diamond-level spirit beasts have been stuck at the bottleneck and unable to advance to the transcendent level. The most important reason is that they have not undergone atavism of bloodlines. Of course, there are definitely other reasons. But one thing is certain, spirit beasts cannot advance to the transcendent level without undergoing atavism of bloodlines. As long as Xu Chen nurtures the purple corpse well, it is equivalent to having half a ticket to the transcendent level in advance. Even if his purple corpse undergoes atavism of bloodlines, he is not necessarily going to lose. The attributes of the queen be perfectly counter the purple corpse. As long as one is careful, victory is entirely possible through attrition. He Tong Chen collected his thoughts and also formulated a strategy in his mind. Shu Junior brother, since your spirit beast has undergone atavism of bloodlines, I'm sure its strength has improved significantly. I won't show any mercy in the upcoming battle. Queen B. Use insect devour. He Tong Chen commanded his spirit beast to attack the purple corpse. Upon hearing this, the queen bee flew about 50 meters above the ground. Using its innate skill, it gave birth to countless larvae crawling out from the hive below. Buzzing. The sound of their wings flapping loudly. They gathered around the queen bee, forming a dense, dark cloud. After a brief assembly, under the command of the queen bee, they swiftly flew towards the copper armored corpse. Before the copper armored corpse could react, it was covered by layer upon layer of larvae. Now is the time. Use insect burst. He Tong Chen seized the opportunity and ordered the queen bee. 
The queen bee buzzed in response. The next moment, the lavi covering the copper-armored corpse's body collectively exploded. Boom, boom, boom. At the moment of the lavi's explosion, faint ripples passed through the surface of the copper-armored corpse's body. The black smoke produced by the lavi's explosion engulfed the copper-armored corpse. Slowly, as the black smoke dissipated, the figure of the copper-armored corpse reappeared in the center of the stone platform. Its scales were still intact. Damn! Such a violent explosion didn't even harm Xu Chen's spirit beast in the slightest. The gap between the two sides seems quite significant. I almost thought Xu Chen was the senior. The new students were shocked to see Xu Chen's spirit beast unscathed. The fact that the queen bee's insect burst didn't cause any damage. Is this some kind of trick? That Xu Chen's spirit beast's defense is too abnormal. I would believe it if you said it was a golden level spirit beast. The senior students in the audience could hardly believe their eyes. In the leadership seat, after Xu Chen's spirit beast underwent atavism of bloodlines, was its defense strength enhanced? Chen Xu was secretly surprised by the terrifying defense of Xu Chen's spirit beast. It should be. The ripples that appeared on its body surface when the lavi exploded should have reduced the damage from the explosion. Coupled with He Tongchen's incomplete understanding of Xu Chen's spirit beast's talents, it resulted in this exaggerated effect on the field. Zhao Jun also recalled the scene where Xu Chen's spirit beast directly absorbed the talent of the Ape King. Indeed. But it cannot be denied that our Meteor Academy has added another trump card in this year's three major college freshman competition. Wang Yuxing also smiled. This year's college resources can consider tilting towards Xu Chen a bit. Xia Rushua looked at the red armored bronze corpse on the field, pondered for a moment, and slowly spoke. A beast that has undergone a bloodline reversion is worthy of being heavily cultivated by the Meteor Academy. Chen Xu, Zhao Jun, and Wang Yuxing all nodded in agreement. As a top 5 chief like Wang Yuxing, he can already participate in some of the college's decisions. On the stone platform. How is this possible? He Tong Chen is very familiar with the power of the insect burst. He couldn't understand why it was neutralized by the other party. Showing an incredulous expression. Compared to He Tong Chen's shock, Chu Chen looked at the situation of the red armored bronze corpse. He was very satisfied. Senior He, it's my turn to attack next, so you better be careful. Red Armored Bronze Corpse. Deal with it. After Xu Chen finished speaking, he looked towards the Red Armored Bronze Corpse. Roar. After emitting a deafening roar, the Red Armored Bronze Corpse bent its legs. With a forceful kick, spiderweb like cracks appeared instantly within three meters of the stone platform around the Red Armored Bronze Corpse. The strength can be seen from this. After kicking out, the Red Armored Bronze Corpse rocketed towards the Queen Bee in the air. The Red Giant Hand grabbed towards the Queen Bee fiercely. When He Tong Chen saw the red armored bronze corpse, which could leap 50 meters high with only leg muscle strength, he was secretly surprised. However, it's not so easy to catch my beast. Queen Bee, elevate. He Tong Chen saw the movements of the red armored bronze corpse and immediately gave the command. Buzz. The Queen Bee flapped its wings forcefully. It quickly ascended, escaping from the area covered by the red armored bronze corpse's large hand. Phew. Seeing the Queen Bee escape, He Tong Chen also breathed a sigh of relief. He had not anticipated that the jumping power of the Purple Corpse after the Bloodline reversion would be so astonishing. After it landed, it wouldn't be so simple to approach the Queen Bee again. Thinking of this, He Tong Chen couldn't help but look at Xu Chen's reaction. But he saw a smile on Xu Chen's face. Not good. He Tong Chen muttered. He quickly looked up. He saw the Red Armored Bronze Corpse, which should have descended rapidly taking another step in midair without any support. Stepping in midair. It arrived next to the Queen Bee at an even faster speed. Can't dodge it. Queen Bee. Full defense. The moment He Tong Chen saw the speed of the Red Armored Bronze Corpse, he knew that this attack was no longer avoidable. He could only order it to prepare for defense. Buzz. Countless Lavi crawled out of the Queen Bee's nest again. However, this time they did not fly towards the Red Armored Bronze Corpse but covered themselves, forming layers of defense on their surface to resist the impending attack. The Red Armored Bronze Corpse slowly raised its arm. It delivered an even more powerful and heavy blow than before. It fiercely smashed towards the Queen Bee. Crack! The defensive shell formed by the lavi on the Queen Bee's body instantly shattered like paper. After the defense shell shattered, the sandbag-sized fist of the Red Armored Bronze Corpse also fell on the Queen Bee's body. It directly knocked her down from the air. After drawing a beautiful curve in the air, with a loud bang, the Queen Bee's body heavily fell into the pit where the Red Armored Bronze Corpse had jumped from. 
At this moment, most of the queen bee's nest at the tail end had also been shattered. Most parts of her body were soaked in blood. Lying in the pit, she looked barely alive. Seeing that he had successfully knocked down the queen bee, the red-armored bronze corpse, after a brief float, suddenly plummeted towards the position of the queen bee. Graceful descent. He Tong Chen looked at the red-armored bronze corpse rapidly descending towards the queen bee's position. After looking at the queen bee lying in the pit and losing combat effectiveness. I surrender. He Tong Chen also shouted loudly to Xu Chen. Hearing He Tong Chen's surrender. Stop. Xu Chen also ordered the red armor bronze corpse. The red armor bronze corpse quickly cancelled the skill. Changed the landing position and landed beside Xu Chen. The teacher heard He Tong Chen surrender and also came to the stone platform. After confirming again. Then announced the result of the match to the audience. This match is ultimately won by Xu Chen, let's give him a round of applause. At this moment. The entire square fell silent. They never expected. The red armor bronze corpse and the queen bee had already determined the outcome with just one contact. Just a glance, and the queen bee lost its combat effectiveness. Five seconds passed. One. Is this a win? It feels like Xu Chen didn't even exert much effort. Xu Chen's summoned beast is too damn strong. It completely overwhelmed the opponent. The freshman reacted with surprise. He Tong Chen, as the strongest in the team, surrendered so quickly. What else can he do besides surrender? You've seen the strength of Xu Chen's summoned beast. It's not like the strength a freshman should have. It's not that we are too weak, it's that the opponent is too strong. The senior students in the stands also couldn't believe their ears when they heard He Tong Chen surrender. In the leadership seat. I didn't expect Xu Chen's purple corpse, after the bloodline reversion, to be so powerful. Chen Xu was very surprised by the performance of the red armor bronze corpse. In theory, before reaching the gold level, the bloodline reversion shouldn't have such a significant impact on the strength of the summon beast. Director Xia, what do you think? Zhao Jun also found the strength of the red armor bronze corpse strange and turned to Xia Rushue for her opinion. I think it's because the bloodline in the purple corpse after the reversion is quite powerful. Xia Rushua pondered for a moment before speaking. You mean? Wang Lishing thought of a possibility. In simple terms, Xu Chen's ancestor of the purple corpse was an extremely powerful extraordinary beast. So after the bloodline reversion, there was a significant increase in strength. Xia Rushua voiced her speculation. So that's it. Chen Xu, Zhao Jun, and Wang Lishing nodded in agreement. However, they had a doubt that they didn't ask. Did the ancestors of the Purple Corpse really encounter extremely powerful extraordinary beasts? On the stone platform. Xu Junior's strength far exceeds my expectations. I lost this match with full acceptance. After retrieving the Queen Bee into the summoned beast space, He Tong Chen walked up to Xu Chen with some helplessness. Senior He, your summoned beast is also very powerful. If my summoned beast didn't have the bloodline reversion, it probably wouldn't be your match. Xu Chen also retrieved the red armor bronze corpse into the summoned beast space and politely responded. There's no use in speculating, losing is losing. In the upcoming three great colleges freshman grand competition, whether our meteorite academy can achieve good results will depend on you. He Tong Chen looked at Xu Chen with some expectation. I will do my best. Xu Chen didn't say much about it. All right. Then I can rest assured. With Junior Xu's strength, it should be a breeze. He Tong Chen laughed heartily upon hearing Xu Chen's words. After that, the two of them walked down from the stone platform. Returned to their respective positions. Xu Chen sat down not long after. The teacher in charge of the match also began a new round of proceedings on the stone platform. Although the match has ended, the freshman enrollment ceremony is not over yet, there is one final segment. Next, please welcome our Meteorite Academy's director Zhao to the stage to address everyone. At this moment. Director Zhao Jun on the leadership seat also came to the stone platform to begin his speech. Whether you are a second-year student or a new student, you all performed exceptionally well in the recent competition. Especially some of the new students, they really surprised me. At this point, Zhao Jun also looked towards Xu Chen and others. After a brief pause, he continued. I believe some of the new students may be wondering, why do we have the seniors who have been here for a year compete with you? Their strength is obviously superior to yours. But why does the academy hold this competition every year? The purpose is simple, it is to make you aware of your weaknesses and strengths. Then work on eliminating weaknesses while enhancing your strengths. What you need to know is that in the future, whether in the academy, on the front lines, or somewhere else. In any battle, no one can guarantee that you will always have the upper hand. 
So what you need to learn next in the academy is how to use your strengths to win the game when the battle conditions are not in your favor. Now, some of you may not fully understand what I'm saying, but don't worry, you will gradually understand during the next three years of study. After Zhao Jun finished explaining the purpose of the competition between new and old students, Xu Chen also fell into deep thought. What are the weaknesses and strengths of the Crimson Armored Bronze Corpse? While thinking, he opened the information panel of the Crimson Armored Bronze Corpse. Name, Crimson Armored Bronze Corpse, Current Level, Mid Silver, Inheritance Object, Jiang Chen, Bloodline Concentration, 30%, Growth Length, 0%, Talent, Bloodthirst, Elemental Reduction, Skills, Heavy Fist Strike, High Speed Movement, Graceful Descent, Crimson Armored Bronze Scales, Passive, Air Step, Next Evolution Stage Requirements, Growth Length 100%, 3 Crystals of any level of gold, 10 pounds of mithril. Elemental reduction, when subjected to elemental attacks, reduces skill damage and effects by 20%. Crimson armored bronze scales, red scales grow on the body, significantly enhancing defense. Air step, can jump in the air by borrowing force, can be used up to 3 times. After evolving from the jumping corpse to the crimson armored bronze corpse, its panel underwent significant changes. Its level directly increased from mid bronze to mid silver. A substantial leap in rank. Instantly surpassing the mid-silver level where Fang Nan's Blazing Sky Flame Lion was located. Reaching the same level as Xie Yufei's Water Spirit. Reaching the forefront of the younger generation in Linjiang City. A new talent called Elemental Reduction was added to the talent column. As for the changes in the skill column. Iron Bone evolved from an active skill to the more powerful passive skill, Crimson Armored Bronze Scales. Additionally, a new skill, Air Step, allows multiple forceful jumps in the air. The new talent can reduce skill damage and effects from elemental attacks by 20%. This gives the Crimson Armored Bronze Corpse a natural advantage when facing elemental-based fierce beasts. The evolution from Iron Bone to Crimson Armored Bronze Scales has indeed improved the defensive effect, as seen in the competition. As for the Air Step skill, based on the initial test results from the competition. Under low-altitude conditions, when facing flying fierce beasts in battle, it can indeed pose a significant threat to the opponent. Furthermore, when combined with Graceful Descent, it is a good combo skill. Xu Chen analyzed in his mind what the current advantages of the Crimson Armored Bronze Corpse are. What about the disadvantages? There must be disadvantages, such as the lack of effective means to deal with high-altitude fierce beasts. Also, no displacement, no control, no, and so on. After a brief contemplation, Xu Chen also came up with many points that he needed to pay special attention to in his future training. While Xu Chen was silently contemplating, Zhao Jun also mentioned the issue of rewards for this competition. Now, let's move on to the part everyone is most concerned about, the competition rewards. I believe everyone is feeling a bit tired at the moment, so I will quickly announce the competition rewards. After I announce them, the entire content of this freshman enrollment ceremony will come to an end. After the ceremony, your respective teachers will lead you to your classrooms. You can ask them any questions you have about the academy. Tang Mingho, 500 points. Xinxiu, 300 points. Xinxiu is the name of the senior who battled Tang Mingho. Fang Nan, 500 points. Wu Qing, 300 points. Xie Yufei, 3000 points. Sun Ru Huan, 0 points. Xu Chen, 3000 points. He Tong Chen, 0 points. Zhao Jun quickly announced the rewards for all participants in the competition. From this, it can be seen that second-year seniors can receive 300 points as a reward for winning, while there is no point reward for losing. However, freshmen, even if they lose, can receive 500 points as a reward. But this is normal. In general, freshmen are not expected to win against the seniors, so these 500 points are the normal enrollment reward for all freshmen. There are always exceptions. Xu Chen and Xie Yufei, as freshmen, actually defeated the seniors, so the rewards are naturally very generous. A total of 3,000 points. Six times more than the ordinary freshman. It can be seen that the academy favors the resources of the geniuses in the academy from the moment they step in. Xu Chen inserted the card into the communication wristband. Seeing the balance of 3,000 points on the card, a smile appeared on his face. Next, as Zhao Jun said, nine teachers entered one after another. They called the new students behind them in batches. Xu Chen counted. Each time, the teachers called 30 new students. Soon, only the top 30 students in the ranking were left sitting in the freshman area. The chairs behind them were empty. Before long, a familiar figure appeared in front of everyone again. It was Chen Xu, who was responsible for their freshman enrollment assessment. 
Let me introduce myself, my name is Chen Xu, and I am now in charge of teaching the first class of the first year at Meteorite Academy. You can call me Teacher Chen from now on. As Chen Xu slowly spoke, I didn't expect that Teacher Chen, who was in charge of our future teaching work. I heard that his comprehensive strength ranks at the forefront among all teachers. I heard that he hasn't been teaching for two years, and I didn't expect that he would be teaching us this year. Upon hearing that Chen Xu would be their future mentor, the new students couldn't help but cheer. Later, add my contact information, and I will add you to our class group later. I will announce the class positions and the allocation of your dormitories in there. If you're not sure about the specific locations, you can ask the seniors, they should be happy to show you the way. That's about it, try to move your clothes and luggage to the dormitory today. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, we will have our first class in the classroom. If anyone is late, be prepared for punishment. All right, you are free to move around now. After Chen Xu finished speaking, Chu Chen also added Chen Xu's contact information along with everyone else. Soon, beep beep. Chu Chen opened the communication wristband and entered the class group. Sure enough, Chen Xu had posted the class positions and the allocation of their dormitories in there. After finding the location of his dormitory, Chu Chen left the square and headed towards the dormitory location. Just as he left the square, he ran into another familiar face. Wang Lixing walked straight to Xu Chen's side. He looked Xu Chen up and down. You did well in the competition. He Tongchen's strength is already very high among the second year students. If nothing unexpected happens, you have a good chance of competing for a top 10 position next year. Speaking of which, I have to thank you, Senior Wang. If it weren't for the fine copper you gave me before the competition, my beast wouldn't have returned to its ancestral bloodline so quickly. I wouldn't have won the competition so easily either. Perfect timing, the points reward for the competition has been distributed. How many points did that fine copper cost? I'll transfer them to you immediately. Seeing Wang Lishin waiting outside the square, Xu Chen also expressed his gratitude. No need, I actually earned those points from you, so there's no need to repay them. Wang Lishin waved his hand. Xu Chen looked at Wang Lishin with some confusion. Seeing Xu Chen's puzzled expression, Wang Lishin then told Xu Chen about how he had bet on him to win first place during the dragon gambling. I see. Xu Chen nodded. The reason his jumping corpse was able to evolve into a red armor bronze corpse was because he saw how difficult Xia Yufei was having it during the match. He also knew that the opponent must have prepared a series of plans against his jumping corpse's abilities. With the jumping corpse only at the intermediate level of bronze at the time, it was difficult to ensure a stable victory in the match. If Xia Yufei had lost, coupled with his uncertain situation, there was a high probability of their complete defeat. Considering that only one of the conditions for the jumping corpse's evolution, the 1000 catties of fine copper, had not been met, Xu Chen silently pondered for a while. Afterward, he asked Wang Lishin, who had once invited him, to temporarily lend him 1000 catties of fine copper. He said that after the competition, he would repay him with the reward points. Wang Lishin first asked Xu Chen, do you think you can win the competition stably with this 1000 catties of fine copper? At that time, Xu Chen also said, after I enter the field, I will give Senior Wang a big surprise. When Wang Lixing asked what the surprise was, Xu Chen only said one word, secret. After hearing this, Wang Lixing smiled and readily agreed to Xu Chen's request. He had someone deliver 1000 catties of fine copper to Xu Chen. So Xu Chen's jumping corpse evolved into the red armor bronze corpse just before entering the field, becoming the focus of everyone's attention. After a brief exchange, Wang Lixing left, citing that he didn't want to delay Xu Chen from checking the classroom location and dormitory. Xu Chen was about to continue heading towards the dormitory when he heard a familiar voice behind him again. Su Ji. Su Ji. Without waiting for Xu Chen to turn around, a figure rushed out from the side and elegantly turned around before coming to Xu Chen's side. It was Zhang Hao again. Su Ji. Are you going to the classroom or dormitory now? I'm familiar with this place. Let me show you the way. Before Xu Chen could ask what was going on, Zhang Hao had already figured out the purpose of Xu Chen's trip and offered his help. All right, this is the location of my dormitory, lead the way. Xu Chen didn't think much about it, as besides being dull in cultivation, Zhang Hao seemed sharp in other aspects. Don't worry, Su Ji. Follow me. After taking a glance at the dormitory location, Zhang Hao confidently walked ahead. It turned out that Zhang Hao wasn't boasting. With Zhang Hao guiding him, Xu Chen arrived at his dormitory in no time. Um. To be precise, it shouldn't be called a dormitory building. Standing in front of Xu Chen was a four-story compound standalone villa. At first glance, there was a swimming pool, a balcony, and a small garden. 
It wasn't until Xu Chen entered that he realized the facilities inside were very complete. The first floor was the living room, a resting area, and the like. The second floor was where Xu Chen rested. The third floor housed various professional instruments for testing the strength of beast bodies and skill damage. The fourth floor is a large outdoor balcony with washing machine, dryer, and other equipment placed there. After a brief tour of his own villa, Xu Chen was very satisfied. Next, Xu Chen followed Zhang Hao to tour the entire Meteor Academy. Along the way, Xu Chen gained a rough understanding of the places within the Meteor Academy, such as the teaching area, combat area, dormitory area, trading area, and the secret realm area that Xu Chen was most concerned about. After learning about these locations, it was already late in the day. After bidding farewell to Zhang Hao, Xu Chen also left the Meteor Academy and returned home. Lying on the small bed at home, Xu Chen also thought about his future plans. The jumping corpse had evolved into a red armored bronze corpse. Xu Chen looked at the new evolution requirements. The length is 100%, same as before. Three gold level crystals of any grade. This time, not only did the level increase to gold, but the quantity also became three crystals. Xu Chen felt a headache coming on. Silver level crystals were manageable, but gold level fierce beasts were different. Once a fierce beast reached the gold level, its overall strength would greatly increase. Under normal circumstances, a lower level gold fierce beast could dominate 10 upper level silver fierce beasts. And this time, using the intermediate silver crystal for evolution, the final level of the red armored bronze corpse also reached the intermediate silver level. Xu Chen had reason to suspect that the grade of the crystal used for breakthrough would have a significant impact on the level after evolution. So, for these three gold level crystals of any grade, Xu Chen's requirement was to have the highest possible level. Thinking about this made his head ache even more. Looking at the last requirement, 10 pounds of mithril. Mithril? Xu Chen had no impression of this. However, it didn't matter. Xu Chen opened his communication bracelet and searched for information and prices about mithril. When the search results came out, Xu Chen's first reaction was, so many zeros. After carefully counting over and over again, Xu Chen couldn't believe it. The market price of mithril was 30,000 alliance coins per gram. How much did he need for evolution again? 10 pounds. Let me calculate. Hum not much. Just one and a half billion. Xu Chen didn't expect to have accumulated over a billion in debt at such a young age. Wait. If the secret realm within the Meteor Academy produces this mithril, then he wouldn't need to buy it, right? Xu Chen immediately opened his communication bracelet, logged into the internal network of the Meteor Academy with his account, and entered the words mithril in the search bar. Soon, search results popped up. There were two ways. The first was to obtain it through the secret realm. Name, Mithril, Secret Realm Output Location, Number 4, Secret Realm Attribute, Universal, Strength Requirement, Silver Level or Above, Entry Points, 50 Points The second way was much simpler. Buy it. There were direct sellers in the Academy's trading area. 20,000 Alliance Coins per Gram. If he bought £10 directly, it would be 5 million less than the market price. It's really a good deal. Or not. Was he lacking that 5 million? Was he lacking that 1 billion? Damn it. The road ahead is long and arduous. Xu Chen felt that there was no end to his struggles for money. Since I have found a solution for Mithril, there is still a long way to go before the next evolution. I will eventually gather enough. After realizing this, Xu Chen felt a bit tired. He fell asleep. The next morning, Xu Chen packed up his clothes and other daily necessities and hurried to the front of the villa. After arranging everything properly, he walked out of the villa and headed towards the classroom. When Xu Chen arrived at the classroom, there were not many people inside yet. Most of the seats in the classroom were still empty. So, he found a corner and sat down slowly, involuntarily contemplating future ways to make money. The remaining freshmen also gradually arrived in the classroom. Finally, it was before 9 o'clock. Including Xu Chen, all 30 freshmen had arrived in the classroom. After all, no one dared to be late for the first class. Exactly 9 o'clock. Chen Xu also entered the classroom on time. Seeing the scene below with no one late, a smile appeared on his lips. Very good. For the first class of the semester, no one was late. Chen Xu looked at everyone. Then he stood on the platform. After making eye contact with each new student, he smiled and said, Although everyone had a great time chatting in the group, I believe you may not know each other's names specifically. So let's have self-introductions according to student numbers from back to front. The first one, please come up. Upon hearing Chen Xu's words, 
the student ranked 30th in the assessment also walked to the platform. Hello everyone. My name is Li Hua, my summon beast is Patting Bear, and my level is Intermediate Bronze. After the introduction, he gave way to the next 29th student. Hello everyone, my name is. The 29th student introduced. Hello everyone, my name is Xu Chen, my summon beast is Crimson Armor Bronze Corpse, and my level is Intermediate Silver. Until Xu Chen finished his self-introduction, the self-introduction session ended. When Xu Chen returned to his seat, Chen Xu said, I believe you all have a general understanding of each student. Next, let's start our first class. Chen Xu looked at everyone again and asked his first question, How do you view summoned beasts? Upon hearing Chen Xu's question, Xu Chen was stunned. He didn't expect such a conceptual question right at the beginning of the first class. This question shouldn't be so simple. Before Xu Chen could carefully consider the question, Li Hua sitting on the side immediately answered, Summon beasts, summon means to use, so summon beasts mean using fierce beasts for battle. Any other interpretations? Chen Xu glanced at him without commenting on whether he was right or wrong and continued to ask the other students. Summon beasts are about nurturing fierce beasts and then letting them fight on one's behalf. With Li Hua's response, other students began to express their own interpretations one after another. Suddenly, there was a lively discussion, and the whole classroom was filled with various understandings of summoned beasts. Clap. Hearing this familiar sound, the previously bustling classroom instantly quieted down. Chen Xu also clapped the dust off his hands on the platform. Everyone has their own reasoning. Next, let me share my understanding of summoned beasts. Li Hua, please come to the platform. Upon hearing Chen Xu's words, Li Hua felt a bit confused. But still a bit nervous, he came to the front of the classroom. Summon your summoned beast and attack me. Chen Xu made a startling request to Li Hua. Attack you. What if you get hurt? Li Hua was still considerate of Chen Xu. Don't think about the impossible. Stop dilladallying and just attack. Chen Xu wanted to laugh at his words but held it back. Upon hearing Chen Xu's words, Xu Chen, Xie Yufei, and Fang Nan also sat up slightly, seeming to guess the meaning behind Chen Xu's actions. On the platform, after some hesitation, Li Hua summoned his summon beast, an intermediate bronze patting bear. After giving the command to attack Chen Xu, the patting bear instantly raised its bear paw and launched a powerful bear slap towards Chen Xu's head. Watching this dangerous scene on the platform, some students instinctively covered their eyes. Xu Chen carefully observed Chen Xu's every move. When he saw the bear paw coming towards him, Chen Xu saw the situation without any dodging action. The next second. Bang! A dull collision sound rang out. The classmates covering their eyes in the audience heard the sound. Driven by curiosity, they slowly moved their hands away from their eyes. When they saw the scene on the platform, their hands came to their mouths. They saw Chen Xu firmly blocking the bare paw of Pat Pat Bear with the palm of his hand less than five centimeters away from himself. No matter how hard Pat Pat Bear tried, even his face turned red, he couldn't make the bare paw move closer. Seeing this stark contrast, some people in the audience were shocked, while others were extremely excited. Xu Chen looked at the scene on the stage. Is this, Imperial Transformation? He silently thought. You can retract your beast now, go down. Chen Xu, seeing that the effect he wanted had been achieved, said to the student opposite him. Oh. Okay. Li Hua, who saw this scene, was also somewhat shocked, and only slowly came to his senses after hearing Chen Xu's words. After quickly retracting Pat Pat Bear into the beast space, he went down and returned to his position. At this moment, Chen Xu turned around and faced the crowd. Seeing the scene just now, some people must be confused, of course, some people have already guessed the reason. I wonder which student would like to explain. Seeing no one raise their hand below, he looked at Xu Chen and then said, Xu Chen, as the top scorer in the assessment, why don't you explain it to everyone? Xu Chen did not expect Chen Xu to suddenly mention him. He stood up and began to explain slowly. If I didn't see it wrong just now, Teacher Chen was able to do it because of, Imperial Transformation, right? Xu Chen looked at Chen Xu, who nodded, and continued, as we all know, when a beast tamer nurtures their first beast to the gold level. The beast space undergoes a qualitative change, at this time the beast not only awakens its own talent, but also enlarges the beast space, allowing for a contract with a second beast. And in this transformation, not only the beast evolves, but the beast tamers as well. According to some previous tests, after reaching the gold level, the physical strength of the beast tamers will undergo a significant increase. The specific increase in strength varies depending on the type of beast. 
Therefore, Imperial Transformation has become a symbol of beast tamers above the gold level. After finishing his explanation, Xu Chen also sat down. After the silver intermediate level red armor copper corpse evolved into a jumping corpse, Xu Chen also consulted a lot of information about the gold level. Clap. 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 Xu Chen's explanation just now about imperial transformation was very accurate. After listening to Xu Chen's explanation, Chen Xu was the first to applaud. The rest of the people also followed suit. After a round of applause, Chen Xu continued, what I just demonstrated was the increased physical strength after my imperial transformation. After my demonstration just now, and Xu Chen's explanation, everyone should have a rough understanding of imperial transformation. Before reaching the gold level, your body has not undergone evolution, so you should pay attention to your personal safety during battles. This is also the main reason why the academy sets the graduation threshold at the gold level. Only after reaching the gold level, when you go to the front line to fight against ferocious beasts, will you have the ability to protect yourself. Another thing is that after everyone reaches the gold level, you can contract with a second beast. Generally speaking, the second beast is usually chosen to complement the weaknesses of the first beast. Just now, everyone's understanding of beast usage and cultivation was not wrong. My understanding of beasts is more focused on the meaning of understanding. Only by fully understanding your own beast, knowing the strengths and weaknesses of the first beast, can you know what type of second beast to contract. Upon hearing Chen Shu's words, the freshmen in the audience fell into a pensive silence, quietly reflecting on the strengths and weaknesses of their current spirit beasts. Some felt they still had a long way to go before reaching the gold level and were not in a hurry to think about it in the days ahead. Of course, there were others who were getting closer to the gold level and felt it was time to start planning. The Red Armor Bronze Corpse has already reached the intermediate silver level, and I believe its level will definitely reach the gold level after the next evolution. During this period, it is indeed necessary to carefully consider the choice of the next spirit beast. It would be best to find a spirit beast that complements the Red Armor Bronze Corpse perfectly. Later, we can go to the school's trading area to see if there are suitable spirit beast cubs available. Xu Chen had already begun thinking about how to obtain the second spirit beast in his mind. Ahem. Chen Xu's cough interrupted the crowd's contemplation. I know what you are thinking, but these things can be considered later. Before that, I believe everyone has carefully reviewed their Meteor Academy Freshman Essential Handbook. So please tell me, what should our class focus on right now? Upon hearing Chen Xu's question, the answer he wanted to hear also came from the audience below the platform. However, their voice sounded somewhat weak. Although two weeks later, students from other classes may make breakthroughs in spirit beast levels, I still have confidence in all of you. After all, you are the top 30 in the entrance assessment. Don't you even have that much confidence? Chen Xu furrowed his brow. Below the platform, everyone seemed hesitant to speak, their eyes turning to Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, and Fang Nan. It's not like that, Teacher Chen. We do have confidence in our own abilities, it's just compared to certain individuals. Tang Mingho, seeing that no one dared to speak up about the reasons, spoke out with a determined attitude. Yes, Teacher Chen, in the past, if someone with outstanding abilities appeared, we could still compete for the second or third place, but now. Seeing Tang Mingho voice what everyone was thinking, others began to speak up as well. Xu Chen, who was sitting calmly in his chair, heard everyone's remarks. What the heck? Is it wrong to be strong? He silently complained in his heart. Upon hearing Tang Mingho and others speak, Chen Xu finally understood the root of everyone's lack of enthusiasm. Sorry, I forgot to announce something to everyone. That is, Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, and Fang Nan will not participate in this upcoming freshman competition. He then threw out a bombshell to Tang Mingho and the others. Teacher, is this true? Tang Mingho was somewhat incredulous. It's true. Upon hearing Chen Xu's confirmation once again. Wow. That's great. In two weeks, I will definitely have a place in the top three of the freshman competition. Don't dream too much. The top three positions will definitely be mine. Are you all here to compete for second place? Upon hearing the news that Xu Chen and the other three would not participate, Tang Minghou and the others immediately shook off their previous lackluster state and clamored to claim a top three spot. Why does it feel like an evil boss has been defeated by a brave knight in a game? Xu Chen shook his head helplessly as he saw everyone's excited reaction to the news of his absence. Now, do you all have confidence in the freshman competition two weeks from now? Yes. Upon hearing everyone's resounding answer, Chen Xu nodded in satisfaction. Since you all have confidence, as your teacher, I will help you out. 
Each of you submit an analysis report on the strengths and weaknesses of your spirit beast to my email, and I will create a targeted training plan for you. Once you have submitted it, this class will be over. Remember to come here for class every Monday morning from now on. Beast studies are guided by the master, while cultivation depends on the individual. The management of Meteor Academy gives students a high degree of freedom, except for reporting to the teacher about their situation in one class per week, the rest of the time is up to the students to allocate. Thank you, Teacher Chen. Upon hearing this, everyone expressed their gratitude. Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, Fang Nan, come with me. Chen Xu said to Xu Chen and the others as he walked out of the classroom. Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, and Fang Nan followed behind Chen Xu. They arrived at Chen Xu's office. Do you blame me for not letting you participate in the freshman competition? Chen Xu asked directly. Teacher Chen didn't let us participate, we trust your reasons. Xia Yufei spoke slowly. You're right, there are two reasons I didn't let you participate. First, your strength has surpassed many of your peers, so it's not suitable for you to compete at that level. Second, I have other plans for your matches. Chen Xu explained his reasons. Are you talking about the three academy freshman exchange tournament in a month? Xu Chen guessed after hearing about the competition. Exactly, the reason I didn't let you participate is to focus all your energy on this competition. Chen Xu was surprised that Xu Chen quickly understood his intentions. Um, Teacher Chen, can I not participate? Fang Nan unexpectedly spoke up at this moment. Xu Chen was also surprised by Fang Nan's words. He understood why Fang Nan didn't want to participate. Fang Nan was originally the junior dean of the Sun Academy, but came to study here at Meteor, probably hurting the elders there. If he goes to battle with the Sun Academy as a representative of Meteor Academy this time, whether he wins or loses, Fang Nan won't feel good inside. Hearing Fang Nan's words, if you don't want to participate, that's fine, but if you change your mind, just let me know. Chen Xu understood Fang Nan's dilemma and didn't force him to participate. Thank you, Teacher Chen. After Fang Nan finished speaking, feeling apologetic to everyone present, he quickly left the office. This child. Sigh. Watching Fang Nan leave, Chen Xu also sighed. Teacher Chen, what about the rewards for the competition? Xu Chen asked the question he was most concerned about. You're already thinking about rewards before the competition even starts. Chen Xu chuckled upon hearing Xu Chen's question. I can't help it, Red Armor Bronze Corpse is now truly a money eater. Xu Chen shrugged helplessly. I'm not sure about this year's rewards, but we can refer to last year's rewards. Last year, the 10th place received 5,000 universal points, a batch of beast resources, and a chance to select a diamond tier offspring of a beast in the Lynching City Treasury. The points reward increased by 1,000 for each subsequent rank, and the level of the beast offspring selection increased by one small tier every three ranks. The second place prize was 13,000 universal points, a batch of beast resources, and a chance to select a diamond tier superior beast offspring. But once you reach the first place, the rewards are completely different, with the final prize being a chance to sign a contract with a transcendent level beast cub. Of course, you can't choose which type of transcendent level beast cub to contract with. So, are you excited? After Chen Xu finished speaking, he looked at Xu Chen. Can't choose. What if the first beast type is a duplicate? When Xu Chen heard about the final reward for first place, he was initially excited. But when he heard that he couldn't choose the type, his enthusiasm diminished by half. Be content with being able to make a contract with extraordinary beast cubs. It's really picky to be so choosy. You haven't even won the first place yet, and you're already thinking about duplicating beast types. Chen Xu heard Xu Xu's slightly disdainful tone and jokingly scolded. This is just making some preparations in advance. Don't worry, Teacher Chen, I will do my best in this competition. Xu Chen said confidently. All right, it's best to get first place, but it's okay if you don't. After all, the other two academies have also produced some good talents this year. Chen Xu didn't want to put too much pressure on them. In that case, shall I go cultivate now? Xu Chen was still thinking about the secret silver inside the secret realm. Go ahead. Chen Xu readily agreed. Xu Chen had already toured the meteorite academy with Zhang Hao before. So he was also clear about the location of the fourth secret realm. After leaving Chen Xu's office, Xu Chen quickly arrived at the secret realm area. At the entrance of the fourth secret realm. Student. Please show your student ID card. There was a dedicated teacher on duty at the entrance of the secret realm. Firstly, it was to prevent students with insufficient strength from entering by mistake. Secondly, in case of any problems inside the secret realm, 
it would be convenient to enter and rescue people as well as report the situation to the academy as soon as possible. Xu Chen handed over his student ID card. After the teacher on duty took it, he inserted it into a certain device. Looking at the information displayed on the screen of the device, the teacher on duty was somewhat surprised. After glancing at Xu Chen, he smiled at him. You are the first freshman this year? Look! Look! Xu Chen replied politely. There's never been talk of luck for the first place. At this point, the teacher on duty handed Xu Chen a wristband with a red button. Although the strength of the fierce beasts in the secret realm is mostly at the silver level, there are still a few that reach the gold level. If you encounter danger, just press the red button above to come out. I won't delay you any longer, go in quickly. After the teacher on duty finished his instructions, he deducted 50 points from Xu Chen's student ID card. He then handed it back to Xu Chen. Okay. Xu Chen bid farewell to the teacher on duty and stepped into the secret realm. After entering the secret realm. Desolate. The first impression the scenery inside the secret realm gave Xu Chen was desolation. Looking at the uneven ground under his feet and the sparse trees in the distance, as well as the mountains. After so many years of collection, there must be some secret silver in this secret realm. It's just a question of how much. Hopefully, he can earn back the ticket money. After summoning the red armor bronze corpse. Let's go. He continued to sit on its shoulder and head towards the distance. Bang. Xu Chen stood next to the red armor bronze corpse. In front of the red armor bronze corpse lay the remains of a fierce beast. My luck is a bit bad, it took me this long to find so little. Xu Chen looked at the tiny bit of secret silver in his hand. He was somewhat speechless about the encounters along the way. By now, he had walked about 20 kilometers from the entrance of the secret realm. Along the way, whenever the red armor bronze corpse saw a suspicious location, it would go forward and knock on it. Not much secret silver was knocked out, but it attracted many silver level and intermediate level fierce beasts due to the sound. Although he slaughtered them all, they didn't contribute much in terms of length, and they couldn't produce any secret silver. You can only stay in the secret realm for one day. Half of the time has already passed. If I don't hurry up and search, I won't even be able to earn back the ticket money. Xu Chen recalled some information about the secret realm. Feeling somewhat helpless, he looked around. What's this? With a glance, it seemed like he had really found something good. Xu Chen saw a small fierce beast on the ground not too far away from him, frantically digging a hole with its butt raised. He signaled the red armor bronze corpse to approach it quietly with him. Name, or eating mouse current level, intermediate bronze growth, 0% talent, metal detection skills, agility, piercing scream, sharp teeth. It's really him. The ore-eating mouse is an expert in searching for mineral resources in the secret realm. It can quickly and accurately locate where the minerals are hidden. With this little guy, there's no need to search for mithril on your own. Indeed, luck is on my side. Don't even think about running when you see me. Xu Chen sentenced the ore-eating mouse. He signaled the copper corpse to catch this little thing. The copper corpse wasted no time. High speed movement. It rushed towards the ore-eating mouse's location. At this moment, the ore-eating mouse also sensed the danger. It tried harder to dig a hole to escape. Before it could even start, the copper corpse arrived and picked it up with two fingers. When Xu Chen arrived, the ore-eating mouse was frantically squealing between the copper corpse's fingers. I'm just here to watch the fun, don't catch me. Looking at the ore-eating mouse, Xu Chen brought out a few pieces of mithril in front of it. The moment the ore-eating mouse saw the mithril, it seemed as if it had been injected with excitement and wanted to break free from the copper corpse's grasp. But it was futile. After feeding it a little mithril, Xu Chen said, squeak, squeak, squeak. The ore-eating mouse immediately made happy squeaking sounds. You lead me to find this, and I'll feed you, understand? Xu Chen didn't care whether the ore-eating mouse understood or not, he stated his purpose to it. Perhaps due to often eating rare mineral resources, this ore-eating mouse seemed to understand Xu Chen's intention. It stopped struggling. Xu Chen signaled the copper corpse to put it down. Worried it might escape. When does the copper corpse eat vegetarian? The ore-eating mouse, upon landing, showed some manners and had no intention of running away. Squeak. After a few calls, it seemed to signal Xu Chen to follow and walked towards the right front. Interesting. Let's go, follow it. Xu Chen and the copper corpse followed suit. When Xu Chen followed the ore-eating mouse to a hillside, the ore-eating mouse excitedly squealed towards a cave guarded by a fierce beast below the hill. Xu Chen understood that it was likely indicating that the mithril was in that cave. 
However, before that, they needed to take down the beast guarding the cave. Xu Chen looked at the beast guarding the cave. The body of this beast resembled a large round bowl covered with rocks. Its head protruded from the center of its body, with three fingers on each hand and five toes on each foot, four in front and one in the back, all with sharp nails. There were many black eye and sand particles attached to its chest, resembling whiskers. On its back was a device similar to an electromagnetic cannon, a short black pillar in the middle, flanked by two larger black stones. Xu Chen also checked its information. Name, Rock Turtle Current Level, Advanced Silver Growth, 0% Talent, None Skills, Throwing, Ground Tremor, Heavy Impact. Looking at the information of this rock turtle, with no talent and three seemingly unimpressive skills, it should be an easy target. Just don't know how it manages to guard the mine. Copper Corpse. Quickly deal with it, get the mithril, and then we'll move on to the next location. Xu Chen quickly spoke as he looked at the time on his wristband. They had already spent some time following the ore-eating mouse to this place in the secret realm. There wasn't much time left for them to stay in the secret realm. Upon hearing Xu Chen's command, the copper corpse didn't hesitate. It leaped from behind the slope. It rushed down the slope straight towards the rock turtle. Hearing such a loud noise, the rock turtle looked up at the figure of the copper corpse charging towards it. It let out an angry roar, clearly provoked by the unreserved intrusion of the copper corpse. The rock turtle stomped fiercely on the ground with its two feet. The ground shook. An invisible shockwave appeared underground and traveled along the slope to the feet of the red shell bronze corpse. After releasing the shockwave, it followed up with a heavy impact towards the red shell bronze corpse. The rock turtle retracted its limbs into its rocky shell, turning into a large boulder that hurtled towards the red shell bronze corpse at lightning speed. Its plan was to use the shockwave to destabilize the enemy's body first, then take advantage of the enemy's unstable center of gravity to crush them with a heavy impact. The plan was flawless, but the problem lay with the enemy. If it were an ordinary beast, it might have suffered some losses from this combination of moves, or even failed due to carelessness. Unfortunately, this time the opponent was the red shell bronze corpse. It can only be said that it picked the wrong opponent. The shockwave did reach the feet of the red shell bronze corpse, but it did not have the intended effect on the red shell bronze corpse as expected by the rock turtle. The innate elemental reduction took effect the moment the shockwave made contact. Obviously, the shockwave, which lost 20% of its effectiveness, had no effect at the feet of the red shell bronze corpse. Soon, the heavy impact of the rock turtle's body collided with the red shell bronze corpse. Once again, the effect of the red shell bronze scales came into play, blocking most of the damage. On the other hand, the rock turtle, instead of knocking down the red shell bronze corpse, was instead sent flying by the reactive force generated during the collision hitting the slope on the other side before coming to a stop. The rock turtle extended its limbs again, swaying unsteadily. Obviously, it was heavily shaken. Seeing this scene, the red shell bronze corpse remembered Chu Chen's command. Without giving the rock turtle a chance to take the next step, it directly moved swiftly to deliver a heavy blow. Striking while the iron is hot. It quickly arrived beside the rock turtle and delivered a punch to its head. Bang! A familiar sound of a watermelon shattering rang out. The rock turtle died on the spot. Seeing that the red shell bronze corpse had taken care of the rock turtle, Xu Chen was planning to come out from behind the slope, retrieve the mithril from the cave, and head to the next location. But just as Xu Chen was about to get up, squeak, squeak, squeak. The ore-eating mouse urgently called out towards the cave, pulling at Xu Chen's clothes with its hands. It seemed to be telling Xu Chen not to stand up. Seeing the strange behavior of the ore-eating mouse and its frantic calls towards the cave, Xu Chen realized that rodent-type beasts were very sensitive to danger. There might be something suspicious in the cave. He stopped getting up and looked towards the direction of the cave. Sure enough, just a moment after the rock turtle died at the entrance, a deafening roar came from the cave, followed by the appearance of a larger, seemingly harder rock-like rock turtle. The newly appeared rock turtle, upon seeing the body of the previous one, was instantly filled with boundless anger. Name, rock turtle, current level, sub-gold, growth, 0%, in a talent, hardness, skills, throw, grand tremor, heavy impact, rock burst, it has actually reached the sub-gold level. The previous one should have been female, this one should be male. Xu Chen speculated as he looked at the scene below the slope. He had been curious before about how the weak rock turtle could guard the mithril. It seemed there was help involved. In fact, although the upper silver rock turtle in this secret realm was not particularly strong, it was definitely not as weak as Xu Chen had described. It could only be said that the red shell bronze corpse was somewhat abnormal in strength among the upper silver level beasts. The male rock turtle approached the slightly smaller rock turtle. 
Just now in the cave, it had also heard the angry call of its partner. In that instant of hearing it, it rushed towards the outside of the cave. But before it could leave the cave, it sensed the news of its partner's death. It let out a roar. Looking at the red-armored bronze corpse in front of it with bloodstains from its partner still on its fist. It also launched an attack without hesitation. To be honest, the strength of this male rock turtle is not a bit weaker than the strength of the previous female. Whether it's the impact of ground vibrations on the red-armored bronze corpse, or the power of heavy impact, it's a step up. Even though the impact slope of the male rock turtle has been reduced by 20%, it still had some effect on the speed of the red-armored bronze corpse, as did the heavy impact. Previously, it was directly sent flying by the rebound force. And now, after a fierce collision, both sides took a few steps back. The red-armored bronze corpse took two steps back, while the male rock turtle took five steps back. To be able to fight with the evolved red-armored bronze corpse like this, the strength of this rock turtle is already very good among the lower gold ranks. But unfortunately, when it comes to close combat and endurance battles, the red-armored bronze corpse has never been afraid of anyone at a similar level. After a fierce battle, wounds began to appear on the male rock turtle's body. It was also panting heavily. And because the red-armored bronze corpse had inhaled the blood gas that had dissipated when the rock turtle was injured in battle, it was like using your own strength against yourself, greatly reducing its consumption. The male rock turtle looked at this strange opponent in front of it. After fighting for so long, it seemed like nothing had happened. Looking at the body of its partner beside it, it knew it couldn't delay any longer. If it continued like this, it would definitely lose. After a moment of hesitation in the male rock turtle's eyes, a firm expression replaced it. It could only use that move. But to use that move, it had to make sure the enemy in front of it was within its reach. The male rock turtle, going against its usual behavior, once again used the heavy impact on the red-armored bronze corpse. In the previous collisions, the rock turtle would always take a heavy blow from the red-armored bronze corpse. Each time, the male rock turtle would be more seriously injured. Chu Chen watched the rock turtle's unusual behavior. Thinking back to the rock burst skill on the information panel. In this situation, it was no surprise that the male rock turtle was about to use this skill. Thinking of the skill description of rock burst, Chu Chen couldn't help but shake his head. Another unlucky child. The red armored bronze corpse, watching the male rock turtle charging towards it again, was slightly stunned. It couldn't understand why this turtle dared to confront it head on. Did it think it was sick? Or did it think it couldn't lift its sword anymore? But since it dared to charge at it, the red armored bronze corpse was not afraid. It turned around and met the attack head on. Seeing this, the male rock turtle was overjoyed. It seemed like it would soon get its revenge. It then rushed forward at an even faster speed. Bang! A loud collision echoed in the cave. As usual, the red armored bronze corpse delivered a heavy blow to the male rock turtle. In pain, the male rock turtle did not get thrown back like before, but instead tightly grabbed onto the bronze scales of the red armored bronze corpse with its limbs. Finally caught you. The male rock turtle was ecstatic. With the last bit of its vision, it glanced at the body of its partner. Then, the temperature of its body suddenly rose sharply. It's over. Rock burst. The red armored bronze corpse, seeing that the male rock turtle was not thrown back like before, was a bit surprised. But it quickly noticed the change in the male rock turtle's body temperature and realized something was wrong. Instantly, it fiercely punched the male rock turtle several times in its abdomen. The red armored bronze corpse's strength was far greater than its opponent's. One punch. Two punches. Under the full force of the red armored bronze corpse's punches, the limbs of the male rock turtle detached from the few copper scales of the red armored bronze corpse's skin. However, at this moment, bright light emanated from the gaps in the male rock turtle's shell, indicating that it had reached the critical point of explosion. The copper corpse in red armor squatted down at the moment, closing its legs and using its arms to protect key parts of its body. Bang! After a bright light flashed, there was a loud explosion. The shockwave from the explosion instantly swept across the entire slope. However, Xu Chen was not affected behind the slope. At the same time, the explosion also buried the slope below in sand and dust. When the commotion outside stopped. Puff, puff, puff. Xu Chen spat out a few mouthfuls of sand. Looking down the slope. At this moment. The entire slope was shrouded in dust, making it impossible to see the specific situation clearly. As the dust slowly dispersed, the situation below the slope appeared before Xu Chen's eyes. The mining rat beside him also popped its head out. It wanted to see if that guy had been blown to death. But unexpectedly, it witnessed a scene that could be called a shadow over its rat life. 
Below the slope, the corpse of the public rock turtle, along with its partner, was blown everywhere by its own rock explosion. At this moment, the copper scales on the two arms and elbows of the red-armored copper corpse, as well as the lower legs, had suffered too much damage due to protecting other key parts. The copper scales on top had almost fallen off. Although there were scratches on other parts from the sand, overall, there was no significant damage. The red-armored copper corpse gradually stood up. After checking the injuries on his body and the bloodstains around him, he slowly opened his mouth. A terrifying suction force emerged from it. Whether it was the blood attached to the slope wall or in the sand, everything trembled and then floated in the air. They touched and merged in the air, finally turning into streams of blood flowing towards the mouth of the red-armored copper corpse. With the influx of this blood flow, the injuries on the red-armored copper corpse's body visibly healed at a rapid pace. The copper scales on the two arms and elbows, as well as the lower legs, grew back. The scratches on other parts had already healed. After completing all this, the red-armored copper corpse silently waited in place for Xu Chen to come down. After waiting for a while and seeing no fierce beasts coming out of the cave, Xu Chen was about to come down from behind the slope with the mining rat. Squeak, squeak, squeak. At this moment, the mining rat looked at the red-armored copper corpse below the slope. Its round eyes were full of fear. Seeing the mining rat's expression, Xu Chen knew that it was scared by the scene of blood-sucking just now. Timid as a mouse, the ancients did not deceive me. Xu Chen shook his head at the mining rat, indicating that he would not treat it that way. But the mining rat still refused to go down. Xu Chen would not indulge it. He grabbed the back of the mining rat's neck skin, ignoring its cries, and walked down the slope. When he reached the red-armored copper corpse, the mining rat instantly stopped crying. It faced the palm of Xu Chen's hand, turned its back to the red-armored copper corpse, and began to tremble. Coward. Xu Chen scolded the mining rat with a smile. Then he let the red-armored copper corpse enter the cave first. Perhaps smelling the scent of food, the mining rat instantly stopped trembling. It jumped from Xu Chen's palm to the ground and excitedly crawled in one direction. Seeing the mining rat like this, Xu Chen thought, not bad. In no time, Xu Chen arrived at the deepest part of the cave. The ground here was covered with numerous minerals. After a quick glance and some filtering, he finally found the mithril he was looking for in a corner. He quickly picked up the mithril and weighed it slightly. It was about three tails. This was a good haul. He collected all the minerals on the ground into the beast taming space. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The mining rats suddenly started squeaking again. Xu Chen remembered his actions just now, realizing that he had not intended to leave anything behind for this little guy. He smiled inwardly and continued. Took out a few pieces of unused red armor copper or from the beast space and handed them to the ore devouring rat. The ore devouring rat quieted down immediately upon receiving the ore, and began to feast heartily. It carefully inspected the entire cave again to ensure no resources were overlooked. Xu Chen watched the ore devouring rat enjoying its meal and slowly walked out of the cave. After leaving the cave, he checked the time on his bracelet and realized it was almost time to leave. He put the red armor copper or back into the beast space. Just as Xu Chen was about to press the button to return, a resistance came from his pant leg. It turned out that the ore devouring rat had abandoned its meal and ran out of the cave, grabbing onto Xu Chen's pant leg to prevent him from leaving. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The ore devouring rat made urgent noises towards Xu Chen. Are you trying to come with me? Xu Chen asked with a slight hint of confusion as he watched the ore devouring rat's actions. Unable to speak, the ore devouring rat continued to cling to Xu Chen. Actually, it's not a bad idea to bring this little guy along. At least in the future, mining is less likely to result in losses. Xu Chen silently analyzed in his mind. With these thoughts in mind, Xu Chen bent down and picked up the ore devouring rat. Coincidentally, once the ore devouring rat was in Xu Chen's palm, it instantly quieted down. Since you seem willing to come with me without resistance, I'll take you along. After Xu Chen finished speaking with a smile, he prepared to press the red button on his bracelet. Suddenly, the ore devouring rat jumped out of Xu Chen's hand and quickly ran back into the cave. Before Xu Chen could understand what was happening, the ore devouring rat ran out of the cave again and jumped back into Xu Chen's palm. This time, it had a few pieces of unfinished ore that Xu Chen had given it earlier. You greedy little thing, following me and still thinking about these, shameless. After scolding with a laugh, Xu Chen pressed the button and disappeared on the spot. In an instant, Xu Chen had returned to the entrance of the fourth secret realm of the academy. You seem to have found what you needed. The duty teacher beside him saw Xu Chen smiling and casually asked. Not bad, this trip was lucky, and the harvest was decent. 
Xu Chen responded with a smile. Just as Xu Chen was about to leave, the alarm next to the entrance of the secret realm started flashing a yellow warning light. The yellow warning light indicated that a ferocious beast had escaped from the secret realm. The duty teacher's smile disappeared instantly at this sight. He looked at the warning light, then at Xu Chen who had just come out of the secret realm. Obviously, the cause of the alert was the person in front of him. Xu Chen, may I ask if you brought something out of the secret realm? Following the protocol, the duty teacher asked Xu Chen routine questions. Is it this? Xu Chen also did not expect that bringing the ore-devouring rat out of the secret realm would trigger the alarm. He slowly opened his palm, revealing the ore-devouring rat lying there. It's actually the ore-devouring rat. You're quite lucky. Since it's this little guy, then it's fine. The duty teacher looked at the ore-devouring rat in Xu Chen's palm with some surprise and smiled. He then walked to the alarm, pressed a switch, and the warning light went out. Why? Xu Chen looked at the duty teacher's actions with some confusion. Most ore devouring rats are not aggressive towards humans, and their strength is not enough to pose any threat to the buildings and safety of the academy. Furthermore, the main function of the ore devouring rat is to find mineral resources. There is a shop in the academy trading area specifically for renting ore devouring rats. After turning off the warning light, the duty teacher explained to Xu Chen. I really didn't know that. Xu Chen had only briefly visited the trading area last time and hadn't paid much attention. Since you brought out this ore eating mouse, it needs to be registered, and from now on, it will be under your name. Additionally, an extra 100 points will be deducted as the cost of purchasing the ore eating mouse from the academy. Any questions? The duty teacher explained some relevant rules about the ore eating mouse. No questions. Xu Chen also understood these rules of the academy. Although he spent 100 points to buy the ore eating mouse now, he believed it would bring returns for exceeding 100 points in the future. That's good then. Next, the duty teacher drew a drop of blood from the ore eating mouse, deducted Chu Chen's 100 points, and then told him he could leave. As he left, Chu Chen checked his personal information in his communication bracelet. Sure enough, besides the red armor copper corpse, there was now the name of the ore eating mouse in his beast column. In the following days, besides eating and sleeping, Chu Chen immersed himself wholeheartedly in the fourth secret realm. With the help of the ore eating mouse in the secret realm, Chu Chen's search for mithril became much simpler. In this process, Xu Chen noticed an interesting point. Every time, the ore-eating mouse would lead him straight to the lair of a fierce beast, indicating there was mithril inside. It could be considered a coincidence the first time. But what about the second time, the third time, and so on? Xu Chen had a very legitimate reason to suspect that the ore-eating mouse might have personal grudges with these fierce beasts. Otherwise, why would it be so eager to bring him in front of these fierce beasts after recognizing him as the big brother? It seemed somewhat like a show of strength. According to his deduction, the ore-eating mouse probably had considered stealing mithril from these fierce beasts before. Perhaps due to its weak strength or being discovered by these fierce beasts, it might have even come close to dying at their hands. Of course, with Xu Chen's help, the ore-eating mouse successfully avenged itself. Xu Chen also obtained the mithril he desired. Later, whether it was due to the law of conservation of luck or not, Xu Chen harvested a considerable amount of mithril in the first two days. However, as the days went by, the amount of mithril decreased. The last few days were particularly dismal. Xu Chen always felt like the secret realm was targeting him, but he had no evidence. Soon, seven days had passed. Tomorrow would be the weekly class time again. Xu Chen temporarily ended his honeymoon period with the fourth secret realm and returned early to his small villa. Sitting on the large bed, Xu Chen counted his gains in the secret realm over the past week. He then summoned the Red Armor Copper Corpse from the Beast Space. Name, Red Armor Copper Corpse, Current Level, Intermediate Silver, Inheritance Object, Willing Servant, Bloodline Concentration, 30%, Growth Length, 24%, Talent, Blood Thirst, Elemental Reduction, Skills, Heavy Punch, High Speed Movement, Agile Descent, Red Armor Copper Scales, Passive, Air Step, Next Evolution Stage Requirements, Growth Length 100%, 3 Crystals of Any Level of Gold, 10 Pounds of Mithril. Looking at the panel of the Red Armor Copper Corpse, Xu Chen nodded in satisfaction. This trip successfully raised the growth length of the Red Armor Copper Corpse to 24%. Apart from the two, 5% growth length provided by defeating the Rock Turtle Couple on the first day, the Red Armor Copper Corpse had an impressive record in the following six days. It successively defeated 11 Upper Intermediate Silvers, 3 Lower Intermediate Golds, and 1 Intermediate Gold Fierce Beast. The battle with the intermediate gold fierce beast on the fourth day was the most intense. 
The reason for the battle at that time was partly due to the ore eating mouse. Perhaps the continuous victories of the Red Armor Copper Corps in the first three days made the ore eating mouse a bit arrogant, leading it to target an intermediate gold fierce beast for Mithril. Subsequently, a battle was inevitable. In that battle, the Red Armor Bronze Corps only managed to defeat the Golden Intermediate Fierce Beast after exerting all its strength. Later, the Ore Eating Rat seemed to realize its mistake. After the battle ended, Xu Chen, as usual, handed it a few pieces of ore. The Ore Eating Rat did not accept them. For each level increase above the Golden Rank, the strength of the Fierce Beasts will be significantly enhanced. But the harvest of Mithril is somewhat unsatisfactory. Xu Chen sighed as he looked at the total amount of Mithril in his palm. A total of over 700 grams, excluding the 300 grams harvested on the first day. This means that Xu Chen only harvested 100 grams more of mithril in the following six days compared to the first day. Take it slow. Xu Chen silently said to himself. He retrieved the red armor bronze corpse and the mithril in his hand back into the beast's space. Squeak Tilder, the ore eating rat on the side seemed to yawn. Xu Chen saw this scene and smiled. The heavy mood from earlier instantly disappeared. You've worked hard these past few days, go to sleep early. After placing the ore eating rat next to his pillow, Xu Chen slowly drifted into dreamland. The next day, at 8.30 in the morning, after Xu Chen finished washing up, he returned to his room. He glanced at the ore eating rat still sleeping and quietly approached the bed. Pia. He flicked its cheek. Startled by the attack, the ore eating rat immediately stood up against the wall. From its frightened eyes, Xu Chen could sense that it was close to death just now. The ore eating rat gradually regained its composure. When it saw that Xu Chen was teasing it, it angrily approached the bed and greeted Xu Chen in rat language. He! Xu Chen was slightly stunned. It seemed that overnight, the ore eating rat had become a bit arrogant. It didn't know who was in charge. After grabbing it and holding its tail, Xu Chen turned it upside down and playfully flicked its forehead. Soon, the ore eating rat surrendered under Xu Chen's dominance. Xu Chen smiled satisfactorily, placed it on his head, and walked out of the villa as usual, heading towards the classroom. At 8.50, Xu Chen, with the ore eating rat on his head, entered the classroom on time. He sat down in the same spot as last time, surrounded by the discussions of his classmates. When I came over just now, I found that some classes were empty. Do you know what's going on? I saw that too, I was wondering. There shouldn't be no one in class. On Monday mornings at 9 o'clock, everyone has the same class. There must be something going on. I know a little about this. I heard from a friend that it's about some ruins or something. Now that you mention it, before every freshman grand competition, there is an opportunity to enhance strength in a secret realm, but I don't know the specifics. After teacher Chen comes, we can ask him. Hearing the conversation around him, Xu Chen remembered passing by other classes where some were indeed empty. Ruins? I wonder if it will help the evolution of the Red Armor Bronze Corps. After thinking for a while, Xu Chen decided that even if there was something going on, he would find out when the teacher arrived. There was no point in speculating here. He ignored the discussions around him. Clatter clatter. A loud sound of footsteps came from outside the classroom. Chen Xu slowly walked into the classroom, stood in front of the platform, and looked at the students below. He began speaking slowly. Very good, no one is late for class this time. I believe that all of you have been making the final push for the freshman grand competition this week. So, let's start with your first report, Beast Level Report. Just like the last time with self-introductions, come up to the stage in order of your student number from back to front. Li Hua, please come up first. Upon hearing Chen Shu's words, Li Hua walked to the front of the platform. My spirit beast level is high bronze. After the introduction, he returned to his seat, giving way to the 29th student. My spirit beast level is. The 29th student stepped up to introduce. My spirit beast level is low silver. Upon hearing the silver level, Xu Chen looked up at the platform and saw that the speaker was Tang Mingho, who was the first to compete in the initial match with his high bronze spirit beast. It was unexpected that he had already advanced to the low silver level. Following that, Xu Chen noticed that from the ninth to the fourth place in the exchange match between new and old students, all had advanced to the low silver level during this period. My spirit beast level is mid silver. It was Fang Nan who spoke on stage at this moment. Listening to Fang Nan's words, Xu Chen recalled the exchange match between new and old students, where his flame lion was just a step away from advancing. Therefore, it was no surprise that he had now reached the mid-silver level. My spirit beast level is mid-silver. Xu Yufei said before stepping down from the platform. 
Chu Chen took the stage and said, My spirit beast level is mid silver, before returning to his seat. With this, the first round of reports came to an end. Chen Shu was very satisfied after listening to everyone's first round of reports. Including Tang Mingho, the top 10 spirit beast levels in the class had all reached the silver level, especially Fang Nan, whose spirit beast level had also reached mid silver, just like Xu Chen and Xiu Yufei. Xiu Yufei and Xu Chen's unchanged spirit beast levels were within his expectations. After all, it was quite difficult to advance from mid-silver to high-silver within a week. After listening to everyone's reports, I can see the efforts you have made this week. In that case, I have another good news to announce. Later, I will take you all to a relic controlled by our Meteorite Academy. In this relic, as long as you seize this opportunity, I believe everyone's spirit beast level can be raised by one level. Chen Shu announced a major news to everyone. Teacher, can you tell us more about the specific information regarding this relic? A student who had been discussing the relic stood up and asked. You will know the specifics as soon as you arrive. Chen Shu said somewhat mysteriously. All right, now follow me. Chen Shu walked out of the classroom. Soon, everyone lined up in excitement and followed Chen Shu towards the so-called relic. Xu Chen leisurely followed at the end of the line. As the group advanced, Xu Chen realized they were heading towards the location of the secret area. Although he had only killed beasts in the fourth secret area this week, he was very familiar with the distribution of other secret areas in the secret zone. Not seeing any entrance to a relic, he became curious. Soon, Chen Xu led everyone to the secret area familiar to Xu Chen. However, instead of heading towards any of the secret area entrances, they bypassed all the locations and arrived at a plain wall. Everyone looked at the unremarkable wall, exchanged puzzled glances, indicating they couldn't see anything special. Chen Shu slowly took out a card from his body and inserted it into an inconspicuous groove on the wall. As the card was inserted, ZZZ, a circular secret entrance emitting a halo of light suddenly appeared in front of everyone. In the middle of the entrance was a deep darkness. With the appearance of the secret entrance, Chen Shu left everyone behind and disappeared into the darkness alone, leaving everyone looking at each other. What should we do now? What else can we do? Just follow him in? This is the Meteorite Academy, would Teacher Chen harm us? That makes sense, but who should go first? While everyone was still discussing who should enter first, Xu Chen looked at the darkness in the middle of the entrance. Then, without hesitation, he took a step forward and followed Chen Xu into the darkness, leading their way into the secret realm. The others immediately stopped their discussion and followed into the entrance of the secret realm. After Xu Chen entered the entrance, before he could see clearly the scene inside the secret realm, he heard Chen Shu's voice beside him, saying, Welcome to Secret Realm Zero. Hearing Chen Shu's words, Secret Realm Zero. Xu Chen remembered that the new student manual only mentioned secret realms numbered from 1 to 10, with no mention of a zero. However, it was normal to think about it. Who would write about ruins in a manual? Did you write it? Anyway, it wasn't written in the Meteorite Academy's manual. This piqued Xu Chen's curiosity. He slowly opened his eyes and as the scene in front of him gradually became clear, before Xu Chen could express his feelings, a series of beautiful words came from behind him. Wow! Such a tall and huge tower. Is this the rumored ruins? Other students also arrived in the secret realm at this moment. Listening to their simple and sincere exclamations, Xu Chen suddenly lost his previous interest. He then habitually observed his surroundings. They were currently on a high platform, with descending stone steps on the right side. Looking around, there were platforms appearing at intervals similar to the one they were standing on, which should be the landing places for other classes entering the secret realm. Looking up, Xu Chen's eyes fell on a 12-story tower, each level with a lamp on the eaves. Looking down, near the base of the tower, he could see numerous small black dots. Apart from some scattered black dots, they could roughly be divided into nine regions. If he guessed correctly, they should be the other nine classes. Now that everyone is here, I would like to ask everyone here, how much do you know about the ruins? Chen Shu, seeing everyone curious about the ruins in front of them, couldn't help but ask. The crowd. Seeing no one answering, Chen Shu had to explain to everyone personally. I believe everyone has a basic understanding of history. During the early revival of spiritual energy, when people discovered they could form contracts with spirit beasts, they were able to briefly resist the attacks of ferocious beasts. However, at that time, due to the influence of the revived spiritual energy, the levels of ferocious beasts were generally higher than those of the spirit beasts on the human side. Although the growth rate of spirit beasts far exceeded that of ferocious beasts, it still required enough time for them to truly battle powerful ferocious beasts. 
Unfortunately, what humans lacked the most at that time was time. Just when humans were being pushed back by ferocious beasts, the first ruin appeared. Although people knew they should be cautious about the sudden appearance of ruins, the situation at that time did not allow for much consideration. A spirit beast master knew he couldn't delay any longer, stepped forward, and was the first to enter the ruin. When he came out of the ruin, people were amazed to find that his spirit beast's level had been upgraded from lower bronze to upper bronze. When asked about the specific situation inside the ruin, he said it was like a kind of checkpoint game. After passing the level, there would be rewards, and after he gave the rewards to his spirit beast, its level was upgraded. At that moment, the rest of the people couldn't sit still, one after another entering the ruins, and when they came out, everyone had improved significantly in strength. Those who tasted the sweetness began to search for the location of the ruins. Soon, one after another ruins were discovered, but people also found out that not all ruins were safe. Some ruins, if one enters and fails to complete certain tasks inside, would die instantly. Fortunately, these kinds of ruins are too rare, and most ruins are basically not life-threatening. Some ruins, even if the tasks are not completed, would only trap people inside for a period of time, or not allow re-entry. In this way, with the help of one ruin after another, humans quickly grew and successfully caught up with the level of ferocious beasts. Afterwards, step by step, the current situation was established. As Chen Shu narrated about the information on the ruins, Chu Chen also gained a clear understanding of the ruins. And what you all see in front of you is a safe ruin. Hearing that it was a safe ruin, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. When this ruin first appeared, it attracted many forces in Linjiang City to fight for it. It was said that at that time, the heavens and earth lost their color, and the sun and moon lost their light. Unfortunately, it was eventually taken down by the first dean of our meteorite academy with absolute strength. Xu Chen listened to Chen Xu narrate this historical event with a proud tone. Whether it was the previous meteorite rumors or this ruin incident, they all have the credit of the first dean. This first dean seems to be a very powerful figure. He thought to himself. All right, now I will tell you some precautions in the ruins. First, this tower type ruin is a type of challenge. The higher the level you reach, the more points you will be rewarded, but only golden level and below beast tamers are allowed to enter. Second, each of you has three chances to challenge. After failing once and exiting, you need to summarize your experience and have enough confidence before proceeding to the next challenge. Third, once you find that you cannot defeat the guardian beast on a certain level, just shout to exit the ruin, do not risk your life for a moment of bravery. Did everyone hear that clearly? Chen Shu asked the crowd. Heard it clearly. Then let's go. Chen Shu then led Shu Chen and others down the stone steps on the right towards the tall tower. The ferocious beasts in this ruin are too abnormal. Although we are not outstanding in the meteorite academy, we are students of the three major academies. How could it be so tragic? It's unbelievable, I, a mid-level bronze beast tamer, can't even defeat the lower-level bronze beasts inside. Well, let's not talk about it for now, those geniuses are coming. Although Xu Chen and the others had not approached yet, some students immediately stopped their discussion upon seeing the situation. But Xu Chen still vaguely heard some of it. A mid-level bronze student can't defeat a lower-level bronze ferocious beast. Xu Chen found it difficult to understand these words. Was it a misunderstanding on his part or were they joking on purpose? Soon, they arrived at the location of other teachers and students. When several teachers from other classes saw Chen Shu leading Xu Chen and others, they quickly approached Chen Shu. What's going on? Why do I seem to have heard some bad news? Chen Shu was the first to raise the question, clearly not the only one who heard those words. We don't know if there's a problem with the ruins, causing the ferocious beasts in the high tower to be much stronger than before. Many students have wasted a challenge opportunity because of this change. Teachers from other classes also quickly explained the changes in the ruins to Chen Shu and Xu Chen. Upon hearing this, Xu Chen realized that he had not misheard earlier. They really can't beat the lower level bronzes with intermediate bronzes. What about the distribution of fierce beast levels? Chen Shu quickly asked another important question. It seems that the distribution of fierce beast levels is still the same as in previous years. Fierce beasts from the first to the third floor are black iron level, and from the fourth to the sixth floor are bronze level fierce beasts. No students can reach higher levels, you need to go up and see for yourselves. The teacher from another class responded quickly. That's good. Chen Xu finally heard some good news. As long as the levels remain unchanged, the points earned in the end are directly related to the floors. The surrounding students heard their teacher's words and started whispering. What's going on? We were asked to come a few days early compared to class 1, not to take care of us. 
I knew something was strange. It seems like they are using us to explore with class 1. Why should we? I refuse. What can you do if you refuse? Can your beast defeat theirs? Although my beast can't beat theirs, I still refuse. Their teacher also heard these words from the students. After giving the students a serious look, the whispering stopped. Thinking that Chen Shu probably heard it too, the teacher was about to apologize on behalf of the students. It's okay, children's words are unintentional, they probably won't even remember it later. Chen Shu waved his hand and then turned to face Xu Chen and the others. I believe you have also heard about some changes in the ruins. These are all information exchanged by other students using their challenge opportunities, don't let them down. So be extra careful when entering the tower later, don't be careless. Chen Shu said to everyone. Understood. Everyone responded. So, who wants to go first? Chen Shu asked the group. Hearing this, everyone raised their hands. They also heard what the students said just now and now they wanted to prove themselves. Xu Chen was also a bit impatient at this point. He wanted to see how powerful the fierce beasts in the tower, who could beat intermediate bronzes with lower level bronzes, really were. But no matter how high Xu Chen raised his hand, Chen Shu acted as if he hadn't seen it. After a brief inspection, he said, since everyone wants to go first, let's be fair. According to the student numbers from back to front, let's enter the tower one by one, what do you think? No problem. Others agreed one after another. No problem. Although Xu Chen had something in mind, he didn't know whether to say it or not. But seeing the situation, he had to agree in the end. Soon, a student walked out from their group. It was Li Hua, ranked 30th. After entering, remember, you have three chances to challenge, don't risk your life for a moment of bravery. Chen Xu reminded once again. Understood, Teacher Chen. Li Hua nodded heavily. Then he arrived at the entrance of the first floor of the tall tower and disappeared into it. As Li Hua entered, the lights on the eaves of the first floor of the tall tower also lit up. Based on Li Hua's strength in defeating the upper-level bronze bear, there should be no problem passing the first five floors, it depends on whether he can pass the sixth floor. Chen Shu analyzed as he watched Li Hua enter. Listening to Chen Shu's analysis, just now they said that the lower-level bronze fierce beasts inside can defeat the intermediate bronze beasts. This also indirectly shows the strength of the fierce beasts inside. In this case, it is still possible for the intermediate bronze fierce beasts to defeat the upper-level bronze beasts. Considering the recent promotion of the giant beast to the upper-level bronze, I doubt it can even pass the fifth floor. I hope my analysis is wrong. After silently analyzing Li Hua's situation, Chu Chen came to a different conclusion than Chen Shu. Subsequently, attention turned to Li Hua's situation. Before long, the first lamp went out. It indicated that Li Hua successfully passed the first level. Xu Chen and Chen Shu both looked at the time on their wristbands. It took a total of 30 seconds. Exactly half a minute. It seemed very splendid. In fact, everyone knew that this data didn't reveal much. What was important was the data that followed. Soon after, the second lamp went out. It took 50 seconds. Nearly twice the time it took to clear the first level. The third lamp went out. It took two minutes. The fourth lamp went out. It took six minutes. Finally, the fifth lamp lit up. Looking at Li Hua's situation, it seems a bit tricky. At this point, Chen Shu also noticed some issues. Except for the time it took to pass the second level not being twice that of the previous level. All the others are more than double, especially the last one, which is tripled. Based on the previous data analysis, even if the fifth level is one, it will take at least 18 minutes. But if the battle duration approaches 20 minutes, it already indicates that the battle has reached a stalemate. Li Hua's fifth level is difficult. Chu Chen analyzed silently in his mind. The rest of the group looked at the lamp of the fifth level. Quietly cheering Li Hua on in their hearts. Time passed bit by bit. Finally, there was a change in the lamp of the fifth level. However, it didn't go out. A red light lit up. It also announced that Li Hua's first attempt to challenge the fifth level had stopped there. After the red light lit up, a dusty figure appeared in front of everyone. Li Hua. Looking at him, it seemed like he had also gone through a tough battle. Seeing his failure on the fifth level, he jogged all the way to where the group was. I'm sorry, everyone, I couldn't even pass the fifth level. Li Hu apologized to everyone with his head down. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with failing the first time. With ample preparation, you'll make it next time. Chen Shu patted Li Hua on the shoulder, showing encouragement. Then everyone else also encouraged him one after another. 
Li Hua, upon hearing their words, returned to his position, silently contemplating the next challenge. Seeing that Li Hua had no issues, Chen Xu continued, next. The 29th candidate entered the tower. The first lamp, 25 seconds. The second lamp, 40 seconds. The third lamp, one and a half minutes. The fourth lamp, for minutes and 20 seconds. But unfortunately, just like Li Hua, they stopped at the fifth level. Afterwards, the 28th. The 27th. The 17th. Passed the fifth level. Just when Chen Xu thought the situation would gradually improve, the next candidates from the 16th to the 11th got stuck at the sixth level again. As the students of the group failed one after another, the gazes of students from other classes around them slowly changed. And at this moment, the next person to enter the tower was Tang Mingho. When Chen Xu called out this name, he looked at the nine names that followed. Including Tang Mingho, these students' beast companions had all reached the silver rank. Especially the last three. They had even reached the intermediate silver rank. Finally, it was time to show the true strength of their group. Seeing Chen Xu smile slightly when he read out Tang Mingho's name, the teachers from other classes asked Chen Xu one after another after exchanging glances. From your expression, it seems like you are very confident that Tang Mingho will pass the sixth level, right? Unfortunately, Tang Mingho's beast companion was promoted to the lower silver rank some time ago. Chen Xu replied somewhat flatly. Lower silver rank? The teachers from other classes were slightly stunned at his words. They still remembered this Tang Mingho's beast companion. Just a few days ago, during the exchange competition between new and old students, it was only at the upper bronze rank. And now, in just a week, it had advanced to the silver rank. What did I just hear? Tang Mingho actually advanced to the silver rank. I remember Tang Mingho was only ranked 10th in the class, if even he made it to silver, then what about the others ahead of him? That's just because he has better talent than you, and works harder than you, right? Other students from surrounding classes also heard Chen Xu's words at this moment. They all found it hard to believe. So, the students in your class who ranked ahead of Tang Mingho. Obviously, teachers from other classes also realized something. Just as you guessed, the top 10 students in our class have all advanced to the silver rank. Chen Xu said this with a sense of pride. Except for Xu Chen, Xi Yufei, and Fang Nan, who practiced independently. He had specially designed a training plan for Tang Mingho and the other seven students' beast taming situations. So, during this week, they endured so much hardship and worked so hard to advance to the silver rank. Chen Xu saw it all. In some cases, even Chen Xu felt that they were finding it hard to persevere. But they gritted their teeth and persisted. Chen Xu speculated that they must have been thinking about their performance in the exchange competition between new and old students. Here, after Tang Mingho entered the tower, he advanced to the seventh floor at a speed far exceeding all his classmates before. He quickly arrived at the sixth floor. This student Tang Mingho's strength is indeed impressive. At this rate, it should not be difficult for him to pass this sixth floor. Seeing Tang Mingho's speed, teachers from other classes congratulated Chen Xu in advance. Naturally, after all, the strength of the silver rank is far from. What? Chen Xu hadn't finished speaking when he suddenly seemed to discover something incredible. It turned out that the lamp at the eaves of the sixth floor had changed. But it didn't go out. Instead, it lit up with a red light. This meant that Tang Mingho had been defeated by the fierce beast on the sixth floor. No way. Even Tang Mingho of the silver rank couldn't pass the sixth floor? Who could have thought, I also thought he could pass the sixth floor. But the result is. Sigh. The sixth floor is so powerful, the strength of the beasts on the upper floors must be unimaginable. Seeing Tang Mingho of the silver rank fail the challenge, students from other classes also sighed. At this time, Tang Mingho also returned to where his class was. Obviously, he was not satisfied with his performance. He returned to his seat without saying a word. Then he remained silent. Seeing his low spirits, Chen Xu decided to let him be alone for a while and not disturb him. Next. Signaling the next student to enter the tower. However, the following situation was somewhat unexpected for Chen Xu. Starting from Tang Mingho, several students in a row failed the challenge. They all stopped at the sixth floor. This situation continued until Fang Nan entered the tower. With Fang Nan's silver intermediate beast taming strength, plus atavism, there should be no more surprises. Chen Xu was very confident in Fang Nan's strength. As expected, after Fang Nan reached the sixth floor, it didn't take long. The lamp on the sixth floor went out. Seeing such a strong contrast. He actually passed so quickly, isn't the fierce beast on the sixth floor quite fierce? Strength is relative, 
Fangnan's beast taming is not only silver intermediate, but also the descendant of a transcendent beast. Ordinary fierce beasts, unless they can cause level and attribute restraints, are hard to deal with. Another day of envy in others. Students from other classes looked at Fang Nan, who had already entered the seventh floor, and said. He quickly solved the fierce beast on the sixth floor that made everyone stop, Fang Nan's strength is still as strong as ever. Teachers from other classes sighed. Indeed, Fang Nan's strength can rank in the top three among the new students this year. The next challenge is to see if we can make it past the seventh floor. Chen Xu said, looking up at the tower. Fang Nan had been on the seventh floor for some time now. The lights outside the tower had been on the whole time. After a while, the lights on the seventh floor finally changed. They went out. But before anyone could cheer, the lights on the eighth floor quickly lit up and turned red. Fang Nan's figure appeared outside the tower almost immediately. When Fang Nan reached Chen Xu, he was about to say something, but Chen Xu interrupted, after all, it's your first challenge. Making it to the seventh floor is already very good. What you need to do now is rest well and prepare for the next challenge. Chen Xu patted Fang Nan's shoulder. Got it, teacher Chen, Fang Nan nodded in agreement. He found a quiet place to reflect on this experience. Next up to enter the tower was Xie Yufei. However, despite lasting a bit longer than Fang Nan, she also stopped at the eighth floor. Seeing that two out of the three aces in her class had fallen, leaving only one person, Chen Xu was about to call Xu Chen to prepare for entering the tower. But to his surprise, after searching the crowd several times, he couldn't find Xu Chen's figure. Where is Xu Chen? Chen Xu asked a group of students, feeling a tap on his shoulder. Turning around, he saw a teacher from another class. It seems Xu Chen has already entered, the teacher pointed to the light on the first floor of the tower. Chen Xu followed the direction and fell silent as he looked at the lit light. On the first floor of the tower, Xu Chen found himself in the center of an empty space, summoning the red armor bronze corpse by his side. Looking around, he realized he was in what seemed to be an ancient Roman arena. Above the empty space where he stood were rows of empty seats. In front of him was a huge iron gate, where he expected fierce beasts to emerge soon. Challenger number 129527. Welcome to the novice training camp. A mechanical voice devoid of emotion came from above the arena. You have three chances to challenge. Are you ready for your first challenge? Begin. Xu Chen said, staring at the iron gate ahead. As he watched his classmates outside, except for Xie Yufei and Fang Nan, who had been defeated by beasts of lower levels, he wanted to see how the tower's beasts differed from those outside. As the iron gate slowly opened, a monkey-like beast appeared before Xu Chen. It had light yellow fur all over its body, brown limbs, a pink nose resembling a pig's, and triangular eyes that revealed a wild look. Its hands and feet were divided into three fingers, and it had a long, flexible tail with a brown tip. Xu Chen checked the information of this beast. Name, Impulsive Monkey, Current Level, Lower Black Iron, Growth, 0%, Talent, None, Skills, Scratch, Heavy Kick, Red Armor Bronze Corpse, Go and Play With It. Xu Chen didn't intend to defeat it immediately. Instead, he wanted to observe the differences in the beasts inside while the impulsive monkey posed no real threat to the red armor bronze corpse. However, Xu Chen's actions inside the tower caused a stir outside. Outside the tower, students from other classes were puzzled as they saw the light on the first floor still on. What's going on? Am I seeing things? The light on the first floor is still on. It's been almost a minute, and it's not resolved yet. Does it really take this long to defeat a lower black iron beast? Students from other classes were confused by the situation on the first floor. Shouldn't it be? With Xu Chen's strength, even five seconds on this level seems too much. Is there some problem inside? Perhaps the big shot's thoughts might be different from ours. The classmates were equally puzzled by Xu Chen's situation. The Xu Chen in your class seems to have a different idea. After thinking for a while, the teacher from another class slowly spoke to Chen Xu. Genius. There's always something different about them, let's see what his next plan is. Chen Xu smiled slightly. Inside the tower. Watching the red-armored bronze corpse playing with the irritable monkey not far away. The fierce beasts here seem to have something different. I feel. After observing the irritable monkey for so long, Chu Chen also had a kind of inexplicable discovery. It may be because the level is too low, some things are not obvious. In that case, deal with the red-armored bronze corpse. With these thoughts, Xu Chen also didn't plan to continue observing. Hearing Xu Chen's words, the red armored bronze corpse knew it was time to end this game. Its eyes turned serious. 
At this moment, the irritable monkey on the opposite side once again used its heavy kick skill. Coming towards the red-armored bronze corpse. Seeing this, the red-armored bronze corpse did not dodge. As the irritable monkey's heavy kick was about to hit the red-armored bronze corpse, a punch was thrown. Directly ending the game. Then, the body of the irritable monkey gradually became ethereal, and finally, even the bloodstains disappeared along with it, gradually vanishing from the ground. Xu Chen arrived at the spot where the irritable monkey disappeared. Stepping on the ground beneath his feet. Interesting, he thought to himself. With the irritable monkey killed. Challenger number 129,527. Do you wish to continue your challenge? The emotionless, mechanical voice came from above the arena once again. Continue. Xu Chen answered without hesitation. Outside the tower. The lights on the first floor of the tower went out. This brother finally decided to come out of the first floor. He shouldn't get addicted to the newbie area again, right? Har har. Your metaphor is quite apartment, everyone, look at the lights on the tower. Damn. Was this big shot really this strong? The students outside saw the lights on the first floor finally go out and before their size had even subsided, they witnessed a shocking scene. The second floor, lights on and off. The third floor, lights on and off. The fourth floor, lights on and off. The duration on each floor did not exceed three seconds. The Xu Chen in your class seems to be taking it seriously now. Teachers from other classes were somewhat surprised by this speed. It should have been like this a long time ago. Chen Xu felt somewhat helpless. Inside the tower. Fifth floor. Xu Chen looked at the new fierce beast walking out from the iron gate. Was it this fierce beast that made Li Hua lose? This new fierce beast had small claws on its forelimbs, a yellow-brown body. Its head resembled a brown shield, with eyes located slightly below the middle of the head. Around the eyes, there was skin of the same color as the body. Name, brown shield dragon, current level, intermediate bronze, growth, 0%, talent, none, skills, iron head, heavy impact, encouragement. After looking at the information panel for a while, Xu Chen saw the description of the encouragement skill. Encouragement, after using this skill, oneself will be inspired, greatly enhancing one's strength, speed, defense, lasting for three minutes. Now it's not hard to understand why Li Hua and the following classmates lost. At this moment, the brown shield dragon might have felt the pressure from the red-armored bronze corpse. Subconsciously, it used the encouragement skill. A wave of earthy yellow light flashed on the brown shield dragon's body. It was visibly seen that its claws became longer and sharper, and its skin became thicker. However, what Chu Chen wanted to say was, did this level of fierce beast need to use this skill? There is no difference for the red-armored copper corpse. Just saw the red-armored copper corpse swiftly move to the side of the brown shield dragon. The brown shield dragon immediately used iron head and heavy impact to attack the red-armored copper corpse. Seeing the charging brown shield dragon. The red-armored copper corpse directly used one hand to press the brown shield dragon in place. Making it unable to approach any further. Then raised the other hand. A heavy punch. Hit the shield-shaped head of the brown armored dragon. Bang. As the brown armored dragon's body weakly fell down. Declaring the end of this battle. Outside the tower. The fifth lamp went out. Finally, it didn't extinguish within three seconds. It seems that starting from the fifth floor, the fierce beasts have begun to pose some threat to Xu Chen. After all, it's getting closer. Before the students from other classes could finish their words. The sixth floor, lights on and off. The seventh floor, lights on and off. The eighth floor, lights on. The duration on each floor still does not exceed three seconds. The strength of Xu Chen's class should have a limit at least. But now, even the lower level silver fierce beasts cannot survive three seconds in his hands. The teachers from other classes were full of shock in their tone. This. Chen Xu was also surprised by Xu Chen's strength at this moment, not knowing what to say for a while. And not far away, Fang Nan and Xia Yufei, after seeing Xu Chen's performance. They glanced at each other. I didn't expect that his strength has already opened up such a big gap with us, right? Fang Nan spoke first. Such strength is almost catching up with those monsters in the Imperial City. Xia Yufei was unsure whether to be happy for Xu Chen or... I've decided, in a few days, I will apply to go to the front line for training. After thinking for a while, Fang Nan made the decision to go to the front line. Me too. Xia Yufei understood very well the reason behind Fang Nan's decision. If they continue like this, they probably won't even have the qualification to catch up with him in the future. Inside the tower. The eighth floor. As the iron door opened once again. 
The fierce beast that made Xie Yufei and Fang Nan stop in their tracks slowly walked out. The body of this fierce beast is mainly composed of a large piece of dark blue rock, with three small dark blue rocks as arms on the main body and behind it. In the middle of the face, there is a vertical protruding dark blue rock that goes straight to the top of the head, resembling a nose, with four sharp orange multifaceted stones on the top of the head. There are three arms around the body, two on each side, and one behind, these arms that support the body to stand, and at the tip of the arms are also orange crystal rocks. And under the body, there are also three orange energy crystals. Soon, the information of this fierce beast appeared in front of Xu Chen. Name, Rock Crystal Crab, Current Level, Silver Intermediate, Growth Progress, 0%, Talent, Energy Manipulation, Skills, Rock Wall, Rock Skeleton Armor, Energy Beam, Energy Pouring, Chia. The Rock Crystal Crab looked at the enemy in front of it. After emitting an attacking cry, the orange energy stones on its body began to shine brightly. Beams of energy shot out from it. Towards the Red Armored Copper Corpse. In this situation, the Red Armored Copper Corpse immediately used high speed movement. Like a ghost, shuttling back and forth among these energy beams. After dodging all of them. Soon arrived next to the Rock Crystal Crab. A punch was thrown. Crack. The dark blue rocks on the surface of the rock crystal crab instantly made a cracking sound. Spiderweb-like cracks continued to appear on the surface. As the cracks increased, the rocks on the surface also began to fall off piece by piece. In no time, all the dark blue rocks on the surface had fallen off, revealing the light blue tender skin inside. At the same time, the size of the rock crystal crab's body also halved. Seeing that the rock crystal crab was not defeated by a single punch from the red armored copper corpse, Xu Chen was not surprised. He probably knew that this was the effect of the rock crystal crab's rock carapace armor. The skill effect is likely that when the armor is intact, defense will double, but speed will halve, when the armor is broken, speed will double, but defense will halve. This is also the reason why the rock crystal crab can withstand a punch from the red armor bronze corpse without dying. On the other side of the battlefield, the rock crystal crab so that its armor had been broken. With a speed that was not much inferior to the red armor bronze corpse, it flew towards the other half of the battlefield. The red armor bronze corpse saw that the rock crystal crab wanted to escape and decided to chase after it. Suddenly, a wall made of rocks swiftly rose from the ground, blocking the path in front of the red armor bronze corpse, causing it to stop in its tracks. It was the rock crystal crab using the rock wall skill. Taking advantage of the red armor bronze corpse's pores, the rock crystal crab successfully increased the distance between them. Seeing the wall that had blocked its path disappear, the red armor bronze corpse wasted no time and delivered a heavy punch towards it. Obviously, the wall couldn't withstand the force of the punch and crumbled instantly. Seeing the wall that had blocked its path disappear, the red armor bronze corpse continued its pursuit. The rock crystal crab watched as the figure charging towards it. Using the same tactic again, it continuously raised rock walls and emitted a bright orange energy from its body. It changed its position constantly, shooting a large number of energy beams at the red armor bronze corpse from multiple angles. It seemed like it wanted to engage in a battle of attrition with the red armor bronze corpse and eventually wear it down. However, it had miscalculated. With each punch from the red armor bronze corpse, the rock walls collapsed one after another. The rock crystal crab was not discouraged by this, as the rock walls were originally meant to shield its energy attacks from behind. As the walls disappeared, a large number of energy beams surged from all directions and struck the red armor bronze corpse. A deafening explosion ensued, engulfing the red armor bronze corpse in smoke and dust. The rock crystal crab watched as the explosions continued to flash at the target, slowly relaxing its fighting stance, probably thinking that the red armor bronze corpse wouldn't survive such a dense attack. Looks like I underestimated you. Red Armor Bronze Corpse. Xu Chen watched the Rock Crystal Crab's actions and couldn't help but smile. With the Red Armor Bronze Corpse's Copper Scales defense, coupled with a natural 20% damage reduction, it was simply a pipe dream to defeat it with those energy beams alone. He then shouted towards the smoke and dust, Raw. As soon as Xu Chen's voice fell, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse responded from within the smoke and dust. In an instant, an unscathed figure emerged from the smoke and dust. From Xu Chen's tone, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse understood the message, it was time to end this battle. Seeing that its attacks had no effect, the Rock Crystal Crab resumed its fighting stance and launched a mixed attack of rock walls and energy beams. However, this time, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse didn't give it a chance. It leaped over the rock walls and faced the incoming energy beams. With agile movements in the air, 
it evaded all of the rock crystal crab's attacks, landing gracefully towards the rock crystal crab's position. A more intense impact sound echoed in the square. Xu Chen focused on the spot where the red armor bronze corpse landed, revealing a huge sunken pit on the ground. The red armor bronze corpse stood upright in the middle, with a mixture of blue and orange substances under its feet, no longer resembling its original shape. Challenger number 129527. Will you continue your challenge? The emotionless mechanical sound came from above the arena. With its appearance, it announced the death of the rock crystal crab. At the same time, all traces of battle in the square quickly disappeared. Continue. Xu Chen watched the changes in the square in front of him. A flat response. Outside the tower. The eighth floor light, extinguished. Look. The light on the eighth floor has gone out. The leader of class 1 actually defeated the beast on the 8th floor. I remember Xia Yufei and Fang Nan both stopped on this floor. The students below were shocked to see the light on the 8th floor extinguished. I knew the beast on the 8th floor couldn't stop Xu Chen. Come on, Xu Chen. Although class 1 students were shocked by Xu Chen's performance, they were more delighted. It seems that teacher Chen has produced an outstanding student. After seeing Xu Chen pass the 8th floor, teachers from other classes said to Chen Xu. This is all the result of Xu Chen's own efforts, I dare not take credit. But the beasts on the next few floors will become more powerful, let's see how far Xu Chen can go. Chen Xu seemed to be looking at Xu Chen in the tower, saying with deep meaning. And not far away, Xi Yufei and Fang Nan. Seeing the light on the 8th floor slowly extinguish. Others may not know how powerful the beast on the 8th floor is. But they remembered it vividly. Whether it was the powerful energy beam or the hard rock wall. They were quite difficult skills to deal with. But even such a powerful beast on the eighth floor. In the end, it could not resist Xu Chen's footsteps. If this time Xu Chen stopped at the eighth floor like them. At least it shows that the gap between Xu Chen and them may not be as huge as they imagined. But the reality in front of them tells them that perhaps some changes are really needed. Soon. The light on the ninth floor of the tower also went out. Seeing this scene, everyone. He actually passed the ninth floor so quickly. It took less time than the 8th floor. When fighting the beast on the 8th floor, did the leader not take it seriously at all? Could it be? I'm stunned. I'm already stunned. Is this the difference between the leader and us? Hey! Others easily pass the 8th floor, I almost lose half my life on the 5th floor, is this life? Not worth it. The mouths of students from other classes have not closed since Xu Chen entered the tower. This is too amazing. So Xu Chen wasn't serious when he was on the 8th floor. Class 1 student saw Xu Chen pass the 9th floor so quickly and cheered. Judging by the strength Xu Chen has shown now, this year's 3 great academy freshman competition is likely to be very lively. Teachers from other classes couldn't help but smile when they saw Xu Chen's amazing performance. Indeed, looking at it this way, if the Sun Academy and the Luo Yu Academy maintain the same level as before this year, then this year's champion is already set for our Meteor Star Academy, har har har. Chen Xu couldn't help but laugh at the thought. Inside the tower. The tenth floor. From this level onwards, the beasts are probably not as easy to deal with as the previous levels. Xu Chen looked at the still-closed iron door in front of him and slowly spoke. From the first floor to here. Xu Chen had discovered some patterns. Without any surprises, starting from the tenth floor. All the beasts' levels will reach the gold level. K-A-K-A-K-A. -A -A -A. The familiar sound of the opening iron door rang out again. A tall beast slowly emerged from the darkness behind the iron door. This beast had the appearance of a blue octopus with yellow suckers and spots, facial patterns resembling a butterfly. It had a total of eight tentacles, one of which wrapped around three tentacles used for standing like a belt. The remaining four tentacles were raised high, seemingly ready for battle. Xu Chen immediately checked its information. Name, Blue Belt Grandmaster, Current Level, Lower Gold, Growth Length, 0%, Talent, Combat Master, Skills, Bone Crushing Fist, Knife Hand Strike, Death Strangle, Master's Will, Passive, Lower Gold Level. Just as Xu Chen expected. This fierce beast's level has reached the lower gold level. Combat Master, greatly enhances control over the body and increases damage of combat skills. Master's Will, Passive The more severe the injuries, the higher one's strength becomes. Looking at the description of this talent skill and passive skill. Seems like a tough opponent. Xu Chen said silently. At this moment, the blue belt grandmaster also noticed the crimson armored zombie across from it. In the next moment, waving its four tentacles, it charged straight towards the crimson armored zombie. Swish. 
Seeing this, the Crimson Armored Zombie fearlessly met the Blue Belt Grandmaster head-on. The Blue Belt Grandmaster saw the enemy actively approaching. It immediately clenched one tentacle into a fist and struck at the Crimson Armored Zombie. Bone-crushing fist. The Crimson Armored Zombie never expected to have a fierce beast exchanging punches with it one day. Similarly, it threw a punch. Heavy blow. Bang. The fists of both sides quickly collided. Emitting a dull sound. Thud. After this exchange of punches, the Crimson Armored Zombie took three steps back. Thud. The Blue Belt Grandmaster also took three steps back. Strength is actually evenly matched. Xu Chen was somewhat surprised and puzzled at the same time. After all, this was the first time encountering a fierce beast that could match the Crimson Armored Zombie in strength. Originally, the zombie's strength far exceeded that of the same level beast. Moreover, the Crimson Armored Zombie was also descended from the zombie ancestor, Jiang Chen, known for his strength. It was unreasonable for this fierce beast called the Blue Belt Grandmaster to be evenly matched with the Crimson Armored Zombie in terms of strength. A hint of surprise flashed in the eyes of the Crimson Armored Zombie as well. It never expected that the blue-skinned octopus in front of it would directly withstand its heavy blow. This sudden turn of events ignited an overwhelming anger in the Crimson Armored Zombie. Its eyes gradually turned bloodshot, and its breathing became rapid. Roar. After letting out an angry roar, it fiercely attacked the Blue Belt Grandmaster. Xu Chen naturally noticed the changes in the Crimson Armored Zombie. After a moment of contemplation, he speculated that it was due to the 30% bloodline of Jiang Chen in its body. One of Jiang Chen's greatest abilities was strength. In a situation where the strengths of both sides were almost equal, or even when the opponent was inferior, it naturally would not tolerate being unable to gain an advantage in terms of strength. Soon, the Crimson Armored Zombie once again engaged in a fight with the Blue Belt Grandmaster. Due to its anger, the Crimson Armored Zombie, while launching frenzied attacks, also gave up most of its defense. It could be said that its defense relied almost entirely on the Crimson Armored Scales. On the other hand, the Blue Belt Grandmaster, facing the Crimson Armored Zombie's unorganized attacks, calmly intercepted most of the attacks with its four tentacles and seized several opportunities to strike with bone-crushing fist and knife-hand strike on the Crimson Armored Zombie. If it weren't for the defense of the Crimson Armored Scales blocking most of the damage, the Crimson Armored Zombie would have likely suffered significant injuries by now. Xu Chen, on the side, had been observing the battle between the two. As the battle continued, Xu Chen felt a strong sense of dissonance in the scene before him. And after the Blue Belt Grandmaster's punch sent the Crimson Armored Zombie flying, Xu Chen finally understood where that sense of dissonance came from. Watching the Crimson Armored Zombie charge straight at the Blue Belt Grandmaster again, one side was the Crimson Armored Zombie's unorganized attacks, and the other side was the Blue Belt Grandmaster's methodical counterattacks. So that's it. Xu Chen felt that when he looked at the battle scene between the two again, he had shifted to a different perspective. At this moment, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse fought purely on instinct like a gifted child, while the Blue Belt Grandmaster fought with skill like a seasoned master. With this realization, some of Xu Chen's previous confusion cleared up. Initially, the Blue Belt Grandmaster's strength was actually inferior to that of the Red Armor Bronze Corpse. The ability to withstand that punch was purely due to skill. Come back. Having discovered the differences in the Blue Belt Grandmaster, Xu Chen naturally wouldn't let it exhaust his spirit beast in vain. He immediately called back the Red Armor Bronze Corpse. Upon hearing the command, the blood-red color in the Red Armor Bronze Corpse's eyes quickly disappeared. Regaining his senses, he swiftly returned to Xu Chen's side. It was evident that Xu Chen's orders took precedence over instinct in his bloodline. During the next battle, remember to focus on how the opponent uses their strength. Then try to learn their methods as much as possible, understand. Xu Chen whispered to the Red Armor Bronze Corpse. From this battle, he also identified some weaknesses in the Red Armor Bronze Corpse, particularly in the crude application of its own strength. This floor had not been exposed in previous battles because, in most cases, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse had exerted a certain level of dominance over its enemies, allowing it to conceal this weakness. However, when faced with a formidable opponent skilled in strength, such as the Blue Belt Grandmaster before them, this weakness was instantly revealed. But this also brought some good news. If the Red Armor Bronze Corpse's previous use of its innate strength was akin to owning a gold mine without knowing how to exploit it, now was the opportunity to do so. The Blue Belt Grandmaster before them was practically a free mentor. It would be a waste not to take full advantage of this excellent opportunity to learn. Upon hearing Xu Chen's words, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse nodded, indicating his understanding, and charged towards the nearby Blue Belt Grandmaster once again. This time, however, he did not abandon defense as before but followed Xu Chen's advice, 
focusing most of his attention on observing the opponent's use of strength while leaving a small portion on his own defense. Even so, he managed to withstand many attacks from the Blue Belt Grandmaster. On the battlefield, the Blue Belt Grandmaster slightly lowered his body, stabilizing himself with his tentacles to block the heavy blows from the Red Armor Bronze Corpse. He then tightened his waist and abdomen, using his other two tentacles as blade-like hands to strike at the Red Armor Bronze Corpse. Seeing this series of actions, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse also slightly lowered his body, mirroring the opponent's stance. That's it. Xu Chen watched the Red Armor Bronze Corpse's learning behavior with a smile creeping up on his lips. He had initially thought that the Red Armor Bronze Corpse would have to wait for the next evolution to make significant progress. However, this expedition to the ruins unexpectedly brought him a pleasant surprise. After this battle, as long as the Red Armor Bronze Corpse could grasp the basic use of its own strength, its overall power would see a considerable increase. I wonder if there will be more free teachers like this in the future. Xu Chen couldn't help but feel some anticipation for the beasts on the subsequent levels. What are you thinking? How could all the great benefits in this world be monopolized by you, Xu Chen alone? You are truly insatiable. Xu Chen sighed in his heart, feeling a bit greedy, and then continued to focus on the battlefield. Seeing his attacks being familiarly blocked by the opponent, the Blue Belt Grandmaster was starting to get angry. Subsequently, he executed a series of moves, leg chop, knee strike, elbow strike, rushing punch, shoulder press. Various techniques were unleashed, leaving Xu Chen amazed. He had not expected the Blue Belt Grandmaster to have such a diverse range of strength applications. But, the more you know, the stronger my Red Armor Bronze Corpse will become. Xu Chen, who was standing aside, felt secretly delighted. On the battlefield, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse faced a constant stream of attacks from the Blue Belt Grandmaster. Although it had tried its best to resist, some attacks still landed on its body. However, due to the passive defense effect of its Red Armor Bronze Scales, the damage was still within the range that the Red Armor Bronze Corpse could withstand. The important thing was that in the previous battle, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse saw through the techniques used by the Blue Belt Grandmaster so clearly. As the saying goes, the fastest way to learn is through getting beaten. While enduring the attacks, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse also had the Master's demonstration face to face, which accelerated its learning speed. Therefore, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse responded to the Blue Belt Grandmaster with a set of the same attacking moves. Leg chop. Knee strike. Elbow strike. Charging punch. Shoulder press. Although some of the techniques were still a bit immature, with the blessing of talent, they were enough to pose a considerable threat to the Blue Belt Grandmaster. As the battle continued, every time the Blue Belt Grandmaster used a new move to harm the Red Armor Bronze Corpse, it would be struck back in the same way in the next round. As this went back and forth, the Blue Belt Grandmaster had not used any new attacking methods for a long time. However, the fighting skills of the Red Armor Bronze Corpse were becoming more proficient. It seemed that it was not far from achieving the small goal Xu Chen had planned. After a while, huff, huff, huff. The breathing of the Blue Belt Grandmaster had started to become somewhat rapid. Looking at this other self with better talent in front of him, he knew that if he couldn't quickly resolve the battle next, he would definitely be the one to lose in the end. It was time to determine the outcome with one move. The Blue Belt Grandmaster looked determinedly at the approaching Red Armor Bronze Corpse. After struggling to block the charging punch from the Red Armor Bronze Corpse, the other three tentacles quickly stabbed at it. However, one of the Red Armor Bronze Corpse's arms blocked them. Seeing his attack being blocked, the Blue Belt Grandmaster revealed a victorious smile. At this moment, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse felt a strange sensation in its lower body. Lowering its head to look, it found that the tentacles around the opponent's waist had loosened at some point. Along with the tentacles under its feet, a total of four tentacles were swiftly attacking upwards along its legs. Seeing this, the Red Armor Bronze Corpse was about to retract its arm to knock them down. However, when it tried to pull back forcefully, it found that it was firmly stuck by the suckers on the tentacles. And during this time of pulling back, the Blue Belt Grandmaster's eight tentacles were quickly approaching the joints of the Red Armor Bronze Corpse. This was the prelude to using the Death Strangle. Xu Chen, upon seeing the Blue Belt Grandmaster's actions, instantly understood its intentions by recalling the skill information seen on the panel earlier. He knew that he had to come up with a countermeasure before the Death Strangle fully formed. After recalling all the skills of the Red Armor Bronze Corpse, a sudden inspiration struck. Got it. Red Armor Bronze Corpse, quickly use Sky Step to reach the highest point. Xu Chen commanded. The Red Armor Bronze Corpse immediately understood. Seizing the opportunity before the tentacles reached its ankle, it bent its knees and leaped. At the same time, it stomped several times in the air. 
In an instant, it reached the highest point. If you want to use the strangle, you need a focal point. In midair, let's see how you can use the strangle? Xu Chen smiled slightly. As the red armor bronze corpse reached the midair, it saw its death strangle being thwarted. Now it was the blue belt grandmaster's turn to make a choice. Should it forcefully release the death strangle skill? Or should it abandon this opportunity to escape from the red armor bronze corpse and make a new plan after returning to the ground? Just as it was struggling to decide, someone made the decision for it. Seeing that the blue belt grandmaster did not immediately use the strangle skill, the red armor bronze corpse took advantage of the situation. Grabbing the tentacles wrapped around the blue belt grandmaster, he swiftly slammed the grandmaster towards the ground in the square. Despite struggling with all his might, the grandmaster couldn't break free from the grip of the copper corpse. After a loud bang, a mechanical voice asked, Challenger number 129,527. Will you continue your challenge? The grandmaster couldn't withstand the damage from the swift fall. Continue. Xu Chen's calm voice echoed in the square. Outside the tower, the lights on the tenth floor went out. Oh? Past? Just the tenth floor. Yeah, just the tenth floor, what's the big deal? Those who are surprised must not have experienced anything major. Students from other classes commented calmly after the tenth floor light went out. But. Why were tears in our eyes as we spoke these words? Past the tenth floor. Xu Chen is amazing. At this rate, will Xu Chen break that record? You mean that record, right? The students from one class seem to think of something incredible. The beast on the tenth floor has reached the gold level, but still can't stop his progress. Chen Xu, do you think he can break that record? After a moment of silence, teachers from other classes couldn't help but think about something. It's still early. But with his current performance, he indeed has the strength to break that record. Chen Xu knew exactly what they were referring to. This relic has existed since the establishment of the academy. Over nearly 200 years of storms and trials, this relic has welcomed countless students while bidding farewell to many. But only about a hundred people have passed the tenth floor. On average, only one person passes every two years. This means that Xu Chen is now among the top 100 of all new students at the Meteor Academy, which has been around for nearly 200 years. However, the record Chen Xu mentioned is passing the eleventh floor. If about a hundred people have passed the tenth floor in 200 years, then less than 20 have passed the 11th floor. Over 80% of those 100 people fell at the 11th floor. In the end, less than 20% made it through the 11th floor. As for the 12th floor? Sorry. In nearly 200 years, no one has passed it. If he really passes the 11th floor, our Meteor Academy will produce another great figure in the future. Chen Xu silently cheered for Xu Chen in his heart. As for clearing the 12th floor, Chen Xu didn't even dare to think about it. Inside the tower, on the eleventh floor. Click, click, click. The sound of a new iron door opening rang out again. A massive figure slowly approached Xu Chen. As the beast emerged from the shadows, Xu Chen finally saw its appearance. It was a beast in the shape of an elephant. Its body was rectangular, with four cylindrical legs. The patterns on its thighs were regular, with white toes surrounded by bronze rings and green rust above. Its head was shrouded in dark red smoke. It looked as if it were made of rusty bronze. In addition to the green rust covering its body, there were irregular bronze patterns. Several large bronze pieces covered its head, most of which were rusted, but a few pieces were not. Two bronze ears were connected to the sides of its forehead, below which was its nose. The lower part of the nose is bronze in color, but most of the nose is covered in rust. Below the nose is ivory white. Xu Chen looked up information on this fierce beast. Name, Bronze Tyrant Elephant. Current level, mid gold, growth rate, 0%, talent, giant growth, skills, nose swing, ruthless trample, heavy impact, giant rolling, looking at the huge figure in front of him. Xu Chen's original red armor bronze corpse was already considered large enough. I didn't expect there to be something even bigger. Roughly estimating, this bronze tyrant elephant is estimated to be four to five times the size of the red armor bronze corpse. Oh. This bronze tyrant elephant saw the enemy in front of it. After another roar. Without hesitation, it charged directly towards the red armor bronze corpse. Thump. 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 Xu Chen felt the ground beneath his feet. No, more accurately, it should be the ground of the entire square. It was trembling continuously with the footsteps of the bronze tyrant elephant charging. What a terrifying power. Xu Chen couldn't help but exclaim at the scene before him. Roar. The red armor bronze corpse, unwilling to show weakness, roared at the bronze tyrant elephant and charged towards it. 
Soon, the two came face to face. The first reaction of the bronze tyrant elephant was to crush the enemy in front of it. Heavy impact. Seeing the powerful figure coming towards it, the red armor bronze corpse definitely couldn't take it head on. Then, a sidestep. Taking advantage of its speed, the red armor bronze corpse perfectly avoided the attack of the bronze tyrant elephant. Then, while the bronze tyrant elephant was in its own inertia, a heavy punch was aimed at its cylindrical leg. Bang! The attack of the red armor bronze corpse hit the leg of the bronze tyrant elephant, making a very dull sound. But looking closely at the attacked area, there was no trace of injury. The defense of this bronze tyrant elephant is unexpectedly high? Xu Chen was slightly surprised to see that the attack of the red armor bronze corpse did not cause any substantial damage. Whether it was the blue belt grandmaster of the tenth floor or this bronze tyrant elephant on this floor. The fierce beasts in this relic indeed have significant differences from those outside the relic. Seeing that his attack was ineffective, the red armor bronze corpse was slightly stunned. And in that moment of confusion, a fast-moving elephant trunk struck the red armor bronze corpse. It turned out to be the second wave of attack from the bronze tyrant elephant. The red armor bronze corpse hit by the trunk attack was instantly sent flying to the other side of the square. Stirring up a whirlwind of sand and stones, leaving a deep trench along the way. The figure of the red armor bronze corpse in the trench was gradually engulfed by the layers of dust and sand produced. The specific extent of the injuries was unknown. Oh. The bronze tyrant elephant, seeing its trunk attack successful, let out a joyful cry, then immediately used the heavy impact skill. It charged again towards the direction of the red armor bronze corpse, intending to quickly deal with the enemy. Thump. 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 With the familiar rhythm of the ground shaking, the huge body of the bronze tyrant elephant rushed forward like a bulldozer. It quickly reached the dust where the red armor bronze corpse was engulfed. Although the specific situation inside the dust was unclear, it did not affect the charging steps of the bronze tyrant elephant. Oh. After the bronze tyrant elephant let out an angry cry, its massive body rushed towards the covered position of the dust. The red armor bronze corpse had already been injured by the trunk attack earlier, and if it were to be hit again now, although it couldn't be said that it would definitely lose its combat capability, it was certain that the situation for the upcoming battle would be very bad. Red armor bronze corpse. Xu Chen also saw the situation clearly and immediately shouted loudly towards the sand and dust. Perhaps Xu Chen's call had an effect. Just as the bronze tyrant elephant was about to enter the sand and dust, a red figure rushed out from the sand and dust in the blink of an eye, avoiding the charge of the bronze tyrant elephant. It quickly arrived by Xu Chen's side. It was the red armored bronze corpse that had been knocked away by the elephant trunk before. Although it had dodged the crucial attack of the bronze tyrant elephant, the situation of the red armored bronze corpse was somewhat unexpected at this moment. The red armor scales on its chest, having blocked most of the elephant trunk's damage, were already shattered, with a clear long scar resembling an elephant trunk visible, with some blood clots inside. The bronze tyrant elephant on this level is at least one level stronger in terms of attack and defense than the blue belt grandmaster on the previous level. Originally, the red armored bronze corpse wanted to defeat it successfully, and the difficulty can be said to be self-evident. Now, due to a moment of carelessness, it has sustained injuries. If the battle continues, it will undoubtedly add many variables to the outcome of the battle. And if you want to firmly take down this bronze tyrant elephant, you must come up with a feasible plan in a short time. So, after carefully analyzing the impact of the red armored bronze corpse's injuries on the current situation in his mind, Xu Chen made the most correct decision. On the other side, ow! Seeing its charge fail, the bronze tyrant elephant, feeling mocked, roared in anger and turned around to charge towards the red armored bronze corpse even faster. Xu Chen, watching the bronze tyrant elephant charging towards him, remained unfazed. Just as the bronze tyrant elephant was about to collide with Xu Chen, I request a pause in the challenge. Ignoring the bronze tyrant elephant in front of him, Xu Chen looked up towards the position above the arena and said slowly. With the appearance of Xu Chen's words, the bronze tyrant elephant charging in front of him instantly stopped, as if it had been paused. Challenger number 129,527. Confirming the pause of your challenge? After hearing Xu Chen's words, a mechanical voice devoid of any emotion came from above the arena. Yes. Xu Chen replied calmly. Challenger number 129,527. Challenge paused successfully. Two remaining challenge attempts. Countdown to departure, 5 seconds. 5. 4. Xu Chen calmly retracted the red armored bronze corpse into the beast space and waited for the countdown to end. 1. Then Xu Chen's figure disappeared from the spot. Outside the tower, a group of teachers and students were paying attention to the changes as soon as the 11th floor light lit up. 
Now there was finally a change. The eleventh floor light was yellow. Yellow? Shouldn't it be red? Am I color blind? Are you kidding me? Even if you are color blind, it has nothing to do with yellow, silly. Wait. Wasn't this light supposed to only change between off and red? Why did it suddenly turn yellow? Students from other classes were puzzled by the appearance of the eleventh floor yellow light. Yellow light? What does this mean? I don't know, let's ask Xu Chen when he comes out. Is this the world of the big shots? Even the color of the lights is different from ours. Upon seeing the yellow light, the students from one class started joking one after another. It's rare to see a yellow light, it's no wonder these kids don't know. I wonder if teacher Chen is interested in explaining it to them. After the teachers from other classes finished speaking, they looked towards Chen Shu. With pleasure. The yellow light only appears when you reach the 10th floor or above. When you go for your second challenge, you will find that since you withdrew from the challenge, you need to start over from the beginning and challenge each level again. When you challenge beyond the 10th level, it's not about quitting the challenge, but rather pausing it. Although it still counts as using up one challenge opportunity, the difference is that you don't have to start from the first level again, but can continue from where you left off. This can save you a lot of time and keep your spirit beasts in their best condition. At this point, due to Xu Chen's performance, Chen Xu's mood was quite good, and he turned around to explain to the students. Upon hearing Chen Xu's explanation of the meaning of the yellow light, the crowd let out a wave of admiring sounds. During the time Chen Xu was explaining, Xu Chen, who had come out of the tower, also returned to his class's position. Xu Chen. You're amazing. You have no idea, your performance directly stunned the students from other classes. Exactly. When they saw you resting on the first level, some of them were still being sarcastic, but your invincible performance later was like slapping them in the face one by one. It was really cool. Um. Xu Chen, can you share with all of us your secrets to clearing levels so quickly, like the weaknesses of some of the fierce beasts inside? Yeah. Xu Chen, tell us. As Xu Chen returned, the class immediately surrounded him, praising his amazing performance and taking the opportunity to raise some questions they had encountered. After hearing their questions, Xu Chen generously began to explain to everyone. He shared what skills each fierce beast on each level had and what their weaknesses were, based on his observations. However, Xu Chen didn't need to observe these things, some of them could be known through the information panel of the fierce beasts. But these classmates didn't know that. So, after hearing Xu Chen's explanation, they all expressed their gratitude to him. Meanwhile, during Xu Chen's explanation, some students from other classes also overheard. They all wanted to know what Xu Chen was talking about. As they listened, they realized that what Xu Chen was saying might play a crucial role in their upcoming challenges. So, they all joined the audience around Xu Chen. Seeing their classmates all going over there, the remaining students from other classes wanted to see what was going on. But once they went over, they couldn't come back. Gradually, more and more people gathered around Xu Chen, listening carefully to his explanation. Xu Chen also noticed the increasing number of people around him. Upon realizing that there were students from other classes among them, he didn't stop his explanation. Although his explanation might help them to some extent, ultimately, whether they could succeed would depend on their own strength in dealing with the spirit beasts. Xu Chen, please come over here. After finishing his explanation to the students, Xu Chen heard Chen Xu calling his name. Following the direction of the voice, he saw Chen Xu and teachers from other classes standing not far away, waiting for him to come over. Seeing this, Xu Chen quickly went over to Chen Xu. What's the situation with the fierce beast on the eleventh level? Chen Xu first inquired about the situation of the bronze tyrant elephant. Teacher Chen, don't you know what the fierce beast on the eleventh level is? Xu Chen was somewhat surprised by Chen Xu's question. You don't think the fierce beasts on each level inside wouldn't change, do you? Chen Xu smiled at Xu Chen. Upon hearing Chen Xu's words, Xu Chen quickly realized that if the fierce beasts on each level were fixed every year, those students wouldn't need him to explain the situation of the fierce beasts inside to them. He then detailed some information about the bronze tyrant elephant, such as its huge size, high attack and defense power, and some skills it had used, to Chen Xu and the teachers from other classes nearby. After listening to Xu Chen's description of the bronze tyrant elephant, Chen Xu and the teachers from other classes all frowned in unison. Although we had already estimated the power of the 11th level savage beast in advance, your description still caught us off guard. After hearing Xu Chen's description, the teachers from other classes couldn't help but sigh. The strength is indeed a bit too strong. What do you think? Chen Xu looked at Xu Chen. There is no savage beast without weaknesses, and even if there is, it's just that you haven't discovered it yet. 
I plan to practice the combat skills I learned from the Red Armor Bronze Corps, and carefully recall the battle process with the Bronze Tyrant Elephant in the upcoming time. I will try to find its weaknesses, and then formulate a feasible battle plan based on this weakness. What do you think, Teacher Chen? After expressing some of his thoughts, Chu Chen wanted to ask for some advice from Chen Shu. I think your idea is great. Just follow your plan. If you need any help, feel free to ask. After hearing Xu Chen's logical and reasonable plan, Chen Xu couldn't help but admire him even more. Teacher Chen, actually, there is one thing I need your help with. After hearing Chen Xu's words, Xu Chen immediately remembered something he needed help with. Oh? It's okay, go ahead and tell me. Chen Xu gestured for Xu Chen to speak up. Actually, it's about this, my spirit beast probably won't be able to participate in the second challenge today. So I want to borrow the card that opens this relic from you. Xu Chen also remembered this matter just now. Can't participate in the challenge today. Could it be that your spirit beast? After hearing Xu Chen's request, Chen Xu instantly realized what was going on. It's just that it got injured accidentally during the battle with the bronze tyrant elephant. Xu Chen didn't see any need to hide this. I see, well. No problem. I'll give you the key after all the students have completed the assessment when we leave the relic. Um, but this way you can only stay for a few days. How about this, I will personally apply to the academy, and you can come to this relic anytime until the three great academies freshman competition. What do you think? After some contemplation, Chen Xu decided to apply for three weeks of relic usage rights for Xu Chen. If an ordinary student asked Chen Xu for the relic key, Chen Xu would never agree, let alone apply for three weeks of relic usage rights from the academy. Even if Chen Xu agreed, the academy would not approve it. But Xu Chen was different. As the most outstanding student in their class, and having already passed the 10th level of the relic. Even if he couldn't pass the 11th level in the end, no one in the academy would blame Xu Chen. After all, this achievement was quite impressive in the nearly 200 years of history of the Meteorite Academy. But once Xu Chen passed the 11th level, that would be a whole different story. From being an excellent student of the academy, Xu Chen would instantly become a genius student who could be recorded in the history of the Meteorite Academy. In fact, it's still the same old saying. The Meteorite Academy has been favoring geniuses since the moment they enrolled. Upon hearing Chen Xu's offer that Xu Chen could come to the relic anytime before the three great academies freshman competition, Xu Chen was also somewhat surprised. However, this arrangement made Xu Chen's schedule for the upcoming time very ample. For example, he didn't need to hastily use up the remaining two chances for challenges. He could have sufficient time to train the Red Armor Bronze Corps and formulate a more detailed battle plan against the Bronze Tyrant Elephant. If he passed the 11th level, Perhaps. Xu Chen thought that he might try to challenge the final 12th level. Although the result might not be successful. But since he was already at the door, he had to take a look inside, right? In case, what if it's passed? Although Xu Chen didn't know before himself. In nearly 200 years of history of Meteor Academy, no one has passed the 12th level. Even if there were, Xu Chen estimates it wouldn't be many. His resources at Meteor Academy would probably rise a step in the future. Then thank you, Teacher Chen. Xu Chen thanked Chen Xu. If you really want to thank me, then strive to pass the 11th level. So that when you advance to the extraordinary in the future, I can also tell others that there was an extraordinary powerhouse who was my student. Chen Xu thought of certain moments in the future after Xu Chen passed the 11th level and couldn't help but burst into laughter. As for why Chen Xu said that Xu Chen could advance to the extraordinary after passing the 11th level. That's because in the nearly 200 years of records at Meteor Academy, among the dozen or so students who successfully passed the 11th level, except for those who died on the front lines due to some unexpected reasons. Later, all of them advanced to the extraordinary realm. Without exception. Some of these students even became extremely powerful existences in the extraordinary realm. After chatting with Chen Xu, Xu Chen turned and walked towards his class position. When the classmates in the class saw Xu Chen coming back and exchanged glances, they made room for Xu Chen in the middle. After all, Xu Chen had just explained the information about the fierce beasts in such detail to them. This gesture was really nothing. Xu Chen saw it and didn't make a fuss, just sat down generously. Chen Xu also noticed the actions of the classmates and looked at Xu Chen sitting in the center of the class. Unconsciously, Xu Chen has gradually become the backbone of the class. Chen Xu felt more relieved after seeing the scene in front of him. Now that Xu Chen has come out of the tower, the classmates in the class have also started their second challenge journey one after another. They still challenged in order of their student numbers from back to front. But this time, the challenge situation was greatly improved compared to the first time. 
Not only was the time to pass each level greatly reduced, but many students also defeated the fierce beasts that they had failed to defeat in the first challenge. Achieving new good results. On the one hand, it was because the students in the class were not weak in their beast controlling abilities. The reason they failed in the first challenge was simply because they were unfamiliar with the skills of the fierce beasts inside. But now, since they had fought against the fierce beasts inside once, they no longer felt the initial strangeness and tension. Of course, there was another important reason. They carefully listened to and remembered Xu Chen's detailed explanations of the skills and weaknesses of the fierce beasts inside. This allowed them to take targeted measures against the fierce beasts inside. Achieving twice the result with half the effort. After coming out, they also looked at Xu Chen with grateful eyes. Without Xu Chen's explanations, they would not have been able to deal with the fierce beasts inside so skillfully. Xu Chen nodded in response to these looks. Soon, as Fang Nan and Xiu Yufei walked out of the tower again, the second challenge of the class was announced completed, and the challenge results were fresh. First of all, student Li Hua successfully passed the fifth level this time. Although he didn't make it through the sixth level in the end, there was progress at least. The students from the 29th to 18th places also passed the fifth level just like Li Hua. Next, the students from the 17th to 11th places who were stuck at the sixth level in the first challenge all passed the sixth level this time. And student Tang Mingho also proved himself in the second challenge. Not only did he pass the sixth level successfully, but he also passed the seventh level in one go. Tang Mingho truly made a name for himself. However, it may be that Tang Mingho's explosive performance stimulated those who followed him. As a result, the ninth person to enter the tower after Tang Mingho, all their way to the fourth, performed exceptionally well. Without exception, they all passed the seventh level. This almost made Chen Xu burst out laughing with joy. Perhaps influenced by this intense atmosphere. Following them, Fang Nan also successfully passed the eighth level. Moreover, he even battled on the ninth level for a long time. However, after a fierce battle, he ultimately failed to defeat the fierce beast on the ninth level. But the astonishing performance of Xie Yufei, who entered the tower next, gave Chen Shu a pleasant surprise. She directly passed both the eighth and ninth levels in succession. She was only defeated by the blue belt grandmaster in the end. She was just one step away from entering the top 100. This made Chen Shu sigh with regret. Nevertheless, even so, Xie Yufei can be considered one of the top students in the third echelon in the history of Meteor Academy. Overall, everyone's performance in this challenge has greatly improved, which made Chen Shu very satisfied. After the second challenge, everyone went through another round of rest and quickly completed their third challenge journey. However, the results of this challenge were similar to the second one. Except for a few students ranked in the 20s who passed the sixth level, the vast majority of students maintained their previous level of progress. Actually, thinking about it carefully, this is quite normal. After all, after two battles, they have become very familiar with the fierce beasts they are fighting. Coupled with a deep understanding of their own beast taming abilities, they already knew the outcome before the battle even began. At this moment, seeing that everyone except Xu Chen had used up their three challenge attempts, Chen Xu slowly spoke up. I believe that after completing the third challenge, everyone has received points corresponding to the levels they reached. Upon hearing Chen Xu's words, everyone nodded in agreement. Since everyone has earned points, let me explain to you the significance of these points. The main purpose of these points is to exchange for resources of corresponding levels. Moreover, because our Meteor Academy has controlled this relic for about 200 years. During these 200 years, countless seniors have exchanged various resources from it. Therefore, the Academy has put a lot of effort into maximizing the exchange of points for resources and has gained some experience. Now, I will share this experience with you. Of course, whether you choose to use it or not after hearing it, it's up to you, as the final decision lies with you. Alright, let's get to the point. According to the Academy's research over the years, the most valuable resource to exchange for inside is the Bloodline Reversion Potion. When Chen Xu mentioned the Bloodline Reversion Potion, the students below suddenly brightened up. Bloodline Reversion Potion Teacher Chen, does this potion, when consumed, allow the tamed beasts to undergo bloodline reversion? Upon hearing this, Li Hu immediately stood up and raised the common question in everyone's mind. Yes, the function of the bloodline reversion potion is to allow the tamed beasts to immediately undergo bloodline reversion. Chen Shu affirmed. Wow. I didn't expect the relic reward to be so good. I envied the powerful tamed beasts of Fang Nan, Xie Yufei, and Xu Chen before, but now our tamed beasts can also undergo bloodline reversion. Does this mean we can keep up with the top players, or even surpass them? After hearing Chen Shu's response, the students below suddenly cheered and rejoiced. 
Don't get too excited yet. I haven't finished speaking. The bloodline reversion potion can indeed enable the beast to successfully undergo bloodline reversion. But there will be probability differences between potions exchanged with different points. Chen Xu's following words abruptly silenced the cheers below. Probability? There was confusion below. That's right, probability. Chen Xu looked into the eyes of the crowd and said seriously. What about the specific situation, Teacher Chen? Even after hearing about the probability, the students below were still very concerned about the opportunity to have their beasts undergo bloodline reversion. When they first heard that beasts could undergo bloodline reversion, and then learned about the various benefits of bloodline reversion for beasts, they were determined to have their beasts undergo bloodline reversion. But reality was cruel. After learning about the three major ways for beasts to undergo bloodline reversion, they gradually realized the reality after some inner struggles. After all, with their family conditions, they couldn't afford any of the first two ways among the three major ways. They could only hope for the third way. But as they hoped day by day, month by month, year by year, with time passing by, they gradually gave up, or rather, forgot about it. But now, hearing that the potion in this relic could enable their beasts to undergo bloodline reversion, hope ignited in their hearts once again. Based on the statistics of the success rate of bloodline reversion for all students in the past 200 years, the following results have been obtained. Through the 11th level. The probability of bloodline reversion for potions exchanged with corresponding points is 100%. Chen Xu's first sentence ignited the students below, 100%. The students below were shocked to hear this probability. That's right, according to the records of the academy, there has never been a failure in bloodline reversion using potions corresponding to the points of the 11th level. Chen Shu actually didn't mention one thing, that is, beasts undergoing bloodline reversion with potions of this level of points will be even more powerful than usual. This is also why Chen Shu believed that if Shu Chen passed the 11th level, he would definitely advance to the extraordinary level in the future. What about the lower levels? After the shock, everyone quickly realized that the potions corresponding to this level of points had nothing to do with most of them. Except. Thinking of this, they all looked towards Shu Chen sitting in the center. Among them, only this big shot had a chance. Xu Chen saw everyone looking at him and thought they wanted him to ask a question. After thinking for a while, he asked a question that might be related to his current situation. Um, what will happen if a beast that has already undergone bloodline reversion takes this potion? After hearing Xu Chen's question, everyone looked puzzled. Have you heard? Is this true? If a beast that has already undergone bloodline reversion takes this potion, it will deepen its own bloodline. Chen Xu recalled the records of the academy after hearing Xu Chen's question, as if this situation had occurred before. After thinking for a while, he answered Xu Chen's question. Deepen the bloodline. Isn't that increasing the bloodline concentration? I remember that after each evolution starting from the purple corpse, the bloodline concentration of the beast will increase by 10%. If taking this potion can increase the bloodline concentration, can it allow the red armor copper corpse to evolve forcibly beyond the material aspect? That would be awesome. Xu Chen thought of these thoughts involuntarily and asked the system, which he hadn't seen for a long time. System. Can taking this potion achieve the effects I just thought of? After waiting for a second. No. Upon hearing this ruthless denial from the system, Xu Chen's smile froze on his face. Through the tenth level. The reference probability of bloodline reversion for potions exchanged with corresponding points is 50%. Through the ninth level. The probability of ancestral reversion reference for exchanging potions with corresponding points is 25% through the 8th level. The probability is 13% through the 7th level. The probability is 6% through the 6th level. After answering Xu Chen, Chen Xu continued to answer the questions of his classmates. However, he did not go further into the reference probability of the 6th level because the lowest level of clearance in their class was the 6th level. I passed the 6th level with a 3% probability, how about you? I'm slightly better, past the 7th level with a 6% probability, but still not even a tenth of a chance. I'm even worse. You have more than half a chance, I don't even have half a chance. After hearing Chen Xu's announcement of the probability for each level, there was a sigh below. After hearing your corresponding reference probability, don't be discouraged. This is just a reference probability, the actual probability of success in the end is only 0% and 100%. There are examples of students failing to revert through the 10th level in the records. After hearing everyone's sighs, Chen Xu gave an example to comfort everyone. That's right. Ancestral reversion only has two results, success or failure, the outcome is uncertain. One student said to himself. Since everyone knows the reference probability corresponding to their level, 
Now you can enter the tower to exchange potions that belong to you. Of course, if you don't want to exchange potions, you don't have to, I respect your decision. Now, I will send a complete list of points required to exchange various resources in the ruins from the college statistics to our class group, everyone can take a look. After speaking, Chen Xu sent the complete list to everyone's communication wristbands. Beep beep beep. The wristbands of everyone instantly made a prompt sound. Open the communication wristband. Xu Chen carefully looked at the resources inside and the corresponding points required. Mainly to see if there are materials needed for the evolution of the red armor copper corpse, such as mithril and the like. As he flipped through, he found the materials he needed now. As for the ancestral reversion potion they were concerned about. After receiving the rejection from the system, Chu Chen felt that this thing was completely useless to him. Moreover, isn't this effect a basic function of his system? According to Chu Chen's own estimation, the ancestral reversion they performed through this potion. It will definitely not be stronger than the ancestral objects provided by the system. If you ask Xu Chen how he figured it out, it should be easy to see that the strength of his red armor copper corpse far exceeds Fang Nan's blazing sky lion. Just as Xu Chen was thinking about these things, many students had already exchanged their rewards and returned. Xu Chen glanced over. All the students were carefully holding a small glass bottle in their hands. Inside were some colored potions. The vast majority of people held red ones, and a few held orange ones. However, Fang Nan held a yellow potion in his hand. Shir Yufei held a green one. It was probably the ancestral reversion potion that Chen Xu mentioned. Different colors probably represent different probabilities. Before long, all the students in the class had exchanged their rewards and returned to where the class was located. Seeing this, Chen Xu spoke slowly. Since everyone has made their choices, let me say one more thing here. After taking the potion under the beast control garment, if you fail to perform ancestral reversion, don't be discouraged, there will definitely be opportunities like this in the future. But if the beast control successfully performs ancestral reversion, then I would like to congratulate you in advance on your successful dream coming true. But some things still need to be said. I hope these classmates can continue to work hard, be happy, and also work harder to train your beasts, so that you can go further on the future path. After saying so much, I know that some classmates can't wait any longer, so let's stop here, everyone can summon their own beasts now. After hearing Chen Xu's words, the students below all summoned their beasts to their side. Various beasts appeared in front of Xu Chen for a moment. After summoning their own beasts, each one nervously stared at the potion in their hands. They muttered words in their mouths. Grandpa, Grandma, Grandparents, and ancestors whose names I don't know, bless me this time to successfully return to the ancestral bloodline. It must succeed. It must succeed. Bad luck, bad luck, go away. Xu Chen listened to their prayers with a puzzled expression. After the prayers were over, it was time to witness the miracle. The first student started to feed the red potion to their beast. With an expectant look, they observed any changes in their own beast. Other students looked over after seeing this. Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, Fang Nan, and Chen Xu also cast their gazes. Time passed second by second. Until a minute had passed. The first student's beast still showed no change. Failed. Seeing this situation, everyone simultaneously said this in their hearts. The first student naturally understood what had happened. Their face turned slightly pale, and their body trembled a bit. What a pity. After sighing inwardly, Xu Chen looked at the situation of the other students. Seeing the first student's failure, the other students realized that returning to the ancestral bloodline was not as easy as they had imagined. However, they still fed the potion to their beasts one after another. Xu Chen and Chen Xu simultaneously observed the changes in the students' beasts. Chen Xu relied on his many years of research and understanding of beasts to observe their changes. Xu Chen didn't have to go through all that trouble. When a student fed the potion to their beast, Xu Chen simply opened the information panel of the beast to see, simple and effective. When Xu Chen saw a student eagerly watching their own beast, he sometimes wanted to tell them the result in advance. The longer the expectation, the greater the disappointment in the end. But after some thought, he gave up on this risky idea. He continued to observe the other students. This one, failed. This one, also failed. This one, failed. Xu Chen looked at more than ten students in a row, all of them failed to return to the ancestral bloodline. The academy's statistics of 3% and 6% probability are quite reliable, but this probability is indeed a bit too low. Looking at the expressions of the students changing from anticipation to uneasiness, to ultimate disappointment, Xu Chen sighed in his heart. 
Just as he was about to continue observing the next target, his eyes inadvertently glanced at a beast's panel that had changed. Name, Giant Beast, Current Level, Mid Silver, Inheritance Object, In Selection, Bloodline Concentration, 30%, Growth Length, 10%, Talent, In Selection, Skills, Grand Tremor, Fierce Assault, Giant Beast Stab, Isn't this Tang Ming Ho's Beast? I remember he seemed to have cleared the 7th level, which means that relying on a 6% probability, he actually succeeded in returning to the Ancestral Bloodline. First, he suddenly mutated during the Tower Challenge, and now he succeeded in returning to the Ancestral Bloodline with a 6% probability. This guy is definitely a lucky one in his past life. Xu Chen couldn't help but exclaim when he saw the name of this beast. Over there, Tang Ming Ho soon noticed the change in his own beast. The fur slowly changed from brown to black and white. The body also gradually grew larger. Some rubbed their eyes in disbelief. After confirming that the atavism of bloodline had indeed occurred. Success. I did it. My ancestral bloodline of the beast succeeded. Excitedly shouted to the surroundings. Hearing Tang Mingho's voice, classmates gathered around. Looking at the transformed giant beast, eyes couldn't help but reveal a strong sense of envy. After hearing their voice, Chen Shu rushed to Tang Mingho's side at the first moment. Looking at the giant beast beside him, his eyes showed three parts of surprise and seven parts of joy. Surprised that Tang Mingho actually succeeded in atavism with a 6% probability potion. The joy was that with Tang Mingho, four classmates had undergone bloodline atavism. Especially Xu Chen, Xie Yufei, and Fang Nan further deepened their ancestral bloodlines. It seems that in this three major academies freshman competition, our Meteor Academy is destined to surprise the people from the Sun and Moon Academy. Congratulations! Tang Mingho! After thinking joyfully in his heart, Chen Shu congratulated Tang Mingho. I, Tang Mingho, am no longer the same as before. From now on, I will punch. Kick. In the sky and on the ground. Tang Mingho suddenly felt incredibly relaxed, as if he could float in the air with a gentle push. Loudly declaring his ambitions in his heart. Later on, seeing Fang Nan, Xie Yufei, and Xu Chen, um, what I said before was just nonsense, not true. I, Tang Mingho, am still the same young man as before. Especially when he saw the last person, Tang Mingho suddenly realized the reality. Seeing Tang Mingho's successful atavism, everyone hastened their actions, hoping for a miracle to happen to them as well. Unfortunately, miracles are called miracles for a reason. Until the last student, apart from Xu Chen and the other two, took the potion, no second student succeeded in atavism. Chen Xu, seeing that there was no fifth student in the class who succeeded in atavism, was disappointed for a moment but quickly accepted it. Having one more student succeed in atavism was already an extra surprise. Contentment brings happiness. He said to himself. At this point, only Fang Nan and Xie Yufei's beasts had not taken the potion. The other students looked at the two. Seeing everyone looking at them, Fang Nan slowly gave the yellow potion in his hand to his beast. After the blaze Emperor Lion took the potion, there was no significant change. After all, Fang Nan and Xie Yufei's beasts had already undergone atavism once. So, the effect of this potion on their beasts was just to deepen the bloodline concentration. Name, Blaze Emperor Lion Current Level, Mid Silver Inheritance Object, Emperor Lion of Flames Bloodline Concentration, 35% Growth, 40% Talent, Fire Control Skills, Breath of Flames, Vortex of Flames, Flame Arrow, Domain of Flames Xu Chen opened the information page of the Blaze Emperor Lion and found that there were quite a few changes. Not only did the increase in bloodline concentration raise the level to mid silver. The growth also increased by 50%, greatly reducing the time for the next promotion. And there's a new skill called Flame Arrow. Xu Chen looked at the skill effects. Indeed, it was a long-range skill. This potion had significantly enhanced the strength of the Blaze Emperor Lion. Raw. The Blaze Emperor Lion informed Fang Nan of some changes in its strength. Fang Nan, after hearing about the improvements in level and skills, also showed a satisfied smile. It seemed that Fang Nan had received quite a boost. Xie Yufei immediately let Ling Long take the medicine. Name, Ling Long, current level, advanced silver, inheritance object, lord of water, bloodline concentration, 39%, growth, 3%, talent, water control, skills, high temperature water bubbles, flowing water combo, water wave pursuit, water of life. Xu Chen looked at the new Ling Long panel, which had changed significantly. Wow, the level has directly jumped from advanced silver to advanced silver. The bloodline concentration has instantly reached the critical value, it seems that breaking through to 40% still requires reaching the golden level. Water wave pursuit. 
Oh, moving in the direction of the water flow will significantly increase speed, which compensates for some previous weaknesses in speed. However, the intensity of this potion is about twice as strong as the one from Fang Nan, and the probability of atavism is also not twice as high as Fang Nan's. It should be due to the different content of some special substance inside. After a wave of analysis, Xu Chen drew some conclusions. Xu Yufei also nodded in satisfaction after learning about Linglong's strength change. After informing Chen Xu of their strength changes, for students with bloodline atavism, two advanced silver intermediate, one advanced silver. However, Xu Chen's potion can directly elevate Linglong to advanced silver. So regardless of whether Xu Chen successfully challenges the 11th level, the final level of the Red Armor Bronze Corpse can still reach advanced silver, which is a guaranteed minimum level compared to the lineups of the three major academies in the past. Chen Xu couldn't stop smiling. Since everyone has used up their challenge attempts and redeemed their rewards. Let's gather and prepare to leave now. Chen Xu informed the crowd of the next arrangements. Leave? I remember Xu Chen still has unused challenge attempts. Yes, Xu Chen's reward has not been redeemed yet. Is it inappropriate to leave the secret realm now? Everyone seemed to suddenly realize that they didn't see Xu Chen go in when they were redeeming their rewards. After hearing everyone's questions, Chen Xu looked at Xu Chen, probably asking whether he should explain or if Xu Chen should. Xu Chen waved his hand towards Chen Xu, indicating that he understood. Chen Xu slowly spoke to the crowd, You don't need to worry about this, I have made arrangements. After we leave the ruins, I will hand the key to Xu Chen and apply to the academy to grant Xu Chen three weeks of access to the ruins. This means that Xu Chen can come to this ruin anytime until the three major academy freshman competition. Now, everyone can rest assured. After hearing Chen Xu's words, the crowd looked at Xu Chen with a hint of resentment. The treatment of the big shot is different from ours. But we are also foolish to worry that the academy will mistreat the big shot. Really? They sighed in their hearts. Later, when everyone had no more questions, Chen Xu led the crowd back the way they came. Soon, they exited the ruins and returned to the familiar wall. When Chen Xu handed the key to Xu Chen, he also explained how to use it and then announced the dissolution on the spot. Thus, everyone's journey in the ruins temporarily came to an end, but Xu Chen's journey continued. After the dissolution, Xu Chen returned to his small villa. After a brief rest, he began to recall the battle with the bronze elephant and pondered where its weaknesses were and how to target them to devise a feasible battle plan. Bronze Elephant Although it is a powerful beast, it is ultimately evolved from an elephant, so there must still be some inherent weaknesses in its body. Thinking of this, Xu Chen opened his communication bracelet. What are the weaknesses of elephants? The results quickly appeared. Looking at the first search result answered by someone, elephants have no weaknesses. Xu Chen skipped it directly. Then he looked at the second answer from a certain company, which had a total of four weaknesses. Look! That's what you call professional. The first point, elephants are only good at running straight. This can be used, remember it. The second point, elephants have very poor eyesight. This can also be used, remember it. The third point, elephants cannot stand strong smells. Whether it's useful or not, remember it first. The fourth point, the folds in an elephant's skin are very thin. I'm not sure if the bronze-like skin has folds, look carefully next time during the battle, and remember it. After noting down, Xu Chen went directly to the third floor. Here, various professional instruments for testing the strength of mythical beasts' bodies and skill damage were placed. He planned to start training the Red Armor Bronze Corpse's attack capabilities and resistance to attacks. Training attack capabilities is necessary because when dealing with the Bronze Tyrant Elephant, besides targeting weaknesses, one's own attack power must also be sufficient, otherwise, how can you fight like last time? Training resistance to attacks is also to increase one's margin of error. If you can't withstand a few blows from an elephant trunk like before, it's not good for fighting. After knowing the direction he needed to train in, Xu Chen carefully examined the functions of each instrument and selected the professional instruments for training attack capabilities and resistance to attacks. After summoning the Red Armor Bronze Corpse, he told it about its training plan. The Red Armor Bronze Corpse immediately started training after listening. It seems that the battle with the Bronze Tyrant Elephant last time made it very frustrated. It wants to regain its face in the next battle. Xu Chen was very happy to see it training and then left the building. Bang! 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 Downstairs, Xu Chen listened to the high-frequency impact of flesh and machinery on the third floor. He began to look forward to the next battle with the Bronze Tyrant Elephant. Seven days later, in the morning. Small villa. Wow! Xu Chen stretched out a big yuan, slowly got up, 
rubbed his sleepy eyes, stared blankly for a while by the bedside, and then left the warm bed. After getting dressed and washing up, Xu Chen then went to the third floor. In an open space, a figure engaged in a fierce battle with an imaginary enemy caught his eye. Who else could it be if not the red armor bronze corpse? Leg split. Knee strike. Elbow strike. Punch. Shoulder press. Every move that can cause damage to the enemy through any part of the body in battle, the red armor bronze corpse used them all against the imaginary enemy. This set of combat skills learned from the blue belt grandmaster. After nearly crazy training in these seven days, the red armor bronze corpse now had a posture that was almost surpassing the master. Xu Chen nodded in satisfaction after seeing this. At the same time, he was also very clear about the efforts the red armor bronze corpse had put in to redeem itself. During this time, apart from the time needed to replenish energy in the mythical beast space, the red armor bronze corpse spent almost all of its time on the third floor. It can be said that the red armor bronze corpse's current strength compared to seven days ago can only be described as earth-shaking. Let's go. It's time to meet our old friend. After greeting the figure that was training, Xu Chen immediately stopped the training. The red armor bronze corpse, eager to go, was immediately taken back into the mythical beast space by Xu Chen. Then Xu Chen walked out of the villa and headed towards the direction of the ruins. Soon, Xu Chen arrived at the familiar wall at the entrance of the ruins. Take out the relic key that Chen Xu handed to him from his arms. Find the groove on the wall and insert the card with the front facing up. The next second, a circular secret entrance emitting halos of light appeared in front of Xu Chen. Stepping in, Xu Chen looked at the long-lost tower and smiled knowingly. Before long, he arrived in front of the tower. His figure then disappeared into it. The tower. The eleventh floor. Just as Xu Chen stood in the middle of the square, looking at the familiar scene in front of him. Challenger number 129,527. Pours the challenge at the eleventh floor. Remaining challenge attempts. 1. Do you wish to continue the challenge? The familiar, emotionless mechanical voice came from above the arena. Upon hearing the voice, Xu Chen did not rush to answer. Instead, he slowly summoned the red armor bronze corpse from the beast space. Let's stick to the plan we made before. After instructing the red armor bronze corpse, Xu Chen responded only after the latter nodded in confirmation. Continue the challenge. As soon as the words fell, a familiar roar resounded. Accompanied by this familiar roar was the appearance of a massive figure. The Bronze Tyrant Elephant. Name, Bronze Tyrant Elephant, Current Level, Mid Gold, Growth, 0%, Talent, Giant Growth, Skills, Snout Swing, Ruthless Trample, Heavy Impact, Giant Will Roll, Since Nothing Has Changed, My Plan Can Be Perfectly Executed. Xu Chen looked at the panel that remained unchanged from last time and silently said to himself. They say, when enemies meet, they are especially jealous. When the bronze tyrant elephant saw the figure of its former enemy, the red armor bronze corpse. Roar. After a roar, it once again launched a heavy impact, charging straight towards the red armor bronze corpse. The red armor bronze corpse looked at the bronze tyrant elephant in front of it. In these seven days, since designating the bronze tyrant elephant as his imaginary enemy, scenes of being hit by the elephant's trunk often appeared in his mind. Each time it appeared, it strengthened his training intensity. Thus, he spent those seven days very fulfilling. And during these seven days, whether it was the move in front of him or other moves he had used before, he had already countered them countless times in his mind. Now was the time to test the results of his intense training. Then the red armor bronze corpse's gaze slightly condensed. His legs slightly bent. Swift movement. In the next moment, his figure rushed towards the bronze tyrant elephant like a ghost. Just as they were about to collide, he sidestepped and brushed past it. Then he observed if there were wrinkles on the bronze tyrant elephant's skin. There were. When he saw the tender muscles between the wrinkles, the red armor bronze corpse revealed a ferocious smile. He raised his right hand, turned it into a claw shape, and fiercely grabbed at it. When the bronze tyrant elephant saw the red armor bronze corpse attacking its legs as before, a contentious look appeared in its eyes. Then it forcefully swung its trunk, fiercely striking at the red armor bronze corpse. But before the trunk could hit the red armor bronze corpse, the bronze tyrant elephant felt a piercing pain in its leg the next second. Turning his head, he saw several deep wounds cut by claws in the folds of his leg. Blood was oozing out continuously. However, under the pain of the bronze tyrant elephant, the speed and power of its trunk attack increased. Seeing the trunk attack coming again, the red armor bronze corpse realized that his goal had been achieved. He swiftly moved sideways, avoiding the powerful trunk attack. 
The bronze tyrant elephant, seeing that its trunk attack did not send the enemy flying as it did last time, let out a more furious roar. Then, at an extremely fast speed, it charged straight towards the red armor bronze corpse, continuously swinging its powerful trunk along the way. A wave of momentum to shatter the red armored bronze corpse. The red armored bronze corpse showed a mocking smile at the sight. Then, with legs half bent and fists clenched, continuously hammered the ground of the square beneath. Obviously, the ground beneath couldn't withstand the attacks of the red armored bronze corpse. As the red armored bronze corpse continued to throw punches, the ground beneath cracked into irregular chunks, making it uneven, no longer flat. The cracking ground also produced a large amount of dust, completely enveloping the figure of the red armored bronze corpse. The bronze tyrant elephant charging ahead lost its target and subconsciously stopped. Its eyes carefully stared at the dust, as if trying to see the figure of the red armored bronze corpse within. But the dust was too thick to see through, making it impossible to discern the situation inside. Bang! A familiar sound came from the left front of the bronze tyrant elephant. Turning to look, it was once again the red armored bronze corpse hammering the ground. Just as the bronze tyrant elephant was about to charge towards it, the stirred up dust once again engulfed the red armored bronze corpse. Shortly after, from the left, left rear, rear. Soon, all the ground around the bronze tyrant elephant was shattered by the red armored bronze corpse. The resulting dust gradually came into contact and merged together, forming a complete circle surrounded by dust. Encircling the bronze tyrant elephant in the middle. If viewed from above, one could see that the bronze tyrant elephant had become a trapped turtle. Ooh. The bronze tyrant elephant looked at the dust surrounding it and uneasily let out a cry before deciding to charge towards the dust once again, just like last time. In an attempt to force the red armored bronze corpse out. But just as it was about to charge, at that moment, the red armored bronze corpse suddenly burst out from the dust beside the bronze tyrant elephant. Vigorously slashing at the folds of the bronze tyrant elephant's skin, adding several new scars to its body. Before the bronze tyrant elephant could turn around to counterattack, the red armored bronze corpse's figure disappeared once again into the dust on the other side. Ooh! The bronze tyrant elephant let out a helpless roar of anger, focusing intently on the dust around it. Soon, the red armored bronze corpse once again burst out from the dust beside the bronze tyrant elephant, poised to attack the folds of the bronze tyrant elephant's skin. This time, the bronze tyrant elephant quickly noticed the red armored bronze corpse's figure, swiftly turning around to retaliate. However, due to its slower lateral movement speed compared to the red armored bronze corpse's straight line speed, the red armored bronze corpse managed to add several new scars to its body before calmly disappearing into the dust on the other side. What followed was a classic scene of boiling a frog in warm water. The figure of the red armored bronze corpse kept appearing and disappearing in the dust, each time leaving a few marks of battle on the bronze tyrant elephant. As the injuries on its body continued to increase, the bronze tyrant elephant realized that it must confront the enemy head-on. Ooh! The bronze tyrant elephant sounded its final horn. Its eyes revealing a sense of determination. Then, bending its limbs forcefully, it transformed its massive body into a shape resembling a wheel. Rolling and accelerating continuously in place. The next second, like an arrow leaving the bowstring, it rolled towards the location shrouded in dust. Giant will roll. As the ground rolled over by the huge will transformed from the bronze tyrant elephant, due to its terrifying destructive power, it cracked one after another. The red armored bronze corpse watched the bronze tyrant elephant unleash such a terrifying move without any panic. This powerful move would also consume a lot of its own energy. All of this was within Xu Chen's plan. Thinking that Xu Chen had provided a countermeasure, the red armored bronze corpse kicked the ground forcefully. A leap. The huge rolling power of the bronze tyrant elephant cannot attack enemies in the air on flat ground. And its aerial stomp skill can be used three times. Just ascend again right before landing. I believe that within these three times of ascending, the bronze tyrant elephant's stamina would have been exhausted long ago. Indeed. The following events unfolded exactly according to Xu Chen's plan. The aerial stomp skill of the red armored bronze corpse completely restrained the bronze tyrant elephant. When the Red Armored Bronze Corpse's aerial stomp skill ended, the Bronze Tyrant Elephant had already stopped its giant rolling wheel. Exhausted, it lay in the square that was already riddled with holes. The intense skill consumption just now exacerbated its previous injuries. It had no strength left to resist. Then, the Red Armored Bronze Corpse slowly walked up to the Bronze Tyrant Elephant. With a swift and decisive strike, it was resolved, achieving the goal set for oneself in these seven days. Raw followed by a triumphant roar. If it weren't for the help of the system, knowing all the skills of the bronze tyrant elephant in advance, plus the answers provided by the company. 
it wouldn't have been so smooth to defeat the bronze tyrant elephant. If it has to blame someone, it can only blame its opponent for being too strong. Xu Chen arrived in front of the bronze tyrant elephant's corpse, silently saying in his heart. Then he slowly raised his head. What followed was. Challenger number 129527. Successfully challenged the 11th level. Do you wish to continue the challenge? The familiar emotionless mechanical voice came from above the arena. Continue. Xu Chen replied calmly. He had already reached the entrance to the 12th level, how could he not go in and take a look? After hearing Xu Chen's response, challenger number 129527. Confirmed challenge to the 12th level. Go for it, challenger. This time, the voice from above the arena was no longer the emotionless mechanical voice. It had become human-like, and even ended with an encouraging word for Xu Chen. This made Xu Chen wonder if he was hearing things. The next moment. Crack, crack, crack. The familiar fierce beast entrance BGM played. As the iron gate in front slowly opened, a very familiar figure gradually emerged from the shadow of the gate. When Xu Chen saw the specific appearance of his fierce beast, a phrase involuntarily slipped out. Really? Is it true? After a while, Xu Chen's figure appeared outside the tower again. Challenger number 129527. Failed to challenge the 12th level, remaining challenge attempts, 1. Keep it up, challenger. The voice that had turned into a human-like voice from above the arena still echoed in his mind. Thinking about the familiar yet unfamiliar superior golden fierce beast he saw on the 12th level just now, Xu Chen felt a bit of a headache. He couldn't help but rub his temples on both sides. This scene happened to be seen by Chen Xu, who was approaching not far away. Xu Chen. Hearing someone calling his name, Xu Chen looked around. Soon, he saw Chen Xu approaching him. Teacher Chen Xu, how did you know I was here? Is there something you need to see me for? Xu Chen looked at Chen Xu with some confusion. Well, some classmates saw you heading towards the ruins, so I guess you came to challenge. But after seeing you come out of the tower and rubbing your temples, did you fail the challenge? Chen Xu explained why he knew Xu Chen was here and asked somewhat worriedly. Oh. Xu Chen didn't expect his actions to make Chen Xu misunderstand that he didn't pass the 11th level. But it's fine this way. After all, he still had one more chance to challenge. He would tell him when he ran out of chances. There are still two weeks left, and it is possible to defeat the fierce beasts on the 12th level. It's okay, don't be discouraged, there's still a chance. Consider these two failures as paving their way for success on the third attempt. Reflect on your experience when you go back, and you will definitely be able to pass the 11th level on the next challenge. After all, among the new students of our Meteorite Academy, you are the most powerful and talented. I believe in you. Chen Xu said a lot of encouraging words to Xu Chen. Got it, Teacher Chen, I will definitely succeed in the next challenge. Xu Chen didn't mention which level he reached. That's good, let's go out together. After that, Chen Xu and Xu Chen left the ruins. Time passed quickly. In the blink of an eye, it was two weeks later. Today is a very important day because the freshman competition of the three major academies will be held. The venue for this freshman competition is the same as before, held at the largest beast battle center in Linjiang City. Linjiang Sports Arena. Not only does it have the largest battle arena in the city, with a total area of 40,000 square meters for beast battles. The venue can accommodate up to 80,000 people to watch the competition at the same time. However, at a glance, all 80,000 seats in the venue are already filled. It's a full house. The vast majority of them are residents of Linjiang City. The freshman competition of the three major academies is an annual event in Linjiang City. How could they miss it? In addition, there are also the parents of the contestants, relatives, friends, and former teachers and classmates. For example, Xu Chen's former class teacher, Zhang Wenqing, brought his students to cheer for Xu Chen. Let me tell you, Xu Chen also graduated from our Linjiang No. 2 middle school this year, just one year older than you, but now he is the seeded player in the current competition at the Meteorite Academy. I brought you to watch Senior Xu Chen's competition to encourage you to work hard when you go back. Strive to pass the entrance exam to the Meteorite Academy next year, maybe you will be in the freshman competition next year, understand? Zhang Wenqing said earnestly to his students. Understood, Teacher Zhang. After hearing the response from his students, Zhang Wenqing nodded in satisfaction. In fact, when he saw Xu Chen's name on the list of contestants for the freshman competition of the three major academies, he was not surprised at all. After all, Xu Chen ranked first in the entrance exam for the Meteorite Academy. But when he saw that Xu Chen was a seeded player for the Meteorite Academy, he was still very surprised. 
Zhang Wenqing knew very well about Xu Chen's family background. At the same time, he was also very clear about the family backgrounds of Xie Yufei and Fang Nan. Although Xu Chen ranked first in the exam, it had been a month since the exam. During this time, Xie Yufei and Fang Nan would definitely have received many more resources than Xu Chen. This month must have brought many unexpected changes. What was unexpected was that after a month, Xu Chen still firmly surpassed Xie Yufei and Fang Nan, becoming the seated player of the Meteorite Academy. This was what truly surprised Zhang Wenqing. There is also a large group of people, including students and teachers from the Beast Academy in Linjiang City, apart from the three major academies. Their purpose in coming here is simple. They want to see how big the gap is between themselves and the most outstanding peers, and learn from the battle experience to make up for some of the differences. The most important group includes all the freshmen of the three major academies and their class teachers. The audience seats formed three distinct areas. The red area where the Daystar Academy is located. The blue area where the Luoyu Academy is located. And the purple area where the Meteorite Academy is located. Of course, some other forces in the city of Linjiang will also send people. At this moment, in the red area where the Daystar Academy is located, a teacher with half-white hair is talking to a young man. Qin Su, as the seed player of our Daystar Academy, you are the only one who can surely defeat Fang Nan. I don't understand why Fang Nan, instead of staying at the Daystar Academy, chose to study at the Meteor Academy. How will our Dean Fang be judged by others behind his back? And as the champion of the last three major academy freshman competition, isn't our Daystar Academy stronger than the third place Meteor Academy? If you encounter Fang Nan in the match later, don't hold back, defeat him with all your strength, let him know that our Daystar Academy is the strongest among the three major academies. It's all up to you, Qin Su. The young man in front nodded heavily after hearing this. Got it, Vice Dean Sun. On the other side, in the blue area where the Luoyu Academy is located, Lian Shimu, I didn't expect that the seed player of the Meteor Academy this time is actually Xu Chen as you said. Sun Chiu said to the petite Lian Hanyu beside him in surprise. I guessed randomly based on his first place in the enrollment assessment, I didn't expect to guess right. Lian Hanyu explained weakly on the side. Oh? Is that so, Lian Shimu? After pulling Lian Hanyu over, Sun Chiu asked mischievously. Lian Hanyu in his arms was so scared that she dared not make a sound. Over here, in the purple area where the Meteor Academy is located, has Xu Chen not arrived yet? Chen Xu asked his classmate Li Huer beside him. Not yet, Teacher Chen. Li Huer answered quickly. Could this child only remember to challenge the tower and forget about the match time? In that case, Li Huer, go to Xu Chen's place now and find him. If he's not there, he must be inside the ruins, you guard the entrance of the ruins. When Xu Chen comes out, you bring him over immediately, got it? Chen Xu turned to Li Hua and gave him a task. Got it, I'll go now. After saying that, Li Hua set off. Fortunately, as a seed player, he doesn't have to participate in the first round of the match. I hope he can make it in time for the second round of the match. Chen Xu saw that Li Hua had set off, then silently prayed. While these people were discussing, the freshman competition of the three major academies had gradually begun. Inside the venue, at the Grand Beast Battle Arena, the host of this competition, Ahua, had already taken his place. Due to his unique ability to speak very fast while maintaining clear pronunciation, he had been responsible for the hosting work in the recent sessions. Welcome to the scene of the freshman competition of the three major academies in Linjiang City. I am the host of this competition, Ahua. Next, let me introduce some rules of this competition to everyone. There are a total of 29 participants in this competition, including 10 players from the Daystar Academy, 10 players from the Luoyu Academy, and 9 players from the Meteor Academy. Except for the seed player from each academy who is exempt from the first round of the match, the remaining 26 players will compete in pairs, with the winners of 13 matches and the 3 seed players advancing to the second round of the match. After 5 rounds of matches, the top 16, top 8, top 4, and the champion and runner-up will be determined in order. Now, with the warmest applause, let's welcome the 29 players to enter the arena. Arhua, as a professional host, finished this long passage in a very short time and very clearly. As Arhua's words fell, a fierce and high-spirited music instantly sounded. The 28 freshman participants from the three major academies, dressed in their respective school uniforms, walked out from their respective passages. They then divided into three rows, standing neatly in the middle of the battle arena. Huh, did I count wrong? Why are there only 28? Don't count, there are only 28 of them you can see that there are only 8 players from the Meteor Academy team. Why are there only 8? Even if the Meteor Academy finished last year and lost a spot this year, 
there should still be nine. Maybe there's a student who hasn't arrived yet. Residents of Linqing City in the audience seats discussed. At this moment, in the middle of the battlefield, a group of participating players. Hey, it seems like that seed player from your Meteor Academy, Xu Chen, hasn't shown up. The seed player standing at the front of the Luo Yu Academy team said to Xu Yufei. This seed player is quite different from the girls behind him. Although the color is still blue, it doesn't look like the usual uniform of the Luo Yu Academy at all. Instead of wearing the usual short sleeves and pleated skirt of the Luo Yu Academy, he was dressed in a tank top and carpri similar to what boys wear. It's fortunate that he looks quite ordinary, otherwise it would be somewhat against the rules. Bai Luo. Who are you calling, hey girl? You're also a girl yourself, why are you acting like a thug? Xu Chen has more important matters to attend to, he will come later. Xia Yufei replied somewhat angrily. That's good. I think only the three of you from the Meteor Academy can compete this time. If your seed player doesn't show up, winning the championship won't mean much. What do you think, Qin Su? Bai Luo, whose name and actions are extremely contradictory, turned to Qin Su from the Yao Rai Academy. I don't know about the others, but you will definitely lose to me. Qin Su replied expressionlessly as he looked towards Fang Nan. You're just daydreaming. Fang Nan and Qin Su locked eyes. Har har. What an interesting show. Since you've chosen Fang Nan, Xia Yufei and Xu Chen belong to me. Bai Luo looked with interest at Xia Yufei. Bar. It's not certain who will win or lose yet, tomboy. Xia Yufei immediately retorted without backing down. Let's wait and see. Bai Luo, not getting angry even when Xia Yufei called her a tomboy, replied lightly. In the leadership seat in front of them, Lian Lu, are the seed players from your Luo Yu Academy so confident? Xia Rushua looked at the president of the Luo Yu Academy beside her. Xia Rushua, don't underestimate our Bai Luo, you might suffer a big loss if you're not careful. And why did you leave the good treatment in the imperial capital and come to be the president of the Meteor Academy, I really don't understand what you're thinking. Lian Lu Fei frowned slightly, somewhat puzzled. The president of the Luo Yu Academy was dressed in a blue chiansom. With a delicate face, her eyes were charming like a phoenix. It seemed as if she was telling you endless secrets. Although she was sitting proudly in the leadership seat. Her proud figure still formed an amazing S-shaped curve. She exuded an intellectual aura. I have my reasons. Shia Rushua said coldly. HMPH. If you don't want to say, I just said it casually. Then how did your son, Fang Ching, end up at the Meteor Academy? Seeing that chatting with Shia Rushua was pointless, Lian Lufei turned to the president of the Yao Rai Academy beside her. Young people have their own ideas, it's a good choice for him to study under Director Xia. Fang Qing's father had a steady voice that didn't reveal any emotions. Fang Nan's father was a middle-aged man with a square face and a burly figure. Since it's like this, there's nothing more to talk about, the competition is about to begin. Seeing that the two of them were uninterested, Lian Lufei turned to watch the competition. At this moment, the first round of 26 participating players on the field had all drawn their own numbers. I believe everyone has drawn their own unique number, the player who drew number 1 and the player who drew number 26, please stay, the rest of the players can take a break. Ahur said to the participating players in front of him. Soon, there was only one player from the Daystar Academy and one player from the Luo Yu Academy left on the field. Next, let's give a warm round of applause to player 1 and player 26, as they prepare to kick off the first round of the competition. Ahur announced loudly into the audience with a microphone in hand. The audience, hearing that the match was about to begin, enthusiastically applauded the two players. Summoning their beasts onto the battlefield, the two players were ready for battle. The fight was about to begin. Ruins Tower. Twelfth Floor. Xu Chen stood beside the body of a red-armored bronze corpse, muttering to himself. The six-eared macaque is just a six-eared macaque after all, it is impossible to defeat the true monkey king in the end. You agree, don't you, red-armored bronze corpse? Another red-armored bronze corpse appeared next to Xu Chen. Obviously, the red-armored bronze corpse under Xu Chen's feet was the fierce beast of the twelfth floor. The first time I saw this red-armored bronze corpse, it almost fooled me with the same talents and skills, thinking that this ruin could replicate all the bloodlines provided by the system, but the fake is always fake. Not only is the inheritor not called a vassal, but something called ancient stiff, and the talent is only the same in name, but the effect is greatly reduced. Xu Chen looked at the body in front of him that resembled the red-armored bronze corpse and shook his head. As the fierce beast of the twelfth floor lamented. Challenger number 129527. Successfully challenged the twelfth floor. 
Please tell me your name. A voice that had turned into a human voice came from above the arena. Li Feiyu. Xu Chen, hearing the question, answered without hesitation. Li Feiyu. Please collect your reward. Soon, the square returned to its pristine state. Thump thump thump. At this moment, three glass-topped columns slowly rose from the ground in front of Xu Chen. Each column had items placed on it. This must be the reward they mentioned. Xu Chen looked at the first column. There were two purple potions. These should be the bloodline atavism potions that my classmates exchanged before, with a 100% probability on the 11th floor, so the effect on this floor will be even stronger. After collecting the two purple potions, Xu Chen looked at the second column. It was an unknown beast egg. Just in time for the red armored bronze corpse to be promoted to the gold level soon, judging by the reward intensity of the 12th floor, this egg should have an extraordinary start, you will be my second beast. Xu Chen collected the unknown beast egg. Looking at the third column, there was a badge. What is this? Xu Chen picked up the badge. The next moment, the badge shone brightly and plunged into Xu Chen's body, disappearing. System. Quickly open my body panel. Xu Chen immediately opened his panel upon seeing this. Name, Xu Chen, current level, intermediate silver beast tamer, beast 1, red armored bronze corpse, vassal bloodline, beast 2, none, beast 3, none, items, king's protection, consumable, king's protection, when in crisis, use this item to temporarily summon the projection of a king to your side. It seems like a good thing according to the description, what level is the king? I should find an opportunity to ask Teacher Chen. Xu Chen silently thought to himself as he looked at the description of the king's protection. After collecting all the rewards, the three glass-topped columns slowly sank into the ground. Besides these rewards, there were also a large number of points that Xu Chen had earned by passing the twelfth floor that had not been redeemed. Xu Chen had not forgotten about this matter. However, before that, Xu Chen opened the information panel of the Red Armored Bronze Corpse. Name, Red Armor Bronze Corpse Current Level. Silver Intermediate Inheritance Target, Jiang Chen Bloodline Concentration, 30% Growth Length, 86. 6% 6 Talent, Thirst for Blood, Elemental Reduction Skills, Heavy Fist Strike, High Speed Movement, Agile Descent, Red Armor Bronze Scale, Passive, Air Step, Evolution Requirements for Next Stage, Growth Length 100%, 3 Crystals of Any Level Above Gold, 10 Pounds of Mithril. During this relic journey, Excluding beasts below its own level will not provide growth length for the Red Armor Bronze Corpse. Beasts from the 8th to 12th floors provide growth lengths of 0. 1%, 0. 5%, 2%, 10%, 50% respectively. At this point, the growth length of the Red Armor Bronze Corpse has also reached 86. 6%, 6 very close to the required full growth length for the next evolution. However, this is what makes Xu Chen feel as if his heart is being scratched by a cat. I need to find a way to max out the growth length, Xu Chen muttered quietly. After some serious contemplation, Xu Chen suddenly thought of the potions used by Fang Nan, Xia Yufei, and others under their beast controlling garments. It seems that not only did the bloodline concentration increase, but the growth length also increased significantly. The system only said that this potion cannot directly increase bloodline concentration to forcibly evolve beyond the materials. So, taking a step back, it should be fine as long as it can increase the total growth length, right? System. Will taking this potion increase the growth length? It seems the system is also analyzing this issue. After a while, yes. But it only works for beasts below gold level. Upon hearing the affirmative answer from the system, Xu Chen showed a satisfied smile. As for which resources to exchange, he had already planned it before entering the tower. I want to exchange 9 pounds of mithril, 2 superior gold level crystals, and another bottle of green bloodline atavism potion. Xu Chen then stated the resources he needed to the sky above the relic. After exchanging the mithril and crystals, he found that he still had enough points to exchange for a potion equivalent to Xia Yufei's reward. Soon, the three items he exchanged for appeared in front of Xu Chen. Xu Chen picked up the green bloodline atavism potion and handed it to the red armor bronze corpse beside him. The red armor bronze corpse took it and immediately consumed it. At this point, its growth length had reached 100%. Xu Chen revealed a long-awaited smile of anticipation. I wonder what it will evolve into this time. It shouldn't be too bad. System, evolve. The beast's current growth length is full. This evolution will require 100% growth length, 3 superior gold level crystals, and 10 pounds of mithril. Are you sure? Yes. The next moment, a familiar white light enveloped the red armor bronze corpse. 
As the light dissipated, the appearance of the red armor bronze corpse after this evolution gradually appeared before Xu Chen's eyes. Upon closer inspection, the body size of the red armor bronze corpse after this evolution had been significantly reduced, to about 2 meters. The red scales on its body had turned into silver scales shimmering with moonlight. If it looked like wearing heavy armor before, now it looked more like wearing light armor. Their facial features were no longer fierce, gradually approaching a more human-like appearance. The muscles on its limbs had become more restrained compared to before, leaning towards a streamlined shape. There was no longer the oppressive feeling all over the body, resembling a calm lake surface. However, with careful observation, one could sense the hidden turbulence underneath. Xu Chen eagerly opened the new information panel. Name, Waning Moon Silver Corpse Current Level, Mid-Gold Inheritance Target, Jian Chen Bloodline Concentration, 40% Growth Length, 0% Talent, Blood Thirst, Elemental Reduction Skills, Heavy Fist Strike, Agile Descent, Waning Moon Silver Scales, Passive, Air Step, Moonlit Dance, Power of the Waning Moon Evolution Requirements for Next Stage, Growth Length 100%, 5 Crystals of any level of Platinum, 1 Pound of Meteoric Gold. Elemental Reduction, when under Elemental Attack, reduces skill damage and effects by 30%. Moonlit Dance, after performing the dance steps, one's speed will greatly increase. Waning Moon Silver Scales, passive silver scales glowing with moonlight grow on the body, greatly enhancing defense and resilience. Power of the Waning Moon, under the Waning Moon, oneself receives a 25% all-around boost. Doubles under full moon conditions, evolved from the Crimson Armored Corpse to the Waning Moon Silver Corpse. The level has once again increased significantly. Directly advancing from mid-silver to mid-gold. In terms of talent, as the waning moon silver corpse has reached the gold level, according to convention, it will awaken its innate talent. However, the waning moon silver corpse has already awakened two talents in advance. Therefore, it will enhance one randomly chosen talent. Obviously, this time the elemental reduction talent has been strengthened, increasing from 20% to 30%. It's quite a good improvement. As for the changes in the skill bar, firstly, high-speed movement has become Moonlit Dance. Judging from the skill description, it has changed from a significant improvement to a great enhancement. Presumably, there should be a considerable boost in speed, but the actual performance in combat will tell. Then, the Crimson Armored Scales passive has transformed into the more powerful Waning Moon Silver Scales. Not only does it further strengthen defense, but it also adds resilience. Lastly, a new passive skill called Power of the Waning Moon has been added. Under the Waning Moon, oneself receives a 25% all-around boost. Doubles under full moon conditions, this effect is undeniably powerful. I didn't expect the elemental reduction talent to be strengthened this time, but I can accept it. However, even under the conditions of using three superior gold crystals, the level only increased to mid-gold. Could it be that the energy contained within was insufficient? In that case, it seems that in the future, when evolving, it is necessary to ensure that all the required crystals are of a superior level, as otherwise, it may significantly affect the combat power after evolution. Regarding skills, firstly, high-speed movement has become Moonlit Dance. I estimate that after this evolution, speed will become a significant advantage in combat against enemies. The Crimson Armored Scales have also transformed into the more powerful Waning Moon Silver Scales, with an additional effect of resilience. In the future, when facing fierce beasts with control skills, there will be a certain advantage. Lastly, the brand new skill, Power of the Waning Moon. With such a powerful effect, if used properly, it can be completely used as a trump card. Xu Chen analyzed the extent of enhancement in various aspects after this evolution. As Xu Chen's Beast Mastery reached the gold level, he can now unleash his signature skill. Beast Transformation. Xu Chen silently recited in his mind. Soon, a huge surge of energy emanated from the Waning Moon Silver Corpse. Xu Chen immediately felt a geometric increase in his strength, speed, and defense. After deeply experiencing the power within, Xu Chen felt that he could now compete with a blue belt grandmaster. After satisfying his craving for beast transformation, he quickly exited the state. He then retrieved the unknown beast egg from the beast mastery space. Since the waning moon silver corpse has reached the gold level, the beast mastery space can now contract a second beast. System, can you take a look at what type of spirit beast this spirit egg is? Please don't let it be the same type as the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse. Xu Chen looked at the spirit egg in his hand, silently calling out to the system in his heart. Scanning in progress. Target type confirmed. The spirit beast type in this spirit egg leans towards healing support. Do you choose to use it as your second spirit beast? Upon hearing the system's response. 
Not only does it not overlap with the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse type, it turns out to be the rarest healing type spirit beast in this world. There's no need to consider anything else now. Yes. Xu Chen, upon hearing that the spirit beast type leans towards healing support, decisively chose it as his second spirit beast. The next moment, the spirit egg in Xu Chen's hand disappeared. Confirmation received, hatching in progress. Now there are only those two purple bloodline atavistic elixirs left unused. Xu Chen couldn't help but ponder. Squeak, squeak, squeak. A familiar sound came from the school uniform pocket on Xu Chen's right. Interrupting Xu Chen's thoughts. Unexpectedly, upon hearing this sound, Xu Chen's eyes lit up, and an idea sprouted in his mind. He then used one hand to pinch the ore eating mouse from the pocket. With the other hand, he took out a purple elixir from the spirit space. You've been following me for a while now, and what makes me curious is that you haven't signed a spirit beast contract with me, yet you don't seem to have any intention of running away. Should I say you have good taste? Or are you just lazy? Do you really plan to stick around me all the time? Xu Chen teased the ore eating mouse in his hand. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Unfortunately, the ore eating mouse in his hand could only stare at Xu Chen with its innocent eyes and make hungry noises. If you want to stick around, then stick around. I heard that high level spirit beasts can communicate with humans. I'll ask you later how you chose to stick with me. Go ahead and drink it, you little hungry ghost. After a series of complaints, Xu Chen handed the purple elixir to the ore eating mouse. By now, the ore eating mouse was already crying out in hunger. It quickly started drinking the elixir. Soon, the ore eating mouse in Xu Chen's hand underwent an astonishing transformation. The atavistic ore eating mouse now had a robust body. Its whole body was dark brown, with a white face. It had two red lines on its cheeks, and its nose tip was pink. Its forehead and claws had several sharp, steel like claws protruding. Its abdomen had red stripes of varying sizes, composed of three spindle shaped patterns. There were spindle-shaped red protrusions on its cheeks, arms, knees, and sides. Looking at the ore-eating mouse, which looked completely different from before, Xu Chen clicked on its information panel. Name, wealth-attracting mouse, current level, advanced silver, inheritance object, treasure-seeking mouse, bloodline concentration, 30%, growth length, 0%, talent, wealth attraction, skills, burrow, treasure pouch, frenzied claw, grab of treasures, wealth attraction, has a keen perception of items containing high-level energy in the surroundings. Burrow, digs into the ground, a common method for daily treasure hunting. Treasure pouch, contains an independent storage space inside the body, usually used to store treasures dug up. Frenzied claw, swings claws at a high frequency in a short period, causing significant damage to enemies. Grab of treasures, extracts energy from treasures and attaches it to its claws. The more energy, the higher the damage. Looking at the talents and skills of the wealth attracting mouse. It looks like it won't be able to get away without paying for its meals in the future. Xu Chen nodded in satisfaction. Squeak, squeak, squeak. By now, the successfully atavistic wealth attracting mouse felt the tremendous change in itself. It let out a happy squeak towards Xu Chen, seemingly aware that its transformation was thanks to Xu Chen's help. It seems that as the level continues to rise, the spiritual wisdom of the little money attracting mouse will also increase. Xu Chen saw this and then stored the remaining moon silver corpse in the beast space. He got up and planned to leave the ruins. Before long, Xu Chen came out of the ruins and immediately saw Li Huo waiting at the entrance. Before Xu Chen could ask, Li Huo said, Teacher Chen Xu was worried that you will be delayed in passing the test and late for the competition, so he asked me to wait for you at the entrance of the ruins. He said that as soon as you come out, he will take you to the gym. Boss, you finally came out. If you don't come out soon, your qualification for the competition will be cancelled. Hurry, follow me. Li Hua hurriedly explained to Xu Chen why he was there, and then quickly pulled Xu Chen towards the competition venue. Inside the ruins, at the tall tower, shortly after Xu Chen left, a circular space gate appeared out of thin air. Following that, a little boy with a high ponytail walked out from inside. Looking at the tall tower in front of him, the boy waved his hand. When he appeared again, he had already arrived at the 12th floor square where Xu Chen had been before. With the arrival of the boy, the glass-topped cylindrical columns with three rewards slowly rose from the ground. Looking at the empty glass top, the boy's eyes showed a surprised expression. He then opened the communication bracelet on his hand and logged into his account information on the internal network of the Meteor Academy. If someone could see the information on the bracelet at this moment, they would be shocked because the boy's account at this moment displayed the authority of the second manager. It is worth noting that Shia Rushue's account only had temporary manager authority. 
When he saw the name of the person in the most recent entry and exit record of the ruins, he said, I didn't expect that someone could actually pass the test set by Xia Qingyan, that dead pervert. Xu Chen, first place in the freshman assessment, first place in the exchange competition, and a seeded player in the three major colleges freshman competition. It looks good. Our Meteor Academy has produced a very promising seedling this time. I will personally go and see this Xu Chen later, but before that, I have to. The boy said in a childish voice. Then he flipped through the communication directory on his bracelet, clicked on the last name, and made a call. Ring ring ring. Ha! Huh? Little star, why do you have time to call me? A gentle voice came from the bracelet. You actually got through. Xia Qingyang, you dead pervert, you're still alive. The boy directly cursed at the person named Xia Qingyang on the other end of the phone. I'm fine. Besides, whether I'm alive or dead, you should know very well. Did someone pass the test I set? Xia Qingyang on the other end of the phone smiled and immediately guessed the reason why the boy called. How did you know over there? Are you monitoring me? You, Xia Qingyang, I'll. You. The boy suddenly burst into a tirade. No one is monitoring you. I just felt that my badge was activated, so I knew. Xia Qingyang explained quickly. That's about right. It's a little guy named Xu Chen. When are you coming back to see the successor you chose? The boy asked casually. It depends on the situation. If I have time, I will come back. Please take care of things for me during this time. I suddenly have something to deal with, so I have to hang up. Xia Qingyang on the other end of the call hastily hung up. Ring ring ring. Listening to the disconnection sound coming from the bracelet, the boy said angrily, who will take care of things for you? As he spoke, he turned and headed towards the gym. After leaving the ruins, Xu Chen followed Li Huer all their way to the Linjiang Gymnasium. As soon as they entered the venue, Li Huer took Xu Chen straight to the purple area where the Meteor Academy was located. Teacher Chen, I have brought Xu Chen here. He is not late for his match, right? Li Huer asked Chen Xu, worried that she might have delayed the time. On the contrary, the draw ceremony for the round of 16 to 8 is about to start now, the time you brought is just right. Chen Xu praised Li Huer greatly after seeing Xu Chen successfully catch up with the game. That's great, if Xu Chen couldn't participate, the strength of our Meteor Academy in this competition would be greatly reduced. After patting her chest reassuringly, Li Huer returned to her seat. How about it, did you pass the 11th level? Chen Xu looked at Xu Chen with great anticipation. Yes, Xu Chen nodded slightly. Really? This is truly amazing news, I must inform President Xia immediately. Chen Xu's face lit up with a smile upon hearing this, and then she sent the news to Xia Rushua sitting in the leadership seat. At this moment, the draw ceremony for the round of 16 to 8 has just begun. After the intense battles of the 14 matches just now, the top 16 players of this competition have emerged. They are Qin Su, Feng Wu, Chen Yang, and six others from the Day Academy. Bai Luo, Sunshen, Lin Yanqiao, and five others from the Luo Yu Academy. And Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, Fang Nan, Tang Mingho, and five others from the Meteor Academy. Let's invite them to the stage with the warmest applause to participate in the draw ceremony. Our Hua on the stage held a microphone and spoke enthusiastically. After a round of warm applause, Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, Fang Nan, and five others slowly stood up from their seats and walked towards the arena. At the same time, the other 11 players also stood up from their respective areas. Before long, the 16 players gathered at the arena. You are Xu Chen? You look delicate and not very strong, huh? Bai Luo looked Xu Chen up and down. And who are you? You'll know whether I'm strong or not later, little girl. Although Xu Chen was somewhat puzzled by the ordinary-looking girl in front of him, since she spoke like that, he naturally wouldn't be polite. I'm Bai Luo. Also, who are you calling a little girl? Be careful, I'll make you call me sister in the match later. Bai Luo couldn't stand a certain word in Xu Chen's words. Oh? Then I look forward to your performance, I hope your strength matches your words just now. Xu Chen smiled indifferently upon hearing this, then ignored her. You? Bai Luo, seeing Xu Chen ignoring her, didn't bother to go up and have a cold attitude. In the leadership seat, Xia Rushue, who had unread messages, slowly opened her communication bracelet. When she saw the message sent by Chen Xu, a faint smile unconsciously appeared at the corner of her mouth. What news made President Xia so happy? Tell us so we can be happy too. Lian Luorfei sitting beside her noticed Xia Rushua's change and asked in a coquettish voice. Nothing, just some work-related matters. 
Shia Rushua casually found a reason to brush off Lian Luofei. Stingy. But I have a lot of power, just now our Bai Luo had a conversation with that Xu Chen from your media, you heard it too. Do I need to let her make a little move in the match, so that your Xu Chen won't lose so quickly? Lian Luofei, upon hearing Shia Rushua's words, also got angry and proposed an idea. No need. Shia Rushua decisively rejected Lian Luofei's suggestion. I was just talking casually, don't take it seriously, okay? But if they meet in the match, their winner will definitely be our Bai Luo. Lian Luofei seemed to have great confidence in their Bai Luo's strength. On the contrary, I think it will definitely be Xu Chen. Interestingly, Shia Rushua also had confidence in Xu Chen's strength. On the other side, Ar Huo walked up to everyone with a black box and explained some rules and arrangements for this round of the competition. Please draw your own number for this competition, and then proceed to the stage in order from number 1 to number 16, with number 1 facing number 16, and number 2 facing number 15. After listening to Ah Hua's words, everyone reached into the black box to draw their own number. They then began to confirm their opponents. Tang Minghou is number 1 and will be the first to compete. Fang Nan is number 14, Xie Yufei is number 4. Qin Su from Daybreak Academy is number 12. By the Wazir from Lunar Academy is number 10. Xu Chen looked at the number 8 sign in his hand. At this moment, a student from Lunar Academy drew the number 9 sign. When the female student saw that her opponent was a seated player from Meteor Academy, she looked distressed. Now that everyone has drawn their numbers, please have the player who drew number 1 and the player who drew number 16 stay, while the rest of the players can take a break for now. Ah Huer said to Xu Chen and the others in front of him. Everyone nodded. Xu Chen then returned to the area of his own academy with the others. At this point, only Tang Mingho and a student from Daybreak Academy remained on the field. The drawing ceremony is over. Next, let's have the player who drew number 1 and the player who drew number 16 to kick off the first round of the round of 16 to 8. Let's welcome them with warm applause. Ah Huer announced loudly to the audience with a microphone in hand. The audience once again gave their warm applause. Meanwhile, on the battlefield, Tang Mingho was the first to summon his ancestral beast, which had already undergone a bloodline reversion, to his side. The student from Daybreak Academy across from him also summoned his own spirit beast. In the area of Meteor Academy, Tang Mingho's ancestral beast, after successfully undergoing a bloodline reversion, has now reached the level of intermediate silver. Coupled with the talents and skills gained after the reversion, he also won the freshman competition championship half a month ago. In terms of strength, within the academy, he is considered second only to me, Xie Yufei, and Fang Nan. In fact, in terms of strength, among all the participants now, he can be said to be among the top. As long as he doesn't encounter the two seeded players from Daybreak and Lunar, it's impossible for anyone else to defeat Tang Mingho without showing their true abilities. Thinking about it this way, it shouldn't be difficult to defeat the student from Daybreak Academy across from him and advance to the top 8, but getting into the top 4 will require some luck. Xu Chen silently analyzed the two contestants on the stage. During this time, the battle on stage had already determined the winner. As expected, the victor was Tang Mingho. From the duration of the match, it was clear that he easily defeated his opponent. After the battle, Tang Mingho returned to the area of Meteor Academy. Seeing Tang Mingho return from the battle, Xu Chen, Xi Yufei, and Fang Nan all smiled and nodded at him. Tang Mingho also nodded in response to everyone. Well done. You've made a good start for our second round match at Meteor Academy. Keep up the good work. Chen Xu patted Tang Mingho's shoulder with satisfaction and encouraged him. Tang Mingho nodded heavily at the words and then sat down to rest. The second match featured contestants from Daybreak Academy and Lunar Academy. After a fierce battle, a student from Daybreak emerged as the winner. In the third match, Fang Nan easily defeated a student from Daybreak Academy. In the fourth match, Xia Yufei also easily defeated a student from Daybreak Academy. In the fifth match, Qin Su easily defeated a student from Lunar Academy. However, through this match, Xu Chen also saw Qin Su's spirit beast, a monk-like spirit beast with an unextinguished flame on its head. The whole body is mainly reddish-brown, with white fluff on the head, chest, lower legs, and feet, and golden swirl-shaped scales on the shoulders, chest, back of the hands, and knees. The eyes are bright, with blue eyeballs set in yellow irises. The limbs are slender, with blue fingers and toes, each with five digits, wrapped in flames, and a long tail behind. Then also check the specific information of this spirit beast. Name, Blaze Monkey, Current Level, Advanced Silver, Inheritance Object, Heavenly Fire Clean Monkey, 
bloodline concentration, 30%, growth length, 80%, talent, flame resistance, skills, blaze fist, blaze eyes, blaze steps, flame jet, martial arts proficiency, passive, flame fusion, Jinsu's spirit beast has strong talents and skills. Especially the flame resistance talent skill, which can reduce 20% of the damage received from fire elemental attacks. Although it can't compare to the 30% overall attribute reduction of the Crescent Silver Corpse, it is still enough to pose a great threat to Fang Nan. It seems that the Solar Academy came prepared this time. Xu Chen looked at the information panel of the Blaze Monkey and realized that Qin Su's Spirit Beast was quite effective against Fang Nan's Blazing Sky Lion. The sixth match, the competitors are once again from the Solar Academy and the Lunar Academy, but this time the Lunar Academy wins. The seventh match, Bai Luo competes against a student from the Meteor Academy and wins. After winning, Bai Luo intentionally raised an eyebrow at Xu Chen, as if saying that the students from the Meteor Academy were not good enough. Xu Chen simply ignored this childish gesture. Later, he also saw Bai Luo's spirit beast. It is a bear-like spirit beast. This spirit beast is burly, with most of its fur being grey, except for the large V-shaped white hair on its chest, extending to the shoulders. It looks like it's wearing a white shawl and scarf. Its eyes are determined, and it wears a black and white headband. The mouth, fingers, and toes are yellow. Each thigh is also wrapped in a protective band. Name, Battle Bear Master, Current Level, Lower Gold, Inheritance Object, Guardian Varger Bear, Bloodline Concentration, 40%, Growth Length, 2%, Talent, Armor Break, Skills, Flowing Hand Blade, Continuous Water Strikes, Status Skill, Close Combat Master, Passive Skill, True Chi Fist, Double Rebound, It's Actually Lower Gold Level. Judging from the Growth Length, it must have recently advanced to the gold level. No wonder she's so confident in winning against me. However, the strength of her spirit beast is indeed outstanding. Regardless of the talent skill effect, there is a certain probability of directly bypassing defensive skills. Moreover, among the five skills, there are both status skills and passive skills, which is quite rare. Xu Chen looked at the panel of the Battle Bear Master, feeling amazed. If Xu Chen had not participated in this competition, the champion of this match would likely have been by Luo. But unfortunately, there are no IFS. At this moment, on the battlefield. Next, please welcome the 8th and 9th players to bring us the final match of the second round. Let's continue to warmly welcome them with applause. After hearing Ah Hua's voice on the stage, it was finally his turn to take the stage. Xu Chen slowly stood up, stretched his muscles, and walked towards the central arena of the venue. At the same time, in the blue area where the Lunar Academy is located. The girl who looked distressed during the drawing ceremony slowly stood up. Soon, the two met on the battlefield. Xu Chen looked at the slightly trembling appearance of the opponent, feeling a bit amused. With a very friendly smile, he gestured for her to summon her spirit beast. After a brief moment of hesitation, the girl on the opposite side quickly summoned her spirit beast. It is a feline spirit beast. Xu Chen was about to summon the moon silver corpse to quickly resolve the battle. Squeak, squeak, squeak. After the familiar sound, a brown figure jumped from Xu Chen's pocket onto the field. Xu Chen was puzzled about what the wealth-attracting mouse was up to. Why are you coming out now? Xu Chen looked at the wealth-attracting mouse with confusion. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The wealth-attracting mouse pointed with its paw at the opponent's spirit beast from the Luo Yu Academy. Then it pointed at itself, assuming a fighting stance. Are you suggesting a showdown with the opponent's spirit beast? Squeak, squeak. Upon hearing Xu Chen's words, the wealth-attracting mouse nodded. Well. All right, since you insist, I'll let you give it a try. It's also a chance for the moon silver corpse to have another trick up its sleeve. Xu Chen agreed to the wealth-attracting mouse's rare request to battle. Squeak, squeak, squeak. After getting Xu Chen's permission, the wealth-attracting mouse let out a happy squeak. It walked to the designated battle spot in front of Xu Chen, assuming a fighting posture. When everyone saw that Xu Chen's spirit beast was a mouse, located in the red area of the Yueri Academy. The information shows that Xu Chen's spirit beast is called the Crimson Armor Bronze Corpse, but what's the situation with this mouse spirit beast now? Qin Su looked at the scene with some confusion. Could it be his second spirit beast? The vice dean son beside him made a guess. Qin Su was also surprised, a second spirit beast, doesn't that mean Xu Chen? On the other side, in the blue area of the Luo Yu Academy. I never expected Xu Chen to quietly advance to the gold level. But it's okay. I believe my battle bear master is the most powerful. Bai Luo, although somewhat surprised that Xu Chen had also reached the gold level, still didn't consider him a match. In the purple area of the Yunqing Academy. 
Xu Chan has already advanced to the gold level. Why didn't he send out the Crimson Armor Bronze Corpse for this battle, but chose to send out this new contracted mouse spirit beast? Wait, why does the spirit beast that entered the field seem familiar? Could it be Xu Chen's or eating mouse? But this change is quite significant. Tang Mingho was shocked to see the wealth attracting mouse enter the field. There are very few situations that can cause such a significant change in a spirit beast. And Xu Chen just came out of the ruins, so. Have you forgotten how your giant beast's transformation occurred? After thinking for a moment, Chen Xu hinted at Tang Mingho. Teacher Chen, are you saying? After hearing what Chen Xu said, Tang Mingho also understood something. That's right, this spirit beast should be the previous or eating mouse, and the reason for the significant change in appearance is likely due to atavism caused by bloodline reversion. In that case, Chu Chen probably exchanged the points from clearing the 11th level for a potion that can trigger bloodline reversion, which the or eating mouse consumed. Oh no! Could Chu Chen really have formed a contract with this or eating mouse, choosing it as his second spirit beast? If so, isn't that a bit hasty? If not, it could be troublesome, as using non-personal spirit beasts in a match is not allowed. After this battle of Xu Chen's ends, I need to understand the specific situation as soon as possible, so I can make arrangements for what comes next. Chen Xu felt both happy and worried for Xu Chen. In the leadership seat. Director Xia, I didn't expect that the seed player from your academy, Xu Chen, is already a gold-level spirit beast master. Is this why you have confidence in him? Even Luo Fei looked at Xu Chen, who sent out his second spirit beast, with surprise, turning to Xie Rushue. Originally, we thought that with our family's golden level imperial beast, by Luo, winning the championship of this competition should have been a sure thing. But we didn't expect that Xu Chen from the Meteor Academy is also a golden level beast master. However, even among golden level masters, there are differences in strength. With Bai Luo's formidable strength as a battle bear master, it should be no problem to defeat the opponent. That's what Princess Lianfei thought. That's part of it, but there is a more important reason. But Shi Rushu has suddenly stopped at a crucial point. What is the more important reason? Princess Lianfei urged Shi Yufei to continue. But Shi Rushu, upon hearing the urging, calmly turned to watch the match without any intention of speaking. HMPH. This made Princess Lianfei, who had only heard half of it, feel like she was being teased, so she angrily turned her body back. On the side, Fang Nan's father, who overheard the conversation between the two, remained silent, sitting there in contemplation, lost in thought. On the battlefield, the girls from the Lunar Academy were surprised to see that Xu Chen did not send out the powerful red armor bronze corpse as indicated in the information. Instead, they sent out a seemingly weak rodent beast, while they themselves had a feline beast. Realizing the inherent restraint between the two species, they were delighted, straightened up, and stopped trembling. I didn't expect this seated player from the Meteor Academy to make the fatal mistake of underestimating the enemy. So as long as I seize the opportunity in this battle, take it seriously, there is a chance to defeat them. If we really win, it will undoubtedly greatly weaken the strength of the Meteor Academy, and I will have cleared a major obstacle for our Lunar Academy to win the championship. With this in mind, the girls from the Lunar Academy's eyes flashed with excitement as they commanded their feline beast to charge towards the wealth-attracting rat watching the opponent's actions and combining them with their commanding expressions. It seems that the wealth-attracting rat has underestimated the opponent. Although the wealth-attracting rat's talent lies in treasure hunting, if you underestimate its attacking ability because of this, you would be gravely mistaken. You see, during the treasure hunt, it is inevitable to encounter fierce beasts guarding the treasure. At that time, if the wealth-attracting rat is not skilled, it is easy to perish. So the wealth-attracting rat has its own unique skills in both attack and escape. Moreover, my beast has not only reached the level of advanced silver, but also successfully undergone bloodline reversion. In terms of strength, it can rank in the top 5 among all the beasts of the participants. That's why I agreed to let it participate in the battle. Xu Chen vaguely guessed the opponent's thoughts and shook his head helplessly. Seeing the feline beast from the other side daring to charge, the wealth-attracting rat couldn't help but feel a little angry. Although it appeared cute and obedient in front of the crescent silver corpse, it was more than capable of holding its own in a fight. Burrow. It instantly disappeared from the feline beast's field of vision, leaving the feline beast standing still, unsure of what to do next. The girls from the Lunar Academy saw the wealth-attracting rat disappear at this moment, leaving only Xu Chen standing in the Beast Master's command area. Thinking that Xu Chen, not only a seated player from the Meteor Academy, but also due to underestimating the enemy, did not send out his strongest beast, they felt very hopeful of defeating Xu Chen in this match. Although they knew Xu Chen was already a golden level beast master and could use beast transformation skills. 
But beast transformation can only harness a portion of the beast's strength, so they also had a chance. With this in mind, the girls from the Lunar Academy decided to be ruthless. They signaled their beast to attack Xu Chen in front of them. Upon receiving the command from their beastmaster, the feline beast immediately sprang into action, leaping high towards Xu Chen, opening its jaws wide, and pouncing. The decision of the girls from the Luo Yu Academy was somewhat unexpected for Xu Chen. Unable to find the trace of the wealth attracting rat, they unexpectedly turned their attention to him. Interesting. Good decision. Just a bit unlucky. Imperial transformation. Xu Chen silently recited in his heart, and the familiar energy instantly transmitted from the residual moon silver corpse in the imperial beast space. Having familiarized himself with imperial transformation in advance, Xu Chen was very adept at controlling this huge energy. Looking at the feline imperial beast opening its bloodthirsty mouth close to him. After revealing a meaningful smile, the next second, Xu Chen instantly raised his right hand and grabbed the feline imperial beast by the neck. Then he lifted it steadily. The feline imperial beast felt as if a giant clamp had gripped its neck. In pain, it frantically twisted its body and attacked the arm opposite with its sharp claws. But upon contact with Xu Chen's arm, it made a sound as if a knife was cutting through steel. It was ineffective. The spectators witnessing this scene were momentarily speechless. In the red area where the Daystar Academy was located. The Imperial Beast level has indeed reached the gold level. But could the defense ability after Imperial Transformation be a bit too strong? Qin Su looked at Xu Chen's skin in the arena, easily blocking the feline Imperial Beast's attacks, feeling somewhat surprised. Hum. Maybe the defense strength of the Imperial Beast he transformed from is a strong point. After pondering for a while, the Vice Dean Sun beside him slowly voiced his speculation. Qin Su also nodded in agreement after hearing this, as after their Imperial Beast reached the gold level, their transformed selves could also obtain some flame damage reduction. In the blue area where the Luo Yu Academy was located. I didn't expect his defense to be so strong after the Imperial Transformation. It seems the plan to knock him out with a single blow in battle has gone down the drain. Damn it. It hurts. Bai Luo was somewhat surprised by Xu Chen's defense after the Imperial Transformation and instinctively hammered his thigh a few times heavily. In the purple area where the Meteor Academy was located. When the Imperial Beast from the opposite side attacked Xu Chen just now, I really sweated for him. Now seeing Xu Chen easily block all the attacks after the Imperial Transformation, I can't help but admire the strength of the big shots as always. Tang Mingho sighed after witnessing Xu Chen's amazing performance. According to the records of previous Imperial Transformations, if your Imperial Beast's combat power is at the lower gold level, then your strength after the transformation is probably at the upper bronze to lower silver level. Judging from Xu Chen's combat power breaking through the 11th level with the Crimson Armor Bronze Corpse, his strength after the transformation is probably at the lower silver to middle silver level. But this calculation is based on the Crimson Armor Bronze Corpse not advancing to the gold level. I estimate that Xu Chen's strength at this moment has increased by a small margin. In this way, it's not surprising that Xu Chen can easily block the attacks of the feline Imperial Beast opposite. After thinking for a while, Chen Xu earnestly analyzed Xu Chen's strength after the Imperial transformation. Teacher Chen, after hearing your analysis, why do I feel that even if I and the giant beast combined, we might not be able to defeat Xu Chen at this moment? Tang Mingho made a fearful guess. After giving him an encouraging look, Chen Xu patted his shoulder. However, it was somewhat unexpected for the opponent to directly order their imperial beast to attack Xu Chen. Because although there is no explicit prohibition in the match against attacking the imperial beast master themselves, it is generally assumed that it is not allowed. Part of the reason is that most players of this age have not reached the gold level. Once someone sets this precedent, it will inevitably lead to adverse events in the match. The girl from the opposite Luo Yu Academy must have seen Xu Chen Dadao reach the golden level before daring to do this. But what if Xu Chen Dadao hasn't reached the golden level, and the Shuquang rat sent out is not the second contracted beast? Then both sides are at fault. If the Shuquang rat is really Xu Chen Dadao's non-contracted beast, it's good to offset each other's faults, so let's arrange it like this. Chen Xu silently planned in his heart. On the leadership seat. Shia Rushua. The defensive power of Yorshu Chendidao's transformation is almost catching up with those silver level superior beasts known for their defense. Even Luo Fei looked at Xu Chendidao, somewhat surprised. Indeed, at this moment, Xu Chendidao's defensive power alone is at the level of a silver level superior beast. But after the transformation, Xu Chendidao only enhanced his defensive power. In other aspects, the silver level is probably not enough to look at. I see, it's just average. Although Shia Rushua said this in a flat tone, the joy in her eyes could not be hidden. 
hypocritical. After hearing Shiarushua's words, Luo Fei felt goosebumps all over her body. On the battlefield, the girls from Luo Yu Academy saw their contracted beasts being lifted up by Shu Chendadao as if they were toys. They could hardly believe their eyes. Just as she was amazed by Shu Chendadao's amazing performance, a brown figure suddenly rushed out of the ground behind her. It was the wealth attracting rat that had burrowed before. However, the wealth attracting rat was in an extremely angry state at this moment. The sharp claws shimmered with dazzling light. It was the treasure grab of the wealth attracting rat. It just wanted to play with the cat like beast on the opposite side. Cats always play with mice, but today it wanted to turn the tables and play a game of mice teasing a big cat. But what the wealth attracting rat didn't expect was that the opposite side completely disregarded the rules of engagement. Instead of catching itself, it chose to attack Shu Chendadao. What if Shu Chendadao was slightly injured due to its momentary impulse? Wouldn't that be a slap in the face for the wealth attracting rat? So, the moment it saw the cat like beast attacking Shu Chendadao, it immediately rushed towards Shu Chendadao's position. Just as it was about to make a move, it saw Shu Chendadao's play of lifting the big cat. After a moment of panic, it also remembered Shu Chendadao's protection from the Crescent Silver Corpse. With that big cat, Shu Chendadao couldn't be harmed at all. But even so, the wealth attracting rat still felt aggrieved. This made it use up all the secret silver Shu Chendadao had given it before. The girl from Luo Yu Academy was already so scared by the wealth attracting rat's attack that she couldn't move. Just as the wealth attracting rat's attack was about to hit, Wealth Attracting Rat, cancel the attack. Shu Chendadao obviously also saw the Wealth Attracting Rat's actions. He could withstand the beast's attack because of the transformation. But what about the girl from Luo Yu Academy on the opposite side? Naturally, she wouldn't let the Wealth Attracting Rat act recklessly. After hearing Shu Chendadao's command, just as the Wealth Attracting Rat was about to cancel the skill, it thought it couldn't waste its secret silver in vain. So, it forcefully grabbed the treasure grab in its hand and fiercely grabbed it at the ground not far from the girl. Boom! A huge explosion resounded throughout the arena. Three deep gullies appeared on the battlefield. The depth of these gullies indicated the power of the skill just now. After doing all this, the wealth attracting rat quickly returned to Shu Chendadao's side. Shu Chendadao also let go of the big cat in his hand at this time. As soon as it broke free from Shu Chendadao's restraint, the big cat immediately rushed to its beastmaster's side. After gently bumping into the girl a few times, the girl from Luo Yu Academy slowly regained consciousness and withdrew it into the beast's space. Thank you. After standing up, she bowed deeply to Shu Chendadao, thanked him, and left the battlefield. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The money attracting mouse hung its head miserably, no longer exuding the slightest hint of its former grandeur, as if admitting its mistake to Shu Chen. All right, pay more attention next time. Xu Chen squatted down and patted the little head of the money attracting mouse, indicating forgiveness. Seeing Xu Chen forgive itself, the money attracting mouse squeaked happily, danced around for a while, and then returned to Xu Chen's pocket. Seeing the opponent had already voluntarily withdrawn from the battlefield and admitted defeat, Xu Chen, with the money attracting mouse, headed towards the rest area of their own academy. When Xu Chen arrived at the rest area, he saw Chen Xu hurrying towards him. Was the one who just fought in the arena the Ore Devouring Mouse you obtained in the fourth secret realm before? That's right, it's the Ore Devouring Mouse, but now it's called the Money Attracting Mouse, what's the matter? Xu Chen listened to Chen Xu's question, feeling puzzled. You're not going to tell me that after advancing to the gold level, you contracted this Money Attracting Mouse as your second spirit beast, right? No, I didn't. Xu Chen understood that Chen Xu was worried that he had contracted a second spirit beast that was not suitable. That's good. But, don't you know that non-self spirit beasts are not allowed to participate in the competition? Chen Xu, upon hearing that Xu Chen had not contracted the money-attracting mouse, first breathed a sigh of relief, then asked. Is that so? Oh. Right. Xu Chen was momentarily stunned upon hearing this rule, but then understood the underlying reason. Do you know that once it's known that the money-attracting mouse is not your spirit beast, you will inevitably be asked to forfeit your eligibility to compete? Chen Xu looked sternly at Xu Chen. But since Teacher Chen can wait for me in the rest area, I'm sure you've already figured out a solution. Xu Chen, although Chen Xu mentioned the severe punishment of disqualification as soon as he spoke, did not show any anxiety in his eyes. I knew it would be hard to deceive you. The solution has indeed been figured out, it goes like this. Chen Xu then explained his plan to Xu Chen. It seems that the girl from the Luo Yu Academy chose to have her spirit beast attack me in the match, which unexpectedly helped me out a bit, quite unexpected. Xu Chen sighed after listening. All right, today's matches are over. 
Rest well and prepare for tomorrow's main event. Chen Xu finished speaking and returned to his seat. After hearing this, Chu Chen looked up at the sky above the venue. Indeed, after the first round of 13 matches and the recent 8 matches, 21 matches had been completed, and it was already late. At this moment, on the battlefield, the host of this competition, Ar Hua, held a microphone and began announcing the results of the recent matches. In the final match of the second round just now, the winner is Xu Chen from the Meteor Academy. Let's congratulate him. After a round of applause in the venue, Ar Hua continued. After the intense battles of the second round just now, the top eight players of this competition have emerged. They are Qin Su and Feng Wu from the Day Academy, Bai Luo and Sun Xin from the Luo Yu Academy, as well as Xu Chen, Xia Yufei, Fang Nan, and Tang Ming Ho from the Meteor Academy. Let's congratulate these eight students on successfully advancing to the semifinals tomorrow. Yes, you heard it right, I said tomorrow. I know you haven't had enough, but good times are always short. So, I'm sorry to inform you that all today's matches have ended. But our schedule continues. In tomorrow's matches, we will witness the emergence of the semi-finalists and the champions one by one. I believe that the matches that day will be even more exciting than today. Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, we'll meet at the same place, don't miss it. As Ahu announced the end of today's match, the crowd in the venue began to stand up and leave. Xu Chen also left the venue and returned to his small villa. He then opened his information panel. Name, Xu Chen, current level, mid-level gold beast tamer, beast 1, remnant moon silver corpse, Chen bloodline, beast 2, unknown beast egg, incubating, beast 3, none, items, king's protection, consumable, king's protection, in times of crisis, using this item can temporarily summon the projection of a king to one side. It's been almost a day, why hasn't it hatched yet? System. What's going on? Xu Chen looked at the second beast that had not yet successfully hatched, and asked the system with some confusion. The reason it has not hatched yet is due to insufficient energy. Insufficient energy. Xu Chen, listening to the system's response, still didn't quite understand. Yes, you now have two choices. First choice, in the case of insufficient energy, let the beast inside hatch immediately, but the level of the hatched beast will start from lower level black iron. Second choice, after the host provides sufficient energy, then let the beast inside hatch, and the level of the hatched beast will depend on the amount of energy. Can reach up to mid-level gold, when you say energy, do you mean the conditions required for the previous promotion of the red armor copper corpse? After hearing the two choices given, Xu Chen chose the second one without hesitation. Only a fool would choose the first one. Including, but not limited to. In that case, what level do you think these can bring the beast inside to? Xu Chen took out the last purple potion from the beast space, as well as the crystals of various levels obtained during previous training. Estimated. Estimation complete, these energies can bring the level of the beast inside to upper silver. The system stated its estimated result. Can it only reach upper silver? In that case, forget it, let's wait. It seems that for this match, having just the remnant moon silver corpse is enough. After I receive the rewards from this match, I will hatch it and strive to reach mid-level gold in one go. After calculating in his mind, Xu Chen had to collect the things on the ground back into the beast space. After thinking for a while and finding nothing missing, Xu Chen went back to his room to sleep, preparing his body for the match tomorrow. The next day quickly arrived at 9 o'clock in the morning. Still at the familiar Linjiang Sports Arena. Welcome once again to the scene of the Three Academies Freshman Tournament in Linjiang City. I am your familiar host, Ahua. I believe after waiting all night last night, everyone has been eagerly anticipating today's matches. So, after a brief explanation of the rules by Ahua, let's begin the journey of the top for matches today. Same rules as before, determining your opponent and the order of appearance through a draw. Now, with the warmest applause, let's invite the eight advancing players to the stage for the draw. As Ahua finished announcing the rules of today's match, Xu Chen and the other seven people stood up from their seats and walked towards the battle arena. Before long, the eight of them returned to the front of the battle arena. At this moment, Ahua had already walked up to everyone with a red box in hand. I'm sure everyone is already familiar with the drawing ceremony. Now, please draw your number for this match from inside, and then proceed to the stage in the order of 1 against 8, 2 against 7. Because the Meteor Academy won the most matches in yesterday's competition, they were the first to draw this time. Among the top 8, half of the students are from our Meteor Academy, so it's easy to draw classmates as opponents. I hope Xia Yufei and the other two don't get drawn with me. Xu Chen reached into the black box to draw his own number, thinking as he drew. After Xu Chen finished drawing, soon after, others also drew their numbers. 
Xu Chen looked at the number in his hand, number four. Then he looked at the numbers of the other three. Xi Yufei was number six. Fang Nan was number eight. Tang Minghou was number two. No number four. Knowing that there would be no same academy matchups, Xu Chen then looked at the numbers of the others. Upon seeing the number in Fang Nan's hand, Qin Su from the Solar Academy revealed a joyful smile. Then he showed his number to Fang Nan. Number one. This meant that the next match would be between Qin Su and Fang Nan. I didn't expect Fang Nan to actually encounter Qin Su in the match, it's going to be tough. Xu Chen looked at the results in front of him, recording the information he had seen about Qin Su's beast taming. The number of Bai Luo from the Lunar Academy was seven. His opponent in this round was Tang Mingho. Xu Chen couldn't help but shake his head. But his own opponent with Xie Yufei wasn't strong. Now that everyone has drawn their numbers, let the player who drew number one and the player who drew number eight stay, and the rest can take a break. Ahur said to Xu Chen and the others in front of him. Everyone nodded. Then Xu Chen, like the others, returned to the area of their respective academies. At this point, only Qin Su and Fang Nan remained on the field. The drawing ceremony is over. Next, let's welcome the seated player from the Solar Academy, Qin Su, to battle against Fang Nan from the Meteor Academy. Who will advance to the top for first? Let's wait and see. Ahur announced loudly to the audience with a microphone in hand. On the battlefield, the two stared at each other intently. Why didn't you sign up for the Solar Academy but chose the Meteor Academy instead? Qin Su was the first to question Fang Nan. I admit, initially it was partly because of Xi Yufei, but later it wasn't just that. And I've learned it a lot at the Meteor Academy too. Why must I study at the Solar Academy? Don't I have the right to choose? Fang Nan gave his response. All right, I want to see how much you've learned at the Meteor Academy. After hearing what Fang Nan said, Qin Su understood that it was impossible to make Fang Nan return to the Solar Academy, so he had to show his strength. According to Vice Dean Sun's instructions, in this competition, he had to decisively defeat the students from the Meteor Academy to prove Fang Nan's choice was wrong. With that, he summoned his beast, the Blaze Monkey, to the battlefield. At the same time, Fang Nan also summoned his Blaze Lion to his side. Quickly defeat him for me. Qin Su ordered the Blaze Monkey for a swift victory. Since Qin Su and Fang Nan had known each other for a long time, and they both came from the same high school, they had countless battles between them. But in most cases, Fang Nan lost more than he won. So Qin Su was very familiar with the strengths and weaknesses of the Blaze Lion. The advantage of the Blaze Lion was its high elemental burst damage, which could quickly render the enemy unable to fight. However, his Blaze Monkey's talent perfectly countered the Blaze Lion. The disadvantage was also obvious, as all skills were elemental damage, lacking physical attack methods. So each time, his Blaze Monkey used its talent to withstand the burst damage of the Blaze Lion. Then take the opportunity to engage in close combat with the Blazing Inferno Lion, using your own strengths in combat to attack the enemy's weaknesses. There is no reason not to win, right? After receiving the command, the Flame Monkey underwent a huge transformation instantly. Not only did flames ignite on its fists, feet, and tail, but even its eyes flickered with dancing flames. It then activated the skills Flame Fist, Flame Gaze, and Flame Step, and swiftly charged towards the Blazing Inferno Lion. It seems that it has fought with the Blazing Inferno Lion more than once or twice. It knows how to defeat the Blazing Inferno Lion. Watching the Flame Monkey with these familiar three starting skills, Blazing Inferno Lion, show it the results of your training this past month. Upon hearing Fang Nan's command, the Roaring Blazing Inferno Lion also charged towards the Flame Monkey. If in the exchange match a month ago, close combat was indeed its weakness. But now, although it's not a strong point yet, it's impossible to defeat it as easily as before. Fang Nan thought to himself as he watched the charging Flame Monkey. After the exchange match, Fang Nan had been training the Blazing Inferno Lion's physical strength almost every day. Today, the Blazing Inferno Lion's physical strength was no longer a weakness. In the blink of an eye, the two mythical beasts encountered each other. Although the Flame Monkey was surprised by the Blazing Inferno Lion's unexpected behavior of actively engaging in close combat, its movements did not stop. It exerted all its strength to unleash a flame fist towards the Blazing Inferno Lion. Bang! A dull sound echoed in the battle arena. However, it was not the sound of a punch hitting flesh. It was. What? Qin Su was surprised to see the Flame Monkey's attack being blocked by the Blazing Inferno Lion. Although the Blazing Inferno Lion was struggling a bit at the moment, it did manage to catch the punch. Well done. Defeat it now while you can. Fang Nan, seeing the situation, shouted in delight. 
The blazing inferno lion tightly grabbed the flame monkey's fist, not letting it escape. Then flames spread from under the blazing inferno lion's feet towards the arena. In an instant, the blazing inferno lion and the flame monkey found themselves in an endless sea of fire. Domain of Flames Quickly, whirlpools formed around the two mythical beasts. In an instant, a fire tornado engulfed them both. Flame Vortex At the same time, arrows made of condensed flames shot from the fire tornado, piercing into it. Flame Arrows Seizing this rare opportunity, the blazing inferno lion unleashed its most powerful combo. Flame Monkey Danger In fact, when the draw was made just now, Fang Nan saw that his opponent this round was Qin Su. He had been thinking of ways to defeat Qin Su since then. Having fought Qin Su countless times before, he was very familiar with Qin Su's mythical beast's characteristics. At the same time, Qin Su also knew the weaknesses of Fang Nan's blazing inferno lion. Fang Nan knew that this time, Qin Su would most likely start with the same three skills as before, Flame Fist, Flame Gaze, and Flame Step. First, using Flame Gaze to enhance observation, better monitoring the movements of the blazing inferno lion's flame vortex. Then, utilizing the speed boost from Flame Step to quickly move out of the coverage area of the fire tornado formed by the flame vortex. Although inevitably receiving some fire elemental damage while leaving the flame vortex, due to the damage reduction effect from the flame monkey's innate talent, this damage was within the flame monkey's tolerance range. Finally, taking the opportunity to get close, using the damage boost from Flame Fist, and winning through close combat with the blazing Inferno Lion. Fang Nan had witnessed this attack pattern of the flame monkey many times. After some contemplation, Fang Nan. The reason why this combo set is so effective against the Blazing Sky Lion is that the Blazing Sky Lion cannot restrict the Inferno Monkey's movements due to its inferior combat abilities. The Blazing Sky Lion can only cause damage to the Inferno Monkey by releasing skills. Unfortunately, the Inferno Monkey successfully dodged most of its damage skills by using its observational skills and speed advantage, resulting in a significant loss of damage and ultimately losing the battle. Before the end of that exchange match, Fang Nan always believed that as long as the elemental damage of his Blazing Sky Lion was high enough, it could compensate for its weaknesses. However, since losing that game, Fang Nan also realized the importance of physical strength. Finally, he made the decision to improve the physical strength of the Blazing Sky Lion, at least not to be at a disadvantage. This was demonstrated by the performance of just now when he took on the full force of the Inferno Monkey's attack. This is the result of a month of devil training. When Fang Nan saw the Blazing Sky Lion successfully execute the planned explosive damage against the Inferno Monkey, he said, Qin Su, in previous battles, the reason why the Blazing Sky Lion lost was simply because it never fully inflicted damage on the Inferno Monkey. But this time is different. Trying to use the previous combo specifically targeting the physical strength of the Blazing Sky Lion to win is a thing of the past. As long as the movements of the Inferno Monkey are restricted, forcing it to take the full set of damage skills from the Blazing Sky Lion, the situation will be completely different. Although the Inferno Monkey's talent can reduce some damage, it is only a reduction, not immunity. The outcome of this match depends on whether your Inferno Monkey can withstand this wave of massive damage. Fang Nan watched the two figures surrounded by layers of flames on the field and silently prayed in his heart. In the red area where the Daystar Academy is located. I didn't expect Fang Nan to let the Blazing Sky Lion actively take the Inferno Monkey's full force punch with its physical strength then took the opportunity to unleash a set of burst skills on the Inferno Monkey, now the outcome of the match is uncertain. The Weistein son muttered after seeing the situation on the field. Time passed slowly. The fire tornado formed by the vortex of flames gradually dissipated. When the fire tornado dissipated to a certain extent, the two figures inside were already blurry. One figure suddenly stood up, while the other figure had fallen. Seeing this scene, Fang Nan suddenly had some bad thoughts. As the fire tornado slowly dissipated, the situation inside finally appeared clearly in everyone's sight. At this moment, on the battlefield, the Inferno Monkey stood stiffly in the center of the field, motionless. Its body was burning with golden flames, very magnificent. It was the Inferno Monkey's flame possession skill, which could significantly enhance its body attributes in all directions for a short period. This includes defense. However, upon closer observation, it could be seen that the Inferno Monkey's body was covered with various degrees of injuries. Some were minor burns, while others were almost smelling like roasted meat. The reason it stood still was to avoid aggravating the injuries on its body. Although the victory was somewhat brutal, it still stood on the field as the winner. On the other side, the Blazing Sky Lion had already lost its combat ability and lay on the ground. Its injuries were more severe compared to the Inferno Monkey. How is this possible? 
Fang Nan couldn't help but exclaim after seeing this. Few tilder, Qin Su let out a long sigh of relief. From the moment the blazing sky lion took the inferno monkey's punch earlier to unleashing a set of massive burst damage on the inferno monkey, Qin Su's mood shifted from surprise to worry. Because such a situation had never occurred in their previous battles. Qin Su also didn't know if the blaze monkey could withstand this wave of damage. It wasn't until he saw the scene in front of him that he finally relaxed. After seeing the injuries on the blaze monkey, he said, if it weren't for the 20% damage reduction effect provided by the blaze monkey's talent, coupled with the additional defense boost provided by flame possession, I might have lost. There was a hint of luck in Qin Su's eyes. In the red area where the Daystar Academy is located, Weistin Sun said, that was close. Fortunately, Qin Su won in the end. Now Fanon should know that his choice was wrong. Seeing the outcome of the match on the field, a weight was lifted off Weistin Sun's heart. In the blue area where the Luo Yu Academy is located, someone commented, Fanon's plan was indeed flawless, but he lost in the end due to the talent restraint. It's a bit of a pity. But since the match between Fanon and Qin Su is over, it's my turn next. Bai Luo thought about his upcoming match and couldn't help but get excited. In the purple area where the Meteor Academy is located, someone remarked, as expected, Fanon's battle was very difficult. There was a high probability of losing. Since the exchange match defeat, Fanon has been trying to make up for his weaknesses to become stronger. But in this match, Fanon's beast, whether in terms of level, talent, or skills, was indeed perfectly restrained by the opponent. Achieving the current level of play is already quite good. I remember that in the exchange match, Fanon's beast was also perfectly restrained by the senior's beast he was up against. How should I put it? I can only say that this child seems to have a bit of bad luck. After analyzing it, Chu Chen smiled and realized that the main reason for Fanon's loss was not just about strength, but also seemed to involve some luck issues. In the leadership seat, someone asked, Dean Fang, your son seems to have lost to the seated player of your academy. How do you feel about it? Even Luo Fei turned to look at Fang Qing with interest. Fang Qing, with a blank expression, said, happy, very happy. Luo Fei found Fang Qing's answer somewhat unbelievable. She turned back to watch the match, as it was now by Luo's turn to play. However, no one noticed that when Fang Qing looked at Fanon, there was a hint of a smile on his lips. Compared to others seeing the defeat in the match, he saw Fanon's changes and growth. At the battle site, Qin Su and Fanon had already stepped forward to recall their beasts into the beast space. Qin Su said confidently to Fanon, Honestly, you finally realized the importance of physical strength to the overall strength of the beast, and made changes, which really surprised me. But if this is all you learned at the Meteor Academy, I can only say that it's indeed good, but if you had chosen the Daystar Academy, you would have learned it even better. Or maybe after I defeat all the players from your Meteor Academy, you will understand that the Daystar Academy is the best fit for you. Qin Su's face was full of confidence as he spoke to Fanon. What I learned at the Meteor Academy is certainly more than just this. The real gains are. You will know soon. Although you defeated me, if you want to defeat all the players from our Meteor Academy, I can only say that it's impossible. Even if you draw Xia Yufei in the next match and win, there is no way you can defeat that person. Fanon was about to leave, but couldn't help asking after hearing Qin Su's words, him? Are you referring to Xu Chen? Is he strong? Qin Su instantly knew who Fanon was talking about. Is Xu Chen strong? You will find out when you encounter him. You will have a new understanding of strength. Fang Nan remembered the first time he witnessed Xu Chen's strength, it was during an exchange meeting. Before that, he had always thought Xu Chen could take the first place in the assessment. It was all because he didn't give his all during the assessment. He had also thought about seeking advice from him. It wasn't until he saw Xu Chen's performance at the exchange meeting that he truly understood what absolute strength meant. The subsequent journey to the ruins made him completely aware of the gap in strength between them. This was the fundamental reason why Fang Nan changed his perspective. Perhaps it's time for people from other academies to experience this huge gap firsthand. Fang Nan thought to himself, unable to help but smile and shake his head as he left the battlefield. To make you so confident in him, I am somewhat looking forward to a battle with this Xu Chen. Qin Su stood still, quietly said a sentence, then left as well. After seeing the two leave, the host Ah Huer took their microphone and began to announce the results of the just concluded match. The first to advance to the top four in this round is Qin Su from the Institute of Daylight. Let's congratulate him with warm applause. After a round of applause in the venue, next, please welcome the seated player by Luo from the Institute of Lunar Month to compete against Tang Ming Ho from the Institute of Meteor Stars. Who will secure the second spot in the top four? Let's continue to watch. 
Ah Huar announced loudly to the audience with their microphone in hand. Upon hearing his name, Bai Luo instantly stood up from his seat and walked towards the battlefield. Tang Mingho next to Xu Chen also stood up and walked towards the battlefield. Watching Tang Mingho's back, Xu Chen couldn't help but silently add a narration in his mind. Although Tang Mingho's strength is among the top among all the participants. If he's a bit lucky and draws himself and Xiu Yufei as opponents, there's a chance for both to advance to the top four. But unfortunately, he drew Bai Luo from the Institute of Lunar Month, luck doesn't seem to be on his side. With Bai Luo's strength as a golden level beast tamer, this match probably won't last long. Xu Chen made a quick estimate in his mind. Soon, the match on the field began. Just as Xu Chen had predicted, Tang Minghou's giant beast had been on the defensive since the start of the match. While Bai Luo's battle bear tamer kept launching continuous attacks. The tide turned gradually, and the giant beast began to struggle. Not long after, under a decisive blow from the battle bear tamer, it lost its combat ability. After Ah Huar announced Bai Luo as the winner of the match, Xu Chen saw the little girl looking arrogant as she glanced at him and made a fierce expression. Seeing Bai Luo's fierce expression, Xu Chen couldn't help but want to laugh. Seeing Xu Chen daring to mock her, after returning to her seat, Bai Luo also threw a sharp look at Xu Chen. The following matches proceeded swiftly. Xi Yufei decisively defeated the opponent from the Institute of Daylight in the battle. While Xu Chen, in the match against the student from the Institute of Lunar Month, didn't even summon his beast, using his elemental skill to defeat the opponent. It must be said that the feeling of personally entering the battle was truly comfortable. However, when Xu Chen returned to his seat, he saw Bai Luo glaring at him with gritted teeth, as if she wanted to rush over and attack him directly. As Xu Chen's battle concluded, the host Ah Huar took the microphone and began to announce the results of the just concluded match. Let's congratulate Xu Chen from the Institute of Meteor Stars for securing the last spot in the top four. After the intense battles we just witnessed, the top four players of this competition have emerged. They are Qin Su from the Daybreak Academy, Bai Luo from the Moonfall Academy, and Xu Chen and Xi Yufei from the Meteor Academy. Let's congratulate these four students on successfully advancing to the semifinals. Ah Huar noticed a senior getting ready to leave and quickly continued, the senior who was about to leave, please wait a moment, today's competition is not over yet. It is now 11 in the morning, and in two hours, at 1 in the afternoon, the semi-finals will begin on time. Some players need to heal their spirit beasts, and the players themselves need time to rest in order to present a more exciting match for everyone. During this time, you are free to arrange your activities, just don't forget about the semi-finals in two hours. Upon hearing this, the audience stood up and prepared to move around. Two hours passed quickly. The venue was once again filled with people, all eagerly anticipating the start of the semi-finals. Nice to see you again. I am your familiar host, Ahua. After two hours of rest, I believe everyone is looking forward to the upcoming semi-finals. This time, following the same rules as before, we will use a draw to determine opponents and the order of appearance. So, with warm applause, let's welcome the four players who have advanced to the semi-finals on stage. After announcing the arrangement for the semi-finals, Ahua quickly proceeded as everyone was already familiar with the drawing process. Soon, the four players drew their opponents for the semi-finals. The first match was between Xi Yufei and Bai Luo. Naturally, Xu Chen's opponent in the second match was Qin Su. Bai Luo, upon realizing she did not draw Xu Chen as her opponent, showed a disappointed expression and walked straight to Xu Chen. Xu Chen, I don't want to see you lose before facing me. Bai Luo, thinking about how Xu Chen had used his skills to bully their sisters from the Moonfall Academy before, couldn't wait to confront him and defeat him to avenge her good sisters. Little girl, you should worry about yourself first. Xu Chen felt that Bai Luo, being inexperienced in failure, was overly confident. This advice goes for you too. Bai Luo immediately retorted, showing her unwillingness to suffer losses. Xu Chen, seeing this, decided not to engage with her and turned to his opponent for this round, Qin Su. To meet you so soon is quite unexpected, it's a pleasant surprise. Qin Su looked at Xu Chen with joy and spoke first. Judging by your expression, it seems you were hoping to face me. Xu Chen noticed Qin Su's happiness upon drawing him as an opponent. After the last battle, when Fang Nan heard me say that I would defeat all the players from your Meteor Academy. He was very confident, saying that even if I could defeat Xiu Yufei next, I would never be able to defeat you. So, you know, after hearing his words, I really wanted to see your strength and see if it's as powerful as he claims. As Qin Su spoke slowly, Xu Chen was surprised but decided to show a bit of his true strength in the upcoming match. I hope your strength lives up to his words, and in the battles to come, don't disappoint me. After Qin Su finished speaking, he turned and left. 
Hearing Qin Su's words, Xu Chen shook his head somewhat helplessly. Are all these people so confident in themselves? He then returned to the rest area of his academy, planning to watch Xia Yufei's match later. After Xu Chen and others finished talking, the four players have already determined their opponents through drawing lots. Next, let's welcome the seeded player by Luo from the Luo Yu Academy, who will compete against Xia Yufei from the Meteor Academy. Who will be the first to secure a ticket to the finals? Let's wait and see. Our Huo announced loudly to the audience with a microphone in hand. At the battlefield, Xia Yufei summoned Xue Linglong to her side first. On the opposite side, Bai Luo also summoned the Battle Bear Master. Name, Xue Linglong, Current Level, High Silver, Inheritance Object, Lord of the Water, Bloodline Concentration, 39%, Growth, 20%, Talent, Water Control, Skills, High Temperature Water Bubbles, Flowing Water Combo, Water Wave Pursuit, Water of Life, Compared to Half a Month Ago, the Growth has also reached 20%, which is already quite fast. But due to the short half-month time, it is impossible for Xue Linglong to reach the gold level in such a short time. In a situation where the levels are at a disadvantage, it depends on what strategy Xu Yufei plans to use next to win the match. Xu Chen silently analyzed as he looked at Xue Linglong's current status panel. At this moment, after the Battle Bear Master was summoned by Bai Luo, the next second, it directly charged towards Xue Linglong's position. After all, the Battle Bear Master's skills are all designed for close combat. As long as it gets close to the enemy, it can deal its highest damage. Seeing the Battle Bear Master charging towards her, Xue Linglong immediately generated a large number of bubbles around herself. High temperature bubbles. These bubbles densely blocked the path the Battle Bear Master had to take in its charge. If the Battle Bear Master wanted to reach Xue Linglong smoothly, it would inevitably suffer huge damage from these high temperature water bubbles when they burst. Bai Luo saw the high temperature water bubble wall released by Xue Linglong, showing no signs of worry in his eyes. At the same time, the charging speed of the Battle Bear Master did not decrease at all. But just as it was about to reach the high temperature water bubbles, it slowly clenched its fist, gathering strands of true energy on its fist. Soon, the amount of true energy on its fist reached the threshold. Then, the Battle Bear Master punched towards the high temperature bubbles in front of it. True Energy Fist the strands of true energy produced were like sharp needles, instantly piercing all the high temperature water bubbles released by Xue Linglong. Naturally, all the subsequent damage from the bursting bubbles was nullified. With the obstacles in front of the Battle Bear Master gone. In no time, the Battle Bear Master had reached a spot not far from Xue Linglong. Seeing this, Xue Linglong quickly generated streams of water under her feet, dispersing in all directions. Some of them turned into sharp water pillars attacking the Battle Bear Master. Flowing Water Combo Seeing the incoming Flowing Water Combo, the Battle Bear Master calmly raised a hand blade posture. Just as the sharp water pillars were about to hit its body, the hand rose and fell, directly cutting off these water pillars. Then, taking a step forward, it used the Flowing Water Hand Blade towards Xue Linglong. Xue Linglong naturally wouldn't sit still, following the direction of the water flow under her feet. After a light and agile step, Water Wave Pursuit Making the Battle Bear Master's attack directly fail. After dodging the Battle Bear Master's attack, knowing that she couldn't engage in close combat with the Battle Bear Master, Xue Linglong quickly moved along the water flow under her feet to increase her speed. Once again, she distanced herself from the Battle Bear Master. Seeing Xue Linglong trying to escape, the Battle Bear Master naturally launched another pursuit. But due to the speed boost provided by Water Wave Pursuit under Xue Linglong's feet, and the continuous consumption of high temperature bubbles and flowing water combo during the chase. The speed of the Battle Bear Master has always been a step slower than Xue Linglong. Although these attacks were all resolved one by one by the Battle Bear Master using True Chi Fist and Flowing Water Palm, at this rate, the Battle Bear Master's chances of winning may be getting smaller. At this moment, in the red area where the Daybreak Academy is located, it seems that the balance of victory in this match is gradually tilting towards Xie Yufei. I never expected that she would be the one I would meet in the finals. Qin Su looked at the scene where Xue Linglong was continuously consuming the Battle Bear Master. She had already started studying her opponent for the finals. I don't think this match is going to be that simple. The Vice Dean Sun, after observing the situation on the field for a while, expressed a different opinion. Oh? Teacher, do you have any discoveries? Upon hearing what Vice Dean Sun said, Qin Su quickly asked. Although I haven't found anything yet, 
Do you think the seeded player from the Luo Yu Academy would be easily defeated like this? Vice Dean Sun suddenly asked Qin Su a question. In that case, there do seem to be many unusual aspects. After hearing Vice Dean Sun's question, Qin Su, after carefully observing the situation on the field for a while, appeared thoughtful. In the blue area where the Luo Yu Academy is located. Do you think that at this rate, Bai Luo will lose? What nonsense are you talking about? The true strength of Bailuo's beast taming has not been fully demonstrated yet. The current situation is only temporary. Wait a while, and you will see its power. I see, that's great then. The people from the Luo Yu Academy watched the situation on the field, not believing that Bailuo would lose. In the leadership seat. Shia Rushu, your niece's strategy is not bad. Maybe she can really defeat our Bailuo. Even Luofei looked at Shia Rushu with a smile. You seem so confident. Do you think I can't see through the changes in Bailuo's beast taming? Shia Rushu turned to look at Luofei. It seems I can't hide it from you. When Luofei heard what Shia Rushu said, she smiled triumphantly. In the purple area where the Meteor Academy is located. Although the current situation on the field is temporarily favorable for Shia Yufei. But if Shui Linglong cannot determine the outcome in a short time, as time passes, it will become increasingly difficult to achieve victory in the battle. Xu Chen, watching the situation on the field, recalled the information he had seen about the battle bear master before, and analyzed it in his mind. On the battlefield. Watching Xue Linglong continuously using her speed advantage to consume the battle bear master through skills. Seeing her plan being perfectly executed. Xie Yufei also had a satisfied smile on her face. As long as they continued at this pace, the outcome of this match was almost predictable. When Xie Yufei saw the expression on Bai Luo's face across from her. A sense of unease arose in her heart. She saw Bai Luo looking at the battle bear master being continuously consumed by Shui Linglong on the battlefield. There was not a hint of panic on his face. There was even a hint of a smile in his eyes. This immediately made Xie Yufei focus and carefully observe the situation on the field. She wanted to figure out what Bai Luo was relying on with his confident appearance. Gradually. After carefully observing the battle bear master for a while, Xie Yufei suddenly discovered. The battle bear master's speed had increased. At the beginning, the battle bear master's speed was always a step slower than Xue Linglong. This was the fundamental reason why Xue Linglong could consume the battle bear master without injury. But through her recent observations, Xie Yufei discovered that the battle bear master's speed was gradually increasing. The speed difference between the two had now become about half a step. Compared to the beginning of the battle, the master could now almost reach Xue Linglong's body. But just now, Xie Yufei discovered that the battle bear master had almost attacked Xue Linglong several times. If this continues, it is estimated that the battle bear master's speed will truly reach the same level as Xue Linglong. By then, Xue Linglong's current speed advantage will be gone. At the same time, they will also enter into the close combat that the opponent's beast master is best at. At that time, it may be too late to turn the tide. Therefore, it is necessary to take advantage of the current situation where Xue Linglong still has the speed advantage. Quickly defeat the opponent in order to win the match. I can only take a gamble now. Xie Yufei made a decision in her heart. She then had Xue Linglong stop consuming energy and come to her side. Seeing Xue Linglong stop consuming energy, Bai Luo immediately guessed Xie Yufei's intention. The reason why the battle bear master's speed was getting faster and faster was because of the effect of the continuous use of the skill by Xue Linglong. It could continuously enhance the battle bear master's overall abilities as the battle progressed. On the other side, after knowing Xie Yufei's decision, Xue Linglong began to emit a deep blue light all over her body, evidently pushing her water manipulation ability to the extreme. With each step she took, a deep blue water wave appeared on the ground. Gradually, the moisture in the air in the arena was rapidly gathering around her. Soon, the water around Xue Linglong reached a very abundant level. The next second, a huge circular water column rose from under Xue Linglong's feet, carrying her along as it soared into the sky. After spinning rapidly in the air, Xue Linglong, with this terrifying attack, aimed directly at the battle bear master's position and charged forward. Seeing Xue Linglong approaching with this terrifying attack, the battle bear master knew it was impossible to dodge. Roar. After letting out a roar, the battle bear master widened its eyes, took a step forward, raised both palms high, arched its body, and intended to directly face Xue Linglong's attack. In the blink of an eye, a huge impact resounded in the arena. On the battlefield, the battle bear master continuously defended against Xue Linglong's attack with the water column spinning at high speed. Crack. A strange sound was heard. 
Upon closer inspection, it was the sound of the ground cracking beneath the battle bear master's feet. Following that, as the blue light around Shui Linglong grew stronger, cracking sounds continued to be heard on the ground. At this moment, it was a showdown between Shui Linglong and the battle bear master. Who would gain the upper hand, the attack or the defense? One second. Three seconds. Five seconds. Until ten seconds had passed, the battle bear master was still defending against Shui Linglong's assault. However, the blue light on Shui Linglong's body had gradually dimmed, and her attacks were no longer as sharp. When Xue Yufei saw this scene on the field, she knew she had lost the match. Seeing her battle bear master withstand Xue Linglong's fierce attack and noticing that Xue Linglong was showing signs of exhaustion, Bai Luo knew this was a perfect opportunity. As long as she commanded the battle bear master to use the double rebound skill against Xue Linglong, victory in the match would be assured. The double rebound skill, after successfully blocking the opponent's damage skill, would return double the damage to the opponent. In Xue Linglong's current state, facing twice the damage from her previous move, defeat was inevitable. Thinking of this, Bai Luo was about to order the Battle Bear Master to use the double rebound skill. A voice from Xie Yufei made her words choke back. I give up. Xie Yufei made the decision to surrender after careful consideration. When she saw Battle Bear Master successfully resist the final attack of Xue Linglong, Xie Yufei knew she had lost the battle. At this point, Xue Linglong had already used up her strongest cards. On the other hand, Battle Bear Master clearly still had unrevealed moves. Continuing the battle would not change the outcome but would likely cause serious harm to Xue Linglong. In this battle, Xue Linglong had already exerted all her efforts. As Xue Linglong's master, Xue Yufei naturally couldn't bear to let Xue Linglong suffer unpredictable harm from Battle Bear Master. So when Xue Yufei saw Bai Luo intending to order Battle Bear Master to harm Xue Linglong, she directly interrupted Bai Luo's next move. After hearing Xue Yufei's surrender, Bai Luo had to cancel the release of the double rebound skill by Battle Bear Master and retreated to her side. On the other side, Xue Linglong also withdrew to Xue Yufei's side. After all, according to the rules of the competition, once one side surrenders, no further attacks can be made. HMPH Tilder, seeing the outcome decided, Bai Luo recalled Battle Bear Master to the beast space. Then she made a disdainful sound towards Xie Yufei and left the battlefield. Xie Yufei carefully checked Xue Linglong's condition and found that she was only exhausted from using her talent to the fullest, without suffering any major injuries in the battle, which relieved her. After recalling Xue Linglong to the beast space, Xie Yufei also left the battlefield. In the red area where the Daybreak Academy is located. The seed player of the Luo Yu Academy is indeed not as simple as you said. The state of that beast actually improved with continuous battles. However, through Xie Yufei's battle, we also have a clear understanding of the approximate strength of Bai Luo's beast, which will give me some preparation when I encounter her again. After watching the battle between Xie Yufei and Bai Luo, Qin Su found a lot of useful information for his future battles. Since their battle is over, it's time for your match with Xu Chen. Are you confident? Vice Dean Sun looked at Qin Su and asked in a deep voice. I am confident, especially after what Fang Nan told me. I have been wanting to spar with Xu Chen ever since then to see if his strength is as powerful as Fang Nan said. Qin Su looked expectantly at Xu Chen in the Daybreak Academy area. Since Xu Chen can overpower Fang Nan and Xie Yufei to become the seed player of the Daybreak Academy, his strength must be formidable. Be careful during the upcoming battle, understand? Seeing Qin Su's eagerness, Vice Dean Sun couldn't help but remind him. Got it, teacher. Qin Su nodded and then stood up to walk towards the battlefield. In the blue area where the Luo Yu Academy is located. We won. Luo Yu Academy won. I told you, once the true power of Bai Luo's beast is revealed, winning the match is just a matter of time. As long as Bai Luo wins one more match, our Luo Yu Academy will be the champion of this year. The freshmen of Luo Yu Academy cheered and rejoiced upon seeing Bai Luo's victory. In the purple area where the Daybreak Academy is located. I'm sorry, everyone, I lost this match. Xi Yufei stood in her place with a self-blaming look. It's not your fault, on the contrary, your performance was excellent. We all saw it. Chen Xu stepped forward to comfort immediately. Indeed, what teacher Chen said is correct. In a situation where the rankings are behind, it's already quite good that you, Yu Fei, can battle to this extent against the opponent. There's no need to blame yourself. Seeing that Yu Fei was still feeling down even after Chen Xu's comforting, as a teammate and good friend, Fang Nan had to continue with a comforting remark. Upon hearing Fang Nan's words, Yufei realized that no one was blaming her, and she slowly sat down. Xu Chen, it's your turn next. 
How confident are you in defeating Qin Su from the Daybreak Academy? After seeing that Yu Fei's issue had been resolved, Chen Xu turned to Xu Chen sitting beside him and asked. I also watched his match with Fang Nan. If that was his full strength, I can only say it's not a big problem, Xu Chen thought. Since Qin Su had always wanted to see his strength, Xu Chen decided to reveal a bit of it. It just so happened that he hadn't used his abilities since the evolution of the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. That's good. With your words, I can rest assured, Chen Xu nodded in satisfaction after hearing Xu Chen's response. Seeing that the battle had ended, their host, Ar Hua, took the microphone and walked to the center of the arena to announce the results of the match. Through the intense match just now, the first to secure a spot in the finals is by Luo from the Lunar Academy. Let's congratulate him with warm applause. After a round of applause in the venue, Ar Hua continued, the next battle will be between the seeded player Qin Su from the Daybreak Academy and the seeded player Xu Chen from the Meteor Academy. The battle between these two seeded players is bound to be intense. And in the end, who among them will successfully advance to the finals with Bai Luo? Let's wait and see. Ar Hua announced loudly to the audience with their microphone in hand. Upon hearing the news to prepare for the upcoming match, Xu Chen stood up and walked towards the battlefield. Soon, Xu Chen and Qin Su met on the battlefield. Seeing that both sides were ready for battle, Qin Su summoned his blaze monkey to his side. Since Qin Su had summoned his beast, it was time for Xu Chen to introduce his, the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. After silently saying a word in his heart, Xu Chen summoned his beast onto the battlefield. As Xu Chen summoned the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse onto the battlefield, the onlookers in the venue were shocked and puzzled by the unfamiliar beast. In the blue area where the Lunar Academy was located, what's going on? Wasn't his beast supposed to be a copper armor zombie according to the information? But the beast he summoned now looks nothing like a copper armor zombie. When Bai Luo saw the appearance of the beast next to Xu Chen, he stood up in surprise from his seat. In the purple area where the Meteor Academy was located, could this be Xu Chen's crimson armor copper corpse? Why does it look different again? I remember his beast had already changed once due to atavism during the exchange match. Could this change be due to reaching the gold level? But I haven't heard of such a thing before. What do you think is going on? Chen Xu, also puzzled by the transformation of the unfamiliar crescent moon silver corpse, asked the students around him. We're not too sure either, after a glance between Yufei, Fang Nan, and Tang Mingho, they shook their heads in unison. Teacher Chen, I think the appearance of Xu Chen's transformation is not that important. What's important is that the unfamiliar beast on the field will definitely be much stronger than before the change. Just think back to the comparison of Xu Chen's beast strength before and after the exchange match. Tang Mingho pointed out a different perspective to Chen Xu. You're right, we don't actually need to know the reason for the change, just knowing that Xu Chen's strength has increased is enough. As for the reason, if Xu Chen voluntarily tells us, we'll listen, but if he doesn't want to tell us, we shouldn't ask, after all, everyone has their own secrets. Chen Xu fully agreed with Tang Mingho's words at this moment. Understood, Teacher Chen. Xu Yufei, Fang Nan, Tang Mingho, and others quickly responded. And knowing that Xu Chen's strength had increased, Fang Nan looked at Qin Su's figure in the field, his eyes revealing a hint of pity. On the battlefield, Qin Su looked at the remnant moon silver corpse next to Xu Chen. He seemed somewhat surprised. Although there were some discrepancies between the appearance of the remnant moon silver corpse and the information. But after a moment of daze, Qin Su quickly reacted. Blazing Fire Monkey! Go defeat it! Qin Su immediately ordered the Blazing Fire Monkey to attack the remnant moon silver corpse. The Blazing Fire Monkey understood instantly. The next moment, it used its familiar third skill. Taking fiery steps, it charged towards the remnant moon silver corpse. Daring to use Fang Nan's tactics against my remnant moon silver corpse, I don't know if I should say you're confident, or... Since that's the case, let the remnant moon silver corpse play with you. Xu Chen said something to the remnant moon silver corpse beside him as he watched the blazing fire monkey charging towards them. The remnant moon silver corpse nodded slightly and then also rushed out. Soon, the two mythical beasts met for the first time. Seeing the remnant moon silver corpse by its side, the blazing fire monkey raised its arm high and heavily smashed its burning fist towards it. But the remnant moon silver corpse took a light step back, easily avoiding the attack. Seeing that its attack missed, the blazing fire monkey immediately spewed out a blaze from its mouth, then swiftly launched it in a fan shape towards the remnant moon silver corpse. Faced with the blazing fire monkey's flame attack, the remnant moon silver corpse calmly leaned back. Then, relying on the powerful core strength provided by its waist and legs, it forcibly positioned its upper body horizontally with the ground, once again evading the blazing fire monkey's attack. 
Seeing that the Remnant Moon Silver Corp seemed to be in a disadvantageous position, the Blazing Fire Monkey's eyes narrowed, seizing this opportunity. It delivered a fierce side kick towards the Remnant Moon Silver Corp's legs, seemingly aiming to disrupt its balance and prepare for a series of subsequent attacks. However, the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse would not reveal such a glaring vulnerability to the enemy. Supporting its body balance with its legs, it pushed back. As the Blazing Fire Monkey's side kick missed, its body returned to a standing position. Next, the Blazing Fire Monkey continued to launch a rapid and fierce attack on the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse. But all of them were dodged by the agile steps of the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse, not a single one touching its fur. Chinsu saw that the Blazing Fire Monkey was being led around by the nose by the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse. And since the Blazing Fire Monkey had been in an attacking state all along, its energy consumption must be greater than that of the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse. If this continued, it would eventually be worn down and defeated. Then an idea came to him. Xu Chen, if this is what Fang Nan said about your strength, then I can only say that Fang Nan's judgment has deteriorated a lot since he went to the meteorite star. Qin Su used provocation against Xu Chen. This Qin Su indeed had a way with words, using just one sentence to belittle Xu Chen, Fang Nan, and the Meteorite Academy all at once. After hearing Qin Su's words, Xu Chen naturally saw through Qin Su's intentions. He wanted the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse to abandon its speed advantage and engage in a direct collision with the still energetic Blazing Fire Monkey. Otherwise, as the energy continued to deplete, the Blazing Fire Monkey's chances of winning would only diminish. It seems that the way the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse is handling this situation is putting a lot of pressure on Qin Su. Since Qin Su has always wanted to see my strength, now is about time to end this game. After contemplating, Xu Chen snapped his fingers towards the Silver Corpse of the Waning Moon. Hearing the snap, the Silver Corpse of the Waning Moon also understood that it was time to end the game. After easily dodging an attack from the Blaze Monkey, DA DA DA, the sound of footsteps echoed in the battlefield. The silver corpse of the waning moon was seen stepping in a few peculiar ways, giving off a feeling similar to a dance. Although the blaze monkey did not know the purpose of these actions by the silver corpse of the waning moon, its intuition told it that it must interrupt this movement. The blaze monkey instantly used flame jet again, intending to disrupt the steps of the silver corpse of the waning moon with its attack. But just as the flame jet was about to hit, the silver corpse of the waning moon took a step and disappeared directly from the blaze monkey's sight. The Blaze Monkey, seeing its opponent disappear, quickly scanned the surroundings to find the silver corpse of the waning moon. Not in front, not on the left, not on the right, not above, then only. The Blaze Monkey instantly turned around to look behind. Surprisingly, it was not there either. This left the Blaze Monkey stunned in place, completely unsure of what to do next. Behind. With Chin Su's shout, when the Blaze Monkey turned around again to look behind, a giant palm instantly struck. Bang. A loud noise. Following that, the blaze monkey's figure was like a kite with a broken string, flipping in the air before landing, already losing its combat ability and falling into a state of unconsciousness. The speed at which this battle ended caught everyone present by surprise. Some spectators in the arena may have bent down to pick something up. When they looked up again, they found that the match had already ended. Only by hearing the people around did they know that the battle was actually resolved in one strike. What happened to the evenly matched fight? Where is the fierce competition? Is this the result? Those spectators who missed the moment of defeat had the same thought in their minds. In the red area where the Day of the Week Academy is located, Qin Su actually lost like this. Weistin Sun couldn't believe what he saw. Qin Su, as his proudest student, couldn't even withstand the first skill of the seated player Meteor, controlling the beast. In the blue area where the Falling Moon Academy is located, although I hoped Xu Chen would win, but this victory came too quickly. To think that one skill could render Qin Su's Blaze Monkey combat ineffective, if it were my Battle Bear Master on the field, it would be difficult to achieve. However, as long as my Battle Bear Master can withstand the damage from that skill, it might not lose. Although Bai Luo saw the high damage from the Silver Corpse of the Waning Moon stepping skill, his Battle Bear Master also had unrevealed cards. In the purple area where the Meteor Academy is located, wow! Xu Chen won so easily. Why does that Qin Su seem so weak? Tang Mingho, after watching Xu Chen defeat Qin Su in one strike, couldn't hide his surprise. Hearing this, Fang Nan's face darkened, immediately looking at Tang Mingho. Probably meaning, then am I weaker for losing to Qin Su? What I mean is that Qin Su looks weak in front of Xu Chen. Tang Mingho still had some self awareness, admitting defeat decisively when facing Fang Nan. Being able to stand out among the 29 participating players and successfully enter the top four is not a sign of weakness. 
The reason you feel this way is simply because his opponent is Xu Chen. Chen Xu, after seeing Xu Chen's performance, couldn't help but admire his strength. Xu Yufei, Fang Nan, and Tang Mingho nodded in agreement after hearing Chen Xu's admiration. Comparing Xu Chen's strength with theirs was already out of the question. If you really want to compare, I guess you can only compare with those senior students. In the leadership seat. Your Meteor Academy has recruited an extraordinary student this time. With his strength. I suppose he has achieved good results in the relic of your Meteor. Can you tell me? Even Luo Fei straightened up at this moment and looked at Xiu Rushua. Others may not know about the relic in the Meteor Academy. But as the dean of the Luo Yu Academy, she naturally knew. The results are not bad, he only passed the 11th level. Xiu Yufei's tone couldn't hide his joy. It's not the 10th level. Even Luo Fei was surprised and somewhat helpless after hearing Xu Chen's results. Luo Fei still knew some general information about that relic. Originally, she thought that if Xu Chen's result was the 10th level, there would still be a chance for Bai Luo to defeat Xu Chen. The fierce beast on the 10th level is only a lower level gold rank, although it is the same level as Bai Luo's beast. But after Bai Luo's battle bear master received a significant boost in his own secret realm, his strength naturally cannot be compared with ordinary lower level gold rank fierce beasts. In fact, there are relics with similar effects in all three major academies. It's just that the most powerful one was taken by the first dean of the meteor. But hearing that Xu Chen passed the 11th level. This undoubtedly indicates that Xu Chen's true strength has reached the level where he can defeat a mid-level gold rank. This made even Luo Fei feel that it would be very difficult for her by Luo to defeat Xu Chen. By the way, I heard that you sent the second-year students of your academy to the front line early, how is the situation? Luo Fei changed the topic and remembered some news she had seen before. There are good and bad news. The good news is that those students, after fighting with the frontline fierce beasts, not only improved their beast controlling skills, but more importantly, their combat awareness has matured. The bad news, of course, is. When Luo Fei mentioned this topic, Xia Rushua thought of something and immediately suppressed her previous joy. My condolences. Luo Fei naturally knew what bad news Xia Rushua didn't say. Sacrifices are inevitable in the battles with fierce beasts on the front line. To be honest, Luo Fei admires Xia Rushua for this. After all, wanting to implement reforms first requires withstanding the news from the imperial capital and bearing a series of consequences brought about by the reforms. At the same time, Luo Fei understood that Xia Rushua's background must be extraordinary, otherwise it would not be possible for the imperial capital to agree to her plan. This is also something that Luo Fei doesn't understand. With such a powerful background, why did she come to be the dean of the Meteor Academy? So what are your plans next? Luo Fei continued to ask. Since I have chosen this path of reform, I naturally cannot give up halfway. Moreover, the situation this time will be even more different. After saying this, Xia Rushua's eyes looked towards Xu Chen on the field. Luo Fei followed her gaze. When she saw that Xia Rushua was actually looking at Xu Chen. You're not thinking of sending Xu Chen to the front line too, are you? Luo Fei suddenly felt that this idea was simply too crazy. With Xu Chen's talent, he doesn't need to wait until graduation year. He may have the strength of a preliminary platinum rank around the second year. It wouldn't be too late for him to go to the front line at that time. But if Xu Chen is sent to the front line for training now. Since the situation on the front line is constantly changing. No one knows what might happen next. If Xu Chen has an accident on the front line. The loss to the Meteor Academy would be too great. But when Luo Fei saw Xia Rushua's determined eyes, she didn't say anything more. At this moment. On the battlefield. Xu Chen saw that the Blaze Monkey had lost its fighting ability. He also retrieved the silver corpse of the waning moon back into the beast's space. At this moment, Qin Su was still in a daze, apparently unable to accept the fact that his beast had been defeated in one blow. Xu Chen had to gesture to their host, Ar Hua, to come over and announce the results of the match. After receiving Xu Chen's signal, Ar Hua also recovered from his shock. He picked up the microphone and quickly walked to the center of the arena to announce the results of the match. Through the intense match just now, the winner of the last spot in the finals is Xu Chen from the Meteor Academy. Let's give him a warm round of applause. As Ah Hu announced the results of the match, Qin Su slowly came back to his senses. He reluctantly accepted everything that had happened before him. However, his gaze towards Xu Chen was somewhat complicated. Qin Su also recalled the words Fang Nan had said to him. Is Xu Chen strong? When you meet him, you will know, and you will have a new understanding of strength. Now that he had encountered him, he understood the meaning behind those words. 
He had initially thought that Fang Nan Menchu Chen's strength might be slightly higher than his own. But now? When he saw his proud blaze monkey fall in defeat in front of Xu Chen's unfamiliar beast with just one blow, Qin Su truly understood. It turned out that what Fang Nan meant by strength was that Xu Chen's power was no longer on the same level as theirs, but had reached a level where he needed to be compared to those senior students. Reflecting on the entire process of his blaze monkey battling Xu Chen's unfamiliar beast, he realized that from the beginning of the match, Xu Chen had been holding back. He had not even used his true strength. Yet, he had already put the blaze monkey in a considerable predicament. And there he was, foolishly trying to provoke Xu Chen, wanting his beast and the blaze monkey to engage in a direct confrontation. They did clash, and the result was evident. His beast couldn't even withstand a single blow from the opponent. Thinking about this, Qin Su couldn't help but curse himself inwardly. After retrieving the unconscious blaze monkey back into the beast's space, he left the arena. He didn't want to stay a moment longer in this heartbreaking place. When he returned to the location of the Daybreak Academy, Qin Su thought of his teacher, Vice Dean Sunday. He felt that his performance just now was truly disappointing compared to his teachings. So, he kept his head down as he returned to his seat, not daring to look into Vice Dean Sun's eyes, afraid of seeing deep disappointment in them. Just as Qin Su prepared himself mentally to be scolded by Vice Dean Sun, after a long while, he heard no reprimand. When he finally raised his head, he met Vice Dean Sun's gaze. However, contrary to what Qin Su had anticipated, there was no trace of disappointment in his eyes. Teacher, I, Qin Su was about to ask but was stopped by Vice Dean Sun's gaze. You want to ask me why I'm not blaming you, right? Actually, the reason for this defeat cannot be entirely blamed on you. If we must blame someone, it can only be said that the strength of that meteor Xu Chen is too strong. His strength has indeed surpassed that of many his age. Compared to him, I think the strength of those geniuses in the imperial capital is just average. Do you understand? Vice Dean Sun looked at Qin Su. For others of the same age to have a genius like Xu Chen among them undoubtedly posed immense pressure. I understand, teacher. Qin Su also understood the lesson Vice Dean Sun wanted him to grasp and nodded heavily. He then looked towards Bai Luo in the White Moon area. Now, it was up to her performance. Since Qin Su had already left. At this moment, only Xu Chen remained on the battlefield. Ar Huer quickly approached Xu Chen and said, Xu Chen, the semi-finals have ended, and the final will begin in two hours. You can take this time to rest yourself and your spirit beast to prepare for the next match. Upon hearing Ah Hua's words, Xu Chen asked, If I say I don't need to rest, can we start the final immediately? Ah Hua was surprised by Xu Chen's response and said, So you mean you don't need to rest and want the final to start right away, is that correct? Xu Chen thought it was unnecessary to rest for two hours since the battle with Kan Yu Yinsha did not consume much energy. Ah Hua then went to consult Bai Luo, who agreed to start the final immediately. The crowd in the arena groaned upon hearing they would have to wait another two hours. However, since both Xu Chen and Bai Luo were willing to proceed, Ah Hua announced the start of the final match. The audience erupted into cheers. Xu Chen and Bai Luo summoned their spirit beasts to their sides on the battlefield. Bai Luo observed Kan Yu Yinsha closely and recognized its power. She knew defeating Qin Su's blaze monkey with one strike was impressive, but it wouldn't be easy to use the same move against her battle bear master. After assessing the situation, Bai Luo signaled the battle bear master to charge at Kan Yu Yinsha. The two spirit beasts prepared for their first clash as the battle was about to begin. Meeting is a flowing hand-to-hand -hand combat. The eyes of the residual moon silver corpse narrowed. Both used a hand knife to counter each other. Bang! The two hand blades cancelled each other out. The pupil of the battle bear shrank. Unexpectedly, his flowing hand blade actually cancelled out the enemy's hand blade. But there was no time to think about the current situation. Following that, the arm leaned back and then exerted a powerful chi punch towards the residual moon silver corpse. The next second. The residual moon silver corpse adopted the same posture, leaned back its arm, and delivered a straight punch. The battle bear master was surprised that the opponent dared to clash with his chi punch. However, when the chi punch and straight punch truly collided, the battle bear master felt a huge force coming from the residual moon silver corpse's fist. Unable to match the strength. After subconsciously considering this, the battle bear master tried to withdraw his fist, but the force was on his fist, making it difficult to retreat. The battle bear master had to shift his weight backward in an attempt to deflect the force from the residual moon silver corpse. However, as he did so, the immense force almost caused the battle bear master to lose his balance, and he had to retreat six or seven steps before stabilizing himself. The situation of this wave of confrontation seemed long, but it actually happened in an instant. 
In Bai Luo's eyes, he saw that the Battle Bear Master's Chi Punch was actually no match for the opponent's straight punch. The Battle Bear Master was pushed back six or seven steps. Damn it. I didn't expect Xu Chen's beast skill to be so powerful. At this rate, it might be difficult for the Battle Bear Master to withstand that strange skill. After seeing the result of this wave of confrontation, Bai Luo couldn't help but worry about what would happen next. Under the disadvantage, the Battle Bear Master couldn't help but feel a surge of anger in his heart. He immediately rushed to the side of the residual moon silver corpse in a fit of anger, unleashing all his skills in a nearly frantic attack. However, the residual moon silver corpse calmly defended against all the attacks. The chosen method was always to use the same moves as the Battle Bear Master. As the battle continued, the Battle Bear Master's state skill, Water Flowing Combo, quickly elevated the Battle Bear Master's all around attributes to a new height. Bang! Crack! Thud! For a moment. In the entire arena, only the intense sounds of the battle could be heard. At the Meteor Academy. This by Luo's beast is so powerful. It can actually fight Xu Chen's beast to this extent. Tang Mingho watched the Battle Bear Master's frenzied performance on the field, subconsciously opening his mouth in surprise. It turns out that when she fought me, she didn't use all her strength. Now I don't feel unjustified in losing. Xu Yufei observed the battle on the field and discovered some facts. However, Xu Chen's beast can actually use the same moves to withstand all of Bai Luo's beast's attacks. I really don't know how strong Xu Chen's strength has reached. Fang Nan couldn't help but sigh. However, Xu Chen's beast has been on the defensive all along and has not actively launched an attack. I estimate that when it does, the battle will be decided. Chen Xu analyzed as he watched the field. Just as Chen Xu finished his analysis. Bang! After the residual moon silver corpse struck the battle bear master with a straight punch. It seems that the residual moon silver corpse has finished warming up. Xu Chen smiled slightly after seeing the movements of the residual moon silver corpse. All the battles between him and the battle bear master were just warm-ups for the residual moon silver corpse. After all, when fighting the blaze monkey, the residual moon silver corpse didn't expect the enemy to not even withstand a single blow. If he had known, he wouldn't have dodged the blaze monkey's attacks, as they wouldn't have caused any harm to him anyway. As a result, his excitement was short-lived, and it ended before it even began. After returning to the beast space, he realized that he might have been too heavy-handed. So this time in the battle with the bear master. The remnant moon silver corpse learned from the last lesson. After using a straight punch, seeing that the bear master couldn't resist half of his own strength. He quickly retracted some of his strength in the following close combat. This time he persisted until the warm-up was completed. Since it has been so long, the warm-up of the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse is also completed. Continuing on doesn't make much sense. Darda. A familiar footstep sound rang out at this moment. The Remnant Moon Silver Corpse stepped on a few unique steps again. By Luo and the Bear Master who saw this movement. Their eyes narrowed at the same time. Here it comes. By Luo thought to himself. The Bear Master also knew this. Tightening all the muscles in his body, he planned to defend against that move with all his might. As long as he takes it, he can win by using double rebound. The next second. The remnant moon silver corpse disappeared from the bear master's field of vision. But the bear master was not flustered at all. Because of the example of the battle with Qin Su. The bear master knew that the remnant moon silver corpse would definitely attack from behind. Hu tilde a slight sound of wind came from behind. The bear master, hearing the sound of the figure, instantly turned around crossed his hands. Then. Bang. Crack. Two loud noises rang out. The first was the sound of the bear master's arms colliding with the remnant moon silver corpse's palm. The second was the sound of the bear master's feet cracking the ground underneath. Seeing that this enemy could withstand the force that the inferno monkey couldn't resist, the remnant moon silver corpse was delighted. Subconsciously increased the force in his hands. With the increase in force in the hands of the remnant moon silver corpse, the bear master was visibly shrinking in the eyes of everyone. Upon closer inspection, it turned out that the bear master's feet had already partially sunk into the ground. Seeing this, the remnant moon silver corpse also stopped increasing the force in his hands. However, seeing that the bear master successfully resisted the remnant moon silver corpse's skill, Bai Luo breathed a long sigh of relief in his heart. Bear master, quickly. Afterwards, he shouted loudly at the bear master. The bear master glared at the enemy in front of him. He was about to launch the double rebound skill, sounding the horn of counterattack. But he found that he couldn't activate the skill. 
This discovery made the bear master somewhat flustered. Seeing the bear master hesitating to use the double rebound skill. Bear master. Hurry. The bear master had to try to use the skill again. But still couldn't use it. He could only helplessly shake his head at Bailuo. Seeing this, Bailuo was also at a loss. How come he couldn't use it, what's going on? After some contemplation. Could it be? Bailuo suddenly thought of an unbelievable possibility. To make the double rebound ineffective, there is only one possibility. Then he widened his eyes, looked shocked at Xu Chen beside him. Xu Chen, seeing that Bai Luo had also figured it out, calmly said, you guessed it right. The Remnant Moon Silver Corpse has been relying solely on physical strength from start to finish. It's really. When Bai Luo heard it from Xu Chen, confirming his guess. Even though he vaguely guessed the reason. He still felt a great shock to his body and mind. After all, to make the Bear Master's double rebound ineffective. It must rely solely on one's physical strength to fight the Bear Master. This once made by Luo feel like it was simply impossible. Now it actually happened right before his eyes. Xu Chen's beast actually relied solely on physical strength, completely suppressing the Bear Master in the battle. This shocking fact made by Luo somewhat absent minded. He then lowered his head, lost in thought. Just as he was lost in thought. On the battlefield, the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse saw that this match had already been fulfilled, and it was time to end it. He raised his other hand. Using half of his own strength, he pressed towards the Battle Bear Master again. Watching the other giant palm attacking. With his legs already deep in the mud, there was no way to dodge. The Battle Bear Master had to reach out to continue blocking. But because the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse had only used half of its strength this time. So. Bang. After this attack. The height of the mud directly reached the position of the Battle Bear Master's knees. The Crescent Moon Silver Corpse's attack continued. Bang. The second time, the mud sank into the thighs. Bang. The third time, it had reached the waist. When the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse was about to launch the fourth palm, it found that the Battle Bear Master at this moment, although still crossing his hands in a defensive posture, had already lost consciousness and fallen into a coma. Seeing this, the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse, after retracting the fourth attack, returned to Xu Chen's side. At this moment, Bai Luo seemed to have figured something out. After looking up, he began to seriously look at Xu Chen in front of him. After a long time, it seemed that Xu Chen's appearance had been deeply engraved in his mind. He then retrieved the Battle Bear Master back into the beast space and silently left the battlefield. He did not say a word throughout. Watching Bai Luo's unusual behavior, Xu Chen couldn't help but touch his own face. Did he have something dirty on his face? As Bai Luo left, Ah Hua quickly came to Xu Chen's side. Holding a microphone, he excitedly announced the result of the match to the audience in the venue. After the intense competition in the final round, the champion of this competition has emerged. He is from the Meteorite Academy, Xu Su. Let's cheer for the birth of the champion. With this announcement, purple fireworks began to fall from above the venue, as if a purple rain had started. The entire venue was then filled with cheers. In the Solar Academy area. As I expected, Bai Luo is not a match for Xu Chen. The champion of this competition is ultimately won by the Meteorite Academy. Vice Dean Sun listened to the cheers from the audience around him and couldn't help but sigh. Perhaps Fang Nan's choice. Qin Su, on the side, looked at Xu Chen in the sea of purple and silently said in his heart. In the Meteorite Academy area. We won the championship. Har har. Our Meteorite Academy is the champion. Xu Chen is awesome. Tang Mingho danced with excitement. Yes. Our Meteorite Academy is the champion of this competition. Xiu Yufei and Fang Nan looked at Xu Chen in the field and couldn't help but sigh. If it weren't for Xu Chen in this competition, the championship would not have fallen into the hands of their Meteorite Academy. In the leadership area. Congratulations, President Xia. Your Meteorite Academy has won the championship of this freshman competition. Even Luo Fei and Fang Qing looked at the situation in the venue and turned to congratulate Xia Ru Xue. Thank you. I will trouble both of you to come on stage with me for the award ceremony later. Xia Rushue's face also showed a satisfied smile. Of course. Luo Fei and Fang Qing nodded repeatedly. Back to the venue. Since the competition has ended, the next is the highly anticipated award ceremony. I won't say much more, let's invite the presidents of our three major academies to present awards to our players. Let's welcome them with warm applause. With the host Ahua's voice falling, the award ceremony began in an orderly manner. Before long, all the players received their rewards from their respective presidents. 
The rewards for this competition were similar to last year's. Starting from the 10th place, there were 5,000 universal points, a batch of medium-sized beast resources, and a chance to enter the treasure trove of Linjiang City to select a diamond-grade offspring of a diamond-level beast. Then the rewards for the top three will increase by 1,000 each time, and every three ranks up in the level of selecting the descendants of the royal beasts will result in a promotion to a lower tier. By the time it reaches the second place, which is by Luosha, it becomes a universal score of 13,000, a batch of large royal beast resources, and the opportunity to select a diamond-level descendant of a royal beast. As for the first place winner Xu Chen, the reward remains the same as last year, with the final item being an opportunity to sign a contract with an extraordinary level royal beast cub. However, there was a small incident that occurred. Xu Chen, upon hearing about his reward, requested to exchange his opportunity to sign a contract with an extraordinary level royal beast cub for an equivalent value of royal beast resources. This surprised some of the people present, as in their eyes, the value of an extraordinary level royal beast cub was incomparable to any royal beast resources. Despite everyone's persuasion, Xu Chen insisted on converting it into equivalent royal beast resources. In the end, the three deans saw Xu Chen's firm attitude and, after a discussion, agreed to his request. As they looked at the abundant royal beast resources in the royal beast space, Xu Chen also showed a satisfied smile. With the end of the award ceremony, the audience in the venue also knew that the competition was coming to a close, so they began to leave one after another. Before leaving, Zhang Wenqing brought the students from his class to meet Xu Chen. The students were very excited to see Xu Chen, and Xu Chen knew the reason why Zhang Wenqing had brought these students to see him. So Xu Chen said some encouraging words to them. After hearing these words, the students were all energized, their faces flushed, and they all said they would study hard when they returned and strive to enter the Meteor Academy like Xu Chen. Seeing this, after exchanging a smile with Xu Chen, Zhang Wenqing left the venue with these excited students. Not long after, the entire venue was left with only people from the Meteor Academy. Just as Xia Rushu was about to return to the Meteor Academy with Xu Chen and the others, Xia, wait a moment. A cute voice suddenly sounded beside them. Then a round spatial gate appeared out of nowhere. Following that, a little boy with a sky-high braid walked out from inside. When the people from the Meteor Academy heard this voice, they all stopped in their tracks. As they looked at the little boy who came out of the spatial gate, just as everyone was surprised by this appearance, Xu Chen saw the expression on Dean Xia's face, first surprised and then quickly turning into a look of joy. He quickly went to the side of the little boy and joyfully said, Senior. Why did you come in person? Senior. When they heard Xia Rushu's address to the little boy, the people around them were surprised and exclaimed in unison. Xu Chen also looked at the little boy with some surprise. Xia Rushu, as the dean of the three major academies in Linjiang City, although rumored to be the strongest in Linjiang City, after Xu Chen's study at the Meteor Academy during this period, he felt that Dean Xia's strength might be very strong, but not to the extent of being the number one in Linjiang City. After all, as one of the twelve main cities of the Federation, Xu Chen would not believe that there were no extraordinary level beastmasters guarding the city. Although this was the case, Dean Xia's strength was at least at the level of a diamond level beastmaster. But now, he was calling this little boy a senior. This made Xu Chen inevitably think of what he had heard before about the rumors regarding extraordinary level royal beasts. It is said that after a royal beast successfully crosses the extraordinary barrier, it will possess intelligence no less than that of humans, and will also have the ability to transform into human form and speak human language. Whether in appearance or speech, extraordinary level royal beasts are basically no different from ordinary people. From the way this little shoter just appeared, and director Xia's attitude, it is at least clear that it is impossible for it to be a transcendent level beast. In that case, this little shoter must be the beast of a certain transcendent level beast tamer in our Linqiang city. Xu Chen silently drew some conclusions in his mind based on some recent events. Since this was Xu Chen's first time seeing a transcendent level beast, he couldn't help but want to check out this information. Although it might be a bit impolite, he couldn't suppress his curiosity. Check the panel. Xu Chen silently said in his mind as he looked at the little shoter in front of him. Name, Starfall Sky Turtle. Current level, Master Superior, Inheritance Object. Bloodline Concentration. Length of Existence. Talent. Skills. Seeing this panel filled with mostly question marks was a first for Xu Chen. I can only see the name and level columns, everything else is invisible. It must be due to the huge gap in strength between me and it. Furthermore, the current level is Master Superior? Shouldn't it be Transcendent Level? Could there be some further subdivisions of levels? I'll check it out more carefully after returning to the academy. Just as Xu Chen was pondering these thoughts. The reason I came here is because I am interested in one of you little guys. 
The Starfall Sky Turtle said as it looked at Xu Chen in the group. Xu Chen also felt its gaze. It came to find me. Could it be? Xu Chen seemed to have figured something out. When following the Starfall Sky Turtle's gaze and seeing Xu Chen's figure. This surprised Xia Rushu a bit, she didn't expect that it was actually here to find Xu Chen. Usually, the Starfall Sky Turtle guards the most important place in Linqiang City. It's very difficult for ordinary people to see it. She herself has some connection with the Starfall Sky Turtle. When she was the dean of the Meteorite Academy not long ago, she had met the Starfall Sky Turtle a few times. But now, this Starfall Sky Turtle actually took the initiative to find Xu Chen, which surprised and puzzled Xia Rushue. Why? The first possibility that came to mind was that Xu Chen had won the championship of this year's Three Academies New Student Grand Competition. But this idea was quickly rejected by Xia Rushue. After all, the Three Academies New Student Grand Competition is not held only once this year. And in the past history, the Starfall Sky Turtle has never appeared because a student won the championship, let alone take the initiative to show up. Since it's not for this reason, then why? What could make the Starfall Sky Turtle take the initiative to come here? Shia Rushua began to recall all the things Xu Chen had experienced from enrolling to now. First in the entrance exam. Obviously not enough. First in the exchange match. Equally not enough. Passing the 11th level of the ruins. Compared to the first two, this seems to be the right answer. But Shia Rushua felt that this answer was also somewhat forced. Since none of these were it. Then. Just as Shia Rushua was pondering deeply. Suddenly, a flash of insight appeared in her mind. The eleventh level. Ruins? Shia Rushua instantly realized something. Passing the eleventh level naturally wouldn't be worth the Starfall Sky Turtle's visit. But if it's passing the twelfth level. Thinking of this. When Shia Rushua held onto this answer and observed the Starfall Sky Turtle's actions again. Everything became clear. But also because she discovered this astonishing answer. Shia Rushua's gaze towards Xu Chen became more complex. Others may not know what passing the twelfth level of the ruins means. But Shia Rushua, as the dean of the Meteorite Academy, clearly understood its importance. It was precisely because of this that she thought about her previous decision to let Xu Chen go to the front lines early. Shia Rushua hesitated at this moment. After all, if Xu Chen really broke through the twelfth floor, it would be related to the person in her family who was like a divine needle in the sea, and she would not be able to intervene afterwards. Speaking of that person in her family, why did she choose to come to Linjiang City? This city, which is in a mid-level position among the 12 main cities of the Federation in terms of comprehensive strength, has a college where she serves as the principal and has some connection with that person. When she was still in the imperial capital, she accidentally saw some information about the three colleges in Linjiang City. She found that the Meteorite Academy has been declining since two years ago, with its performance getting worse each year. It even ranked last in the new student competition among the three colleges last year. That's why she gave up the superior conditions in the imperial capital and came to the Meteorite Academy. After all, this academy was founded by the person in her family who was like a divine needle in the sea. Thinking of this, since you have something to do with Xu Chen, I will take the others back to the Meteorite Academy first, Xia Rushua said to the Starfall Sky Turtle in front of her. After saying this, she led the rest of the people out of the venue. After leaving the venue, the people around Shia Rushua couldn't contain their curiosity and began to ask her about the extraordinary mythical beast that appeared just now. After some speculation, they all realized that the childlike figure was a legendary extraordinary mythical beast. Upon hearing everyone's inquiries, Shia Rushua did not immediately answer but slowly asked the crowd a question, do you know the origin of our meteorite academy? Upon hearing this question, someone said, I know. About a hundred years ago, a huge meteorite fell near Linjiang City. Then our first dean found that the spiritual energy at the location of the meteorite was particularly rich. So he opened an academy there and named it the Meteorite Academy. Tang Mingho was the first to answer loudly. After hearing Tang Mingho's answer, Xia Rushua nodded and looked at the students around her, all of whom were outstanding students worthy of trust at the Meteorite Academy. After thinking for a while, she continued, Tang Mingho's answer is correct, but these are some general statements from the outside world. The truth is that the fallen meteorite was not actually a real meteorite. It was an unhatched monster egg. Upon hearing this, everyone was surprised and widened their eyes. Seeing their shocked expressions, Shia Rushua continued, Our first dean was the first to discover this secret and then found the difference in this monster egg. Then, by using some method, he successfully hatched the monster inside. Of course, the first dean also signed a mythical beast contract with this monster, 
turning it into a mythical beast. Later, it was discovered that this mythical beast could not only change the concentration of spiritual energy around it but also continuously generate mineral resources from the land. So, based on the uniqueness of this mythical beast, the academy was established, and the academy was named the Meteorite Academy after this mythical beast named Starfall Sky Turtle. And I believe you have all seen this Starfall Sky Turtle just now. After listening to Shirushua's story, everyone sighed in amazement. They never expected that the extraordinary mythical beast was the mythical beast of the first dean of their Meteorite Academy. It was truly an indescribable sense of pride. After learning about the origin of the Starfall Sky Turtle, someone asked, since it is the mythical beast of the first dean, why did it come to find Xu Chen this time? People began to feel puzzled about why it came to find Xu Chen. Because. After slowly scanning everyone's eyes, Xia Rushua slowly revealed her own speculation. Xu Chen may have passed through the twelfth level of the ruins. Upon hearing this bombshell information, the crowd was momentarily stunned. When they came to their senses, boom! They suddenly felt a bit breathless. Xu Chen actually. This. It's simply unbelievable, Director Xia. Is this true? Chen Xu, standing beside, exclaimed in astonishment upon hearing Xia Rushua's words. As an elder in the Meteorite Academy, he knew very well that passing through the 11th level and passing through the 12th level were completely different concepts. If passing through the 11th level, one could still find geniuses of the same level in the history of the Meteorite Academy. But if one passed through the 12th level, that would truly be considered the number one talent in the history of the Meteorite Academy. Unmatched by anyone else. I never expected that Xu Chen would still hide things from me, hiding it so well. Har har. Well hidden. After the surprise, Chen Xu couldn't help but smile happily at this news. Actually. Xu Chen. Can the gap between people really be so great? Fang Nan shook his head helplessly and sighed upon hearing this news. I never thought Xu Chen's talent would be so strong to this extent, I'm truly happy for him. As Xia Rushu's niece and a member of the Xia family, Xia Yufei also understood the significance behind passing through the twelfth level. She knew that from now on, Xu Chen's future would become incredibly bright. Inside the venue at that moment, I wonder if the senior has something urgent to find me. Xu Chen looked at the star meteor turtle in front of him. Squeak, squeak, squeak. At this moment, the wealth-attracting rat in Xu Chen's pocket seemed to sense something. Crawling out of the pocket, it came to the feet of the star meteor turtle and made an affectionate sound. The star meteor turtle then picked up the wealth-attracting rat. Did you just give this little guy a perfect bloodline reversion potion to take? Upon hearing the star meteor turtle's words, Xu Chen muttered to himself. Recently, the only thing that could have made an extraordinary level beast king come specifically was his passing through the twelfth level. How did the senior figure it out? Xu Chen asked tentatively. Those bloodline reversion potions were made from my blood essence, what do you think? The star meteor turtle had nothing to hide from Xu Chen. Although he was initially unwilling, someone said that he wanted to give a presentable gift to his future student. After using some special means, the star meteor turtle had to reluctantly agree. I see. Xu Chen nodded in understanding. All right. I came this time because you passed through the twelfth level, do you know the significance behind this? The star meteor turtle looked at Xu Chen. I don't know, could the senior please explain? Upon hearing Xu Chen's question, the star meteor turtle slowly began to speak. There's nothing special about passing through the first eleven levels of the ruins, but the twelfth level is different. Passing through the twelfth level is a test set by the founding dean of the Meteorite Academy. Its purpose is to select a disciple who satisfies him. Unfortunately, since the establishment of the Meteorite Academy, only about a dozen people have barely passed the eleventh level and become named disciples. As for the twelfth level, no one has passed it. But now it's different, you have passed this test, so you understand, right? Upon hearing the star meteor turtle's words, are you saying I will become the disciple of the founding dean? Xu Chen also understood the meaning behind it. That's right. The star meteor turtle affirmed. But the founding dean has been a figure from over a hundred years ago, so now he. Upon hearing Xu Chen's words, har har. Well said. If that old guy hears what his disciple said, I wonder how he would feel. But you don't need to worry about that. Although I often curse him, he still can't die. Upon hearing that the first dean of the meteor academy was still alive, Xu Chen was slightly surprised but quickly realized. Subconsciously, he thought it was the world from his past life. People in this world can live to about a hundred years old due to the nourishment of spiritual energy. Golden level beast tamers can live up to a hundred and fifty years. As for the transcendent level, Xu Chen guessed their lifespan would be even longer. Thinking this way, it made sense that the first dean was still alive. 
Is the first dean's current strength at the transcendent level or? Xuchen continued to inquire with the Starfall Sky Turtle about information regarding his own master. Since in the history of the Meteor Academy, almost all major events had the first dean's contributions behind them. The strength level of this first dean was beyond the transcendent level. Coupled with seeing the Starfall Sky Turtle's level displayed as senior master, Xuchen took this opportunity to understand the division of transcendent level strength. This way, he could anticipate the danger level of his enemies in future battles. Upon hearing Xuchen's question, the Starfall Sky Turtle contemplated for a moment before speaking slowly. The strength is naturally at the transcendent level, but the transcendent level is just a general term, which is further divided into three levels. Xuchen, seeing that the Starfall Sky Turtle was addressing what he truly cared about, listened attentively. The first level is called Grand Master Level. Most beast tamers will stop at this level after crossing the transcendent threshold. And the second level is called Senior Master Level. It is extremely rare for a beast tamer to reach this level, requiring both talent and luck. When the Starfall Sky Turtle mentioned the Senior Master Level, there was a sense of pride in its tone. After hearing these words, Xuchen, while surprised, gained a new understanding of the strength of the Starfall Sky Turtle before him. Xuchen clearly remembered the Starfall Sky Turtle's level, which was not just entering the Senior Master level but the Senior Master level. This made Xuchen curious about the relationship between the Starfall Sky Turtle and the First Dean. After all, with the Starfall Sky Turtle's Senior Master level strength, it must hold a high position in Lynching City, if not the highest, at least among the top few. Yet, such an existence would patiently answer all his questions because he had passed the first dean's test. Senior, you only mentioned the first two levels. What about the third level? Xuchen felt that the reason might be related to the third level. The third level is called king level. The strength of a beast tamer at this level cannot be measured by common sense. Usually, in wars against fierce beasts, they possess absolute deterrence. And the level you just asked about, the first dean, is at the king level. After introducing these situations, the Starfall Sky Turtle seemed to remember something and appeared somewhat lost. Originally, the Starfall Sky Turtle also had the opportunity to advance to the King level. However, due to its poor condition when it fell into the Meteor Academy, it was only through the significant resources spent by the First Dean at that time that it was successfully hatched. But due to its inherent deficiency, it could only reach the Senior Master level and miss the King level. Although the Senior Master level was already impressive in the eyes of many, it was ultimately a world apart from the king level. Upon hearing that the strength of his chief master, the first dean, was at the king level, Xuchen couldn't help but feel a bit amazed at his own luck. When will the first dean probably return? Xuchen asked the Starfall Sky Turtle. Um. He probably won't be back for a while, but in his absence, I will guide you in your training. But I heard that geniuses always have their own ideas, and their growth path is always completely different from ordinary people, so I want to hear your thoughts first. Xingyin Tingue looked at Xu Chen, somewhat curious. When Xu Chen heard Xingyin Tingue say that it would guide his training, he was still a bit uncomfortable. After all, due to the special nature of the system, his growth path would indeed be somewhat different from others. But after hearing the latter part of Xingyin Tingue's words, Xu Chen breathed a sigh of relief. After all, he already had an answer in his heart about where to train next. After these few days of competition, Xu Chen found that his strength seemed to have far surpassed that of his peers. Whether it was against Qin Su or Bai Luo, he didn't feel uncertain about the outcome. The reason he participated in the competition was simply to obtain the resources needed for the promotion of his beast. And for Xu Chen's beast to advance, it was not enough to rely solely on resources, he also needed sufficient growth. After thinking it through, Xu Chen's goal became clear, to find a place that could both enhance his growth and provide resources. Although the previous desert hunting area seemed suitable, the fierce beasts there no longer met Xu Chen's needs. He needed a larger area with stronger beasts to facilitate his growth. The answer was already apparent. The front line. Yes. It's the front line. After careful consideration, Xu Chen realized that the front line was now the most suitable place for him. The main reason that had previously prevented him from going to the front line was that his beast had not reached the gold level. Although the strength of the red armor bronze corpse had reached the gold level at that time, Xu Chen was unable to use the beast transformation skill due to his own level being insufficient. Without the beast transformation skill to enhance his physical strength, there would be no security once he reached the front line. But now, with the evolution of the red armor bronze corpse into the crescent silver corpse, not only had its level reached the gold level, but its strength had greatly exceeded expectations. Coupled with the imminent successful hatching of the second auxiliary gold level beast, Xu Chen now met all the requirements to go to the front line. 
Naturally, he would not miss this opportunity. Thinking about this, Senior, I want to go to the front line. Chu Chen looked seriously at Xing Yintingui and said word by word. Go to the front line? Xing Yintingui, upon hearing Xu Chen's answer, after a slight moment of confusion, also understood. After all, it had witnessed all of Xu Chen's performance in the competition. Naturally, it was impressed by the formidable strength of the Crescent Silver Corps. With its level also reaching the gold level and having the beast transformation skill as a guarantee, it fully met all the requirements to go to the front line. No problem. Since you have made this decision, it must have been carefully considered. In a few days, I will arrange for someone to take you there. However, in these few days, you still need to complete one thing. Xing Yin Tingui readily agreed to Xu Chen's request. What thing? Xu Chen was somewhat puzzled. It's this. Xing Yin Tingui reached into the void beside it and took out a book. What is this? Xu Chen took the book from Xing Yin Tingui's hand. This book can teach you how to communicate with your beast through your thoughts. After a gold level or higher beast tamer undergoes beast transformation, their mental power will also undergo a qualitative change. This allows them to express their thoughts to the beast through their minds and also sense the beast's emotions. Otherwise, when fighting against fierce beasts on the battlefield, there is no time to slowly explain your plans to the beast as in previous competitions. Xing Yin Tingui explained the purpose of the book. Thank you, senior. After hearing it, Xu Chen was not only happy but also expressed gratitude to the star falling sky turtle. No need to be polite, this was all arranged by the first generation dean. The star falling sky turtle handed the books to Xu Chen, then turned to leave after seeing there was nothing else to explain. I still have one thing unclear, I don't know the relationship between the senior and the first generation dean. Xu Chen asked his final question as the star falling sky turtle was about to leave. Don't you already have the answer? What else could it be besides the contract? All right, I'm leaving. After answering Xu Chen's question, the star falling sky turtle's figure disappeared into the spatial gate. As expected. Xu Chen sighed in his heart. Only this kind of relationship could make the star falling sky turtle make those moves as a master. Xu Chen received the books in the beast space. Then he walked out of the venue. But he found Xia Rushu waiting for him alone not far away. Dean Xia, you haven't gone back yet. Xu Chen approached Xia Rushu. No, has senior star falling sky turtle already left? Shia Rushu spoke slowly. Yes, after the senior and I discussed some matters, he left. Xu Chen looked at Shia Rushu. Can you tell me? After hearing Shia Rushu's words, Xu Chen had no need to hide anything, so he told Dean Shia about their conversation just now. You're going to the front lines. Shia Rushu was somewhat surprised to hear Xu Chen's decision. She didn't expect Xu Chen's decision to align with her previous thoughts. She thought that with Xu Chen's change in status, her thoughts might be in vain but she didn't expect. That's right, senior star falling sky turtle has also agreed to this matter. Xu Chen thought Xia Rushu might disagree with his decision. Since the senior agreed and left you with a small task, and you will be going to the front line soon, you should go back and rest early. After learning that Xu Chen was going to the front lines, Xia Rushu also left happily. Seeing this, Xu Chen also set off on his way home. Before long, Xu Chen returned to his small villa. He took out the books from the beast space and summoned the remnant moon silver corpse to his side. Flipping through the books, focus your mind. Feel carefully. Xu Chen followed the methods recorded in the books and contacted the remnant moon silver corpse several times. Before long, Xu Chen felt as if he had established an inexplicable connection with the remnant moon silver corpse. So he sent a message to the remnant moon silver corpse with his mind. The remnant moon silver corpse indeed walked up to him on its own. This made Xu Chen exclaim in relief. He didn't expect to grasp this method in such a short time. It seems I do have some talent after all. Xu Chen praised himself in his heart. After trying a few more times, he put the remnant moon silver corpse back into the beast space. After all, there was an important task to be done next. Xu Chen took out the beast egg he obtained in the ruins before. At the same time, he placed all the beast resources he had obtained in front of him. System, should these resources be enough to raise the beasts inside to the gold level? Xu Chen called out to the system. No problem, do you choose to hatch the beasts inside? The system inquired. Yes. After Xu Chen confirmed, a familiar white light instantly enveloped the beast egg. At the same time, all the beast resources in front of Xu Chen disappeared. Xu Chen looked at the suddenly empty ground. He thought about the time he had spent desperately acquiring resources, all for what? Wasn't it all to let this little guy reach the gold level? Was it easy for him, Xu Chen? 
Now is the time to reap the fruits of my labor. I hope the little guy inside won't disappoint me. Xu Chen looked at the divine beast egg in the pillar of light, silently praying. Hatching in progress. Collecting information on divine beasts in this world. Confirming identity information of the divine beast. Confirmation complete. Collecting all ancestral bloodline roots in this world. Collection complete, a total of six ancestral bloodline roots collected, the optimal evolution route has been selected. Detected issues with the ancestral bloodline target in this world, abandoned. Searching the system database, the optimal ancestral bloodline route has been selected, preparing for ancestral bloodline. Ancestral bloodline target reselection in progress. Ancestral bloodline target for this time, by ZE. Confirmed. Hatching complete. As the pillar of light dissipated, a divine beast that looked like a small lion with a snowy white body appeared. But upon closer inspection, you would find that this small lion actually had two small horns on its head. It also had whiskers similar to a goat's. Xu Chen looked at the divine beast in front of him, recording the contents of the system prompt he had just heard. If he didn't miss here, he heard the name by Zi. By Zi. The reputation of this divine beast was thunderous to Xu Chen. It is said that this divine beast not only knows the names of all monsters in the world but also has the ability to ward off evil and disasters. Xu Chen couldn't help but feel excited by the surprise the system had given him this time. This prompted Xu Chen to check the information of this new divine beast. View panel. Name, Heavenly Gifted Auspicious Lion Current Level, Subgold Inheritance Target, by Z Bloodline Concentration, 40% Growth Length, 0% Talent, Understanding Humanities, Seeking Good Fortune and Avoiding Disaster Skills, Blessing of Strength, Guardian of Rock, Whisper of Wind, Light of Healing, Praise of Life, Auspicious Beast Curse Requirements for Next Evolution Stage, Growth Length 100%, for Crystals of any level of Platinum, 1 Pound of Water of Life. Understanding Humanities, Enables oneself to understand and comprehend all words and languages in the world. Seeking good fortune and avoiding disaster, enables oneself to foresee dangers in advance. Blessing of strength, can enhance one's or other's strength by 15%. Guardian of rock, can enhance one's or other's defense by 15%. Whisper of wind, can enhance one's or other's speed by 15%. Light of healing, can heal injuries of oneself or others. Praise of life, heals injuries of all things within range. Consumption is significant, please use with caution. Auspicious beast curse, leaves a curse mark on enemies who harm oneself, which randomly inflicts negative effects on the enemies. Poisoning, dizziness, burning, etc. Looking at the series of powerful talents and skills of his second divine beast, the heavenly gifted auspicious lion, Chu Chen envisioned the beautiful scene of his crescent silver corpse and heavenly gifted auspicious lion fighting together. Feeling a bit dizzy. Har har har. Chu Chen felt happiness came too suddenly. He couldn't help but let out a joyful laugh. Perhaps hearing Xu Chen's laughter, the little guy, heavenly gifted auspicious lion, slowly turned around and began to crawl towards Xu Chen's position. Seeing this, Xu Chen quickly approached the heavenly gifted auspicious lion. The little guy's size was not large, seemingly just right to be held in his arms. Thinking about it, Xu Chen hugged the heavenly gifted auspicious lion. The heavenly gifted auspicious lion sniffed the scent on Xu Chen's body, then affectionately licked Xu Chen's fingers with its tongue. It seemed to regard Xu Chen as its mother. This made Xu Chen somewhat amused and helpless, and it also reminded him of the days when he used to be a poop scooper. At this moment, the wealth-attracting mouse in Xu Chen's pocket probably sensed the presence of the heavenly gifted auspicious lion. It poked its head out of the pocket, looking at the heavenly gifted auspicious lion with vigilant eyes. At the same time, the heavenly gifted auspicious lion also cast a curious glance at the wealth-attracting mouse. In a moment, the two small creatures stared at each other with big eyes. It wasn't until the auspicious lion reached out a curious paw towards the fortune-attracting mouse that the mouse leaped out of the pocket and ran off into the distance. How could the auspicious lion just watch its toy leave like that? So, after breaking free from Xu Chen's arms, it chased after the fortune-attracting mouse. The mouse fled. The lion pursued. Xu Chen watched the two small creatures playing happily and couldn't help but smile like an old father. Before long, the two small creatures were tired from playing. Xu Chen walked over and put the auspicious lion back into the beast's space, effectively ending the mouse's encirclement. Xu Chen checked the time and realized it was getting late. So he went downstairs to his room, ready to sleep. The exhausted fortune-attracting mouse found its little pillow next to Xu Chen and fell asleep. In the following days, after many practices, Xu Chen was able to communicate proficiently with his two beasts through his mind. 
During this time, when the Star Fall Sky Turtle came to check on Xu Chen's progress and learned that Xu Chen was ready to handle the front line, it informed Xu Chen that arrangements had been made for someone to take him to the front line. Meanwhile, after playing with the auspicious lion a few times, the fortune attracting mouse accepted the fact that it had gained another big brother. Compared to the crescent silver corpse, the fortune attracting mouse seemed to be closer to the auspicious lion. However, there was a discovery in these days that puzzled Xu Chen. Since the exchange competition, Xu Chen seemed to rarely see the senior students. Even during the three colleges' freshman grand competition, Xu Chen noticed that the senior students were not present to watch their matches. He thought they might be busy studying and practicing, so they didn't come. But now that the competition was over, he still hadn't seen the senior students for these days. This made Xu Chen curious, if they weren't at the academy, where could the senior students have gone? Walking on the roads of the Meteorite Academy, Xu Chen was pondering this question when suddenly, a few students ran past him. Feeling something, wait. Where are you rushing to? Xu Chen suddenly stopped the two. The two, when turned around, had some frowns on their faces. But when they saw it was Xu Chen who stopped them, their expressions instantly turned into smiles. As this year's freshmen, although they were not in the same class as Xu Chen, they had watched the previous matches and naturally knew that Xu Chen was the champion of this year's three colleges' freshman grand competition. This elevated the status of the Meteorite Academy to the top choice in the minds of next year's applicants, indirectly improving the quality of the next intake of students. Well, the second-year senior students who were taken for frontline training have returned, and everyone is going to the academy gate to see them. After hearing Xu Chen's words, the two immediately shared the information they knew with Xu Chen. So the senior students went for frontline training. I haven't seen them for a while, so since that's the case, I'll go with you to take a look. After pondering for a moment, Xu Chen decided to go and see as well. Soon, Xu Chen arrived at the academy gate. Many freshmen had gathered there, and when they saw Xu Chen, they immediately made way for him, offering him a prime spot. After thanking everyone, Xu Chen stepped forward and gazed into the distance. Before long, the figures of the second-year senior students began to appear in the distance. However, as the group approached, Xu Chen noticed that the atmosphere was a bit off. Overall, it felt gloomy, and some of the senior students seemed vacant and numb. Feeling the eerie atmosphere, the new students who were preparing to cheer and welcome were a bit unsure of what to do. Xu Chen furrowed his brows slightly. Then he focused on the team. After looking carefully for a while, Xu Chen thought he might know the reason why the atmosphere felt off. It was the number of people that was not right. Taking his own year as an example, Xu Chen guessed that the number of senior students in the second year should also be around 300. But after counting just now, he found that there were only about 270 people in the team. As for the situation of the remaining 30 or so senior students, Xu Chen also had an answer in his heart, silently mourning for those sacrificed senior students. At this moment, the senior students had already arrived by their side. After the new students cast comforting and admiring glances at them, they also made way for the senior students. Knowing that what the senior students needed most at this time was rest, they didn't want to disturb them. Xu Chen looked at the tired backs of the senior students and couldn't help but feel the impermanence of life. During this period, a familiar voice came from not far away. Xu Chen, I didn't expect to see you again. Xu Chen turned around. When he saw the person clearly, oh, it's you? Senior Wang Lishan. The person was Wang Lishan, who had helped Xu Chen not long ago. Compared to the last time he came back to rest, this time he came back with the second year team, but with an additional task on hand. I heard you are planning to go to the front line for training? Wang Lishan looked at Xu Chen. That's right. His task this time coming back was to bring Xu Chen to the front line. Xingyin Tengu entrusted the task of taking Xu Chen to the front line to Xia Rushu. After careful consideration in selecting the candidate, Xia Rushu decided to let Wang Lishan, who had interacted with Xu Chen before, take charge of this matter. From what you're saying, does that mean? Xu Chen remembered what Xingyin Tengui had said before and looked at Wang Lishan with some surprise. You guessed it right, this time I came back specifically to take you to the front line. Wang Lishan smiled. I didn't expect it to be you, Senior, who came to pick me up. Xu Chen had speculated on who would come to pick him up, and Wang Lishan was among them. I thought you would at least have the strength to go to the front line by the time you were in the second year. But I didn't expect that in such a short time, your strength would advance by leaps and bounds, completely breaking my estimation. After I bring you to the front line this time, I must let those guys see the hidden dragon of our Meteorite Academy. When Wang Lishing heard about Xu Chen leading the Meteorite Academy to win the Freshman Competition Championship on the front line, he was also excited for a while. How were those senior students just now? Xu Chen wanted to confirm his guess with Wang Lishing. R. 
It's really unfortunate. We had already successfully repelled a wave of fierce beast attacks at the third defense line. They took the opportunity to fight some of the beasts that were left behind during the retreat, accumulating experience with the real beasts. But what no one expected was that the wave of fierce beasts was actually pretending to retreat, intending to lure us into chasing them. You can probably guess the rest, fortunately we discovered it in time, otherwise the casualties could have been greater. When Wang Lishin talked about this, he seemed somewhat sad. After all, some of those sacrificed junior brothers and sisters had died not far from where he was. One day, we humans will drive all the fierce beasts out of this world. Xu Chen looked at Wang Lishing and said this solemnly. Wang Lishing also nodded solemnly after hearing this. However, just now when you mentioned the third defense line, I was also puzzled by some of the words you used. Upon hearing Xu Chen's question, Wang Lishing organized his thoughts and slowly began to speak to Xu Chen. Do you know about the deserted hunting area outside Lijiang City? After seeing Xu Chen nod, he continued, the so-called third defense line is similar to that, but the level of fierce beasts inside is higher. In general, the so-called front line actually refers to all areas outside Lijiang City. It's just divided into three defense lines for better differentiation and management. Firstly, the first defense line is located at the far end of the area under the jurisdiction of Lijiang City. This defense line is not only the most important, but also the most dangerous. Because the fierce beasts repelled by the first defense line are mostly at the platinum and diamond stages. Although it's unlikely for transcendent level beasts to cross the first defense line during the beast tide, it's difficult to kill all platinum and diamond stage beasts at once. So, we have set up the second defense line behind the first defense line. The second defense line is used to repel these gold, platinum, and diamond stage beasts. Similarly, the third defense line I mentioned earlier is used to repel silver, gold, and platinum stage beasts. Do you understand what I'm saying? Wang Lishing finished speaking and looked at Xu Chen. I roughly understand. But what do you mean by the concept of the area under the jurisdiction of Lijiang City? Xu Chen found a key point in Wang Lishing's explanation. Oh, about that, let me ask you first, do you know the several main cities around Lijiang City? Wang Lishing asked Xu Chen. I know. The two main cities closest to Lijiang City are Baidi City and Fengding City. Xu Chen was quite clear about the names of the 12 main cities of the Federation. That's right, Baidi City and Fengding City. The area under the jurisdiction of Lijiang City divides the distance between Lijiang City and the other two main cities in half. Then, with Lijiang City as the center and this distance as the radius, the area covered is the area under the jurisdiction of Lijiang City. The other main cities also roughly follow this standard, responsible for the situation of fierce beasts in their respective areas. After listening to Wang Lishin's words, Xu Chen suddenly understood. So, senior, what are my plans for the future? After listening to Wang Lishin's explanation, Xu Chen also had some understanding of his upcoming journey to the front line. The third defense line recently repelled a wave of fierce beasts, so there may not be an opportunity for you to gain experience in the short term. How about this, seven days later, you can prepare in advance during this time, and then I will take you to the front line. What do you think? Wang Lishing asked for Xu Chen's opinion. After all, to face the beast tide at the third defense line, one must have at least platinum level strength. Although Xu Chen won the championship of the freshman competition, Wang Lishing estimated that Xu Chen's strength was at most at the level of upper tier gold. It was far from reaching platinum level, which was why he made this suggestion to Xu Chen. No problem. Xu Chen also knew that Wang Lishing might have underestimated his strength. But it didn't matter, as once Wang Lishing brought him to the front line, the next steps would be up to him. That's good. Oh, by the way, there will be a few other people going to the front line with you this time. Suddenly remembering something, Wang Lishing said this to Xu Chen. Oh? Who are they? Xu Chen was curious. Har har. I won't tell you now. You'll find out on that day. They are all people you know. After teasing Xu Chen, Wang Lishing left. Xu Chen shook his head somewhat helplessly upon hearing this and then returned to his own villa. Soon, seven days had passed. During this time, the coordination between the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse and the divinely bestowed auspicious lion became increasingly proficient. Xu Chen was starting to look forward to their specific performance on the front lines. It was bound to surprise many people. There was also some good news, the wealth-attracting rat had also advanced to the gold level. With this, Xu Chen now had three gold-level spirit beasts. Although having the wealth-attracting rat as a spirit beast, in general, there was no difference from a true spirit beast other than the contract. According to the wealth attracting rat, after advancing to the gold level, its talent for treasure hunting had become even stronger. As for the actual effect, 
it would only be known once they reached the front lines. After preparing everything, Chu Chen also arrived at the agreed location with Wang Lishan. Upon arrival, he learned who the people Wang Lishan had mentioned were. Long time no see. Xu Yufei and Fang Nan, standing beside Wang Lishan, greeted Chu Chen. Long time no see. Chu Chen had been busy with training these days and hadn't seen them for about half a month. If you have anything to say, we can talk on the way to the front line. Let's set off now. Wang Lishan said to the three of them. Subsequently, Chu Chen and the others summoned their respective spirit beasts. With Wang Lishan in the lead, the three followed behind, rushing towards the front line. After rushing along this road, Chu Chen and his group gradually saw their vague outline of a city in the distance, which soon became clear before their eyes. Soon, they arrived at the foot of this city. Finally, we have reached the front line. I hope this place will bring me some surprises in the coming period. Chu Chen silently sighed as he looked at the city in front of him. After retracting their spirit beasts into the spirit beast space, Wang Lishan said, Since we have arrived at the destination of this trip, before entering the city, let me talk to you a bit more. Although your main task this time on the front line is to resist the attacks of ferocious beasts and fight them, I must remind you that the ferocious beasts here are very different from those you encountered in the academy. The ferocious beasts here will undoubtedly be more ferocious, with a higher level of danger. Be careful when fighting them. Of course, after you kill the ferocious beasts, you will be rewarded with merit points on the front line. Killing a silver level lower ferocious beast will earn you 1 merit point, 5 merit points for a silver level intermediate, and 20 merit points for a silver level upper. Killing a gold level lower ferocious beast will earn you 100 merit points, 500 merit points for a gold level intermediate, and 2000 merit points for a gold level upper. Killing a platinum level lower ferocious beast will earn you 10,000 merit points, 50,000 merit points for a platinum level intermediate, and 200,000 merit points for a platinum level upper. As for diamond level, let's not talk about it, it's basically impossible to cross the second defense line. So, you need to download a recorder software on your communication wristband later, so that you can easily receive your merit points as soon as possible. Wang Lishing instructed Xu Chen and the others. After Xu Chen and the others nodded, Wang Lishing said, Now follow me into the city. Wang Lishing led Xu Chen and the others into the city. After entering the city, Xu Chen looked at the surrounding buildings and various shops. It was basically similar to the city of Linjiang, with the only difference being that this city underfoot was like a miniature version of Linjiang City. As one of the three major academies, the Meteor Academy had exclusive areas in various cities on the defense line. While enjoying the benefits, there were also corresponding responsibilities. In the battle against the tide of ferocious beasts, it was mainly the students of the three major academies who served as the main force. Soon after, Wang Lishing led Xu Chen and others to the rest area belonging to the Meteorite Academy. At this time, there were already three figures in front of the rest area, as if they had been waiting for a long time. Wang Lishan, I heard that your Meteorite Academy has produced an extraordinary freshman in this year's new student competition. I came specially to see which one of them is Xu Chen. The speaker was a man in the uniform of the Sun Academy, with a stubble beard. He looked at Xu Chen and others next to Wang Lishan with inquiring eyes. Han Dong, what's the matter? Are you envious of our Meteorite Academy? Wang Lishing smiled at the man named Han Dong. Envious of what? I'm just curious. Will you answer me? Han Dong responded to Wang Lishing unkindly. Indeed, we came here specifically to see the style of this new champion. A cold voice came. It was the tall woman in the uniform of the Luo Yu Academy next to Han Dong who spoke slowly. Zhao Yuzhen, you're here too. Wang Lishing was also somewhat surprised when he saw Zhao Yuzhen's figure. Seeing so many seniors from other academies here for him, Chu Chen judged from their tone and attitude when talking to Wang Lishan. Without surprise, they should be strong individuals at the same level as Wang Lishan from the other two academies. Seeing this, I am Xu Chen. Xu Chen took the initiative to step forward and speak. After hearing Xu Chen's words, Han Dong and Zhao Yuzhen instantly cast their gaze on him. Even the last one, wearing the uniform of the Meteorite Academy with some freckles on his face, the senior from the same school who had been silent before, also looked at Xu Chen. You are Xu Chen. Han Dong looked at Xu Chen. Indeed, this is our Meteorite Academy's champion of the new student competition, Xu Chen. And you, Xie Jun Chen. Stop making that sour face when your junior is here. Wang Lishing introduced Xu Chen to the three people in front of him. After hearing Wang Lishing's words, Xu Chen, hello. The somewhat introverted senior said to Xu Chen. Senior Xie, hello. Xu Chen felt that this senior seemed really not good at talking to people. 
Wang Lishan, do you need my help next to take your champion out of the city for some experience? Han Dong looked at Wang Lishan. Get lost. Stop trying to take my task. Wang Lishan retorted to Han Dong. Xu Chen, I will take you out of the city later to familiarize yourself with the fierce beasts here. I believe with your talent, you should adapt quickly. I suppose you have just advanced to the gold level, you probably haven't contracted your second beast yet. When you have accumulated enough merits, you can. While Wang Lishing was talking about what would happen after Xu Chen, um, Senior Wang, I have already contracted my second beast. Xu Chen interrupted Wang Lishing. What? You have already contracted the second beast. What type of beast is it? Does it match the type of your previous red armor bronze corpse? After hearing Xu Chen's words, out of concern, Wang Lishing asked a series of questions. Senior Wang, please slow down, don't rush. Xu Chen spoke to Wang Lishing while summoning the divinely bestowed Rui Lion from the beast space into his arms. Seeing Xu Chen summon a small lion, the senior brothers and sisters on the side, as well as Xie Yufei and Fang Nan, also gathered around. Wow! Such a cute little lion! Zhao Yuzhen was instantly attracted by its cute appearance. Indeed, girls cannot resist the temptation of cute pets. Is this your second beast? It looks good. What type is it? Han Dong also asked his own question. Although Xie Junchen did not speak, he still showed a curious look. My beast is of the healing support type. Although Xu Chen seemed casual when he said this sentence, the people who heard it were very shocked. Your auspicious beast is actually a healing type. The three senior brothers and sisters beside him said in unison. You know, when it comes to all types of auspicious beasts, who is the most precious type? The answer is undoubtedly the healing type. When they saw the Chinsi Rui lion for the first time, they thought it was an attacking type auspicious beast. But they didn't expect that this little guy turned out to be the most precious healing type auspicious beast. After knowing this news, the next moment, they all grabbed Xu Chen's hand at the same time and said to him in a very sincere tone, Join my team, any request you make. Seeing the three senior brothers and sisters holding his hand, Xu Chen looked at Wang Lishing beside him and threw a questioning look. Wang Lishing, seeing the situation, was not confused at all. Snap! 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 Three crisp sounds rang out. It turned out that Wang Lishing used his hand to make the sound of breaking all three hands that grabbed Xu Chen. Han Dong! Zhao Yuzhen! What are you doing? I haven't left yet, and you dare to snatch people in front of us at the Meteor Academy. And you? Xie Junchen! How dare you dig into your own corner? What's the meaning of this? After helping Xu Chen out, Wang Lishing scolded the three of them one by one. Ah, we can't help it, you also know how precious healing type auspicious beasts are. That's why we couldn't resist. Han Dong said helplessly to Wang Lishing. Junior brother Xu Chen, can you show us the healing skills of your auspicious beast? Zhao Yuzhen was curious about this, a lion-like auspicious beast turned out to be a healing type auspicious beast. Xie Junchen also nodded silently on the side. After hearing Zhao Yuzhen's words. Anyway, it's not a big deal. So. Use the light of healing. Xu Chen commanded the Qinsi Rui lion with his mind. After hearing Xu Chen's command, a green light quickly appeared on the two small horns of the Qinsi Rui lion. The three senior brothers and sisters all reached out to touch the small horns of the Qinsi Rui lion in Xu Chen's arms. After feeling the life energy in it, they couldn't help but show envy in their eyes. It really is a healing type auspicious beast, junior brother Xu Chen is really lucky. The three senior brothers and sisters couldn't help but sigh as they looked at Xu Chen. Now that you guys have seen it, and even met a healing type auspicious beast. Does that mean? Wang Lishing thought that he would have to take Xu Chen out of the city for training next, so he secretly issued an order for them to leave. The three of them also understood Wang Lishing's meaning. Our purpose for this trip has also been achieved, and now it will delay junior brother Xu Chen's training outside the city, so we will leave first. After saying this, the three senior brothers and sisters turned and left. Seeing Han Dong and the others leave. The male student from the Solar Academy just now is called Han Dong, unlike me, we are both among the top ten strong in our respective academies. Similarly, the situation of the woman named Zhao Yuzhen is also similar. Basically, in each city within the third defense line, the three major academies will each send a student representative to co-host the task of defending against ferocious beasts. The representatives in this city are me, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen. I have to say, junior brother Xu Chen, you have quite a reputation, you actually made them come to see you voluntarily. Wang Lishing told Xu Chen and the others about the information of the few people just now. What about our academies Xie Junchen? 
Chu Chen noticed that Wang Lishing had not mentioned one person. He is the representative of our academy who led the second year junior brothers and sisters to train in the city before me. It may be because he just defended against a wave of ferocious beasts that he took the time to come see you. After Wang Lishing finished speaking, he arranged for Xu Chen and the others to rest properly. Later on, Xia Yufei and Fang Nan suddenly said they wanted to rest in the room. Wang Lishing heard this and understood. So he took Xu Chen and went past the third line of defense. Ready to carry out Xu Chen's first frontline training. Soon, Wang Lishing brought Xu Chen in front of a group of wolf like fierce beasts. These are the lower level Golden Gale wolves. With your strength, start your training with them first, it's safer this way, Wang Lishing said to Xu Chen. Xu Chen looked at the Golden Gale wolves not far away. When it comes to hunting fierce beasts, the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse is more adept. So while retracting the divinely bestowed auspicious lion into the beast space, he summoned the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse to his side. He pointed at the group of Golden Gale wolves with the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. The Crescent Moon Silver Corpse nodded. Then Xu Chen opened the communication bracelets recorder, the software was already set up in advance. Bang! 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 The Crescent Moon Silver Corpse charged into the pack of Golden Gale Wolves. Like a wolf among sheep. Letting this pack of Golden Gale Wolves also experience what it means to be absolutely crushed by strength. Not long after, the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse returned to Xu Chen's side with a pile of Golden Level Crystals. Wang Lishing on the side was still amazed at how different the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse looked now. When he came back to his senses, the pack of Golden Gale Wolves was gone. This. Looking at the miserable sight of the Golden Gale Wolves in the distance, Wang Lishing was also a bit stunned. He didn't expect the battle to end so quickly. At the same time, he also realized that Xu Chen's strength might far exceed his estimation. So after giving Xu Chen a surprised look, he took Xu Chen and the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse to the next training location. Soon. Wang Lishing keenly felt the formidable strength of the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. At the next location, facing the mid-level Golden Fierce Beasts, the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse effortlessly dealt with the enemies. Until they arrived at the training location of the high-level Golden Fierce Beasts. The speed of the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse returned to normal. This made Wang Lishing breathe a sigh of relief. After all, if the high-level Golden Fierce Beasts couldn't meet Yu Chen's training requirements, they would have to find the Platinum-level Fierce Beasts. But beasts of this level usually only appear during beast tides. But now. The seven-day plan originally set by Wang Lishing and Xu Chen had been completed ahead of schedule. This made Wang Lishing somewhat headache. Forget it, since the old plan is completed, let's go back and make a new one. Seeing the plan was completed, Wang Lishing planned to take Xu Chen back to the defense line. Xu Chen, let's stop here today and return to the defense line first. He said to Xu Chen. Okay, Senior Wang. Xu Chen noticed that Wang Lishing was acting a bit strange just now. So he had the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse retract some of its power. Otherwise, the high-level Golden Fierce Beasts might still not be a match for the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. Thud. 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 Just as Wang Lishing and Xu Chen were about to return. At this moment. There was a huge tremor on the ground. Xu Chen felt the ground under his feet shaking. It was like an earthquake. Just as he was about to ask Wang Lishing, he saw Wang Lishing's expression instantly turn serious. Damn it. The beast tide is coming, quickly return to the defense line. After saying this, Wang Lishing immediately pulled Xu Chen and hurried back. When they returned to the defense line, they found that the people in the city had all started to move. Obviously, they also felt the tremors on the ground. When Wang Lishing brought Xu Chen to the city gate, they saw a black line appearing on the far horizon. Xu Chen strained to look into the distance. Only then did he see the true face of the beast tide. That line was not a black line at all. It was a beast tide made up of various types and levels of fierce beasts. It was charging straight towards the defense line with an unstoppable momentum. Xu Chen looked at the dark mass of the beast tide in the distance and sighed in his heart. Dark clouds pressed down on the city, the city is on the verge of collapse. Wang Lishing looked at the ferocious beasts approaching from a distance. His expression turned serious. Senior Wang, how should we deal with this next? Xu Chen turned to ask Wang Lishing. Upon hearing the question, Wang Lishing patiently explained to Xu Chen, let's not rush for now. We need to gather detailed information about this ferocious beast tide before making corresponding preparations. Based on my past experience in repelling ferocious beast tides, typically, these tides are led by some platinum-level ferocious beasts. The ones that pose a real threat to our defense line are these platinum-level ferocious beasts, but we don't know the exact numbers yet. 
Hopefully, there won't be any platinum level superior ferocious beasts appearing, or it might be a bit difficult to handle. As Wang Lisheng was speaking to Xu Chen, the other two representatives of the defense line hurriedly arrived at the city gate. They were Han Dong and Zhao Yuzhen, whom Xu Chen had met before. Upon seeing Xu Chen, they nodded slightly in acknowledgement. However, due to the urgent situation of the ferocious beast tide, after nodding, they quickly approached Wang Lishan. Has there been any specific information about the ferocious beast tide yet? Han Dong asked Wang Lishan eagerly. Wang Lishan shook his head slightly. As everyone anxiously waited, all the platinum level beast tamers within the defense line gradually arrived at the city gate. At that moment, a flying eagle type beast tamer appeared in the sky above the ferocious beast tide not far away, with a beast tamer figure on top. It was flying towards Xu Chen and the others at a rapid speed. Soon, this flying eagle type beast tamer landed on the city gate. Seeing this, Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen showed joy on their faces and quickly approached the beast tamer. How is it? Have you clarified the specific situation of this ferocious beast tide? Wang Lisheng asked eagerly. Fortunately, I have clarified it, the beast tamer said after taking a breath. There are approximately 15 platinum level intermediate ferocious beasts in this tide, and around 50 platinum level lower ferocious beasts, with no discovery of platinum level superior ferocious beasts. As for the remaining various levels of golden level ferocious beasts, there are over 5,000, and a rough scan of the silver level ferocious beasts shows close to 20,000. Upon hearing the report of the beast tamer about the ferocious beast tide, Wang Lisheng furrowed his brows slightly. With your beast tamer eagle eye talent, the accuracy of this data must be high. The good news is that there are no platinum level superior ferocious beasts, but 15 platinum level intermediate beasts are a few more than expected. After a moment of contemplation, Wang Lisheng said, let's stick to the original plan. The three of us will distract those 15 platinum level intermediate ferocious beasts. I will handle five, and Dong will handle four, Zhao Yuzhen will handle four, and the remaining two platinum level intermediate beasts and the fifty or so platinum level lower ferocious beasts will be left to you to distract together, understood. Wang Lisheng instructed the platinum beast tamers behind him. Understood, they responded in unison. Wang Lisheng looked at the ferocious beast tide that had already arrived near the defense line and spoke slowly, let the battle begin. With Wang Lisheng's command, the city gate of the defense line slowly opened. Subsequently, all the golden level beast tamers within the defense line came out of the city gate, summoning their beasts. For a moment, various types of beasts appeared before Xu Chen's eyes. However, what surprised Xu Chen was the scene that followed. After summoning their beasts, the beast tamers looked at each other and nodded simultaneously. The next moment. Only to see these imperial beasts forming neat formations in an orderly manner. Defensive imperial beasts stand in the front row, physical attack types on the sides, elemental damage types in the third row, and support types in the last row. Flying imperial beasts are used to guard against attacks from the air. They advance methodically. Xu Chen looked at the scene below the city and naturally knew that everyone must have faced the beast tide before. Soon, the orderly formation of imperial beasts collided fiercely with the chaotic beast tide. Bang! At the moment of impact, the advantage of the imperial beast formation was revealed. With the support of the support type imperial beast skills, the front row defensive imperial beasts were like rocks, directly blocking the attacking beasts and preventing them from threatening the back row. Those trying to break through the formation from the sides were intercepted by the physical attack type imperial beasts. Meanwhile, the elemental damage types in the back row did not miss the opportunity. Suddenly, wind, fire, water, earth. Various types of damage skills were thrown into the beast tide, launching a wave of carpet bombing. In an instant, the beast tide suffered heavy losses. Our side gained the upper hand. Xu Chen and Wang Lishing on the city gate, along with others, all smiled as they witnessed the scene below the city. However, the beasts on the other side also realized the situation was unfavorable. Roar. In the beast tide, after the platinum intermediate beasts roared, they led their platinum junior beasts and charged straight towards the imperial beast formation. It seemed they intended to break through the imperial beast formation with their formidable strength. Indeed, the formation composed of golden-level imperial beasts was formidable against beasts of the same level. But dealing with platinum-level beasts might be a different story. Unfortunately, what they could think of, the humans had already anticipated. Seeing the beasts aiming at the formation, your task is to observe the battle below the city, use your imperial beasts' healing ability to provide timely healing for everyone, Wang Lisheng said to Xu Chen. After saying this, Wang Lisheng and the others leaped from the city wall. After summoning their imperial beasts, they immediately engaged in battle with the platinum-level beasts that came to break the formation, just as planned earlier. 
Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen restrained 13 Platinum Intermediate Beasts. The remaining two Platinum Intermediate Beasts and the 50 plus Platinum Junior Beasts were also held back by the others. Seeing this, Xu Chen remembered Wang Lishing's words and immediately summoned the divinely bestowed auspicious lion into his arms. Carefully observing the situation on our side of the battlefield, whenever any imperial beast was injured, he immediately had the divinely bestowed auspicious lion use its healing light on them. Seeing their imperial beasts being healed in time, the imperial beast masters all cast grateful glances at Xu Chen. Because of Xu Chen's timely healing, the momentum of the attack became even stronger. This undoubtedly further expanded our advantage. On the other side, Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen were all working hard to restrain the Platinum Intermediate Beasts. When they saw how Xu Chen's timely healing helped the situation on the battlefield, is this the healing ability of Xu Chen's Imperial Beast Junior Brother? It seems to be very effective. Han Dong saw the injured Imperial Beasts visibly recovering at a rapid pace after being treated by Xu Chen's Imperial Beast, allowing them to rejoin the battle in a very short time. This was one of the reasons why the Imperial Beast Formation was able to push back the Beast Tide step by step. Indeed, I have also seen the healing effects of other healing type Imperial Beasts, but compared to Xu Chen's, they seem somewhat lacking. Zhao Yuzhen, on the side, made the same observation after seeing it. Maybe it's because Xu Chen's Ancestral Bloodline Reversion Target is of a higher level. And with Xu Chen providing healing assistance in this operation, undoubtedly the extent of damage can be minimized, which is good news for us. Wang Lishing said proudly after seeing Xu Chen's impressive performance. Next, they only need to complete the containment task on their end. When the beast tamers on the containment task side, as well as the beast formation, have dealt with a certain number of ferocious beasts, the tide of ferocious beasts will naturally recede. We have to wait until they have recovered to a sufficient number. Only then will the next wave of ferocious beasts be launched again. Thinking of this, the three of them became more and more entangled with the platinum intermediate level ferocious beast in front of them. At this moment, those platinum level ferocious beasts also seemed to realize that if they couldn't repel the enemies in front of them, the attack of this wave of ferocious beasts would be a complete failure. On the containment task side, one of the platinum intermediate level beasts suddenly roared, its momentum soaring, as if using a skill that temporarily boosts its strength. It began to frantically try to break the current deadlock. The beast tamers on the containment task side naturally couldn't let it escape easily like this. They began to exert all their efforts to suppress it with their beasts. Finally, after a fierce struggle, they barely thwarted the plan of this platinum intermediate level ferocious beast. However, due to the ferocious attack of that beast just now, their defense was temporarily torn open. And in that gap, one of the platinum sub-level ferocious beasts took the opportunity to escape. After breaking free, it headed straight towards the position of the formation. This made the beast tamers on the containment task side instantly understand the purpose of the ferocious beast that had just escaped. Quick! Someone stop it! Just as they were about to intercept the missed ferocious beast, the previous platinum intermediate level ferocious beast, seeing the situation, launched another desperate attack. This forced the beast tamers to once again suppress it, showing the importance of dealing with 1 versus over 50. Not long after, the escaped platinum sub-level ferocious beast rushed to the battlefield on the side of the formation. It launched a fierce attack on one of the formations. As mentioned earlier, these formations composed of golden level beasts were formidable when dealing with beasts of the same level. But dealing with platinum-level ferocious beasts was a different story. Shortly after the formation came into contact with the platinum sub-level ferocious beast, the formation was directly broken up by the powerful attacks of the beast. Seeing the disorder in the formation, the platinum sub-level ferocious beast did not hesitate and immediately attacked the position of the next formation. In no time, the platinum sub-level ferocious beast broke through two or three beast formations. With the formation broken, the beasts inside could only engage in a chaotic battle with the subsequent attacking beasts. If this situation continued, with a few more formations being broken, the advantage they had built up earlier would likely be completely lost. Damn it! Wang Lishin cursed in his heart after seeing this situation. He wanted to go support, but the five platinum intermediate level ferocious beasts in front of him clearly would not give Wang Lishin that opportunity. On the city gate, Xu Chen saw the rampant platinum sub-level ferocious beasts on the battlefield and knew that they must be dealt with now. Crescent Moon Silver Corpse, I found you a good opponent this time. He silently said in his heart. Then he summoned the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse to his side. Due to the urgent situation on the battlefield, Xu Chen quickly delegated the task to the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. The Crescent Moon Silver Corpse then leaped from the city gate and immediately rushed towards the location of the platinum sub-level ferocious beast upon landing. On the battlefield. Watching the familiar formation of Imperial Beasts in front of him. 
The fierce beast of platinum sublevel revealed a ferocious smile. Just as it was about to charge towards the formation, intending to break through the defense as before. Suddenly, a silver white figure dashed out from its side like a ghost, charging towards it fiercely. In a moment of urgency, the fierce beast of platinum sublevel had to lean to the side and defend against the impending collision with all its might. Bang! In the next moment, the fierce beast of platinum sublevel was instantly knocked out by this silver white figure. After rolling on the ground for a distance, it gradually came to a stop. Obviously, the commotion here caught the attention of many people. This imperial beast must be the amazing crescent moon silver corpse that Shu Chen performed exceptionally well in the new life grand competition. Truly powerful. Han Dong, seeing the crescent moon silver corpse knocking the platinum sub-level fierce beast flying, also breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. After all, if that fierce beast were allowed to rampage through the imperial beast formation, they would inevitably have to make some sacrifices. But now with Shu Chen holding it back, once they resolved their own situation, they could free up their hands to deal with that fierce beast. Shu Chen's two imperial beasts, one attacking and one healing, not only perfectly match in type, but also have extremely outstanding strength. If it weren't for our Luo Yu Academy not accepting male disciples, I would have tried to recruit him. I really don't know where your Meteor Academy got such good luck, it's really. Zhao Yuzhen, seeing the performance of the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse, said somewhat helplessly. Har har. Xu Chen actively applied to join our Meteor Academy, you can't envy that. I think your Luo Yu Academy's outdated rules should have been changed long ago. Wang Lixing laughed upon hearing their praises for their own Xu Chen. On the battlefield. When the Platinum Sub-Level Fierce Beast staggered to its feet and saw the figure of the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse clearly. Roar. After emitting an angry roar, it charged straight towards the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. Xu Chen, standing at the city gate, smiled slightly upon seeing this scene. He let the heaven's gifted Rui Lion in his arms use a series of support skills on the nearby Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. Suddenly, the small horns of the heaven's gifted Rui Lion flashed with deep red, earthy yellow, and light blue light. At the same time, the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse's body also displayed these three colors of light synchronously. It was the three enhancement skills of the heaven's gifted Rui Lion. Blessing of Strength. Guardian of Rock. Whisper of Wind. With the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse receiving a 15% increase in all attributes, it looked at the approaching Platinum Sub-Level Fierce Beast with a long-lost fighting spirit in its eyes. Soon, the Platinum Sub-Level Fierce Beast and the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse engaged in a fierce battle. Meanwhile, Xu Chen, after having the Heaven's Gifted Rui Lion buff the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse, continued to observe the battlefield situation from the city gate, providing timely healing to the injured Imperial Beasts. With the absence of the disruptive platinum sub-level fierce beast, the remaining imperial beast formation regrouped. They continued to systematically cleanse the tide of fierce beasts as planned. Gradually, the advantage on the battlefield once again shifted to the human side. As for the outcome of the battle between the platinum sub-level fierce beast and their own crescent moon silver corpse, Xu Chen had simulated it in his mind several times. Not to mention the strength of the crescent moon silver corpse itself, it is not much weaker than that platinum sub-level fierce beast. Moreover, now there is also the status enhancement provided by the heaven's gifted Rui Lion. With the strength of that platinum sub-level fierce beast, it can only be said to have the qualification to fight against the current crescent moon silver corpse, but winning the battle is impossible. Xu Chen was quite confident in the strength of his imperial beasts. The following battle indeed unfolded as Xu Chen had anticipated. The platinum junior ferocious beast could only fight evenly with the residual moon silver corpse in the early stages of the battle. But as time passed, the residual moon silver corpse gradually gained the upper hand. Before long, a loud bang. A giant creature fell to the ground, and Xu Chen looked over. He saw the platinum junior ferocious beast lying defeated at the feet of the residual moon silver corpse, its eyes filled with unwillingness and resignation. The onlookers also witnessed the demise of the ferocious beast. Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen were all surprised by Xu Chen's strength. They had thought Xu Chen did well to hold off the Platinum Junior Ferocious Beast, but now they realized they had underestimated the new champion. Meanwhile, the formation of Beast Tamers on the battlefield had already scattered the Ferocious Beasts, making it difficult for them to launch effective attacks on the defense line. Seeing this, the Platinum Intermediate Ferocious Beasts in their vicinity howled towards the sky and commanded their subordinates to retreat. They no longer engaged in battle with Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen, instead opting for a retreat. Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen breathed a sigh of relief upon seeing the beast's retreat. They had successfully withstood the ferocious beast onslaught. 
As for the retreating platinum intermediate ferocious beasts, it would be challenging to catch up to them and defeat them quickly without falling into their ambush. Just as Wang Lishing was about to return to the defense line to clean up the battlefield and assess the gains, Xu Chen approached him. Senior Wang, why not take this opportunity to keep a few of them? Xu Chen asked, prompting Wang Lishing to explain his reasons. If your beast taming skills improve, can you keep a few of them? Xu Chen inquired. Wang Lishing, confident, looked at Xu Chen in surprise. The bestowed auspicious lion. Enhancing the beast taming skills of seniors. Upon hearing Xu Chen's words, the bestowed auspicious lion's horn emitted a three-colored light again. Simultaneously, corresponding lights appeared on the beasts of Wanglishan, Handong, and Zhao Yuzhen. After sensing the changes in their beast strength through telepathy, the three were all shocked. Xu Chen, isn't your beast a healing type? Why does it have? Handong began to ask before Xu Chen interrupted. Let's address those questions later. If you don't chase those ferocious beasts now, they will escape. Xu Chen's words spurred Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen into action. Previously, they had hesitated to kill the platinum intermediate ferocious beasts for various reasons, allowing them to leave. But now, the situation had changed, and it was time for them to pay the price. Excitedly, they commanded their beasts to pursue the platinum intermediate ferocious beasts. Xu Chen had studied the three status enhancing skills of the bestowed auspicious lion for some time. At its current level as a golden junior, it could provide status enhancement for up to 10 beasts but their levels could not exceed junior platinum. The higher the level of the enhanced beast, the greater the consumption for the bestowed auspicious lion, and the enhancement effect would gradually weaken. Soon, Wang Lishan, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen returned successfully with smiles on their faces, each carrying a fresh ferocious beast head. It's really refreshing. Han Dong was the happiest among the three. If it weren't for Xu Chen's junior brother's summoned beast providing help, we wouldn't have killed the beast so easily just now. Wang Lishing also laughed, seeing everyone finally able to slay the fierce beast, everyone was very happy. My summon beast has conveyed its feelings, not only has one aspect of its body been enhanced, but all attributes have been improved. Xu Chen's junior brother's summon beast is enviable to all of us, not only does it have healing skills, but it can also provide status buffs for other summon beasts. In my opinion, Xu Chen's junior brother's summon beast is the dream summon beast in the hearts of all summon beast masters. Zhao Yuzhen now felt more and more envious as she looked at the heaven's gifted Rui Lion, but the thought of not being able to own it made her suddenly feel a pang of heartache. Har har. We should indeed thank Xu Chen's junior brother. Han Dong said to Xu Chen. Senior brothers and sisters are too polite. Xu Chen smiled in response. Since the battle is over, let's return to the defense line now and prepare to tally the gains from this mission. Wang Lishan said. The four of them then returned to the city gate together. After Xu Chen arrived, he walked towards the body of the Platinum Junior Beast that had been killed earlier. Planning to collect his spoils of war. After skillfully digging out a Platinum Junior Crystal from the beast's head, just as Xu Chen was about to leave, the wealth-attracting mouse that had been resting in his pocket unexpectedly popped its head out. Under Xu Chen's gaze, it jumped to a spot near the beast and then circled around, as if looking for something. After a while, the wealth-attracting mouse finally stopped at the abdomen of the beast's corpse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. It then pointed to a certain spot with its claws. Seeing the wealth attracting mouse's actions, Xu Chen pondered for a moment and suddenly remembered that the mouse's talent was treasure hunting. Could it be? Wealth attracting mouse, take out what's inside. Upon hearing Xu Chen's words, the wealth attracting mouse excitedly waved its claws and made a few strokes on its abdomen. It directly tore open a large hole. Seeing this, the mouse dove in. After a while, when the wealth attracting mouse emerged from the hole, its claws were covered with a dark substance. Xu Chen took the item from the mouse's hand and upon closer inspection, it seemed to be a token. Xu Chen looked at the token in his hand. Even though it was just taken from the beast's abdomen, there was not a trace of blood on the token. It was probably due to the special material of the token. It didn't feel cold to the touch, but rather slightly warm. Although Xu Chen didn't recognize it, judging from the wealth attracting mouse's sensitivity to the token just now, it was probably quite valuable based on the material alone. Since even the materials used were so valuable, Xu Chen was curious about the true purpose of this token. So he began to carefully examine it. On the front of the token, there were some intricate patterns at the top and bottom, with a huge character occupying the center. After looking at this character for a while, Xu Chen vaguely remembered it as a very ancient script that had long been obsolete. He didn't expect to see it again here. Turning the token over, the back also had the same ancient characters, with lines of text written one after another. 
Xu Chen guessed that it should contain some information about the token. Let's put it away for now, and check the information later when we return to see what this token is all about. After a brief thought, Xu Chen decided to return to the defense line first. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Xu Chen looked at the wealth attracting mouse beside him, still staring eagerly at the token in his hand, as if drooling. The mouse felt that it had found such a large piece of rare material, Xu Chen would surely share a bit with it. I can't give this to you to eat. Xu Chen then took out some previous materials from the beast space and fed them to the wealth attracting mouse. Only then did the wealth attracting mouse return to Xu Chen's pocket contentedly, starting to absorb the energy through sleep. After finishing all this, Xu Chen got up and returned to the defense line. Before long, Xu Chen returned to the position above the city gate. Wang Lixing and the other three had been standing there for a while. Seeing Xu Chen, Han Dong asked, Did you notice anything unusual while standing next to the corpse of the fierce beast? Xu Chen replied, Nothing unusual, just suddenly remembered something. Xu Chen felt there was no need to explain about the token to everyone. Oh, that's good then. Han Dong, seeing Xu Chen didn't elaborate, stopped asking. Xu Chen, because of your contribution, we achieved such a great victory in this battle. After they clean up the battlefield and some specific data from this battle comes out, the merit points that belong to you will be immediately credited to your account by the senior. Wang Lixing said happily to Xu Chen. Hearing about cleaning up the battlefield, Xu Chen couldn't help but look towards the battlefield. The previous beast formation was now scattered, each starting to hunt down the fierce beasts that were retreating alone. Some beast masters also took the opportunity to come up for experience. As for worrying if it would be the same as the previous experience with the seniors, Xu Chen felt it was completely unnecessary. Of course, if those fierce beasts had the courage to counterattack at this time, Xu Chen and Wang Lixin wouldn't mind taking their lives. Seeing that the situation on the battlefield had settled, Xu Chen said, If there's nothing else, I'll go back to rest first. Xu Chen said to Wang Lixing and the others. No problem. Xu Chen, junior brother. Wang Lixing, Han Dong, and Zhao Yuzhen nodded one after another. Xu Chen then left the place. Not long after, in the Meteorite Academy's rest area, Xu Chen had returned to his room. After summoning his two beast companions from the space, he looked at the token in his hand. Opening the communication bracelet, he searched for information related to the text. As he scrolled down with his finger, Xu Chen's eyebrows gradually furrowed. Can only search for a small amount of information. Could it be? Xu Chen closed the communication bracelet and pondered a solution in his mind. Just at that moment of contemplation, Xu Chen's gaze inadvertently fell on the heavenly gifted auspicious lion playing with the wealth attracting mouse beside him. A flash of inspiration. Suddenly, he remembered something crucial. He then opened the information panel of the heavenly gifted auspicious lion. Name, heavenly gifted auspicious lion, current level, sub gold, inheritance object, phase, bloodline concentration, 40%, growth length, 0%, talent, understanding of humanity, seeking good fortune and avoiding misfortune, skills, blessing of strength, guardian of rock, whisper of wind, light of healing, praise of life, curse of auspicious beast, requirements for evolution to the next stage, growth length 100%, any level for crystal of platinum grade, one pound of water of life. Looking at the talent section in the panel, understanding of humanity, Xu Chen said, no wonder it felt like I forgot some crucial information, it turns out. How could he forget about this talent effect of the heavenly gifted auspicious lion? Xu Chen slapped his forehead in annoyance. After thinking about this, the problem in front of him was solved. Heavenly gifted auspicious lion, come here. Xu Chen then used his mind to call the heavenly gifted auspicious lion to his side. He handed the token to it, indicating for it to translate the meaning of the text on the token. The heavenly gifted auspicious lion understood and looked at the token. After the mental exchange between the human and the beast, Xu Chen finally understood the true purpose of this token. First, the word on the front of the token is trial. The trial of trials. The rules for use are on the back. The general idea is, on the night of the full moon, holding the token under the moonlight, silently recite the word, enter, in your heart, and you can enter a mysterious relic to participate in the trial. As for other information, it doesn't say. Night of the full moon. Relic? Xu Chen looked at today's date, three days away from the night of the full moon. Remembering the relic at the Meteorite Academy last time. Not only did Xu Chen's red armor bronze corpse obtain resources and evolve into the current crescent silver corpse. He also obtained his second spirit beast, the auspicious lion in front of him. In this way, the rewards in the relic are indeed generous. If the rewards in this relic are as rich as the Meteorite Academies, undoubtedly the next evolution time of the crescent silver corpse will be greatly advanced. 
The only thing unknown now is the type of this relic. After all, some relics allow for failure. But there are relics where, besides completing the tests inside, there is only a dead end. Soon. After some serious contemplation. Chu Chen still decided to participate in this relic trial. Not to mention, it is rare to have another chance to enter a relic. If he gives up, he will inevitably feel regretful. Secondly, and most importantly. It is because Xu Chen's current strength relies on extraordinary courage and. So this journey to the relic, Xu Chen cannot give up. Days passed by. On this night. Xu Chen looked at the full moon above his head. Holding the token under the moonlight. Enter. With a silent recitation in his heart. Xu Chen's figure disappeared in an instant into the night. As the white light in his field of vision gradually dissipated. Xu Chen looked around. He found himself on a huge platform. Obviously, he had left the defensive line and entered the mysterious relic mentioned on the token. Looking at this unfamiliar environment. Because he didn't know what kind of trials were inside. For safety's sake. Xu Chen immediately summoned the crescent silver corpse from the spirit beast space to his side. Then carefully observed the situation inside the relic. The surroundings of the platform were pitch black. In front of his position, there was a corridor about three meters wide, but the end was not visible. On both sides of the corridor, there were some evenly spaced, neatly arranged yellow lanterns. The situation on the corridor was completely displayed in front of Xu Chen. There were also some statues made of marble above the lanterns. Besides these things, there was nothing particularly noteworthy on the corridor. Looking at this situation, I should walk down that corridor, just don't know what's at the end. Xu Chen looked at the scene in front of him and silently pondered. So he walked to the starting point of the corridor. At this moment. Welcome to the Grandmaster's trial camp. Next, please pass through the trial corridor in front of you and proceed to the trial hall. A cold and majestic voice came from above. The appearance of this voice also confirmed Xu Chen's guess. However, since he knew the current task, there was no need to hesitate. Xu Chen and the Crescent Silver Corpse stepped onto the corridor together. And with this action. Crack. Crack. Constant strange noises came from the statues on both sides of the corridor. At the same time, the eyes of the statues began to flicker with red light. Soon. After the statues stretched their limbs continuously. They leaped down. Coming in front of Xu Chen and the Crescent Silver Corpse. Looking at these unfriendly statues. Xu Chen immediately opened their information panel to take a look. It showed a kind of fierce beast called a stone gargoyle, and then the level. Silver rank. Oh, that's fine. Xu Chen immediately felt relieved. At this moment, the stone statues also attacked towards Xu Chen's position. It seems that these stone statue beasts are probably part of the relic trial. Xu Chen thought and signaled for the remaining moon silver corpse to deal with them. Dealing with beasts of this rank was simply too easy for the moon silver corpse. A few seconds later. Crack. Xu Chen and the moon silver corpse stepped on the remains of these beasts and continued to advance towards the depths of the corridor. As Xu Chen continued to move forward, the statues on both sides of the corridor, whether in quantity or rank, kept increasing, all trying to block Xu Chen's path. But unfortunately, even until Xu Chen reached the last section of the corridor, the rank of these stone statues did not exceed the gold rank. With just this rank, no matter if there were a thousand or ten thousand, they couldn't defeat the moon silver corpse. After all, the talent effect of bloodthirst was there. When dealing with a sea of people, it was undoubtedly a powerful weapon. However, Xu Chen thought to himself, the existence of these stone statue beasts may only be to eliminate trial participants with insufficient strength in advance. As the last stone statue fell, Xu Chen successfully reached the end of the corridor. It was also a huge platform, but in the middle, there appeared a dazzling circular spatial gate. It seems this is the way to the so-called trial hall. Xu Chen looked at the light circle in front of him and nodded. Just as Xu Chen was about to step into the spatial gate, three figures suddenly leaped out from the darkness on one side and landed on the platform together. A slightly delicate young man, accompanied by two middle-aged men in black and white guarding him in the middle. There are other trial participants in this relic. And when Xu Chen saw these three appear together, he knew he might be at a disadvantage in this relic trial. Because from the clothing and positions of these three people, it could be concluded that they were a group. Accepting this fact, Xu Chen silently began to observe these three unfamiliar beast masters. After all, being in the relic at this moment, who knew if these people were friends or foes? Similarly, the three who suddenly appeared were also observing Xu Chen at the moment. When they saw Xu Chen's moon silver corpse, a hint of doubt flashed in their eyes. 
It was a beast they didn't recognize. It should be noted that the White family in the White Emperor City had a vast collection of information on beasts. Covering a wide range of species, it could be said to rank in the top three among the twelve main cities. But the beast in front of them clearly exceeded their identification range. After silently assessing Xu Chen for a while, the middle-aged man in black was about to speak to Xu Chen when Xu Chen stepped into the spatial gate in front of him and disappeared. This made the black-clad middle-aged man who wanted to speak feel somewhat embarrassed. Such a rude little brat. How dare he? Just as the black-clad middle-aged man was about to reprimand, the slightly delicate young man spoke up, forget it, Uncle Bai, don't bother with him. It's more important to quickly proceed to the trial hall. Yes, young master. The middle-aged man in black immediately closed his mouth upon hearing this. The three arrived at the spot where Xu Chen had left, and then stepped into the spatial gate as well. On the other side, when Xu Chen emerged from the spatial gate, he found himself in a huge circular open-air hall. This must be the so-called trial hall. But Xu Chen also noticed that there were already quite a few people gathered in the trial hall at this time. After a quick count, there were nearly 20 people. Although after encountering those three beastmasters, he thought there might be other beastmasters as well. The current number of people still surprised Xu Chen a bit. However, it is possible to obtain a token from the belly of a fierce beast. Others may have had some adventures to varying degrees. And these people saw Xu Chen appear. For a moment, countless eyes looked towards Xu Chen. But it was only a brief pause, and soon they left. After all, no one wanted to cause trouble before the trial began. Seeing this, Xu Chen slowly walked towards a corner of the hall. Waiting with everyone else for the trial to begin. After a short while, the three from the White Emperor City also arrived in the hall. After briefly understanding the situation, the three found a vacant spot in the hall and waited. However, the middle-aged man in black, upon seeing Xu Chen's figure, coldly snorted in annoyance. Xu Chen chose to ignore it directly. In the current situation, there was no need to talk to them at all. After all, this time he came to get the resource reward, not to chat with people. During this waiting time, new trial participants entered from time to time. Finally, with the entrance of the last trial participant, the number of people in the relic hall reached 32. Then, once again, the cold and majestic voice resounded above everyone's heads. First of all, congratulations on successfully passing the trial corridor. Next, you will face the first round of formal trials in the Grandmaster Trial Camp. During the trial, you can choose to give up your qualification voluntarily, and after giving up, you will be sent back to where you entered. The content of this trial is that later, four of you will be randomly assigned to a group. Only one person in each group is qualified to continue to the next round of trials, and the rest will automatically lose their qualifications. Upon hearing the trial rules, some people in the hall immediately changed their expressions. Some even specifically called their friends to enter the relic together. They intended to gain more resources by relying on the advantage of numbers. But now, with this trial rule in place, if they end up in the same group as their friends later, who will need to make concessions in the end. Thinking of this, some people who were previously laughing and joking gradually stopped smiling. There was a sense of vigilance in their eyes. The distance between them also subtly increased. On the other side, the three from the White Emperor City, after hearing the trial rules, exchanged glances. However, unlike those who had already drifted apart, the three of them had clear interests and would not betray each other. But what they were worried about was another matter. Young Master! What should we do now? If you are not in the same group as us later, then. White Second Uncle anxiously said to the young man. Since this time the relic only allowed beastmasters below the diamond level to enter, the young man had chosen the two of them as bodyguards to enter the relic together. Their strengths were both around the upper platinum level, just meeting the relic's requirements. They had thought that by doing this, they could help the young master get the final reward of the relic. But with the current situation, it was possible that they would still be in, but the young master would be eliminated. White second uncle, don't panic. Since the rules are like this, there's no good solution for now. Let's see how things go first. Besides, I am also one of the young strong individuals in our white emperor city. Even if you are not by my side, with my strength, I may not necessarily be eliminated. That young man whispered to Uncle Bai Er. These two have been taking care of him since he was young, so he didn't see them as ordinary bodyguards. Otherwise, he wouldn't have chosen them to accompany him. That's true, we were overthinking it a bit, the middle-aged man in white said slowly. After a brief discussion among the group, now, the first round of the trial officially begins. With the end of that cold and stern voice, Xu Chen felt the scene in front of him instantly change. 
When he looked again, he found himself standing on a wide square arena. Outside the arena was pitch black, nothing visible. Looking around, Xu Chen noticed three other people on the arena besides himself, a middle-aged man with several scars on his face, a burly man, and a slightly enchanting woman. As they all saw each other, they all summoned their spirit beasts according to the rules of the trial. Seeing Xu Chen summon the crescent moon silver corpse and the cute heavenly bestowed lion in his arms, the three of them all showed a hint of disdain in their eyes. The reason was simple, Xu Chen was much younger than the other four. It was obvious he was not over twenty years old, probably still studying at the Spirit Beast Academy. In contrast, the other three were all over twenty-five years old and had graduated from the Spirit Beast Academy many years ago. After years of training on the front lines fighting fierce beasts, their strength had already reached the platinum level. They estimated Xu Chen's strength and considered the possibility that he might be a genius in the academy. But no matter how they calculated it, at most, he was only at the gold level. Compared to academy students, he was indeed quite formidable. However, surpassing them at the platinum level was nothing but a pipe dream. With these thoughts in mind, the three of them shifted their gaze from Xu Chen to the others. Unlike Xu Chen, they could all sense the fierce aura of the spirit beasts on the opposite side, honed from years of battling fierce beasts. The slightly enchanting woman exuded the strongest aura. After vaguely sensing each other's strength, the middle-aged man with scars on his face and the burly man silently nodded at each other. The next moment. They simultaneously activated their spirit transformation skills and commanded their spirit beasts to attack the enchanting woman. Obviously, they knew that in order to qualify for the next round of the trial, they must first eliminate the strongest woman. Otherwise, both of them would be eliminated. As for Xu Chen, it wouldn't affect the final outcome. The enchanting woman looked at the two who attacked together. He he. After a cold laugh, she also activated her spirit transformation and commanded her spirit beast to counterattack. Soon, the six spirit beasts of the three people were entangled in a fierce battle. On the other side of the arena, seeing the three people ignoring him and engaging in a battle, it was somewhat unexpected for Xu Chen. But upon further thought, Xu Chen understood their intentions. Underestimating me. Just because I'm young, does that mean I should be underestimated? Xu Chen silently complained in his heart. However, this was also good. Xu Chen sat down in a corner of the arena and quietly began to assess the spirit beast strengths of the three individuals. The middle-aged man with scars on his face and the burly man were both at the lower platinum level, while the slightly enchanting woman was at the middle platinum level. It seems that the decisions of those two were not wrong, now let's see which side can achieve the final victory. Xu Chen silently analyzed as he watched the intense battle of the three people. On the other side of the arena, the scar-faced middle-aged man, the burly man, and the charming woman had entered a fierce stage of combat. All six spirit beasts were fighting fiercely. However, due to their rich combat experience from usually fighting against fierce beasts on the front lines, the three of them had a significant advantage. This made it impossible for the other two to gain a clear advantage in the battle against the charming woman based on their own combat instincts. As time passed, the attacks of the scar-faced middle-aged man and the burly man gradually weakened. The balance of victory in the battle began to tilt towards the charming woman. It's a pity. Both of their spirit beasts are only lower-level platinum, facing an equally experienced mid-level platinum spirit beast master, they are inherently at a disadvantage. If either of them were mid-level platinum, the situation wouldn't be like this, indeed a pity. Xu Chen, who was watching from the side, also saw the final outcome of the battle. The situation of the battle gradually became clear. Soon, as the charming woman seized a small floor in the attacks of the two men, one of the scar-faced middle-aged man's spirit beasts saw a sharp decrease in combat power. This led to an early end to the already disadvantaged situation. Although the two men fought with all their might, they could not change the final outcome. I give up. With the scar-faced middle-aged man and the burly man, a somewhat unwilling voice was heard. The figures of the two men and their spirit beasts immediately disappeared from the arena. Seeing this, the charming woman, with her two spirit beasts, slowly walked towards where Xu Chen was. Little brother. Are you going to surrender on your own initiative next, or do you need sister to help you? The charming woman said with a smile to Xu Chen. Obviously, with the exit of the two lower-level platinum spirit beast masters, her biggest competitor had disappeared. Now, her only opponent was the young boy in front of her. Upon hearing the charming woman's words, Xu Chen stood up and, looking at her somewhat enchanting eyes, slowly spoke, Big Tilda sister, don't speak too soon. The result of a battle can only be known after it's fought. Upon hearing Xu Chen's calm response, the charming woman's eyes showed a hint of surprise. She did not expect this young man to give her such an unexpected answer. 
Seeing that the young man insisted on fighting her, she said coldly, in that case, there's nothing more to say. She then activated her spirit transformation skill and launched an attack towards Xu Chen. At the same time, she signaled her two spirit beasts to attack the crescent silver corpse. Her two spirit beasts were a snake type and a bear type. The bear type spirit beast was responsible for defense, while the snake type spirit beast relied on its own agility and deadly poison to take on the role of offense. In the previous battle, it was the snake type spirit beast that seized the opportunity and quickly eliminated one of the scar faced middle aged man spirit beasts using its poison. As the charming woman's attack approached, Xu Chen patted the heavens gifted Rui Lion in his arms. The lion understood and came to the head of the crescent silver corpse, then a tricolor light flashed from its small horn. After being empowered by three status enhancements, the crescent silver corpse's strength greatly increased. Facing the two approaching spirit beasts, it took the initiative to intercept them. During this time, the charming woman also saw the skill release of the heavens gifted Rui Lion. I didn't expect that little lion not only is a supportive spirit beast but also has a rare skill to enhance other spirit beast statuses. This surprised the charming woman, but she quickly reacted. Even if that strange royal beast has been enhanced, the level difference between the two royal beasts is still there. No matter what kind of skill enhancement a golden royal beast goes through, it is impossible to defeat its own platinum royal beast. Thinking of this, the charming woman breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, as she watched Yu Chen's figure getting closer and closer, the charming woman immediately launched an attack. It seemed like she intended to use the strategy of catching the thief first, relying on the gap in their royal beast levels to comprehensively defeat Xu Chen, whether in terms of royal beasts or royal beast masters. Facing the charming woman who was attacking, Xu Chen also thought of this. Good idea, but unfortunately you've picked the wrong opponent. Xu Chen then activated his royal beast transformation skill, preparing to counterattack. Soon, the charming woman arrived by Xu Chen's side and began the battle. In her imagination, the battle between herself and Xu Chen should have been decided within 10 seconds, as the enhancement ability provided by a golden royal beast could not compare to her own transformation ability. However, after a brief exchange with Xu Chen, the charming woman was deeply shocked. How is this possible? She was deeply shocked because she had felt a power within Xu Chen's body during their battle that was completely on par with her own, not just in terms of strength, but in all aspects of the body. Seeing the shocked expression on the charming woman's face, Xu Chen said, You should know that the enhancement strength of a royal beast master through transformation is not determined by the level of the royal beast, but entirely by the strength of the royal beast itself. The enhanced crescent moon silver corpse, after strengthening, is completely superior to any of the charming woman's royal beasts. So, trying to defeat me with transformation skills is simply wishful thinking. Xu Chen recalled what the Starfall Sky Turtle had told him about transformation skills. The charming woman may have misunderstood because she had never encountered someone like Xu Chen before. Even if you can withstand my attacks, as long as my royal beast. Although shocked by the strength of Xu Chen's transformation skill, the charming woman still expressed great confidence in Xu Chen. But before she could finish, she saw Xu Chen's somewhat smiling expression. Are you sure? After Xu Chen spoke, he gestured with his eyes for the charming woman to look behind her. This made the charming woman suddenly stunned. Indeed, according to her expectations, at this time, her royal beast should have already finished the battle and returned to her side. Thinking back to Xu Chen's expression and words, a sense of foreboding suddenly surged within her. When she turned back suddenly, she saw on the arena that the crescent moon silver corpse first punched and repelled her bear-type royal beast. Her snake-type royal beast kept looking for opportunities from the side. But whenever it found the right moment to attack the crescent moon silver corpse, it would evade all attacks with a strange footwork. Watching the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse deal with the attacks of her two royal beasts in a relaxed manner, the charming woman couldn't help but start to doubt whether she was hallucinating. How is this possible? When she saw that her two platinum intermediate royal beasts were completely helpless against the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse, the charming woman clearly couldn't accept the reality before her. In contrast to the charming woman's shock, Chu Chen remained calm about the performance of the Crescent Moon Silver Corpse. After battles on the front lines with ferocious beasts, he knew that the evolved Crescent Moon Silver Corpse's strength was probably between Platinum Lower and Platinum Intermediate levels, almost reaching Platinum Intermediate level. And now, after the triple strengthening by the divinely bestowed Lion, its strength undoubtedly advanced to the Platinum Intermediate level. Accurately speaking, he is still among the best. If the Remnant Moon Silver Corpse cannot handle those two mediocre Platinum Intermediate Beast Tamers with this strength, then that would be abnormal. After a moment of shock, the Enchanting Woman carefully examined Xu Chen's face again. No matter how you look at it, the young man in front of her would not be over 20 years old. At this age, coupled with that strength, 
it can be said to be a bit abnormal for beast tamers. This made the enchanting woman silently ask herself in her heart, what was my strength like when I was his age? It seems that I hadn't reached the gold level back then. After knowing the answer, she immediately felt the gap deeply. The battle of the beast tamers on the other side was also nearing its end. The bear-type beast tamer's attack damage was greatly weakened by the silver scales on the remnant moon silver corpse. Similarly, regarding the snake-type beast tamer, whether it was its speed advantage or poison attacks, all were countered by the speed boost brought by the remnant moon silver corpse's moon dance steps, as well as its innate elemental damage reduction talent, which restrained them firmly. Even if they managed to inflict some damage on the remnant moon silver corpse by chance, the next moment, under the healing light of the divinely bestowed auspicious lion above its head, it would recover. It could be said that the damage was minimal, but the insult was extremely strong. As the battle continued, the injuries on the two beast tamers kept increasing, and their overall offensive momentum gradually weakened. On the contrary, the remnant moon silver corpse not only showed no signs of injury, but its overall momentum also displayed a more courageous state. Defeating the opponent was just a matter of time. When the enchanting woman learned that the divinely bestowed auspicious lion was actually the rarest healing type beast tamer, she already knew in her heart that she couldn't win this battle. How about it? Big sister. Are you going to admit defeat on your own initiative next, or do you need? Seeing that the victory was already decided on the other side, Xu Chen looked at the enchanting woman in front of him and said. Upon hearing Xu Chen repeat these words verbatim to herself, she replied, there's no need for you to take action, little brother. It's not unjust to lose to a young powerhouse like you. I give up. The enchanting woman stepped forward to retrieve her beast tamer, then after saying a few words to the empty space above her head, her figure disappeared from the arena. With only Xu Chen left on the stage, as a white light flashed before his eyes, the next moment, he returned to the hall of the ruins. Unlike before, there were only eight trial participants left in the hall, including Xu Chen. Xu Chen looked at the other seven people. Among them were two delicate young men he had encountered in the trial corridor before, as well as the middle-aged man in black beside them. The white-clad middle-aged man was missing, indicating that he had been eliminated in the previous round of the trial. In addition to the two of them, there was also a pair of siblings. If you were to ask how Xu Chen could tell they were siblings, it was mainly because there were too many similarities between their eyebrows. As for the remaining three individuals, judging from their different attire and the distance between them, it could be preliminarily determined that, like Xu Chen, they had come to participate in the trial alone. These people had different reactions to Xu Chen, who had passed the trial. I didn't expect him to successfully pass the first round of the trial. After all, judging by his age, he seems to be a little younger than you, young master. The white-haired uncle looked at Xu Chen's youthful face, feeling very surprised. Indeed, he looks a bit younger than me, but whether he can smoothly pass the previous trial depends on two situations. The first situation, of course, is that the other three people he was grouped with on the same stage were relatively weak, perhaps not even a platinum-level beast tamer, which allowed him to advance by chance. As for the second situation, it is that he completely relied on his own strength to defeat all the others in the group, forcefully advancing to the next round of the trial. If it's the first case, then he has nothing to say, but if it's the second case, then it's interesting. The delicate young man analyzed Chu Chen's trial situation. Master, do you think White San has been eliminated by him? Uncle Bai cautiously looked at the delicate young man. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. White San is a platinum level beast tamer, I can say this with great responsibility. Among all present, the only ones who could defeat White San might be one of that sibling pair, or one of the three solo trialists. But it definitely couldn't be him. Do you understand, Uncle Bai? The delicate young man answered Uncle Bai's question decisively. After hearing his master's words, Uncle Bai also felt that he might have been confused for a moment. Why would he ask such a foolish question, after all, that young man was even younger than his master? How could he possess the strength to defeat White San? On the other side, the sibling pair nodded in agreement upon seeing Xu Chen. Xu Chen nodded back in response. As for the remaining three solo trialists, they didn't have any particular reaction to Xu Chen's appearance. Not long after, as Xu Chen appeared in the ruins hall, the first round of trials was officially declared over. At the same time, the cold and stern voice resounded above everyone's heads once again. First of all, congratulations to the eight trial participants for successfully passing the first round of trials. Soon, you will face the second round of trials in the master's trial camp. Similar to before, during the second round of trials, you can choose to voluntarily give up your qualification, and you will be sent back to where you entered. The second round of trials is a survival trial. You will need to face ferocious beasts attacking relentlessly like a tide. 
The second round of trials will only end when your numbers are reduced to 4. Therefore, in order to qualify for the next round of trials, all 8 trial participants must do their best to resist the attacks of the ferocious beasts. Now then. The second round of trials officially begins. Upon hearing the rules of the second round of trials, the first round of trials eliminated 75% of the participants, and this time it will eliminate down to the final 4. It seems that the ultimate reward of this ruins is within reach. Xu Chen was somewhat surprised by the straightforwardness of the ruins. But this was good, as it would save him a lot of time. As the cold and stern voice finished announcing the trial rules. Buzz. A dense sound suddenly rang out in the ruins hall. Upon hearing the sound, everyone immediately began to search for its source. Without surprise, the ferocious beasts making these sounds were likely the ones they would need to resist in the second trial. After carefully listening, Chu Chen felt that these sounds seemed to be the flapping of insect wings. Similarly, everyone had searched the ruins hall and found traces of the ferocious beasts. Since that was the case, even from this distance, you can hear the flapping of their wings, indicating how numerous these ferocious beasts are. Xu Chen looked up at the sky with the round moon hanging in the distance. He couldn't help but sigh in his heart. At this moment, everyone also noticed Xu Chen's actions. After a brief moment of contemplation, although they knew the source of the sound, they also realized the terrifying aspect of it. Before long, as the first ferocious beast appeared in the sky above the ruins. It was a flying butterfly-like ferocious beast with a head the size of a human's. Its body was pink, with three yellow dots on its red compound eyes, golden oval antennae, two pairs of legs in deep pink, and red wings. The red circular patterns on its wings resembled seductive eyes, constantly staring at you. Obviously, beneath its extremely beautiful appearance, it harbors astonishing danger. When everyone saw its appearance. Damn. It's actually a red powder bone butterfly. Although the rank of the red powder bone butterfly mostly falls between the intermediate gold and advanced gold levels, its strength is not considered very strong. But this guy is not famous for its combat power, but for its attack using the phosphor on its body, which is said to easily poison some lower level platinum ferocious beasts. Most importantly, the red powder bone butterfly is a gregarious ferocious beast. I didn't expect that for the second round of the trial, the ferocious beast we need to defend against is actually it. The three solitary trial participants exclaimed when they saw the ferocious beast. Hearing this, Chu Chen looked at the lonely red powder bone butterfly in the sky. Since it's a gregarious ferocious beast, then. Before Xu Chen could finish speaking. The second one. The tenth one. Until the densely packed red powder bone butterflies covered the sky above the entire ruins. Instantly dimming the light in the hall. Everyone looked up at the swarm of red powder bone butterflies in the sky. Blocking out the sun. Endless. This was Xu Chen's immediate impression upon seeing the red powder bone butterflies. However, I believe that the feelings of others at this moment are similar to Xu Chen's. The next moment. Buzzing. Buzzing. These red powder bone butterflies surged towards the ruins hall like a tide. Seeing the red powder bone butterflies attacking, everyone immediately retreated to the corners of the hall. Leaning against the walls, they summoned their spirit beasts in front of them. This way, their spirit beasts only needed to deal with the red powder bone butterflies head on. When the remnant moon silver corpse saw the countless red powder bone butterflies in the sky, it also hesitated for a moment. But soon, it excitedly assumed a fighting stance. After Xu Chen applied a triple status enhancement to the remnant moon silver corpse using the divinely bestowed auspicious lion, he stood behind it. However, compared to the fear and worry shown by others upon hearing about the poisonous nature of the red powder bone butterflies, Xu Chen was not so concerned. This was mainly due to the innate talent of the remnant moon silver corpse. As long as these red powder bone butterflies don't immediately render the remnant moon silver corpse powerless, there's nothing to fear. Xu Chen thought to himself. But making the remnant moon silver corpse instantly lose its combat power was not that simple. Soon, the descending swarm of red powder bone butterflies engaged in battle with the people inside the ruins. At the same time, the battle between the remnant moon silver corpse and the red powder bone butterflies also began. To be honest, when the poisonous phosphor of the red powder bone butterflies landed on the remnant moon silver corpse, it quickly formed one copper green poison spot after another on its silver scales. This showed the severity of its toxicity. However, Xu Chen remained calm. Although the poisonous phosphor of the red powder bone butterflies was powerful, it still fell within the range of poison element attacks. And as long as it was an elemental attack, under the remnant moon silver corpse's elemental reduction talent, it would be weakened by 30%. This greatly reduced the threat level of the poisonous phosphor to the remnant moon silver corpse. 
More importantly, the red powder bone butterfly was only at the intermediate gold level, or it looked like an advanced gold. Such strength in front of the remnant moon silver corpse was no different from seeking death. Bang! 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 As the remnant moon silver corpse punched forward three times, it directly shattered the three red powder bone butterflies in front of it. After their blood mixed in the air, it turned into blood columns that flowed into the remnant moon silver corpse's nostrils. The copper green poison spots caused by the poisonous phosphor on its silver scales quickly disappeared one by one. This was the formidable aspect of the remnant moon silver corpse's bloodthirsty talent. It was truly the nemesis of the tactic of overwhelming numbers. In this way, as the poison spots on the remnant moon silver corpse's silver scales continued to appear and disappear, the bodies of the red powder bone butterflies around Xu Chen gradually increased. At this moment, Xu Chen stood behind. Bored, he began to observe the battle situation of the other seven people. After a careful observation, Xu Chen also had a rough understanding of their strength. First, on the side of the delicate young man, the beast levels of the black-clothed middle-aged man were all upper platinum. While the beasts of the delicate young man were not released yet, it was still unknown. As it had always been the responsibility of the black-clothed middle-aged man's beasts to fight, the delicate young man, like Xu Chen, was also observing the situation inside the ruins. Perhaps sensing Xu Chen's gaze, the delicate young man suddenly turned his head to look at Xu Chen. When he saw Xu Chen resisting the attacks of the red powder bone butterflies with just one beast, a hint of astonishment flashed in his eyes. I didn't expect it to be the second scenario. It seems that this trip to the ruins has encountered an extraordinary person. The delicate young man murmured, then nodded towards Xu Chen. Seeing this, Xu Chen also nodded in acknowledgement and then looked at the next location. As for the situation of the siblings, it could be seen that the elder brother was very strong, and both of his beasts were also upper platinum level beings. With his own strength, he managed to stop all the red powder bone butterflies in front of him. His strength was indeed very powerful. The most miserable were the three lone trial participants. Due to the fact that most of their beasts were at the lower to middle platinum level, combined with their lack of talent and skills, they were currently in a chaotic situation under the onslaught of the red powder bone butterflies. Judging from the situation, elimination was only a matter of time. Now it's a matter of who can hold on. Xu Chen looked towards the delicate young man and the siblings. Since only four people could remain according to the rules, and he already occupied one spot, one of these two groups would have to be eliminated. As time passed by, the intensity of the red powder bone butterfly's attacks on everyone did not weaken at all. Xu Chen first looked around himself, seeing more and more bodies of red powder bone butterflies. Then he looked up at the still densely packed group of red powder bone butterflies in the sky, revealing a smile of joy. The fact that the number of red powder bone butterflies showed no sign of decreasing might be like a deadly poison to others, but for Xu Chen's remnant moon silver corpse, it was like tempting delicacies. I hope everyone can hold on as much as possible. After all, whether my remnant moon silver corpse can undergo a significant improvement in length depends on everyone's performance. Xu Chen silently said in his heart. Not for anything else, but just a moment ago, when Xu Chen saw the remnant moon silver corpse easily killing batch after batch of red powder bone butterflies, he suddenly realized that although these red powder bone butterflies were not high in level, their large numbers were advantageous. Even though he had already killed so many, every little bit counted. As long as the quantity increased, it should still provide a considerable increase in length for the remnant moon silver corpse. When Xu Chen opened the specific information panel, name, remnant moon silver corpse, current level, intermediate gold, inheritance object, Jiang Chen, bloodline concentration, 40%, length of growth, 23%, talent, bloodthirsty, elemental reduction, skills, heavy fist strike, light falling, remnant moon silver scales, passive, air tread, moon dance steps, power of the remnant moon, requirements for evolution to the next stage, length of growth 100%, 5 crystals of any level of platinum, 1 pound of meteor gold. Directing his gaze to the length of growth column, Xu Chen was pleasantly surprised, 23%. That's so much? Xu Chen was somewhat surprised. Apart from the 2% length of growth provided by the lower platinum beast in the beast tide, the remaining 21% length of growth was almost all provided by the red powder bone butterflies in front of him. It should be noted that even a single intermediate gold red powder bone butterfly could only provide 0.1% of the length. That's not an explanation. During this time, has the remnant moon silver corpse already killed more than 200? It shouldn't be. I'm surrounded by the bodies of the red bone butterfly, although there are many, it's not yet to the extent of over 200. After thinking carefully for a while, Xu Chen gradually understood the reason. 
Although most of the red bone butterflies are in the mitre's intermediate level, there are still a few that have reached the mitre's advanced level. However, as long as they haven't reached the platinum level, in front of the remnant moon silver corpse today, they are basically destined to be killed instantly. So, it's no wonder Xu Chen didn't pay attention to the differences in strength among those red bone butterflies. After learning about the benefits of the red bone butterfly, Xu Chen began to pay attention to the battle situations of others at all times. After all, the longer these people persist, the more achievements the remnant moon silver corpse will gain. The first one Xu Chen looked at was, of course, the delicate young man. Since the black-clothed middle-aged man's beast control level is all at the platinum advanced level, dealing with these red bone butterflies is still as easy as ever. There is no sign of fatigue at all. Xu Chen nodded in satisfaction, this one is fine. Then he looked at the next one. The situation of the siblings is also optimistic. With the strong strength of the elder brother, those red bone butterflies probably won't be able to do anything to them for a while. Thinking of this, Xu Chen also nodded in satisfaction. The next one. However, when Xu Chen looked at the situation of the three lone trialists, it was somewhat pessimistic. By now, their beasts have already shown more or less large and small poison spots after the battle with the red bone butterflies. The appearance of these poison spots undoubtedly led to a decrease in the abilities of the beasts in all aspects. This puts these beasts in a cycle of continuous injury, declining abilities, and increasing injuries in the subsequent battles with the red bone butterflies. If nothing unexpected happens, these three lone trialists will not last long. They will soon be eliminated by these red bone butterflies. Seeing this situation, Xu Chen patted the little head of the heaven's gifted Rui lion in his arms. Then, a green light appeared on its two small horns. The light of healing. However, this healing light was not for the remnant moon silver corpse, but. As this healing light swiftly fell on the beasts of the three lone trialists, the wounds and poison spots on the six beasts gradually disappeared with the arrival of the healing light. Before long, the six beasts regained their combat effectiveness in a healthy state. It's not easy to find a way to easily gain achievements, can't let it go like this. This is why Xu Chen had the heavens gifted Rui Lion use the healing light. At the same time, others naturally noticed Xu Chen's actions, with different expressions. On the side of the delicate young man. What? I didn't expect that the little lion being held in his arms is actually the rarest healing type beast. The delicate young man exclaimed after seeing the effect of the healing light. But why does he want to treat the beasts of the opponents in the trial of those three? Young master. In addition to being surprised, the black-clothed middle-aged man also asked with some confusion. Does he want to let the weak enter the next round of trials, making it easier for him to win the final reward? After pondering for a moment, the delicate young man voiced his speculation. So that's it. Then I won't give those three a chance to advance. The black-clothed middle-aged man understood. Similarly, when the siblings saw Xu Chen's actions, the same idea came to their minds. Trying to eliminate us by helping those three, it's a good strategy, but I won't let you succeed. The elder brother muttered in his heart. Of course, the most confused are the three lone trialists. They were already prepared to be eliminated. But they didn't expect that the youngest boy not only had a rare healing type beast, but also treated their beasts. Although they didn't know Xu Chen's specific thoughts, anyone who came to this trial would want to receive the final reward. Since there was hope for promotion, they naturally couldn't let it go. After expressing their gratitude to Xu Chen, the three solo trialists commanded their beasts to fight the red powder bone butterfly once again. They probably never expected that Xu Chen's purpose was simply to help the silver corpse of the waning moon grow. In the following battles, Xu Chen occasionally used the healing light of the heavenly bestowed Rui Lion on the beasts of the three solo trialists when they were injured. As a result, the three solo trialists gradually reached a balanced level in their battle against the red powder bone butterfly.